Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the Craft Store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and I'm really excited to be working with you guys here at the Craft Store. We've been here since the very beginning and hopefully we'll continue to bring you lots of new and exciting soft craft projects. We've got everything from things like our Fabazine which contains 12 different projects that you can do either in one go or split them up separately. Um, and that's a journey through all types of different soft crafting. And then we've got things that are really specific like our Stitchery which is a journey through all kinds of embroidery as well. So make sure you join me and craft yourself silly here at the craft store. Good morning. It's Sunday morning. It's seven o'clock. It's I don't even know if it's light outside. It was dark when I arrived at work. Just the sun is rising in the sky on a brand new day. Oh, look at me. Gone all preachy. Uh, on a brand new day. Come in. Tell me your confession. Uh, we are talking Jubilee Designs this morning. One of two live hours now. Now, this is one of these shows where the early bird will get the worm, okay? Because normally, when we have one of two shows, we have massive sellouts uh, on the first show, and then the second presenter is sort of left with nothing on the end, because uh, they sort of have to mop up. So if you like something, I would get it straight away, especially if you're that Freedom member. Remember, there's no postage and packing. And we've got returning favourites to the show. We've also got some old favourites as well uh, that you know and love. And last time I bought you jewelry designs, uh, they sold out, so we're going them back. We're talking big names in fabric as well. We're talking the big names of Moda. Uh, if you don't know your fabric world, Moda is one of those. That is a big in the industry. Uh, something else that knows what they're doing when we come to the industry of sewing. It is my special guest, and she is a special guest for this time of the morning. Uh, Tadjuli, morning, my love. Morning. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. You're here. That's the main thing. <laughs> yes, we're here. Yes, we're here. Uh, and it is true in what I said. We've got returning favourites. We've got brand new. And it's all from big names as well. It so is. This is not inferior fabric. You bring us quality fabric every time. I do. See, uh, my theory is that if you're going to spend all that time making something, you want it to last, you might as well use good quality fabric. And this, and the, uh, you see, that sums it up perfectly. If you are going to spend all that time making your quilts, making your table runners, uh, making your placemats for around the table, you want it to look classy. 
You want it to last the test of time. You want it to wash well. You want it to clean well. You want it to be durable. And that's what we've got. Right, and let's kick straight off with our first item. Already busy. Uh, £14.99. 844599 is your item number. This is your Woodland Church fabric panel that we're looking at at the moment. Uh, the detail that's in this is absolutely stunning. Now, you can't see much here because it's folded on the wall, but when we open it out and you see it in all its glory, it is absolutely beautiful. Uh, look at this. And there is so much you can do, isn't there? There is. So what I've done is I've, I've added some additional fabrics and I've made it into an attic window so it looks like you're looking through the window to the scene outside. I love it. Look at that. With the fallen snow just sitting on there. And you can use it as a complete panel. It is a complete panel. So do you overlay this uh, or do you cut the panel in you and you use it as panel small? In, yes, oh, so you cut the panel in. You're cutting the panel up. So you can use it as smaller panels should you so wish. So this is the prime example of you can cut this down into sort of three different stages you could. if you wanted to. I mean if you wanted to you could make it bigger windows or smaller windows or just not cut it up at all i love it i think it's absolutely beautiful and it sums up a traditional christmas it is isn't it it's very yeah it's that very quaint village that we all want to live in at christmas yes. time where they have their own cricket team yes they all go down to the, there's one it's like a bit like the like emmerdale they've all got one pub yes and they all go to it they yes. all go there no one ever does any washing there's no <laughs> laundry you never see anyone using a washing machine it's one of them sort of places i yes. feel i like it a lot though 14 pounds and 49 pence 844599 is your item number uh, for the first panel that we've got then We've got a returning favourite. This is the Woodland. I adore this one. This is a returning favourite. Sold out last time I bought it to you. Uh, I've managed to get some... I, I use the Royal Wee like I have. Uh, I just turned up. Uh, we've managed to get some back for you. This is absolutely stunning. We've got it up on the wall as well. Uh, next to the window uh, that you've just seen. But it is one of those panels that you can do so much with and would look nice anywhere it w would so you can just have the panel and you can you know well you could make an attic window it's really calling out to be blinged up i think as well yeah you know. with little twinkles on the christmas tree yeah. and things like that um or you can buy the um finishing kit and make it into a quilt and we've got that on the show as well. So we're looking at the panel in the middle, uh, at the bottom of the screen. If you want to make the quilt that you are looking at now, we've got the finishing quit. Uh, quit. Uh, we've got the, that could be anything. We've got the finishing kit, forty-five pounds and ninety-nine pence. The details for that is at the bottom of the screen at the moment. Now, in the finishing kit, we don't get the panel, do we? So it's just the no. You do edge. if you if you want to make the whole quilt, you do need to buy the panel as well. So you do need the panel as well, which would mean you can open up a flexible basket uh, with this one as well. Uh, 45, 45, 50, yeah it would. Uh, you can open up a flexible basket, uh, six pounds, 48 pence, so you can put that cost into two interest-free flexible payments and that will get you the entire quilt. And in fairness, this is a quilt that you would pass down in, from generation to generation. This so. one that, that maybe your mum or dad, your, your mum will have, your grandmother will have, your grandmother will have, and then you would inherit this sort of quilt. I think so, yes, definitely. I think it would be great for a child's bed at Christmas. It would. And then they just keep it and then they'll use it for their children. I love that. I absolutely adore it. I really, really do. £14 and 49 pence for the panel on its own. And then it's down to you what you want to do with the panel. 889661 is your item number. From there, we move on to your table mats. Now, this is a complete kit this time. You get everything you need inside this kit to make beautiful Christmas table mats that look like these. Now, as I said, you get everything in the kit that you need to make four of the mats. Uh, you can make two green and two blue as well, should you so wish. Uh, or you can just change it around, it's entirely up to you. Uh, but for me, what you're actually buying into is you're not only buying into a kit where you can make four placemats, this is a placemat that you could use anywhere in the home. This is not just a table mat. You are buying into a set of instructions that yes. will guide you. And with anything else that we see on the show, you may want to turn one of those panels that we've just seen into placemats as well. You could, actually, do you know what? I hadn't thought of that, but yes, you could do. Um, because all, we, all that is, is like we've used, we've fussy cut 
the owl out of the fabric, but you could fussy cut anything, any, and actually create the match yourself. You're absolutely right. You really could go. So you could use one of the uh, the panels as maybe a table centre, depending on the size of your table. Uh, but then, when we start talking about the owl fabrics, as I said, you get full instructions included. Uh, let me open out this one just so you can see how many owls that you're actually getting, uh, because it is a hoot. Huh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, look at that. It would look. You imagine one of these in the middle of your table, a little coaster underneath, because if you're going to pop a candle on, uh, a nice little, a nice little, um, I can't think what they're called, like a little diffuser, Christmas diffuser that smells mm. of cinnamon, a little poinsettia that you've got on there. But you have got a lot of that. And remember, you're only using one owl per placemat, as it were. Let me show you the size uh, that you're actually using. Uh, so it is just one owl, so it is just one of those scopes that you are using there. And in theory, you can make them as big or as small as you want to. You could Obviously, do, yes, you could do. You've given us the instructions to make four of the size that you're seeing here. But if you want to go slightly smaller, and maybe you just want the owl, maybe you're going to turn them into placemats. Maybe there's only two of you, and you're thinking, well, I don't need four, to be honest, Adam. There's only two of me, there's only me and him. Uh, we'll make two of them and then turn them into coasters. Exactly, yeah. Or we'll turn them into... And at the end of the day, if you're thinking, Adam, that's all well and good, but I, I don't have placemats, turn it into whatever you want it to turn it into. If you want to turn it into a little bag, turn it into a little bag because you've got the lining uh, that's in there. Uh, there is so many things that you could turn this into. You could turn it into a little laptop case if you wanted to uh, by putting two of them together that you've got there. A little bit of buying around the end, and then you've got a little place, uh, you've got a little you bag. Have, yes. Little. Oh. Um, You've, oh, you're on sleep. fire this I had a morning. good sleep last night, good <laughs> sleep. Uh, but you could do whatever you want, because you're getting all the material uh, that you need in here as well. £37.99, instructions included as well, and you're never alone with Jubilee Instructions. They guide you and they help you every single step of the way, is what you're looking at. I thought that was just a random email in there. Then. I thought, well, that is just your address and contact details. <laughs> I thought, Who's put an email in there? Uh, before I show it on the telly. Uh, £37.99, 221834 is your item number. So if you're liking this kit, I've got some others that make different things, but once again, think of different concepts that you can use them for. This time we're making wall hangings. I've got two different options for you. I've got a blue and silver, or I've got a red and green. Let's look at the blue and silver first. A complete kit is what you're getting here. A full kit that will make this stunning hanging. Now, if you're not a hanger, as it were, I'm guessing that's the plural of what you'd be called, uh, you could use it as a little chair cover. You could you throw could. it over the back of the sofa if you wanted you to. You could. Um, or uh, cover a table with it. It's just a, a nice size, I think. Quite a nice small project to make. I like it because I see, see, I don't have many throws in my house, but I could see this as because you've got two, four, you've got six rows that's in there. You could turn those rows and put them together and make a nice table runner. You could as well. Um, and all the fabric that you get with it, all the um, Christmas fabric, you get actually quite a lot of it. And you could still make some coasters out of it if you do make the hanging. Oh, so we're going to get extra, we're going to get more than You get what enough, need. yeah. You don't use, some of them you don't use very much at all. Because there's only little, little blocks, isn't it? Well, I suppose so. if you look at the stars and the Christmas trees, so the, the stars and Christmas trees are made from this one and this blue stripe one that you've got in here, I think, from looking back all the way over here, or even the small stars. Love that. That is absolutely beautiful. I'd have a suit jacket made of that. Uh, two flexible payments on this as well. You're getting everything you need, including strips, so everything's more or less been sort of cut down to size, not fully, but it's just so it's not cumbersome. Yes, yes. Uh, that you're getting there. You're also getting your full instructions as well included. Now remember with the instructions, you're going to get um, on how to make the little lanterns, how to make little stars, candy canes, hearts, Christmas trees and wreaths. But once you've got that concept, you c the world is then your oyster. You can then put these onto anything. I, I think I'd make a table runner as well. You yeah. could do also make mats with it, can you? Great Christmas mats. I then see the lanterns that you've got at the bottom. Once you know how to make the lanterns from the material, if you spin them around, get a little bit of brown on the bottom, you've got the house air balloons. You could then go all out, and then you've got children's rooms as well, if you wanted to. Maybe you don't want them as lanterns. Maybe you're going to change the design. Maybe you're going to have a lantern, a star, a candy cane, a heart, a Christmas tree, and a wreath all on one row, and that's how you're going to work it up, or you're going to go in diagonals. The choice is yours, it's yours at the end of the day. That is your blue and silver. I've also got sort of traditional Christmas that you could say now. Uh, your green and red that we've got running through there. 
Uh, this is your green and red, red and green option, as it says on your screen. But once again, beautiful, beautiful designs. They really do work uh, together. The falling snow, this is what it looks like when it's all been made and put together. Exactly the same design, exactly the same pattern, just in a different colorway that you've got this time to the blue and the green. Now, if your budget would stretch, I know it'd be like, but you could afford both of them, especially on flexible payments. The flex yes. today would be what it would cost for one of them all out. Um, you've got so you've got a night. If you've got two big sofas, they would look lovely over Christmas. Week. Yeah, the reason I did it in two different colours because everyone has some people like the traditional colours, and other people like the blues is coming becoming very popular now. It is. That's sort of that know. ice blue Christmas. Uh, that you've got there. Uh, once again, once you've got the concept, and if you're already an established sewer, um, I sort of see one, two, three, possibly three cushions in this as well. So there's a small yep. sofa cushion, like scatter cushions uh, that you've got there. Like that, like remember they're full kits is what you're buying into as well. Full, full kits. Everything is in there that you need with full instructions as well. Two flexible payments on that of £30 a day. 308145 is your item number. Right then. Strips is what we're talking about uh, this time. <laughs> Hold on to them, Adam. Uh, these are, once again, absolutely beautiful. We've got gold and silver. This is your silver option. Now, you get everything that you see here. Uh, they come in strip form. So what would you do with your strip pie? It's the same as we're not allowed to say the word what they actually are. Well, they're like jelly rolls, but jelly rolls is a brand name, we can't say. So they're strip pies is what we're talking about. But, so what would you do if you've never used one before? What can we use them for? Um, so you could, there's so many things that you could do with um, the strip pies. With these, I've included um, what I've called it an inspiration booklet, because I give you, I think, seven different ideas of different blocks that you can make. That's, that's the book. I can yep. show you this now. I can show you what you can make as well from these. Um, so you could do... And you'll get the instructions on how to do this, so you can make a table runner. Uh, so you've got the instructions. Now, obviously, I'm using some of... I've got all these fabrics on the show. I'm just giving you a varied of what you can make. Um, so if we made this one, for example, now I won't ask about all of them, um, how many strips would this take? Would this use a whole pack? Oh, gosh, no. I think oh. it uses six. One, two... Yes, yeah, six. And you get 14, and, and you're getting, we're getting 40 in a pack. Yeah. Oh, so we can make a fair few of these. Uh, we, we can go slightly bigger. I love this one. Absolutely adore this. Uh, it's your tree skirt for your Christmas tree. I was only looking at these the other day. They're very expensive to buy. They are, yes. You <laughs> can make one of those. They're very expensive. Um, you can make one. You could make one for half the price. If you're going for a decent, if you're going for a decent quality one, they're very, very expensive. I've wanted one for years. I really, really have. Uh, it just hides the bottom of the tree, doesn't it? Uh, 22 pounds, 25 pence. So that, once again, I reckon you'd have strips left over. You do have strips left over, yes. Totally. That's a big old tree skirt uh, that you're getting in there. Uh, from your tree skirt, we then move on to a smaller panel. Again, I think I used just three strips there. Uh, it, what a great cushion that would make! It would. That'd be a big. That'd be like a, the middle of the sofa. Uh, and you can use of lots of, of different uh, techniques. And the thing I like about these strips is that if you use them differently, you get different effects. That's very true. I like this. I like this a lot because then you've got that one. Though. Nice and little kids' room. Little play mat. If you made it slightly larger, uh, then once again. Same concept, just different design that you've got there. So remember, see each one has its own little panel. Uh, so you've got four little panels on there. So you could do these. These could be little placemats as well. Little flowers. Maybe they're going to be little giftables uh, that you've got. Uh, last but no means least uh, that you've got there. Now you get the designs for all these in the booklet. In the booklet, you get the patterns for every single one that I have just shown you. Uh, and remember, you're getting 40 strips is what you're getting in that first gold and silver. In fact, we've got to try and find them now. Uh, so that's the gold and silver. Uh, that we're getting in there, moving the tree skirt. Uh, then we go past the cats. So I've got the cats on the show as well. Uh, so that <laughs> reflexes like a cat. Yeah. Uh, so there is your silver. There is your gold uh, that we were looking at. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Uh, then we've got the cats. Uh, that I've just caught. Uh, so we've got the cats, and then remember, you're getting all 40 strips that's in here. Uh, so you're getting uh, these are all one option, or are they two options? One option? One option. One yeah. option. You're getting both. You are getting the black and the white. Just double checking uh, that you're getting there. Love the baubles. Love the baubles uh, that you're getting there. Um, once again, 
uh, nice little uh, pocket squares and things like that, especially if you're going to... Because I reckon Christmas parties might be back on this year. Slightly I, I different, think, yeah, but I they think might be, back be yes, they might be. Uh, so it'd be nice like, little pocket squares or things like that. Or even, if you're a dressmaker, and I only noticed this the other day from the World Wide Web, um, to do collars and stuff like that and cuffs. Yeah, yeah. To do your collars and cuffs, just to change them slightly. Yeah, that no. you've got there. So if you've got a plain white shirt and you go with a little cuff that looks like that, how good, how nice would that be? Because they're the right size as well. Uh, for your little cuff. It just adds something it different does, to your suit it? jacket. I hadn't thought of that. You see? I'm all, ab all, about, all about the upcycling. Uh, you can never really find what you're after these days. Well, now if you can make it, if you're clever enough to make it, I'd love to be able to do stuff like that. Um, but I just can't do it. Uh, so there you go. So that is your cat. I can't. I, I, I own up to it. I'd love to be able to sew properly and change all my clothes and stuff like that, but I physically can't. Uh, 22 pounds and 50 and 25 pence or 44.49 uh, for your cats. Then we've got your festive seasons. Uh, these are bit, these are always busy, always busy for these ones. Because once again, you sort of got that hint of Christmas, but that also sort of traditional sort yes, of thrown in yes. as well. I like these. Look at these. Shall I show you the length of one, just so you can see what you're actually getting? So they're 42 inches or 44. 44 inches. Uh, look at that. So you're getting a lot that's on there. So you're getting a lot. So even if you cut these down into smaller squares to make your tinier charm yeah. packs yeah. that you've got, you could. You've got. You see, there's so many possibilities uh, that you can do uh, when you get these home because you are getting an awful lot of fabric. And now I know that the price there, we give you two flexible payments on it as well, but they're nice little stash builders. Oh, they are. They're great to have because I think, you know, you can make two or three projects out of them. You don't have to use them all at one time. You can mix and match them together, especially if you've got the Christmas ones because of the, the colours. I, know, okay. I think there's so much, there's so much that you can do uh, when you get these home uh, to really do start looking into them from there, like them. Uh, we then move on. Now, I'm still surprised these are here. This peacock flies out, it, no pun intended, um, time and, and time, time again. again. I, every time I bring it on, they just disappear. Uh, so. We've got it back. You're getting the instructions as well. To so from that pack, can we create that? You just need to add some background fabric in the border, but you don't use all the strips again. I haven't used all of them there. So with the strips that we're getting, we can create the star. Yeah, yeah. So even that on its own, and this is huge. Like it's like the length of me. I would say it's a double bed. Yes, yeah, I mean you can make it bigger because you have got enough strips. So if you wanted to, you could make it longer as well. It is absolutely huge, but what you're getting is you're getting the pattern to make it all, but maybe you just want the stars. So maybe you're just going to take the elements of the stars and that's going to be the centre of your table. Maybe that's what you're going to put on, um, maybe these are going to be your placemats. Maybe these are going to be your placemats because you're getting enough to make, what's that, three, six, nine, twelve would you say in total you could make? Yes, definitely make so twelve. Definitely you could make up to twelve. Okay, so you could make 12 of the stars, uh, and maybe they are going to be your placements for this year. Maybe, if you were clever enough again, you could make these, turn them the other way around, and gather them up to put over pots for the yes. bottom of your plants and stuff like that. That would also work that you've got there, uh, because you're also going to get this beautiful design, and it's entirely up to you how you want to do it. For 20, 43 pounds and 99 pence. 10 percent, I knew it was going to be busy, they always are. 10 percent of the stock has already gone. We are talking the big name of Dewberry. You know you're getting quality when we're talking about Dewberry as well. And this peacock design literally goes every single time that it's on the show. Uh, you get the full pattern, uh, that's also included. Uh, I have loads more included on the show. I've got the lantern quilt that's on the show. I've got the advent calendars uh, that you see just here. I've got that on the show with the finishing kit. I've got bags on the show as well. So much. The quickest and easiest thing to do is jump to the website. Everything is on the website for you. Uh, you can shop ahead of me. You can see what's coming up. You can see the, de you can see the fabric in more detail as well uh, that's already on there. Uh, Loads. There is absolutely loads on the website. Or you can tap the brand new app that we have as well. Download the Craft Store app. You can watch shows back again and again and again. We've even got that little bag on the show. Now, I'm a big fan of a man bag. I used to love a man bag when I used to work overseas. Keep everything together. But it is beautiful and it's quality that you're talking about as well. 
Uh, there's your advent calendar that we're talking about. There's your finishing kit for the advent calendar as well. Reasonably priced for a nice little price, $15.49 for the panel, then $14.99 for the finishing kit, and you get everything then, everything you need. There's the owl that we were talking about, the beetle peacocks. We've got some books on the show. Everything you need to get you starting over the festive season and beyond. Right then, um, I'll show you what's... I've got more on the show, but we're going to do that later because I'm conscious of the time and I want to get to demonstration just so you can see what you can do with these beautiful fabrics when you get them home. Uh, so, Jim, my love, what are we up to? First. I, I just thought I'd show you how to make the um, the owl table mats because um, these are quite quick and easy. This is an ideal project actually, actually for a beginner as well. Oh, okay. So um, what I've done is I've fussy cut my um, owl out, and I'm just going to add. And I, now I've cut my strips just a little bit longer than the sides and across the top. We go. So I'll cut those out right. And I'm just going to sew these on quickly. So I'm using a um, sort of a quarter inch seam because I haven't used this sewing machine for ages. And um, but to be honest, with this type of project, you haven't got to be that accurate with the quarter inch seam. Oh, okay. Um, do we need an all singing and all dancing machine? This is my new favourite question. To no. make things like this, do we need one of the big machines? No. Nope. Thousand? No. Oh, okay. Nope. So we just need a standard stitch. Just a, a straight stitch. If you, as long as you've got a straight stitch, you can do it. Oh, even better. So I'm just going to sew on that one side. So if you want to give this a go today, maybe you've got one of those middle aisle sewing machines. You know the ones I mean. Um, the affordable. Because we haven't. All, let's be fair. We haven't all got the budget to go out and buy a three grand machine. That you're going to use once to make six ta to make four table mats. I'm with you all the way on this. You know what I'm like. I say it as it is. But if you've got a sewing machine, maybe it's Nan's sewing machine that she's not used for a few years. Uh, you can have a go. Have a little go. Easy project. The peacock, by the way, third of the stock already gone. And I generally don't know if we can get any more of this either. Normally, when it's gone, it's gone with Jubilee Designs. Um, but let's go back to the table. So I've put the two side pan pieces on. I'll just press that open. That was meant to be table mat, not just back to the table. I just. What was that? Sorry. I just said, back, let's go back to the table. And I meant to say, let's go back to the table. Okay. Demo. But I just sort of stopped myself. So I'll just press these open. Okay. Y yes, as long as you got can do a straight stitch, that's all you need, really. Then we're just going to put this these on here. I'll I know it would take longer, but could you hand stitch? You could, yep. Yeah. You could, because this these seams aren't going to be un put under a lot of stress either. So I suppose could, yeah, you're only putting plates on them, aren't you? Yeah. You're not really. So, but these fabrics, you see, I think this isn't a Christmas necessarily. I think this is like a winter. I called it. Yeah, winter. you would use. I would start using the sort of start of October. Yes. Through to like the end of January. That's sort of, that's sort of them sort of plate mat. But you would pack away with your Christmas stuff, but you'd get them out slightly earlier. Yes, I think so. And remember, they don't have to be placemats. Are they washable? That's, that's yes, good. Are yes, they washable as well? all washable. Um, and if you want it to be, um, what's the word? Heat resistant. Yes. You could put in um, the heat resistant wadding as well. That would be good. And then you could have one in the kitchen to put the pans on. You know when you do Christmas dinner, there's like 70,000 pans and you want to put one somewhere. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> So, I've got my edges on, and I've put the top one on, but I won't because it's exactly the same. Now, you've got some squares of fabric. I don't know if you can see, but this has all got some beautiful little glittery bits on it. Here we go, we're coming in. Uh, if you move yeah. it forward, like, there That's we go. It. Oh, yeah, we can. Like you little ferns. It? Yeah, and each it's got little tiny glitters on it, which I... I love my little metallics. So we've got our little squares, and I'm going to just put them each on this side here. This. Um, I will put a pin in just to hold it in place. Peacock, so I'm going to bring up the details for you. 50% of the stock has already gone. 50% of that peacock design. Now remember, remember, you're a womble. Uh, remember that you could make, I had to, sorry, I was in my head. Uh, you could make the placemats just from the peacock strips with the 40 peacock strips. You could, you? yes. Totally. And the same design. Obviously, you wouldn't have that big design in the middle. 
um, but you could cut them up into smaller squares. From the pack, how many, if we're going to do them this size, how many plate, and this really put you on the spot, how many placements do you think we could make from the peacock, roughly? Two, three? Four. Oh, no, more than that. Oh. You've, you don't realise just how much fabric's in those well, strips. No, that's... If you actually, I think it's two and a half metres. Oh, so we're talking like either four, five or six placemats. Oh, easy, get out of yes. Easy. It doesn't look that much fabric, does it? No, it, it does. And that's the thing. And that's why I asked the question. Cause, but then if you compare it to the panel that's behind me. Yes. So all these stars. And this goes on, OK? It goes on. It's huge. Um... I suppose, yeah, so that's three, six, nine, twelve placemats. Yeah. I think because they're cut up, and when they, they come to you, they're only little, little... Oh, I yeah. think you could make quite a few, couldn't you? You could make quite a few from that, I think. So if you're going for the peacock, you could also do this as well. So I'm just drawing a diagonal line across my squares, and I'm going to sew on this line. OK. Um, yeah, two and a half metres is quite a lot of fabric, isn't it, really? When you say it like that, yes, it is. But you don't think that when you look at these. And that's, and that's the slightly... And that's the thing, isn't it? Like, when you look at the pack, you think, well, you're, not getting, you're not getting much for your money there, let's be fair. But you actually are. You're getting two and a half metres of quality fabric. And the nice thing about these pre-cuts is that you know that they all go together. That's true. The hard work no, so you, you haven't got to worry about, you know, ma mixing and matching your colours. So this is, you know, quick, nice and easy, and you know it's all going to go together. So I'm just sewing down the diagonal. Peacock, two thirds of the stock. Two thirds of the stock of the peacock now has already gone. I think it's going to be our first sellout. So, um, now I would just, I'm just going to trim a quarter of an inch away, just trim this excess away. And I always keep these, because that's quite a reasonable sized piece of fabric, and you can yeah, make, true. you know, that's the nice thing about patchwork, I think, you get very little waste. You can always reuse it again. Um, so, just give that a press. together quite quick and it's quite easy to I thought these look they because when you look at them they look quite elaborate and quite difficult to do yeah. but so you would again I would carry on I won't do the top bits because it's exactly the same process but you can see here and then we'd take our next color and we'd put this on here so I just cut it exactly and as you can see you can cut it with scissors I'm literally just cutting it exactly the same. It's not really precision cutting like sometimes it is. So when, in theory, once you've got that owl cut out, everything works. But let me sum this up in the easiest way. The easiest thing is the only precision cutting you really have to do is that first one for the owl. That's, if he's that's square, it. everything, everything will else. Be square. Yes, you're fine. That's good. So I'm going to add now add this onto the bottom. I just love this. This is one of the fabrics that sometimes I buy things with something in mind. Sometimes I think, oh, I've just got to buy that and think what I'm going to do with was it that afterwards. One of these? Yes, it was. Like when you buy them shoes and you don't know when you're going to wear them, but you, but need you just them. have to have you them. You have to have them. I'm like that. Not with shoes. I'm not having shirts. There we go. I mean, you can see how quickly this mat comes together, can't you? You really can. This would be a nice, nice Sunday afternoon little project. Oh, easily, you could easily do this. Um, put that up like that. Again, I would normally add this onto there, but we'll just show the bottom half no, that's of it. Fine. Um, in fact, I'll just add this onto the corner here. Oh, and then it's the same process repeated. Yeah. Also, you could stop at any time. So you could make this bigger or smaller? That's what I was just looking, because then you could go, if I show you my one, you could go just for the blue. So we've done this bit. This is the bit we've just done. So now we're adding on this bit here. 
but you could stop just at that blue one if you wanted to and then put your binding on around that. Worth having a go in here. Peacocks limited stock. Limited stock for your peacocks now. They are about to go. I've got less than 10% of the stock left. It's green on screen, which means you're keen. Uh, start checking out your baskets if I was you. If you've got them in there now, I don't want to poke or prod you, but you're going to miss out. That's it, I'm done. And then oh, God, I'm going to add my next corner on here. Again, just draw a di diagonal line. I mean, how quickly has this mat come together? Well, it has, and, I, and it's literally, once you've learned the process, I thought there was a lot more in a placemat, I'm not going to lie. Well, sometimes there is, but there's sometimes you want something quick, don't you? Yeah, it look, when you look at them, and when you showed me earlier, before the, sh before the hour started, with all the corners, I thought well, there's going to be a lot of folding, you're going to have to get angles right, and then you're going to have to piece bits underneath. You're not, you're just literally sewing it on top and then chop it up. And what great presents these would make. They would. They would. They'd also make nice um, pencil rolls. Nice what? Like pencil rolls to keep your pen... Oh, you could uh, do, couldn't you, yes. I've made, mine's on the other side of the studio currently that I made uh, a couple of months ago. But they would, make, they would look beautiful in that. A little and bit here we go. I didn't bind it. And there, I've completed one quarter of it. And you would just carry on and in you that just oh, carry sorry. Carry, carry on in that way. Look at that. Uh, if you can turn it the other way and move it to... There we go. It's like a matador. It's, it's always... The other, otherwise. It's like... Like a little matador sword. <laughs> I'm going to get you a little bolero. And I could make a bolero out of the peacock. You could have a little peacock bolero <laughs> jacket. But just so you know, uh, details are on the screen for your patty. It's a, it's a full kit. You do not need anything else uh, for this kit. Everything is provided for you with a full pattern as well. 37, we are 30%. 30% of the owl has now already gone. Very busy uh, for the owl. 221834 is your item number. Now, I've also got some bad news. Bad news. Well, I've got two bits of bad news. First bad news, I'm here all day. <laughs> second bit of, I'm here till four. Uh, I'm here till five, actually. Uh, second bit of bad news, Peacock sold out. Your Peacock has now sold out. Congratulations if you got it. Um, if you didn't, I, I did tell you. I told you it goes every single time. Uh, well done if you got that peacock. Well, then let me show you something else that I've got on the show. Now, these have been busy. Uh, these are nice as well. These are really, really nice. These are absolutely beautiful. Uh, these are your lanterns that we're looking at. Now, these are your batiks that we're looking as well. Uh, absolutely beautiful, uh, the batik patterns that you are currently getting in with this. Once again, a large amount of fabric, a lot of fabric that you're getting. £22.25 is what you're getting on this one. Once again, long strips that you can... So was all this, the quilt that you made behind you, did you have some left over? Uh, yes, I did. Yes, I've still got I still got some bits left over. So you, you need to add your um oh, let me move this out of the way. You need to add your own backing, I'm guessing. The background fabric. But um yes, you you I think I've got four complete strips left over and actually pieces left over from here. Oh of each of the colours. So it it's uh, and this is a perfect um quilt for a beginner. Really? Yeah. If you want to make a quilt, I mean, I will demonstrate it, um, just how to make the blocks, because it's literally just two blocks. I suppose once you've learned it, you've learned it. And don't see, and, and then, once again, I mean this in the nicest possible way, don't see it as a full quilt, because that's when it becomes daunting. I'll use this as an example. You see that, and you go, yeah, all right, I'll leave it. I'm not going to make that. See it as smaller blocks. Each one of these is a smaller block that you then add together to make your bigger quilts. I don't know how to, how to suck eggs and things like that, but if you're just starting out, it can be quite daunting to see a finished product. Oh, yes, it can, totally. But if you actually just, when you break it down, um, you can just see there are two blocks in this, and both the blocks are very quick and easy to make. 
A quarter of the stock of this now has already gone. It's the first time you've really seen it live. £44.49 and pence is what you're looking at. 090179 is your item number. Two flexible payments of £22.25. and pence. Remember that opens up then your flexible basket to do whatever else you want to do. Uh, maybe you don't want to make a quilt. Maybe you want to create little placemats that we see. Maybe you're going to turn it into a little bag. Remember, there's strips. Let me show you. Do we get instructions for this as well? Uh, which the this one the yes lanterns. you do yes yes uh, so totally, you get full yes. instructions included as well to show you how to make uh, once again long strips oh look at that uh, uh, these are triple dyed which means that um, they won't bleed so and they keep the colour oh and what I like about the teaks than to some other fabrics as well you can't really get a wrong side no you can't. <laughs> So if you're just starting out, there's not sort of a good side and a bad side. You know when you're doing things quick and you just keep picking things up and you're like, oh, you're so, oh I've got to pick it all now. You can't go wrong with these because they're double-sided. In theory, they're exactly the same on both sides. Uh, so you really are uh, going to get a lot. Oh, I feel like I'm Morris dancing. Uh, love these. I love batiks anyway because you get that vibrance of colour. Do not be scared of colour because um, this really helps you with the, your colours as well. The other thing, you get such a blend of colours, like this one is all from one strip, so what a lovely blend of colours you get and you get a lot of movement, I think. I like it, I do like them. £44.49, pence. So you're looking at 090179. Advent calendar up next. Uh, right, I'm going to open this one out just so you can see. Uh, this is... A classy Christmas. Look at this for your panel. Uh, once again, um, very simple panel to do is what you're looking at on this one because it's a literally case of folding. You fold and sew. Very simple uh, is what we're looking at. But what you're looking at at the moment is the finished article. Now I've got the panel which is this bit here. Okay, so I've got this. I've also got the finishing kit to do the edges, which is the details for that is currently at the bottom of the screen. An affordable advent calendar that is quality. It is. And in the finishing kit, I have included the wadding and some calico for the backing, so you have everything that you need. Which is rare. Let me put it out because normally when you get these, you get the panel, which is amazing, because then and then you're on your own. You know, and if you're just starting out, you then go. Well, that's all I'm going to look at. What do I do now? Yeah, so if you want to get the finishing kit, you've got everything you need. So you'll have the backing, which is some calico. You've got the wadding. And you've... So the only thing you'll need is the thread. And I think we've all got that. You've all got white or red thread or green thread to go at home. Get the uh, binding everything, so... Everything is in the kit for you. Everything is here. Full instructions included with the panel as well, or with the finishing kit. Uh, so you have really got everything, because your instructions for the panel is already on the panel there uh, in, the, in the top uh, corner, so you know what you do. Maybe you've got your own stuff at home, and you're going to use some of your stash. You've got the options are all there. Mini charm packs are up next. I love these mini charm packs. These are delightful. They really, really are. Look at the colorways that you have here. Uh, is it easy if I get the bigger ones? Or can you see these ones? Because I have got, on a show later, I've got bigger versions of these uh, at 11 o'clock. So if you're liking this one and you want two different style bags, we can go slightly bigger. Beginner project? Um, it, it, it's not difficult. You have got to put a zip in, but it, putting a zip in is not hard. And some people think, oh, put a zip in. Um, so, but I've instead of doing a cushion or a table runner, I thought I'd That's just nice. make a little bag. They are beautiful. Uh, what you're actually creating is so you get your little charm pack, you get everything you need, even down to your D rings and stuff like that. Everything is in there. Uh, you are making this little messenger bag. How beautiful! A quarter of the stock has already gone. How beautiful is this? And then you've got your little pocket on the front as well. See, that's the perfect bag, uh, what I call a grab and go bag. Yeah. You know, you know, if you're going to walk in the dog or whatever, you can just put your phone in it, your poo bags, whatever you need, and off you go. People are having their cocoa pops, Julie. They're sorry. having their cocoa pops. <laughs> People are tucking into crumpets and toast and stuff. <laughs> uh, but it is true, though. This is one of those bags uh, that you do get. Uh, in there. That is for your uh, little charm kit. I have got a finishing kit on the show, so if you want everything, that's what I was showing you earlier with the D-rings in and stuff like that, you can get the whole lot uh, that's on there. And I'll bring up the details uh, for those. So that's for your little charm pack. The details are on the screen at the moment, £11.99. If you want the finishing kit, 
which has got your D-rings in, uh, which has got your in, uh, lining in there as well, £14.99. Personally, I would get it all because then you know where you're going with this. But then on the flip side of that, I would also get it all. I would get all of this if your budget would stretch because you got your little charm packs in there. Then you get your instructions, £26.98 is what you're looking at just over £26 to make a bag, but then I would also put one of the strips in my bag as well. Yes. Because once I've got one of those strips, I can then recreate this. That's a very good um, thing because you, the squares are two and a half inch squares. Like the strips there? Exactly. So then, uh, then you can use uh, your um, strips to make it. Like I thought more. about this. Looks like I thought about it. Uh, it is, and this is the thing. And this is where the value for money comes in because what you're buying into, and I say it time and time again, I feel like a broken record, that you're not buying into a bag. And I know you're buying a bag and you're buying the, the, the concept and you're buying everything that's here. You're actually buying into a set of instructions. You're buying into a life lesson. You're buying into... Life lesson's a bit hard, okay, I'll give you that. But you're buying into a lesson on how to make a bag. Yes, you are. And once you've got the pattern, you can make it again and again and again in whatever colour you like. I love it. How much has gone now? A third of the stock. third of the stock has already gone for our little messenger bag set. Uh, remember, you've got uh, your charm pack is in one, which comes with your instructions, and then you've also got your finishing kit as well. Uh, the details of that are at the bottom of the screen. One more thing to show you, and then I've showed you it all. Um, this is delightful. Look at this. There is something about this pack that I adore. Necessarily, not all Christmas. If I showed you that, first of all, you'd think, oh, it's not a Christmas pack. Then we get to little Frosty the Snowman that's in there. So that, man, a, charm, a pocket square, if ever I saw one. Oh, yes. If ever I saw a little pocket square. You say, obviously, not with my shirt, and I need it slightly <laughs> larger, but you see what I mean. There, the options are, I'm going to keep it in. Uh, the options are there uh, that you've got with it all. There is so many uh, designs that you're getting on here as well. Absolutely adore them all. Not all Christmas. This is what I like about them. It's not all Christmas. There's so many different ideas. Uh, that you can get uh, with all of these. I'm trying to find one that will match my shirt. And it is Moda that you are looking at at the moment as well. So this is Moda fabric, quality fabric uh, that you are looking at with these. Uh, like them all, your, your little Frosty the Snowman's in there, but not all Christmas. It's not, no. So you could separate that. You use it for several different projects, couldn't you? I love them. Absolutely love them. £15.99 uh, is what you are looking at for this one. Something else that's very, very busy is your peacock feathers. We've got it back in stock. You've already found it on the website. Uh, dispatched from the 23rd of August now is what we're looking at. £43.99. If you missed it the first time around, you're in luck. I've managed to get some back. Um, but I don't know how much, I'm not going to lie, I don't, really don't know how much. I have a funny feeling I was trying to earwig a conversation and talk at the same time. I don't think it's much. Uh, so if you want it, I would get it quick if I was you. £22 across your two flexible payments. 175087 is your item number. Right then, let's go back to demo. What are we up to this time? Um, so I thought I'd show you how to make the block for the... Um the one the, behind you, the lantern. Yes, the lantern, um, because it is, as I said, very quick and easy. Um, so, actually, this is what I've got left from um, when I made that quilt. So, I've got quite a You've lot quite of a bit. Fa uh, fabrics left, as you can see. So, those won't go to waste. I'll so use those for another project. But the first thing we have to do is I'll take one strip. So, I'm going to take this strip. And if you keep it folded... We're going to just cut some pieces out. So I'm just going to cut. So move that away. Turn it around. And I want a two and a half. Let's get the ruler around the right way. So that's two there. And then I'm going to cut a four and a half. So I've got two four and a halves. And then... I need a six and a half. And that's the piece that we have left. So, if you can see, if I lay this out like this, you can see exactly how it comes together. 
So the first thing we've got to do, we're not going to add anything onto these, so I'll just move those out of the way. Um, we're going to add a square, oh, no, a little, a little um, rectangle of the background fabric. And I'm going to use a quarter inch seam. Um, and just sew each of these on. Do the other side. Oops. Okay. I'll give that a press. going to go there and then I'm going to add another a square onto this side onto this top one if I've got one if I've got a square I need to cut myself a square so this material that you're using now this could be anything in our stash or it could be yes I mean I just chose a gray a light gray because I thought it made all the colors stand out nicely but actually it would look if you wanted a darker I mean it would look really quite um, Stunning, wouldn't it? If you had a dark colour against yeah, it, it, it would really make that those colours stand like a dark out. Dark navy or something like that. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go as heavy as black. No, but, but like maybe a really dark navy. Navy or, or a dark grey would look would lovely. Look beautiful. I'm just going to add this onto here, onto the side of my square. And this is why I say this is quick and easy because they're quite big pieces. You haven't got to worry about lots of little pieces. One side done. Oops. Start checking out your baskets from Rajuli's back at 11 o'clock. I think without Catherine, I was just trying to work it out in my head. I think it's Catherine at 11 o'clock. So, is it ideal to press every time? Is that the easiest thing to do? Is is that like a lesson you should get into habit? I do, and I think it, it's worth doing because it keeps everything um, neat and flat as well. It makes it easier to sew. So that's the top half of the, the lantern. Um, I'll just sew these together. I mean, you can see this is quite easy to do, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. And once again, you don't need an all-singing, all-dancing machine. No, just as long as you... I think that's the nice thing about... Um, Patchwork, just a straight stitch is all you need. And once again, I know it would take a lot longer to do, but you could do this by hand if you wanted to. You could do, yes. Even if we were using it as a quilt, would it still be durable if we did it by hand? It, yes, it would, um, because you're going to add wadding and then quilt over the top of it, so it, it, that automatically, that process strengthens it. This would also be a nice memory quilt. So using like offcuts from a family shirt, like using the strips that you've got already, you could which would bring in the colour, and then every other panel could be something like, uh, like memory, like an old shirt that you've got, or that old pair of jeans that you're going to, because then it also helps you work with other materials as well. So that is... Sorry, I've put the wrong piece on. I'm going to put this on the top half of the lantern. Mm. Again, I, I always press. Oh, I've come undone. Have I come undone? Yeah. While you saw that, I'll do some numbers for you. Jubilee Design, these are the uh, that we're looking at uh, on there. Uh, there were the details for those, but let me bring up the details for the Woodland Church uh, that we've got. I'm going to open this panel out. I'm going to be a maverick. I'm going to go all out because we're getting close to the end of the hour. Um, 
I just, I just want you to see the panel in its entirety uh, that you're getting in there. Uh, look at that panel. That is absolutely beautiful. But there is so many different elements that you've already got in there. Maybe you've got some of those, uh, those little lights that we do. You know, the little battery-operated lights? I know it's fabric, but it will give you that little glow uh, from behind there if you wanted to attach them in the back. Thing I was going to do, but I ran out of time, was buy some glitter paints, oh. fabric glitter paints, or crayons, or whatever. You can get all sorts now, and um, just have a bit of play colouring it all in. I think, and I'm sure Alu will tell me if they can, but the one day special gone to fabric, Lou. Yeah, but, would it stay? but it wouldn't stay on. But we could lock it in if we wanted to. Uh, so if you go for the one day special, you, you could buy a sealer. And then it will go over the top as well to make it all lock in to give you that glitz and glamour. I'll bring you that in the next hour. Uh, but I folded, I folded the panel down uh, just so you can see, just quickly before I move on, that you have got a smaller panel in there should you so wish. So I have, I have taken off the bottom of the deer. So that is maybe a panel. Uh, then uh, you've also got uh, the bottom that is on there. Lovely. Uh, owls. We're going to talk owls. We're going to talking a parliament of owls is what we're talking about uh, because we are busy for the owls. I've left all my samples, don't I? Uh, you are making table mats. Uh, you, if, while you look at the owl, oh, look, look at the lovely owl uh, that you're getting in there. Beautiful owl, lovely owl that you're looking at. Then you can also then, uh, from this complete kit, remember it is a complete kit that you are making, you can make the owl mat. Yes, indeed. The owl table mat. Busy for the owl table mats. You're loving them. Remember, they don't have to be table mats if you don't want them to. Uh, you get a large bit of fabric for your owl. And remember, you're just cutting him down uh, with the little moon that's in there. There's a lot. I don't know if you can see the glitter. There is a silver glitter that shines all the way through. It looks like um, a freshly coloured snow uh, that you've got. Um, Loving these, so loving these little owls, you just cut the little owl down to be the sizes that you want to do. Uh, like that one, you get all the finishing kits in there as well. It's a full complete kit is what you're looking at uh, for this one, uh, which is nice. You get your owl, you get your piping, uh, your borders in there. You also get your little flecks of silver which match with your owls in the backing fabric that we showed you earlier. £37.99. We've only got three minutes left. Where's this owl gone? Uh, £37.99. £221. Uh, 834 is your item number for this one. Uh, very, very busy indeed is what you're looking at for the owls. You are loving the owls. This is busy. As we, again, we've brought it back. It's on a slightly extended delivery uh, this time. Uh, £43.99. The, the delivery on this one will be the 20, 23rd. 23rd of August is what you're looking at for this one. Not that long, to be honest. Well, we are now 13th, 14th, 15th today. Uh, so it's not that long to wait. Uh, £22 across two flexible payments is what you're looking at as well. 175087 is your item number uh, for this one. Peacock, sold out once. We've bought it back on extended delivery. You're also going to get your pattern included to make... Uh, what you see behind me now. What you see behind me though, you will need a finishing kit and no doubt it's on the website somewhere or we will bring it to you again at some point. Uh, but you can make every one of these stars, you can make them with the kit that we've already shown you. We on the, what's behind me, three, six, nine, you've got nine stars, all the same size. I'll put my hand in the middle so you can see how big they are. You could make more of these as well. So maybe these are going to be your table mats. Maybe these are going to be the center of your tables. Maybe you're going to put them together and start making another quilt because you've got something already at home that you want to just embellish and you want to add up. These would look absolutely stunning. You imagine you putting little tassels on the end of those and then draping it over a smaller little coffee table that you've got next to you. Put a heat proof mat underneath as well. And you could start using them in the kitchen and things like that. Put them, uh, pop them outside when you go outside. Obviously, don't leave them outside because they're fabric. Um, but you could use them outside of a little mat. So maybe they're going to be the top of seat cushions for a little dining room chair because you've got enough to do it. Either three, six, nine. You can get about twelve. If you've got a twelve-seater table, um, first of all, well done. Uh, second of all, uh, you've got loads and you've got an excess to match. So maybe you've got top and bottom cushion that you want to add to, and then you only need a bit of fabric. Maybe you're just going to embellish them on the top. Uh, we haven't got that long. We've only got a minute left. Well, I, all I've done is I've just continued to make my lantern shape, and all I would need to do now is to add these onto here, and that is the first block done. 
And then it's the it, you just rinse and repeat, and you carry on going yep, around. Yeah, so you carry on doing the, all, all of you. And as I say, the the, the colours in this are absolutely beautiful. And if you are just starting out, boutiques is the best way to go because, as I said before, it, all the hard work's been done for you. They all match, and there's no right or wrong way uh, with these ones. Uh, thank you, Jim, my love. Thank uh, you. You're back at eleven o'clock. What I are we am. looking at at eleven? Um, I'll probably do some blocks for the. Oh, for the Christmas panels. Yes. So the blue and silvers that we are looking at that we've got in front of me. So the blue and silver and the red and green. Uh, we'll look at those and how to do some of the embellishments on those as well. Uh, start checking out your baskets if you've got anything in there. Another busy hour. Seven o'clock on a Sunday morning. Don't go anywhere. There is so much more to shop for here on the wonderful world of the craft store. Um, and as I say, if you want to watch it all again, you can do. Tap the app, jump to the website and watch it all back on Rewind. I will see you in the next hour. Don't go anywhere. Yes, indeed. Alu Sims is up next with our one-day special. Then we've got a designer happy hour. Uh, then, Artist Inspirations, happy hour with myself and Ali Oni. Hi, I'm Jo, and I have the pleasure of demonstrating for That's Crafty. That's Crafty are a family-run business that started online in 2005. I hope I can inspire you by bringing along my experience together with the That's Crafty products. So make sure you don't miss the That's Crafty shows. Hi, I'm Charmaine from Dolly Dimples and I've been crafting since I was a little girl and I have a massive passion for anything crafty related. Dolly Dimples is a fictional character in Dolly Dimples Town. There's uh, whimsical characters, fantasy characters, mythical characters. There's so much going on, so much happening in Dolly Town and it's a fun place to be in. Our products are all hand-drawn. That makes them quite unique because you've got that quirkiness about them. We have decoupage, backing papers. We have templates for 3D objects, stencils in the mix. We have dies and lots of other things are coming to you soon. Make sure you tune in for the Dolly Dimple shows and have some fun. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp, and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full-time. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dyes and flower stamps. On our shows, I hope to bring you many hints and tips and techniques to inspire you, the crafter, at home. Good morning, I hope you are well. Uh, it's eight o'clock and it's time to look at our one day special now. I wanna break something down for you. Uh, Cause I was like you, I got home last night. I got home about half six uh, last night. Uh, so I thought, well, I'll have some tea first. And I went to see, and I went and potted around the garden, deheading the flowers as you have to do. And then I sat down at uh, eight o'clock and I thought I'll watch the one day special. So I sat down at eight o'clock and watched the one day special, not knowing what it was. I roughly knew what it was, but I couldn't quite remember. We have a lot to fit in in a day. And I sat down and I thought, oh, they're just gel pens. They're just them pens that you can buy from any old store. They're just them glitter pens that you do. What are we selling them for? And then it dawned on me, as I was, the show progressed, they are so much more than a gel pen. 
The minute you see them, you will think, oh yeah, he's right, they're just, they're just glittery gel pens. They're not. That's what we're going to try and squash this hour and over the rest of the day. The show's now at 8 o'clock, there's one at 12 o'clock and there's one again at 4 o'clock with myself. I've got final call. Uh, these are not any ordinary pens. Yes, you can use them, should you so wish, to do your fancy Christmas cards. Yes, you can do them to use those fancy tags and birthday cards, greeting cards. But how about if you're on your travels? How often do you think, oh, I wish I had a set of pens so I could just sit down and colour? Maybe you're in the middle of a field. Maybe you leave them in the car. Maybe you've got a, a, a caravan that you've been away in for the last couple of weeks. Maybe, like um, Joe Royce was yesterday at a wedding, uh, emailing in. I think it was a dull wedding. But uh, she, she was in the hotel. She was in the hotel and she wanted to do some crafting, but she didn't want to lug the big trolley that we all come in with, or the little tea trolleys that all our guests come into the studio with. You can't lug them everywhere. But with a set like this, you can. This is a palette in a pen. Are you scared of using palettes? Are you scared of using inks and paints and water brushes? Because you don't really know how to hold a paintbrush. You don't really know how to hold a water brush, even though it's like a pen. It's still got that water in, and in one foul sque squeeze, there's water everywhere. With these, they are just a pen. They are a pen that you would have used at school. They are that pen that you do to do your Christmas cards. But this is a pen with a difference. They are from the big name of Secura. If you've never heard of it before, don't worry, but you are buying into quality, first of all, is what you're buying into. You're buying into a range of colours, and we see every single guest demonstrator use one. It's a white pen to highlight eyes, to go around the edge of that black book. And we sell them. We sell those black books that's on the show with the black paper, and you think, oh, what on earth am I going to put in that? It's black paper. How does that work? Your white pen will pull out all your highlights. Yes, you're never going to use all three straight away, but you've got them there to reach to in your set. But you can also paint with them. Everything that you see in front of me at the moment has been used by using these pens and these pens alone. This. You would never think, but these has been used by the pens. Right then, you've put up another wall already and I can see it there. All right, Adam, this is all well and good, but I'm not a drawer. Neither am I. I cannot draw for toffee. I really can't. But you haven't got to be able to draw. You can now use stencils. And over the course of the day, we will show you everything that you need to know. Uh, and I haven't forgot, I know she's standing next to me, and I am going to about to introduce her <laughs> now, but I just wanted to get it across before you go, ah, it's just a pen. It's not just a pen. And a lady that can and sort of testify all this because she's done everything that you see here in front of me. And she wouldn't put her name to anything that she was unsure of that you wouldn't be able to use at home. Uh, it's the legend that is. It's Alu Sims. How are you, my love? Good morning. I'm fine. Thank you are a legend. You, oh, thank you. You take what, the, what us normal people, let's say, because <laughs> you're very talented in what you do, uh, what we think is a, a normal pen, but you make it easy and you make it... Let's be fair, it's two flexible payments of £20. We're talking over £40 for a set of pens, and you think, well, you want them to do more than just write Happy Christmas, love number 47. No, I know exactly what you mean, and I do. I do like taking and pushing um, you know, each of the products just that little bit more to cover all the styles I like. I, I don't want to pigeonhole my, my products so that I go, oh, I've, I can only use that in that. I'm the same as everybody. I will get everything out on the table and mix in absolutely everything. And the pens do that. I mean, my favourite way of colouring is watercolour. And I can watercolour with the pens. But you wouldn't think you could. No, you can't. I mean, you've got to remember the pens are an ink and they're a liquid. An ink is naturally liquid. So whilst it's still wet, we can do all of those techniques. We can spritz out, we can watercolour out. But once it's dry, it's permanent. Um, and, it, and it is totally and utterly permanent. It won't react again if I watercoloured it. It would stay there. But I, it's a non-porous surface then, and I could then put another colour on top of it. Or if I really, you know, you know when we colour something in, you go, ooh. Yeah. Ooh, and that moment, and you think, oh, what am I going to do, sort of thing. And it's either obliterate it with a bit of gesso. But you can't, with the metallics, you can actually go over it with another colour and change the colour again. And you're not going to affect what's underneath. No, once it's dry, yeah. So all those pictures that you've done already, all those journals that you've got, and I've not even spoke about the journals and the final one, the pens that you've got in this set yet, you can now add. So think of your fairies that you've got out there. Think of your fairy wings. Think of those little, the little gnomes 
that you've got at home. Those little cute characters that you just want to add, especially this time of the year. Your Christmas cards, and I am going to talk about your Christmas cards because I feel it, it lends themselves there, but it does lend themselves to all year round. How many times have you reached for your, your watercolour pen set, all those boxes, you bring it out on a forklift truck, you pop it down <laughs> on the table, you've got all those colours in front of you, but not one of them is glitter. Not one of them has got that touch of sparkle that you need just for that little glisten of snow that's in the foreground, that little glisten of snow that's on the church rooftop. Then you've got to go and get your, uh, your quickie glue pen out, and you've got to get the glitter pot out, and you're covered in it. Uh, we love it. Now, all you're also getting, your book included as well, and this is not just any old book. This is a journal within a journal. This is a beautiful cardstock to use. It is. Um, it's 160 GSM, but don't let that put you off. It will do and use loads and loads and loads of different mediums on it. I mean, I've, um, you can take the pages out, they're perforated, or you can use it as the journal. But um, I've used it on the jelly plate, I've used it with acrylics, I've used it with oil pastels, I've used it obviously with my pens, watercolours, you, know, you name it, it does do, and it does take a lot of... Um, Abuse is not the right word, but it does take a lot. You know, it, it will have a lot thrown at it. So if you're just starting out, once again, it's a good way to go. Because if you're into your water, I got into watercolouring. And when you first start, you do swamp that page with water. You do go, you do go all out. And then you think, actually, I might rain this in a bit. Uh, but this is a book that's going to go. It's by the name of Van Gogh as well. And we all know he was, he was, he was all right at what he did. He was. And the Van Gogh papers, because you can get the black papers as well, are really good. And they're designed for that um, watercolour mixed media, but you can still use them. I've used them with alcohol markers and I've used them with pencils oh, as so well. They're good for everything. Yeah, it is, it, it is a really good go-to book. For a, It has a little bit of everything. Uh, this is the paper that we'll be using throughout the hour as well. Uh, I've got it in A4. We might be using the A4 or we could be using this, but all the cardstock that we use for demonstration, uh, we'll be using for these. Uh, from there, we've also got your micro pens in here as well. Now, these are limited edition. These are just for the 100th birthday. They're exactly the same pen that you would normally find, yeah. but they're in the black and gold because we're celebrating that big birthday. Yeah, so they wanted to do something, and the Micron pen's obviously a very um, big part of the Sakura brand, and they wanted to do something to actually celebrate that, that fact. Um, so they've gone 1920s, very decadent, the gold, the, um, you know, all the colours that were around then, and they've changed the colours of the outside of the pen just to have that little bit of a celebration for the hundred years. I do like them. So these are your micro pens. So you go from one, three, and five. So you can see they get uh, thicker as you go down. Um, I love, I love loose boards because they, they literally everything that we need to see. So how they write, I like. Uh, then you've got how, if you're just going to draw your lines, if you're going to do your fine liners around your work, uh, dot-wise, if you want to do your, your, your moodling or your doodling that you've got there. So you've got the different size dots and then you've got your dashes as well. So there are your micron pens and on top of that, I've got all the colourways. So you can see them on black and you can also see them on white as well. You don't need to pick, you get them all, sweet, natural, forest and your oceans uh, that are in there. But remember, because they are an ink, because they are fluid, they are a liquid, um, and you, they will blend beautifully. Uh, and I'm guessing you can sort of mix with these as well, why they are still wet. Once they're permanently dry, they are permanently dry. You saw Alex last night use them on glass, you can use them on that as well. Slightly different technique, but we'll show you throughout the hour, do not worry. £20.09, pence, a one-off payment of £40.18. pence. These are not just your pens. Uh, you're also going to get your clear glaze in there, which we will explain as the hour goes on. But once again, this is a full set. This is a nice giftable set as well. Maybe there's two of you and you don't know what to buy that special person. Maybe it's mom, dad's, aunts, uncles, nans, granddads. Take a flexi payee. Take a flexi payment, each £20, a beautiful little giftable uh, that you've already got there. Uh, it is dispatched though to you on the 31st of August, but good things are all worth waiting for. And when you get these home, I cannot wait to play with these. I'm playing them later on in the hour. I was told I can't play at the start. Uh, I can only play at the end. Uh, so, because I get carried away. Um, so, uh, I am going to be giving it a little go. And what we don't do this hour, we'll roll over to my four o'clock show as well. Over 30% of the one day special now has already gone. 979867 is your item number. Pick and mix on pens this time. Uh, this time you can choose any five of your pens. We've already had a sellout uh, on one of these on your clear, but I'm going to go straight in with the swatch on this one, just so you can see all the colourways uh, that you are getting on here. These are beautiful. They are. The glaze pens are um, have a slight translucence to them, and I love them. It gives you um, that glossy effect 
very, very, very quickly and very, very easily. So you could go over them, um, over a colour that's a matte colour, and then suddenly you can actually add a glaze to it. And, it'll add, and it, it's risen, it raised, but very, very minor, if that makes sense. So you can do, um, it's a bit like a faux glossy accents. One of the things I like to do with them, though, is if your outlines go over with the black glaze and suddenly it looks like you've stamped and embossed, Yes. But without doing that, or if you did a sentiment, you could go over with them and highlight it like you've stamped and embossed without getting a heat gun out. Like you've just coloured it all in. And the coloured bits of card there are just to show that because they're, semi, um, they're translucent, the colour that goes on will actually pick up some of the background colour. So then it changes again just that little bit more. So if you put a blue onto a yellow, you're going to get like a yellow green because you'll get a mixture of the two there so you can actually push them that little bit further um, so you, you could take a piece of work and if it's dark and you want to lighten it a little bit you, you can use some of the lighter colors with the glaze bring them all in mm. it's worth having a little go 10 pounds and 99 picks choose any five that you want to chew let's put Lou on the spot pick five Lou five if they, I'll give you 10.99 today uh, it what would, five would you like me to buy you um, it would be a black it would be the white. It would be the beautiful um, hunter green that we've got in there. It would. <laughs> it would also be the deep red and the turquoise. Deep red and turquoise that you've got in there. There's lose five. You go for whatever five you want to go for though. Uh, but they are stunning colours. Uh, Ten pounds and ninety nine pence. Right then, you're getting fine liners in your one day special. As I showed you earlier, you know, the black and gold ones. Uh, but these, once again, exactly the same. But this time you get different colours. Normally when we talk about fine lines, they're just black. Uh, which are good. Which are nice. Which I like it. I like them. But sometimes it's nice to have that different colour just to highlight different things. It is. Again, um, I know we say about handwriting, but actually use them to do your outlines with. Suddenly doing your outline in um, a colour and then colouring in with that colour, if that makes sense doesn't make it um, stand out. So if you want to create a pattern and, but make it little morph into your background a little bit more, it does that and it stands out in its own way. It's a great way as well if you want to do like um, no lines colouring. Like yeah. Take the blue, colour in blue, and, and you haven't got the, and it looks as if you've done like the no lines colouring effect. They're, they're exactly the same as the other microns, which means they um, are permanent, they're archival, um, like that. Now the PN stands for plastic nib. Okay, and the only the reason it's denoted along that way is it was just a way of saying that if you wanted to use these as writing ones, you can use you it as use writing them. ones. So it was just a way. It's a, a zero five, which is like in the one day special. That's the thickness of the actual okay. nib for them, I believe, off the top of my head. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that was a good memory, wasn't it? Very good. Well done. <laughs> I just agreed with you. To be <laughs> but so you, you've got that that thickness. But they are they are brilliant for you know adding that. They're also great for. Um, like if you've got a flower design and you want to add highlights inside the flower with all the lines, you can now do it a similar colour, uh, cross hatching rather than doing it in blacks. Oh. It all ch it, it can change. It's the colourways that I like. Cause I don't know about you at home. I don't have the, the widest ink range when I'm doing stamping, but I have a few, and I have a grey, and I have a black, and I have a, a deep red for Christmas. Color. But you get them colours in here, mm. so you get that burgundy. So if I do miss lines. How do you normally fill them in? You normally have to go really far with a paintbrush and try and fill, or after mm. you over stamp, then you get like double blurred vision stamp if you don't get it quite right. With this, because you do get your burgundy, you get your red, you can fill those lines in. You're going to get your purple, you're going to get your pink, you're going to get your standard black, and you're going to get your blue as well. So you really can go to town with all the colours. £13 for £13.98, you really can't go wrong. 40% now of the stock has already gone. 559910 is your item number. Now, if you want to try a bit of everything, this is this is the way to go. It is. It's because you get twelve of the stardust, six of the metallics, five of the moonlights, and you get a white. So you get a little bit of absolutely everything. Now that's a stamp from Clever Prince that I've actually just coloured with the starlights. So oh, think of your stamped images, and you know how you can actually colour them. Um, I know, obviously, Alex brought her colouring book in, and she used it in the colouring book. But you've got, if you think about flowers, butterflies, fairies, like you were saying. You can do all of those designs, and yes, in the bigger areas, I have watered it out, only because why not make your ink go as far as you well, possibly can? Why waste it? And so, and they do blend together, and they look, and I think they look lovely. It adds a different level to it. And now, we were all shocked this morning when we said this was the pens. This, from that, which are standard pens, which we all think would be a pen set, 
is that? So, I mean, along the top there is like the silver colour that's in there that you just watercolour out. And then all the layering of the feathers is, which is what I'm going to try and get you to do. <laughs> which is what I was told this morning, this is what we're going to recreate. I was like, no way, not in a million years. But all it is, is doing flick marks with all layering up all the different colours. I now, love them. And, and that is a stencil. I drew around um, a bee crafty mask there. But I've just gone for the same colour families. So I've used a glaze, I've used um, the metallics, I've used the glitters, I've used the moonlights. So you can stick to the same colours and, and, you know, and, do, and doodle within a design or break it up and do all the different patterns that you want. I like it. And you've got all of that within the pack. You get them all, so you get a bit of everything. A little tester pack, you could call it. £34.99. Uh, 245810 is your item number. Now, we're already busy on your jelly roll pens. You're one step ahead of me uh, on this one. Uh, pick any set. You've got three sets to choose from. Uh, for £20 is what you're looking at. Um, if your budget will stretch, three packs, 60 quid. Go open a flexible payment and then you've got every colour that you will need. Where are we starting? What are these? Moonlights. Let me show you the moonlights first of all. Uh, those are the pens. Those are what they look like. Uh, then this is your swatch of what your moonlights will look like when you get them home on blue, uh, on blue, on black and also on white cardstock uh, that you get there. Uh, you normally don't know what colour pens to use and normally it dulls it down if you use it on black card. But these are vibrant. These are still the same colour. They are and oh, when they brought these out I was like, yay. <laughs> uh, I know it sounds really silly because they're in everyday colours you've got there. You've got a beautiful True. teal, the greys. I think it makes a change to have a, a grey um, because you could use the soft greys instead of a white if you didn't want the, the brightness yeah. of a white. And then you've got those beautiful like golds and ambers in there and the blue. That, that I, like blue. These, I like these two blues. But the, also, when you see the colours on the white and then compare them on the black, suddenly they take on a different look. Now, the nibs on these are finer than the original um, Moonlights that came out. They're what we call a, um, and I call them a 10 because that's how I'm used to the numbers. <laughs> um, and it's really hard when you see like 0.4 mil and things like that sort of thing. <laughs> oh, bless me. Sorry. Sorry. Well, I did try and warn you. Bless you. Bless but, um, you. So this is slightly finer, but it doesn't mean you can't do anything with them. I mean, I love them. I'll use them on black. I'll use them on white. And they do the... Oh, I, like I said, I was like, oh, yes. You can, yes. And, and this is the thing. <laughs> you can wax lyrical about these pens because there is so much you can... These aren't your standard pens. So that's your moonlight. Uh, let's press on with your glitters. Uh, where are we going next? Glitter, yeah. Uh, you've got your glitters, the metallics uh, that are in there. So these are your metallics. Those are the pens, what they look like. But these are the board that you actually want to see because this gives you your colourways and your little families uh, that you've got in there. So those are your metallics. Once again, beautiful colours. And then last but no means least, uh, you've got your fluorescents. Now, people forget about your fluorescents because nine, nine times out of ten, these are the ones that always are left full. These are the ones in the pack that no one really knows what to do with your fluorescence. Oh, but um, I have to say I do agree with that. It's only the last couple of years I suddenly realised you mix a fluorescent colour with something that's a little bit darker and it gives it a little bit of a punch. I remember and you it, telling me that, and, yeah. And it does work, and it works beautifully. Um, also, the, the fluorescence colour in your flowers, add the, and that's one of the things with the moonlight, they're matte, so they're a direct contrast to something like the stardust or the metallics, which have got those shines to it. So you can then create the contrast between a matte and a and sparkle then, yeah. together, and it does work. I like and, them. and you've got a great range, and you've also got a white in there, and you've got a sparklish one as well. You have got a sparkly black. I noticed mm. that earlier. I, I'm like a magpie when it comes to sparkles. <laughs> uh, the moonlight, top one. A third of the stock is already gone with your moonlights. Um, you're loving your moonlights. I think it's that two-tone that they work on black and also on white, and you get that vivid colour. Um, and also you're getting your greys in there. Uh, you imagine doing that on black card and doing like a waterscape. Oh, it'd be absolutely beautiful. Uh, so many things you can do. £19, 99 pence, 792179 is your item number. Now, koi pens. These koi pens are amazing. I am lucky enough to have a set of these koi pens um, and they're Molly's go-to pen, unbeknown to me, and I, it, it, it sort of pains me every time she says, can she use them? I'm like, oh, oh, really? You want to use those ones? And have all the pens I've got. Uh, and she likes, she absolutely adores them because she can use them. And Molly's into, I should have really brought her work in. Um, she's into her watercolouring. She loves using the water brush. Um, 
she has her own, because I won't let her touch mine. Uh, so she's got her own <laughs> water brush. But she uses these with... But she loves colouring them because she finds them... She knows how to use a pen. Mm. She knows how to use a felt tip. And she knows that she hasn't got to use a lot of colour. Because they're heavily pigmented, she knows a little goes a long way. Maybe I've drilled that into her. But a little <laughs> goes an awful long way with these. It does. And also... Um, you can do like um, tip on tip and change the colours, which means you can then blend it out different different way. Um, Ooh, you nice. can you know you can watercolour them out, but you can actually just colour with them, and you know just leave them as is if you wanted to. You don't actually have to watercolour if that's what you want to do. I mean, when I travelled a little bit more on the train, I used to take them with me because. I didn't necessarily have to watercolour if I didn't want to. I could just lay down the colour, you know, and it does. Like you say, they do pack an absolute punch they with do. the colours. Oh, they are. They're lovely. They're lovely pens. And you get, you've get you got a beautiful range of colours there as well. And you've got all your flesh tones. Mm. I've only just started uh, working with flesh tones because um, uh, I, I bought some stamps the other week. And I thought, oh, I've got no flesh tones. And normally you don't get the right ones. This one, you've got everything in between mm. from where you want to go. You've got all your forest greens. You've got your blues for the sea in there as well. You've got your purples when you want to add. You've got those re deep reds in there. You can go Christmas. You can go Halloween with these. £22.50. and pence. I can tell you now, you will not be disappointed. You will not be disappointed while you get these. Because you will so use them. I'll show you some quick samples of how they all used. Uh, there is so many things that you can do with them when you get them home, all using uh, the koi pens. You can go from the most vivid to the most subtle, and you've then got everything in between as well. £22.50 across two flexible payments. If you're going for these, though, you need the decent mediums to draw onto, and I've got those as well. I've got two journals this time. You've got the A4, and you're also getting the A5 mixed media journals, 160 GSM. Uh, this is the same, the little one is the same one you're getting in your one day special. I've also got the big one uh, on the show as well, which was the paper that, as I said, that we'll be using uh, throughout the course of the hour. £17.98, 996. 802 is your item number. I've also got the sketchbooks on the show. It's the first time I've seen these. These are cute. Uh, the sketchbooks that we've got. Now they come in a set of two. Uh, you get the large and the medium uh, included. And then. We've also got the black ones as well. Let me bring in the details for those. I like this. So what's the difference? What's, what's the difference between all these books? Like, is there one that you would go for if we were just starting out? They're all, they've all got a different quality about them. The, the different colour in the paper for starters. That one's a little bit more creamier from the Royal Talons. Then the other, um, the Royal Talons on the screen there of more ivory. We've got the black version. Um, I have to say I've got all of them. You know, and I use them all for different, different, different things. things. Um, yeah, that sounds really greedy, doesn't it? But it, there is different things I would do in different books, and I just do it that way. You know, you just go. And I, my Sakura journals, I love them as well. It's worth having a little look at nine pack for nine ninety eight. You can't go wrong. Let's be fair. Uh, nine ninety eight for two. I know. I feel that may be wrong. Uh, nine ninety. I genuinely do feel that might be wrong. Uh, 847330 is your <laughs> item number. Even even Luz thinks it's wrong, and we didn't touch on them yesterday, so no one would have really picked this up. Uh, jump on them while you can. I reckon that price may change. Yeah, let's come off it. Um, yeah, I know, but I feel I might get into trouble. Uh, right <laughs> then, uh, we'll gloss over that. Uh, what well, we up to? This is my journal. I, you were talking about the moonlight, and this is the new moonlight, and I just swatched it out. So, I, I mean, I love a colour swatch. I'm a little bit of a geek with a colour swatch. Um, but this is using all those moonlights that are on the pick and mix. And I've just literally started from the dark blue and gone all the way across. So, you know, you can use them, you know, if, if that's what you want to do. And why not, if you're going to colour swatch, why not make it an enjoyable colour swatch, you know, that, you know, rather than doing it that is way. Is this the pick and mix that we can pick, pick any five? No, that's the glaze. Okay. I'm talking about when you were doing the moonlights from over Oh, the big packs, there. the packs of yeah. three down at the but, bottom. But I just want to say, you know, so... They do, you don't think they would work, but they do. They look nice. Even the darker colours on the centre really still stand out. It's really, so, and the TV's doing this no justice, no, I'm not going to lie. In real life, it is beautiful. Oh, thank you. And then you've got the book as well. <laughs> well, I got the book. But one of the other things I wanted to say about the white pens, she says trying to find a page that I'm going to share with you. I'll get there. You know when you've got so many pages? There we go. Oh, I'm the same when I doodle. <laughs> now this is actually done all the outline in the number eight pen that we've got in the one day special but then I've watercolored the white out 
So don't, don't think it just has to be, um, you know, just for doing those highlights. Actually use it like you would do everything else. And then the moonlights, I've added the extra colour with the moonlights to, to make it like a lemon so that's yellow. That's the white... That's the white jelly roll pen. Um, it looks like gesso. But no, that's the white jelly roll pen. So I've done the outline and then I've coloured it in and I've blended it out as you've seen me do with the other colours as well. So you can still do that with your white pen. You've even done shadows and stuff like that. Like the shadows. Head, like she's got a halo around her head. Like there's, we've got like a really bright light on it in the studio, but we haven't. Um, the ha they are actually the moonlights. You know, you were saying what do you do with the fluorescent? So that is the yellow and the orange moonlights yeah. gone around with the white. And, and now you can change it. Again, so don't just think that they, you know, you just have to use them just to put little dots in eyes. You can use them for lots of other things as well. <laughs> I'm, I'm just hearing now, uh, you're all buying that sketchbook. Um, uh, what do I The nine for two of them, you're, but, all, you're all jumping on board with that. Um, I, it is oh. here, now it's... Uh, it's... I am here. Oh. Uh, you're meant... The, I don't think these are meant to be nine quid. <laughs> They're not, even yeah. Lou's saying no. Um, 40% of the stock has already gone. Um, well, yeah, two bu I don't think I've ever done two books. And I, I, this is genuine. I generally I, think this is wrong somewhere along the line. But now it's on the telly, we have to do it at 9 98 Because normally the, the, the bigger of the books, I think the cheapest we've done it is £7, £8. Well, that's what I thought. So that means you're getting the smaller book for no more than a couple of quid. I mean, OK. I, I, I love the books because, one, it's got an elastic. Yay. As the books grow bigger, it keeps it there. But the that other thing I, I like about the books is every single one of the books, whether it's black or the um, ivory, has a huge pocket in the back. And the side bits here on the pocket are actually material. Oh. They're not card. So they take and expand. At 50% of the staff of those <laughs> books now. 50% of the staff of the books have already gone. Now it's on the TV. Is that I'm Janice who's bought it. those 50? <laughs> ja Janice loves these books. Yeah. Uh, now we put it on TV, now we put the price on the TV, there's not much we can really do about it. Uh, it's a 9.98 if you want them, 60% of the stock of the books have uh, now already... Look at me leaning. Uh, ...has now already gone. £9.98, pence. you get both books. You're getting both of them. These are the ones I Lou uses. I am still here. 80% uh, of the stock of the books now has already gone. It's the black page books. It's going to work with your one-day special. You get the large and you get the small as well for 9 dollars Technical sold out. A technical sellout. All in baskets. If you've got them in your baskets, oh. I would definitely start checking them out if I was you. Once again, it's the first time I've seen them. Uh, what the pink one, big or small? Uh, but I've got, because I've even got a smaller one as well. I've got a really tiny one. Well, both of these are 10 quid. Mm. I know. 10 nights? For that big A4 sort of book, I know. It's all in the prep, Adam. You should really read the emails they sent you out. <laughs> uh, just in case you miss out on the black ones, uh, the other sketch, which I'll open one for you just so you can see the colourways, uh, you are getting. Uh, good, qu there's good quality paper in here that you're looking at. You're getting 80 sheets and it's 140 GSM uh, is what you're looking at this. Can you throw all mediums at this as well? Um, sometimes with a thinner paper like that, clear gesso. Oh, or stick two sheets together, I guess. Yeah. You could even stick two sheets together. Now, I'm, I'm going to be honest and say, if you're going to stick two sheets together, leave one side open because you make yourself a pocket. Yeah. And then suddenly you can put other little bits and pieces in there as well. Um, so you might as well make the book go as far as it possibly can. 30%. 30% of this bundle has now already gone. 40% of the stock now has already gone. £10.98 pence uh, for these two. Um, 460, half the stock now has already gone. Uh, 460159 is your item number. If you missed out on the black ones, this is your next little bundle. There is a tiny little one, 60% of the stock of this bundle now has already gone. Uh, is the tiny one on the show? I think the little tiny one might be a final call. But if you want these ones, if you want these, 60% of the stock now has already gone. £10.98. pence. I have never seen them for this price before. Never seen both of them for ten ninety eight. Um, there's going to be a meeting tomorrow. I can feel it. Four six zero one five nine is your item number uh, for these two. Um, limited stock is what we are for these. I'm just going to stay on them until they sell out. <laughs> uh, limited stock is what you're looking at now. Get them while you can.
I genuinely don't know if we can get any more. I didn't realise there were this price, to be honest. I walked in. You saw the video on Facebook Live this morning. I walk in, I have a rough look at the products, and then I let Lou do my work. Uh, so 460159 <laughs> is your item number uh, that you're looking at, please. Technical sellouts, they've also gone. Well done if you got hold of those as well. Uh, right then. Um, all I've got left is the big blue one, which is the paper that we're going to be using. Well, we're using the A5 version during the demo. So if you want to get the blue one, <laughs> we will go to a demo in a minute. Uh, this is a set of two. So you get this one. Oh, I'm really messing up cameras. Sorry, Hannah. It's your last day. You don't care. Uh, so uh, you get both of these this time for 1798 Which now you're thinking, 1798 And you paid a tenner for the last ones. Uh, Quality paper, though, as I said, we'll be using this. I've got this at my little polling station that I just got here, uh, my little booth. Uh, 17.98 for both books. Ring bound, and you can tear the pages out of this one, okay? So that is the perk that is perforated, where you can't tear, really tear them out of this one. Now, now we've all bought books. We need something to put in them. We need a set of pens. Right then, Lo, this is, <laughs> <laughs> this is your bit. <laughs> I know you go, OK, now I was quite happy. I, I've torn this out. <laughs> Just, just to show you that you know you can tear out, but you've got the perforations here, so you can leave this bit in if you want to, and you can just perforate that edge, and the page comes out really neatly. Um, so you can work on it, and I've just taken the pages out just for um, actually working on, because it's easier than sometimes using the book. But we'll use it the book today. But I'm going to use an absolute mixture of everything. Okay. I thought, why not? Why not? Might as well. We've got yeah. nothing else. And I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. You know when you got now. This is the one that you are going to join me with. And I've put it over where you are some koi. So oh. I. Okay. Oh, you know, you're just getting there. <laughs> so we've got a selection of the, the actual koi. And you should have a stamp block. Stamp block. And all we're going to do is we're just going to put some of the koi down on the stamp block. Koi and stamp block. And just put them wherever you want to do them, mix the colours up. Just do a line, do a squiggle, do a circle. I love these backgrounds. You taught me to do these Vasco <laughs> weeks ago, and this is all I do now. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of the yellow, just because the yellow can then give us um, like an orange with the pink and also another green. Okay. And you should also have, if I've, if I've packed you right, they've been there, a little squitzer bottle. Yeah. And all I'm just going to go away from the electrics. I have to work out. And we're going to spritz the, the mat. And oh, so I'm just going to make sure that it all moves. I just want to make the colour move just a little bit and blend into each other. And then we're just going to put it straight away. You should have a piece of this card as well. Yep. And we're just going to put it straight onto the background there. Now, when we make something really watery like this, what's going to happen is the water wants to travel. And we're going to force the water to travel now, which means we're pushing it through each of the different colours. <sighs> So when, we make, when we're pushing it through and we're getting right to the edge, we're moving the colours into each other, so we're creating a, a little rainbow quickly. Right. Now what will happen is when we lift the block up, we don't, naturally we don't lift the whole block away, we always have one side left down. So if we just lift the block up, if you can, from the sides and lift it all together, if there's pools you don't like, you should have some tissue there as well. You oh, can I've then got, I've got in the do that. And then what I'm going to do is, we've got still got some on here, so I'm just going to add some little bits. Why waste it? Why waste? And then we're just going to build it up. And it's just a quick way to do a background. And then I'm just going to dab away. Where I don't want lines, if I can help it. I just want a nice, soft background, muted background for us to work on. And then I'm going to clean the block there. So I'm just going to dry mine off quickly because we we're now going to bring in the jelly rolls and the jelly rolls will be more effective for us on a dry background. Okay. So I'm just going to quickly dry mine. I'm just going to do it both sides. You have a gun. I've got no power. Oh, right. Oh, sorry. It's all right. There we go. Will it still work? So I'll just do that there. And I'm just doing both sides because I want to make sure that it, the paper is fully dry, both sort of thing. Right. OK, so this is now my background here. And all I'm going to do is, you're waving yours around frantically, but um, I'm just going to take some of the different pens. So I've got a blue, and I'm going to make a start. I'm actually going to rip this out because it's easier for me, sorry. You know, it's easier. 
So, and we want to do, and I'm going to, like I said to you about doing a feather. Um, if yours isn't dry, turn it over and work on the other side, and you can then... It feels dry. If it feels dry, you'll know it's not dry, because when you put the jelly roll on, if it feels like it's dragging, it means... It's not working. Yeah. So all we're going to do is we're just going to do... Are we using the glitter ones? That we're using the metallic you, at the moment. I've okay. got a, um, you should have a selection there. And all I've done is like a really lazy J. A lazy J. If, if, so, but I haven't gone right from the start. So I've left about a, a, a three or four centimetres. And then that is just going to be our marker line. And then all we're going to do is with the same pen, we're just going to do flicks. Now, I'm not, and it doesn't matter about the length. It, you know, just go it's and go about. <laughs> Go about halfway down, and then you're just going to get. You should have a water pot there as well, hopefully. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, I've got all that. And then we now we're just going to pull out a little bit of the colour. We're not, and all this is doing is giving us um, an edge point. We're not doing it to blend. It's just giving us a um, a go-to area. Do you know what I mean? That's what we're going to work towards, and we're going to carry on down. So it's oh, not doing. These blend amazing. So we're just going to carry on down. So we're not doing them to blend the lines out because we actually want the lines that we just scribbled on to be there because they're going to be a marker as well for us. Okay. But the blending out is just giving us an edge, a softer edge, so the lines don't seem like they're taking over. It, it, and then you're going to do exactly the same the other side. As I said, it doesn't have to be precise. As you can see, I'm going quite quickly. Don't worry about the, them all being the same length. I'm going to do it that way. But it's just creating a shadow for the outline of our feather. And then I'll go down the bottom. And then at the top here, I'm just going to do a couple there. We'll finish those in there later. And that's just to show me where the top is going to be. And I'm just going to blend these out. And it's just creating a shadow. As I said, do you have to work quite quick with them? You, you do. They're not going to be like a watercolour and stay wet for long because they're designed to, you know, to, to be permanent. But once they're wet, so as we were doing on the glass, the, the quick, you know, the slower you go, the more ink that comes out. So I'm just going to give that a quick blast only because of um, I want to put another colour on. And let's go for, all right, I'm going to go for the purpley metallic. <laughs> and I'm now going in between each of the lines. And I'm not going to... And I'm just going to carry on. And just, you know, just go. Don't think about, um, you know, like, I'm definitely going to go in between each line. Just add colour. If you go over another line, it doesn't matter because you can always go back in with another pen, can't you? Well, just before we move on, um, we've had some bounce backs, okay, on the books, on the pink books that I showed you earlier, okay? So we've got some bounce backs on your books. Let me give you sizes. The size details are currently on the side of the screen at the moment, okay? So you're getting the journals that our, um, Alu uses. So it's the same size as Alu uses, and you get the little one as well, okay? So you're going to get both of these for 10.98 is what you're actually getting uh, in those journals. Um, crack it, still the same, same quality paper that's in there. Uh, it's just you get your, your smaller one, which is good for your travelling, and you also get your large one in there as well. £10.98 is what you're looking at for these ones. Uh, 460159 is your item number for those. We've had, we've had some bounce back. I'd rather tell you now uh, that we've got them, so if some have bounced back, so if they're, not, if they're in your baskets, I'd start checking out your baskets now. So the entices of your pages are there. You get a 9 by 14 centimetre and a 13 by 21 centimetre. 140 GSM is your paper that's in there. They are your sketchbook journals. 460159 is your item number. £10.98 and pence is what you're looking at for those. If they are in your baskets, I'd definitely start checking them out. Um, when you get them home, you will not be disappointed. You really, really won't. They are absolutely a phenomenal quality and the value for money in these are ridiculous. It really, really is. So do definitely start checking your baskets out uh, for those books so don't need to miss out. Let's go back to our very own little feather. <laughs> right, I've now taken a moonlight and gone over the two metallics. So you can, you don't, the metallics don't just have to stay with the metallics. You can use all the jelly rolls together um, 
if you want to use them separately, do. But, I mean, you can do them together. So all I've done now with the pink, because I want to create a little bit of a lighter area and build up, is I'm uh, just doing exactly the same. What colours are you using at the moment? I started with the blue. I then went with a purple metallic. Purple metallic? And then I've gone over with a pink moonlight. Okay, we'll bring in the details. Now, my, I can see I've got a little bit of ink on there, and people will say it can clog your, um, the movement, because I can feel it's a bit rough. Just get the, and just roll it on the edge of a tissue, and just take away that bit there, and it will stop the pen blocking. Right, so we've got that bit there, so what colour should we go next? I'm going to bring in, sorry, I'm going to go for a bit of everything. I'm going to go for a sparkle next. And I'm just going to keep building up, and I've gone for a blue sparkle. And I'm just going to keep building up in between. I say in between, and actually I'm just putting it... You know, if it goes on top of each other, it doesn't matter either. So we're just building up the pattern bit by bit. And, I'll, and we can do as many layers as we like until we get the effect that we think the feather is full. Oh, OK. So, as you can see, it's just doing little flick lines... And I'll, and then because we've brought in like the um, using the moonlight, so we've got the opaque, which gives helps with the shadowing a little bit and a little bit of light. And then going back to the original metallic that I used, I'm just now just going to highlight this main area here. I'm not worried about the colouring in because we're going to do a little bit more on it. Okay. And there she goes. So it will carry on and we'll build it up. So in good Blue Peter fashion, I've got one done a little bit further. So I'll, so, and I've done mine in my book. So I've done exactly the same and coloured it in. So it's, I've just carried on building from there and adding more and more layers. And then the final layer that I've gone on, because we used a little bit of the yellow, is I've just taken a little bit of the yellow moonlight instead of a white to add. So suddenly our feather stand, starting to stand out just that little bit more. Now, I'm going to use a stencil, and I have put a stencil out there for you, Adam, as well. Oh, OK, OK. I know you're behind. Don't worry. Don't I'm worry. A, I'm a tad behind. No, you keep... I'll keep going. It's this thing called presenting. It's in <laughs> I the know. Way. I do. Yes. So I'm now going to do um, the white, but I don't want the white to be... Uh, uber white is what I, what I can think of at the moment. And I'm just going to take a stencil. Now, you could do it freehand... Other taxi companies are available, <laughs> <laughs> just in case. <laughs> oh, I didn't think of that. <laughs> uh, and I'm just going to go round the outside of the stencil and I'm going to do just two-thirds of it with the white and then I'm just going to blend it out with a little bit of the damp brush and then I can just get like a subtle bubble effect and I'm just going to build those up again and I'm going to do exactly the same. So oh, I, don't, I don't want it to be really opaque white like the white pens are. I just want it to give us an illusion. And we're just going to do it there. And I'm just going to blend that one out there. So if I pass that, you can have a look at that one there. So now I've just built up, so we've got a little bit more detail from there. Now we were talking about the micron pens and using different colours of, of the micron pens. Yeah. And so what I want to do is I want to grab the pink one. I thought I pulled it out of my pot here. Let's bring up the details for your micron pens. Uh, you're getting six micron pens that's in there. And what I want to do now is just with the micron pens, because we've got the lane there, I'm going to now, I just want to add a little bit more detail on the, my top part here. But I can, because it's a micron pen, I can then, you know, I can put, press down and I can get a little bit so I'm tr I'm using it as if it were a um, black and then any gaps that I've got I can go in with the micron because it's now matching the colors and this is one of the benefits as well of having the colored microns like you were saying with your stamping if you miss a bit yeah I can go and also with the micron pen in doing this as well it dries slightly quicker than a jelly roll so if you're impatient that is true <laughs> and I'm just going to put a little bit of the purple on the top and I'm not going to do much of the purple. I'm I think I've put some microns on there for you as well. But the, by using the purple, I can now add a little bit of a shadow into the feather. So all I'm doing is building up the normal layers that we would do in different ways. And then I'm just going to put the purple micron 
down one edge. I am having a whale of a time. Okay, so then that now I've just decided which side is going to be slightly darker. Your micron pen, 60% of the stock has now already gone. So, and then I can use a little bit on the pink on the opposite side. But I've still then got the metallic running down the middle of my feather, which is what I wanted to do and stand out. So oh, all I'm doing by doing these little edges, and I'm not being precise, is where we haven't gone right into the center, now the illusion is that we have actually gone into the center. And that's where the colored microns really do work. Let's move you out of the way. And then what I thought would be nice is I'm going to bring in some of the glazes. And, oh, oh, let's think what colours. We're going to go, we might as well go for sim similar sort of colours, mightn't we, that we've Bring got. Bring up the pick and mix that these are in. You can choose any five colours is what you can choose with these ones. So, what I want to do is... The page I'm is wet. Just going to do like a um, rectangle uh, with corners, with rounded corners, sorry. Rectangle with corners. So it, it, I'm giving the illusion of um, you should have a whole load of glazes there beside you. Okay. She says. Just put in. You know when you just go. She says. Fingers crossed. And I'm just going to do them roughly the same. Right, that's a nib there. This is me saying to you guys, wipe your nibs clean if they get all gunky. And I didn't follow my own advice. Life lesson, wipe your nibs. It is, it's, because um, obviously the ink will just dry on the edge. So if you feel like there's a lot of ink around there, just roll it on a piece of tissue. And then we'll get one more, which is a blue. Let's do the blue. Blue Sims, life lesson. <laughs> I don't do wipe many of nib. them. So now we've just created, like... Beads are massive. Beads that are holding... Not the feather work. together and if we then go back to the original metallic we used we can then make it look like the feather they flow is coming nice through well. yeah and when they dry then now they take a little bit longer than all the others to dry but when they dry they'll have that slight raised effect and you know that was just drawing so using you know absolutely everything now I can go round with the micron pens because we've got all those colours if I wanted to have a more defined outline. And then just the last thing I want to do is I'm just going to use, um, I'll just put it away, which is a bit silly really. And I'm just going to use my circle stencil again and I'm just going to bring in a little bit of the glaze as a, as a circle area and I'm just going to blend that out. Now if you keep your stencil down and blend out, it's easier because then you don't have to worry about going outside the lines. So I'm just going to do a little bit. The slower you go, the more ink that comes out. <laughs> and because they have a slightly translucent look to them, the pink here has, will pick up some of the blue underneath and suddenly looks more purple in areas. And that's, yeah. what, that's one of the reasons I like the glazes as well. So we can then, and I'm just going to blend that bit out as well. And then that's just a really quick, stylized way to do a feather. And it, you could then have a simple sentiment um, on there. Cut this out of your book, mount it, and you've got a card front straight away as well with a sentiment. So, you know, you can, like you said, you can use the pens for so many different other things. <laughs> Mine is, mine is drenched. <laughs> is it? Oh. But, I haven't got it, but, Ooh. I'm well happy with that. That's looking good. It's still, I still need to go in and find the detail and yeah. do more on the feather. But that's just building up all the different um, the layers strokes. with it. Yeah. And the quicker you do it and you don't think about it, the quicker you, the more natural it becomes. Yeah, and it doesn't become quite a scary sort of thing, you know, so you can do it that way. It was just a way to show how, you know, you can use them for drawing, like you said, and actually doing a little bit of everything. I love that. And it all works, and every single one of those colours, because I did try it on the top, because like, colouring is not the best, and I needed to do bigger areas faster. Um, they work. They all pull out with water. Everything pulls with water. Everything will move with water that you've got. And I'm just using a water brush. That's all I've got. I've got my water brush behind, and that's what I'm using. This is 
a game changer. These are something slightly different. What are you getting in your one day special? So you get your pad, okay? This is the paper that we're using at the moment. I can show you the back of mine because mine's not even dry, uh, but nothing has bled through. Yes, you can see the water, but once that dries, it will all be back to normal again. So we are using the paper uh, that you've already got there. I'm just going to leave it there as a finished sample. Uh, there you go. Uh, so you're using the paper uh, that's also in there as well. Uh, from there, oh, here you go, look. I did that. I've got to side it. Uh, so you've got your feather, you've got your paper, really sturdy paper. Uh, that's in there. From there, you've got your micron pens. Now, they're three blacks, and you get them in the different thicknesses as well, uh, is what you're going to get. So you're going to get your one, your three, your fives. They do your thickers and your thins uh, that you've got in there. Uh, so that sort of covers all bases. Don't worry that they're black and gold. Um, for the sheer fact, that's just the 100th celebration uh, that they've been going for a while. So they sort of know what they're doing when it comes down to these sorts of things. Then we move on to your metallics. These are divine. They really, really are. You've got your sweet, you've got your natural, you've got your forest and you've got your oceans. Remember, they will all move with water, the colourways that you've got there. And if I pop that in, you can see how what they look like on black and what they look like on white that you can see in between. Then on top of that, you've got your white pen. Now, I've never used a white pen before, uh, but it's just to do that sort of small circle detail. You really get those, that bubbleness, that the real life bubble that you're getting on there. Yeah, and if you only do like... Um two-thirds of it and then blend out the rest of it, you get like a semi-translucent effect with the bubbles, which we're doing. Yeah. Uh, then you also, the only way of getting you clear now is going for this big bundle as well. We're approaching how much of that? 40% did I hear? 40% of the stock has already gone. Two flexible payments of £20 and 9 pence. 979867 is your item number. Uh, then you've got your pick and mix pens. These move really, really well with water as well. If you want to cover a larger area, Little scribble down, move them with the water. Obviously, the more water you put on, the lighter the colour's going to get. So you've got that whole palette tone that you've got. You can choose any five uh, that you're going to be looking in here as well, which is absolutely divine. Choose any five colours that you want to go for from your pick and mix. £10.99, 540663 is your item number for this one. Micron pens, I'm rattling through because I've just seen the time. Uh, two thirds of the stock has already gone for your micron pens. Uh, you've got pink, you've got purple in there. You've got black, you've got blue, you've got red, you've got pink, purple, and you've also got your burgundy as well. Uh, they are the colours, and that is the thickness uh, done in the pens. Don't worry about the micron pen, it means plastic nib. Uh, that's what's in all the others' pens. So they're just your normal standard pens that you can do your outlines with. Uh, also, very good writers uh, that you've got there, uh, should you want to use them in your bullet journals as well and to do your uh, work. For from there, bit of everything. This is the set that I think I like. Uh, this is the set that sort of covers everything. So if you want a bit of everything and you want to do the feathers that we've done, this is the sort of set that will give you, enable you to do those feathers, it? because you're getting the clears in there, you're getting your glitters, you're getting your fluorescent colours in there as well, but you're getting colours that you will use every day. They're everyday colours that you will use time and time again. You've got that little bit of glitz and glam uh, that you can see on there. Uh, which I absolutely adore in all of the colourways that you are getting. And you also goes a little bit of glitter as well. £34.99, and pence, three, four, five, eight, one, zero is your item number. From there, you've got your pick and mix. It's not a pick and mix at all, Adam. Get a grip. Uh, £19.99, and pence. it's an option. You can choose any one of the three that I've got here. Uh, you've got your moonlight, uh, your new moonlights with a thinner end. Uh, you've got your metallics and your, your moonlight fluorescence as well that's in there. Moonlights on their own, top one on their own, the busy so far. £19.99, and pence. Uh, you choose your set. Approaching half a cent of your moonlights have now gone. You've got a super fine nib in there now. Uh, so you can really get in with the detail. Your, uh, your nib is 0.35 millimetres, is what you're looking at on your nib end. Uh, £19.99, and pence, 792.179 is your item number. From there, should we press on, secure a pence. I love these. This is what we did the backgrounds with. These are your background friendly. If you've never done, and I want to go, I don't want to tell you how to suck eggs, uh, but if you've never done backgrounds, it enhances all your work. It brings your work to light. I never noticed... Uh, you can see the samples, of course you can. Uh, there's, there's one of them uh, that you've got there. Uh, then, uh, I don't know who did this one, but it's very good doing the background. You've got that one just there, doing your backgrounds that you've got. Uh, you've then got this, 
Once again, all using the Secura pens, doing your backgrounds uh, looking like this. Uh, you've then got these uh, from Lou as well, or you could do backgrounds uh, like this one uh, from here, from the design team. Then you've got leaves, another one uh, from the design team that you've got. Then last but no means least, you've got this one. Or you've got this from the design team as well. Um, very talented, very talented design team. Uh, got, it's just Lou. Uh, we've got a minute and a half, Lou. What do you want to show me quick? Right, I'll show you quick. Right, this is a um, coffee tin. Um, and I've painted it black. And I'm going to be honest, I did say to Adam, the reason I painted it black was oh, it was getting too much effort to sand it, just <laughs> to get rid of the marketing. So they went with the black. And I'm just going to take the, the metallics. Um, and I'm, I wanted to work on the silver, so you could just see it does work there. I'm just going to take the lids off, which would have been a good idea. And I've just punched some holes um, with my cropper dial. So the idea is that I can create a candle effect, um, like, like in the garden. Yeah. So, I'm going to go on with my metallic. So I've gone for some slightly darker colours just to show you how well they work. Now, as I said before, when you're working on a really slick surface, you just need to go slightly slower. You've got 45 seconds, Lula. OK. I'll do one bit there. So that's just doing the metallics. What we don't finish now... And I'll, will... I'll whiz round as if I did it before. So that's using the metallics again. And I've just gone round and added the different doodles. And then on a the glass, I've done the same again I so this like is that. a glass jar now this could easily just create your own border put a little candle in there an initial absolutely everything it's worth having a little look at if i was you uh, we'll be back 12 o'clock with our alex i'm back again at four o'clock and we'll do some more demos uh, both hours as well but i'll be having a little play we'll do some more techniques at four is what we're going to do uh, thank you lou no, thank always you. a pleasure uh, thank you as well don't go anywhere else out of breath or is it just me i think it's just me uh, designer fabrics happy hour with our catherine she's in the building then we're going to go all arty with our leone Did you know you can watch the craft store 24 hours a day seven days a week for free using our app on roku just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player on Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Craft Store channel, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how you do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Craft Store app. Simply press your home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the Channel Store. At the top of the Channel Store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter the Craft Store into the search bar and this will take you to the Craft Store app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the added channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Scroll down to the Craft Store app and press the star button on your remote. You can use the arrow buttons to move the Craft Store to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your favourite TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years, and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it, and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands, such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut, and the Craft Artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design.
very good morning to you, everybody. Yes, I'm kicking my day off today with a happy hour. Do you know, I finished my day yesterday with happy hour. Kicking today off with one as well. And it's all about fabric. It's absolutely amazing what we've got here. I've had a good look through everything. We've got some really good bargains for you. Now, remember, it is a happy hour, so that means the prices will go up right at the top of the hour. So on the dot at 10 o'clock, that's when you'll see the prices return to their usual price. So look at the yellow box there. You've got the saving in that box. And we've got some fantastic savings savings for you as well. We're going to uh, have a look at everything. In fact, you can be shopping ahead of us. We will have a little look at the website shortly because that's where you'll see absolutely everything. Oh, we've changed seven day savers this morning as well, haven't we? Oh, yes. Do I have a look at those a little bit later? Let's have a look here. We can tell you that the honey bundle is already flying out. In fact, in such a fast speed that I don't know if we're going to even be able to show you that. We've got Christmas. We've got Halloween. We've got something for children. We've got something a little bit more vintage. We've got floral. We've got some real bargains, as I say. Look at those fruits as well. Fruits and vegetables. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Lovely bright colours there. Uh, yeah, we've got a seaside or under the sea theme. The black, ra the blank radiance, the 108 metre wide. That is a real good buy. A metre of fabric there, but double the width that you would normally find. Same with the vineyard as well. That's available in different colour choices. So make sure you're checking those baskets out before 10 o'clock and don't miss out on the price drops. Let's have a look what we've got here. Now, we've got a little bit spooky. If Alex was here, I know straight away this would be the one she'd go for. We have got a panel to show you as well, so I'm going to open this out. It's more than a panel. Obviously, you can see we've got other fabric to go with it. Would that be a raven then on there? I presume it would, wouldn't it? Or rather than a crow? Being Halloween, do you think? Probably. It could be a crow. It could be a raven. Let's have a look. Let me make sure I've got this the right way up. Oh, they're all going in different directions, I think. There we are. Let's have a look at this. So you've got your lovely, lovely blocks on here. You've also got your border strips at either end as well. Love the print of this. That is so effective, isn't it? Oh, wow. Already 45% of the stock has gone on this particular option. Do you know what I'd be doing with that straight away? I can see I would cut out those blocks. I would turn them into little goodie bags for children to uh, go trick-or-treating or I would just fill them with uh, with sweets you know maybe you can have a Halloween party or you've got family visiting or grandchildren or something and they're already made up for them I'd definitely multiply on this you need to be quick though because half the stock has already gone really do like that oh do you know I can't shop for two reasons this hour then can I because the price will have gone up by the time I get off air and also I think a lot of the stock will have disappeared as well I love this. I really, really do like this. Wow, it's flying. 70% of the stock has already gone. I do apologise now to Jimmy, who's flooring the show, because I'm making a bit of a mess. Uh, right, OK. 230313 is the item number there. 85% <laughs> of the stock... Lim what? Do you know, shall I just carry on with the details on it? It's going to go. 24-inch panel, that's what you've got there. You've got half a metre of fabric. I can tell you we're now down. <laughs> I was going to say single figures. Oh, I really wanted some of that. Oh, the honeybee. Can we talk about it? No. Is that gone as well? Everybody's up early this morning. There we are. Oh, we've got more, though. We've got more. Please tell me we've got some of this one. We've still got gingerbread at the moment, but the stock is going very, very quickly. I'm going to end up with a blank space here before long. Let's have a look at this. This is a lovely panel. I really like this because rather than having those blocks, you've got sort of a, a, an elongated scene there, haven't you? All the happy little gingerbread people there in their town. You've got the church and the houses and the trees. I mean, there's so many ways you could bring that detail out further. A little bit of quilting or wadding behind there, quilt around the edge, uh, bring out some detail, stitch around the edge of the roof, around the icing, really make that prominent. You could sew on some chenille on there as well, some chenille yarn to make it look like snow. Um, what else could we do? We could put little beads on there. We could sew sequins where the baubles and the sweets are. I just love it. I would bring out the detail on the wreath in the centre there. I'd make that three-dimensional. I love that. I mean, you could turn it into all sorts of things. It could be, it could be uh, 
you know, you could turn that into a mat, couldn't you? A play mat, maybe, for a first Christmas or something like that. A little bit of wadding. You can always add some more fabric around the edge. It's really bright and colourful. It's not just that piece, though. Oh, already half the stock gone on this one. Look at this piece that goes with it as well, though. Very nice indeed. I do love fabric shows, you know. Just makes me want to go home and sew. Look at this. I've, this is double. So you're getting double. Might as well open it right out. Might as well keep Jimmy busy. It's quite cold in it. It'll keep him warm. Uh, then we've got the gingerbread candy canes. We've got the little heart-shaped biscuits there as well. Such a lovely bright red background. Very sweet indeed. Twelve ninety nine is the price here. Six pounds saving for this hour. Three quarters of the stock has now gone. Item number two six eight one two one. It's going to go as well. You are loving these fabrics already. No way. We're at limited stock. Be very, very quick. Into single figures. Oh, I'm not going to move because I know you're going to, have to bring me back here if I, if I move anywhere. I was just going to say, just say one for me. It's gone. It's gone. I've, I've missed out on everything. Oh, I've got some more. I've got my hands some more later. Right, now we've done the panels. All the panels are always popular. They've all gone. But we do have other fabrics as well, and I promise you, we've still got some treats for you. Now, we've got three pieces here. Uh, we've got the Christmas Miniatures Bundle. I am going to open them out again because it's nice to see everything. Now, these are 44 inches wide, and you've got half a metre of each. So, three pieces, that's one and a half metres in total. I'll tell you what, these are 100% cotton. The quality feels absolutely fantastic. We've got some really good designer names amongst these fabrics as well. Um, in fact, we've got four pieces here, haven't we? Not three. So it's two metres in total. Let me just open them all out. One was hiding underneath. Look at the little Santa's heads. Oh, I mean, you could make some beautiful little stockings or, I think, advent stockings. Put numbers on them. A little bit of fur trim around the top, maybe, or some felt. Hang them on the mantelpiece, make some bunting. That's pretty as well. Let me get this last one. Oh, it's trapped. I've got to be careful because if I pull things out too, too roughly, I might send the whole uh, set sliding down. We don't want that, do we? Uh, mind you, there might not be much left on it. Look at these. These are really lovely. I like the fact that you've got small prints as well. It means there'll be less waste when you're cutting out. You know, you're not matching patterns. Not necessarily anyway, because you, this one's multi-directional, so no need to worry about that. Same with the Santa's heads. And, of course, the lovely green one there as well, non-directional. Absolutely beautiful. I can see play settings, you know, table mats. Um, you could make a little, a little Christmas apron, maybe. Uh, or as my mum calls it, a pinny. Uh, very nice indeed. Twenty-two ninety-nine for the whole bundle. Sorry, Jimmy, I've not done a good job of that one, have I? Nine seventy-five is the saving for this hour. That is five pounds and seventy-five pence per half metre. Really good quality there as well. These are from P and B Textiles. Three four six one three one is the item number, and already a third of the stock has gone. I really like the next one. I hope you like this one as well. Uh, this, yeah, and when I did say we've got some really good designers on board today as well. This is Riley Blake. So you know you're going to get an absolute bargain here. We're going back to Halloween. Look at this. We've got the witches. Oh, it's a good job Janice isn't in. We've got spider's webs. Look, trick or treat. Oh, if there's any left, I might go for this one because I've missed it on the panel. Let's have a look at the next piece. Oh, do you know, I will have to pay a little bit more, but it's still worth it. I want to trim up for Halloween this year. I promised myself I'm going to do it every single year and I never get round to it. Look at the pumpkins. They're like little pumpkin pin cushions, aren't they? If I turn that the other way up, you can see the pins are sticking in the right way then. That is so effective. I've got a pumpkin pin cushion that I need to make that I got from um, um, the lovely Pam. Pam and a lovely daughter who comes here, of course. Let's have a look at this. Now you've got the zips. That reminds me, I can't move that too much because it'll play havoc with the uh, with the cameras. Yeah, Emma and Pam. A lovely little pin cushion. That reminds me of, is it Beetlejuice I'm thinking of? Because the black and white. I know he didn't have zips all over his trousers, but he had black stripes. <laughs> There's four again, of course, here. Oh, be careful. Oh, right. 
what's, what's this one then? This one was hiding underneath. There's a pattern or a design hiding underneath of each one, so it's a nice surprise. They're like little poppers, little press studs, I think, aren't they? So it's kind of a sewing theme because you've got the poppers, you've got the zips, you've got the pin cushions, but then you've got that amazing Halloween stitchy design as well there because you've got needle and thread running through there, look. Spook cotton. I hadn't noticed that to start with. I love fabrics like this because you, you kind of look at them and you you love them, but then when you really start to look, you realize what's actually going on in there. Look at this, blind hemming can be done more rapidly than slip stitching and serves the purpose when there is no objection to stitches that show on the wrong side. So lots of hints and tips on that fabric. I really, really do love that. £22.99 and pence is the price. 9 75 is the saving. We're very busy on this one as well. Oh, there's definitely not going to be anything left. This is Riley Blake. 957-635 is the item number there. An absolute bargain again. 60% of the stock has gone. I'm just going to take that one out of the way a minute because Jimmy needs to... Sort that out for me. Um, yeah, very, very busy. We might not get to see that much longer. You never know. Yeah, check those baskets out. Don't miss out. Right, we have more for you. So this one, Michael Miller is the designer of this one. Beautifully printed fabrics again, 100% cotton. Again, 44 inches wide. Let's see what we've got in on, going on here. Is this a circuit board? <sighs> You see, I recognise that. I've soldered a few um, little bits and pieces on circuit boards in my time. I've fixed tellies and all sorts. I've got a telly now that wants fixing. It, it, needs, a new, it needs a new power board on it. I need to order that. Um, right, you see, you've got to try and mend these things. Don't just get rid and buy new. You can always fix them. Let's have a look at this one. What have we got on this? We have... Oh, is that non-directional? It is, isn't it? Yeah. So look at, very nice, again, I love the colours here. These would make lovely sort of um, bags to put, uh, you know, toys and blocks and things in, or maybe again, use them in a children's room, nice and bright. You could make play mats, cushions, curtains, blinds. Maybe you've got a budding, what's the word I'm looking for? A budding, um, oh, not, a, not an electrician, because circuit boards aren't so much, well, they are, but they're not. A technician. That would be better, wouldn't it? Yeah, technician. A budding technician. Yeah, Andrew in tech would love this, I think. I think these are these sort of colours. We've got protractors on here. We've got parallelograms. We've got rectangles. We've got right-angled triangles. No, we haven't. We've got... We've got... Uh, yes, we have. We've got trapezoids in there. We've got rulers. We've got all sorts of things. And <laughs> my favourite one, I'm saving the best till last, but you get them all. Look at this. Oh, the little scientists. I love, love, love that. Look at the happy little faces. Oh, this would be great if you're making bags for children for school. Oh, another amazing price as well. Twenty two ninety nine. You're saving nine seventy five again. These are Michael Miller designs. Seven four nine nine one nine. Again, you're getting four half meter pieces, all forty four inches wide, all one hundred percent cotton. Oh, aren't they sweet? Right, we've got another one. Another pack of four, a bundle of four. Now this is very pretty. I adore the colours in this. Everything I love: blues, purples, and the beautiful sort of limey green is coming up as well. Let's have a look at this. So this is blank lunar. So you've got almost a paisley pattern in this one. And that lovely sort of lavender colour that is in there works very, very well. Non-directional again, so you can see very little waste on that particular piece. Now this next one, this is striking. This is absolutely stunning. This is the sort of fabric I would choose to make a nice dress out of, I think. There we are. Look at that. How beautiful is that? They're perfect for fussy cutting, aren't they? You could cut it. I mean, let's let's take this one, for instance. If you cut this one out here, you could put a little bit of wadding underneath there and sort of puff it out a little bit. Same with these flowers. I mean, you've got duplicates or triplicates or I don't know how many times. We've got multiples of all the different flowers there. You could even try a little bit of decoupage with your fabric. I think that is absolutely beautiful. I wouldn't mind a bag made of that. 
Let's have a look at the next one. There's one hiding underneath as well that I've not seen yet. We'll, ah, we're back to the paisley. Different colourway on this one. Same print as the first one, but a little bit stronger in colour. Look how these work together. I'm really glad I've got this show. I'm loving these. There we are. And the fourth one, which I haven't even seen yet. Let's have a look at this one. I was thinking it was going to be the same as the floral one that I showed you secondly. But it's not. It's different. Again, very, very pretty, those colours. Very nice indeed. £22.99. We're very busy on that one as well. I am not surprised. Uh, 9.75 saving again. 3.72.522. Half of the stock of that particular option or that item number there has now gone. Beautiful. If you want to buy more than one as well, I'm not, I can't say that these are going to be a continuous length. They may come as separate half meters, but if you've got projects in mind and you're liking something at these prices, do add more into your baskets. Don't miss out on them. We've seen how quickly some things are dis disappearing rapidly, not even getting to some of them and they're gone. 372522, remember, if you want the blank Luna. Now, we do have some more, and these are from Michael Miller again. Really pretty colours again. We've got another whole bundle here. Oh, we've got pink elephants on this one. Shall we have a, can we open them all again? Can we do that? I'm getting a cross look from Jimmy's. Mm. <laughs> He's not really. He's going, yeah. yeah. He likes to keep busy. There we are. Look at that. So, again, non-directional. Very pretty because that would work any way up, wouldn't it? Depends what you're making with it. You know, if you want something on the bias or there's a particular way it needs to go, that is super pretty. Then let's have a look at the pink elephants. Now, this is nice because look at the flowers in the hair with the, the blues. They really stand out well, don't they? They really pop. Oh, look how happy the elephant is there. They say, don't they, if the elephant's trunk is up in the air, that it's very happy. And it looks a very happy elephant, that one. Going left, going right. Very nice indeed. And then, of course, to go with it, you can see we've got more. Look at the green, how it picks out the colours here. Beautiful if you want to use these together. You can use them, of course, on their own as well. Everything's a standalone. Oh, this is nice as well. This is a mandala design. So would you call that a mint green, do you think? It's a very pretty colour. I'd say mind, uh, it's kind of a mint green in the background and then a slightly stronger... Um, oh, Hugh is saying sage green. It is kind of sagey a little bit, isn't it? Very, very pretty. Very pretty. And you've got the same sort of green running through the next piece, but with the lighter background, it just does stand out very differently as well. There we are. Half metre pieces again, all 44 inches wide. Let's have a good look at the print on this one. There it is. Beautiful. $22.99, another one with a $9.75 saving, item number 353805. Those beautiful fresh colours there, very nice. Uh, we're moving on to the next one. Are we staying with Michael Miller here, or are these a different... The, ah, now if you like your names, if you like your names, we've got another Riley Blake. Now this is a set of three. This is so sweet. It's absolutely adorable. I, I love this. This reminds me of, um, is it Lucy Atwell I'm thinking of? Lucy Atwell designs for the images. That's what I'm thinking of. I might be wrong. <laughs> Look at their little faces. Oh, very, very pretty. Almost a, a duck egg sort of colour in the background. I would describe that as there. And of course, been three pieces. We've got other bits that will go with this, but again, they stand alone. Oh, look, we've got babies sewing. Oh, we need a bit of a warning on this one. I've just spotted one of the babies has got the iron. Oh, that's a bit of a no-no. Look, they've got the scissors and everything. <laughs> oh, look how sweet the little one is with the sewing basket. <laughs> I love it. Oh, we've, we have had some information coming about this. From Jane, this started off as a cartoon by an American lady. It became some of the earliest classic girls in the in the twenties and thirties. Q Q, is that say Q pie? I do. I knew I recognised it from somewhere. I don't know why I'm thinking. What is Lucy Atwell then? Yeah, I, 
you you can see is that the same did jane say you know you used to get the posters and things as well like for the soaps and that sort of thing to have us didn't we see this on posters this, these little babies i think we might have done you know I am quite old, but I don't quite date back to the 20s and 30s. So I can't say I saw it firsthand. <laughs> oh, look at the baby in the teacup. <laughs> oh, these are such pretty colours. And I love the darts look on the dishes and the teapot or on the kettle, whatever it is. There. The oven glove as well look beautiful. That would look lovely in somebody's kitchen, actually. If you turn that into... Um, oven gloves you know use that thermal wadding in between uh, placemats again a uh, little blind maybe for the window such pretty colors to go in a kitchen 17 pounds and 49 pence you've got a seven pound saving there there's and 60 percent of the stock has gone six nine eight zero one zero and thank you jane for emailing in that was very very interesting very kind of you to do that uh moving on again We've, we saw this on the website, didn't we? These are so bright. We've got the food for you. So these look like... Are these courgettes? Are they courgettes or are they... I think they are. Gherkins, that's it. That's what I'm trying to think of, gherkins. Yeah. There is a big difference, actually, especially when you eat them and you taste the flavours. Very, very bright. I love that green. Absolutely adore it. I know what these are. <laughs> these are chilies. I was going to say peppers till our uh, Ross said it, trying to catch me out. These are chilies, red hot chilies. There we are. Beautiful again, lovely contrast there. Look how they work together. Because you've got that red, you've got mainly the green showing through on the uh, gherkins, but then you've got the brightness of the red and together they just work beautifully. And then, oh, one of my favourite, favourite fruits. We've got the watermelon. Oh, I love watermelon. I love all um, melons. I like gala melons as well. No, no, it's not gala. I do like gala, but honeydew melons are my next favourite, I think. Yeah, there's loads of different melons, isn't there? Lots of different varieties. £17.49 is the price here as well. You get three half metre pieces and they're all 44 inches wide. It doesn't say it on the screen, but they are. 100% cotton as well, £7 saving, 141881. Getting busy for these as well. Honestly, do you know, I can see, you know, if you're still barbecuing outside or you're having uh, parties and friends and family around, how lovely and bright would they look? Again, bunting. I would make bunting with that because you're still going to see the colours and the designs, even if you cut that quite small. Very nice. 141881 is the item number. Then we're going under the sea. We're back to Michael Miller. These are very sweet as well. Beautiful colours once again. Oh, it's not just for children. It is for adults as well. But I just, every time I see designs like this, I think, how sweet. Again, how much are children going to like these? You've got whale... You've got the swordfish in there, you've got octopus, you've got turtles as well, the little fish. What is it? It's not a swordfish, it's a, an well, is it? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, swordfish is, yeah, it doesn't look quite like that, does it? <laughs> I just saw the pointy bit. <laughs> you've got the school of fishes, or is it a school of fishes? We have this every time there is a difference. You get both. You get skulls and you get schools. I like the crab. On oh, the seahorses as well. Yeah, a skull of fish or a school of fish. One is a little bit more sociable than the other. One's kind of where they're all congregating and they're all friends together. And the other is when they're all swimming off in the same direction. And I can never remember which way around it is. I'm guessing the school might be the more sociable one. Possibly. Mm -hmm. We'll find out, perhaps. Uh, maybe Jane's watching and she knows the answer. A school of fish. Yeah, I was right, yeah. A school of fish is where they're swimming together. Um, they're all friendly. They're getting on well. You know, they're very sociable. They're having a little bit of an underwater party. Um, and then the school of fish, that's where they're all swimming off in one direction. All following each other. Look at the whale. What do you call the, the, you know when the water comes out of the whale's head? What do you call it when, it, when, there is a name, I'm sure there is. Would it just be a plume of water? I don't know, nobody knows, everybody's going. Jane knows, Jane knows everything. Uh, look at those sweet little seahorses. Oh, 
those blues are beautiful and then the oranges and the yellows really do stand out and again you've got that green in there absolutely gorgeous 1749 you've got three half meters there uh we got the schools and the schools the wrong way <laughs> scolin is when they're swimming somewhat independently but are they all going in one direction no School, oh, schooling is when they're going in one direction in a coordinated way. Schooling is when they're all mixed up together and just doing their own thing. Yeah, just deciding, you know, which way they want to swim. It's just how they feel on the morning or the afternoon, I suppose. Uh, but, you know, it doesn't matter. You're getting them on there, school skulls. What have we got on there, actually? Yeah, it doesn't matter if you're a fish. Have we got? They're going in one direction. It's a school. A school of fish. There, we sorted it out. 672208 is the item number. Another £7 saving. Remember, these are happy hour prices. A third of the stock gone on that one. Happy hour prices, that means at 10 o'clock, the prices will, of course, revert back to the price. You can see at the top of that little block there, above the yellow, that's the original price. It says our usual price. Yeah, we've got some great buys for you today. Uh, right. Oh, what, what's that? We've sold out something else. What's gone now? Oh, oh, it's that one, isn't it? No, this one's gone. This one was not even done yet. That was a really, I wanted that because you get 108 inches and you get a metre. I'd got a plan to make something with that. It's gone. <laughs> There's some very lucky people out there. You're shopping ahead. You know what's happening, don't you? Can't give the details because it's gone. Ah, maybe I can settle for one of these because these are 108 inches wide as well. And these are a metre. I'll tell you what, these, again, the quality feels absolutely amazing. These are quite heavy, in a sense. They've got a lovely texture to them. They are 100% cotton, but they are quite, you know, they're kind of a medium weight. Uh, absolutely beautiful. I'm going to open one, I think, because... Well, yeah, 108 is wide, isn't it? It's, it's kind of double what we've seen previously. And a metre, so you're getting an awful lot for your money here. So I am going to open this out so you can appreciate what you are getting in total. I might have to just sort of sling that around the front of the counter there. Look at this for 14.99. We need to start at one end and go to the... 108? There's no way I can hold that in one go. I'm going to, our Jimmy's managed to get hold of the other end. This is enormous. We can't even get it all on the screen. 14.99. I'm going to walk along. Um, <laughs> yeah, if I walk along, I look like a school of fish. <laughs> There's only one of me. There needs to be more. 14.99 and you've got a choice of colours here as well. Five pounds saving. Really, really good buy. That is a big piece of fabric. So if you want to do a larger project or make something to wear, perhaps. 14.99. Let me show you those other colours. That's the blue option we've got there. In fact, it's dark blue. We've got dark purple. And we've also got the dark green as well. Very, very nice indeed. Um, the busiest one is actually the dark green. Good choice. Very good choice. See, green works with everything, doesn't it? That's all for all seasons as well. But that green goes with everything because it's an earthy colour. Yeah, what a nice tablecloth. You, you could use that at Christmas and then put some, you know, table mats on that are maybe in a gold or a red if you're going with a traditional theme. Or you could bring in whatever colour you wish. 247592 is the item number there. That £5 saving is yours until 10 o'clock. We're having a very busy hour. In fact, as we tidy up a little bit, we're going to tell you all about Flexi. Lots of you, I think, need that basket open. You're spending lots of money. You're grabbing some bargains. Here we go. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on Flexi Buy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi order offer. 
This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Yes, certainly take advantage of that flexi basket and spread the cost. That means maybe you can afford a little bit more today as well. Over on the website, we've got more for you. We're going to look at the fabrics we've got left shortly. But we've got brand new seven-day savers that launched at 8 o'clock this morning. So let's see what we've got in store. This is the first time I'm seeing these as well. So it's a surprise for me. Let's see what goodies we've got. Saving over 70%, remember. Uh, now, often we see the stocks disappear before the time goes. Straight away, I love the first bundle. You've got books. I just love books. You've got knitting for children and you've got knitting, book, bundle, uh, motifs, blocks, projects and all sorts of things in those books. 11.48 for both of them. Uh, trim it. You've got the Christmas sewing bundle. Oh, you've got an advent calendar kit in there. Cross stitch in there as well. You see, I'm thinking ahead again. These are gifts that you could be separating down. 16.44 is the price there. Then we've got jelly bean crafts. We've got all sorts of embellishments. Another Christmas collection. So I'll go for Christmas now. But something next. We've got the four seasons. So not just for Christmas. We've got, of course, spring, summer, autumn, and winter when it comes to Sweet Dixie. You've got stamp collections there. 25 stamps in total. £31.49. Now there's more. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, Fiskars. Fiskars have been going a long, long time. Really good brand. You've got scissor sharpener in there. Uh, that's handy, isn't it, to have a scissor sharpener? Oh, uh, we've got the Walther Strong Jumbo Reel of Permanent Foam Tape. 40 metres. I think I need to buy that. I've run out of foam tape. That's a really good buy. 9.99. I'd multi-buy on that one if I was you. Uh, chipboard. That's a handy bundle as well. These are good. 9.99 is the price here. 60 pieces. And then, oh, we've got this superb Pink Frog Crafts A4 Super Smooth Card. You can never have enough of that. You never want to run out of it. $16.98 is the price there. We've got even more. Oh, I like those. We've had some brilliant stencils. We had some uh, Pronti stencils that ran out yesterday for, for a ridiculous price. We've got another four here. 150 by 150 millimetres. That's almost, that's, we call that six by six. So if you're not sure the size there, they are 6 by 6 stencils. Uh, love those designs. The self-adhesive A4 paper. That's a good buy. 100 sheets for 9 99 Oh, now I'm wondering. Yeah, that. So with the self-adhesive paper, you could put your foiling on there. You could put your glitter on there. You can die coat and stick down. That is a really good buy. Don't miss out that, that one either. Uh, decorative craft button collection. Oh, I love buttons. Uh, £14.20. And, and then we've got the Dylon set of 10 fabric paints. For £9.99. You're loving that one. You found that one. That is literally flying out. Ten different colours there. Yellow, red, dark, red, dark, blue, bronze. That's just a, a small selection. Or is it two of each you get in there? One, two, three, four. Let's have a closer look at that. We need to find out more details. Let's see. Uh, oh, there's th it's three red on the picture. We've got a blue, we've got a yellow, but you've got the primaries there and you've got the bronze. Handy to have the primaries because, of course, you can mix those together. So you can make your purples, your greens, your oranges. So really, that is much more than 10, 10 pots. In the, well, it's 10 pots, but you've got much more than the colours that you're seeing there. Stamp onto your fabric, paint it in, heat set it, I don't know, stitch into it, put beads on there. It just opens up those options. Great for your sewing people and your mixed media. 999-873-203. We've got some great bargains, haven't we? We really have seven day savers. The price will not change at uh, 10 o'clock. That's just for the happy hour deals. And I'm looking down the counter. A lot's gone. A lot has gone. Let's see what we've got left, though. So the first selection we've got for you, we're back to the, the bundles of four half metres now. These are 44 inches wide. And we're going to look at the Christmas bundle first. I'm surprised we've got any of these left. 85% of the stock has gone on this particular one. We've got our little Christmas motifs here. Very sweet. I mean, these are, I mean, they're just beautiful, aren't they? You can make small projects with them, larger projects. You could make a little 
lap quilt possibly as well if you've got a little bit of sashing to go in between they all of course work beautifully together but you could make individual stockings or use this on the top of a stocking where the band is we just want a little bit of detail there very nice 22.99 9.75 is the saving for this hour three four six one three one oh i think this one's gonna go it's still hanging on right okay now we've got a little bit of news as well do you remember the panels that went so quickly we've had one or two the gingerbread panel bounce back that means that somebody or a couple of people not sure how many bounced back but some didn't check their baskets out and if you don't check them out quick enough you will find that things whoops bounce out nearly threw it away again then uh, right we've got I'm going I'm just opening it out so you can see it in a second so with the gingerbread panel you've not just got the panel you've got this beautiful fabric with the gingerbread biscuits on there but look at this panel I adore this I think that is wonderful because you've got one sort of image one elongated image you could cut it down you could separate it or you could fussy cut around things but I wouldn't I'd just keep that as it is I'd just bring out the detail in different ways a little bit of stitching or quilting sewing some beads on there some maybe you've got some sequins like snowflakes I know what was I watching the other day I'd got oh it was uh, Rowan Dean uh, Katrina had got some sort of um, little sequins that were in the shape of snowflakes stitched onto some of her images they look really nice look at the gingerbread stars you could bring out the detail on the buttons they are sweets aren't they for gingerbread remember you could put little buttons on there in fact we've got seven day savers with buttons so you could bring out the detail in lots of different ways little pom-poms on the trees where the, the snowballs are or the uh, snowy ornaments Christmas baubles perhaps are they just icing who knows I hope nobody's gonna come and eat all this It would spoil it, wouldn't it? You see, if I had gingerbread houses that look like that, I wouldn't want to eat them. <sighs> they probably do taste very nice, but gingerbread is lovely, isn't it? Does, do you know anybody who doesn't like gingerbread? Does everybody like gingerbread here? Mm. Yeah, of course they do. It reminds you of Christmas all the time, doesn't it? As soon as you smell it. And the nutmeg yesterday when we were grating it in the, um, the Carrera, oh, that was an amazing machine. Mm. Oh, yeah, grab those. <laughs> I'm drifting off. Grab those. <laughs> Grab a Carrera. Yeah, why not? They're brilliant machines. Power and performance. £12.99. They've gone again. I knew they wouldn't last. Well done. But I'm surprised we've got any of this left. This is Riley Blake. Half the stock has gone. I really, really love this. If you look closely, although you've got a Halloween theme, it's all about sewing. You've got hints and tips on here. A bound buttonhole. Let's read it. A bound buttonhole must first have the desired position marked with a line of basting stitches. Cut strip for facing, preferably on straight of goods. It may be crosswise or bias. See, if you're stuck, you don't know how to make a buttonhole. Especially a bound one, it tells you how to do it. Then you've got your wonderful pumpkin pin cushions. You could actually make pin cushions out of the pumpkin pin cushion fabric. I love and the little button in the middle look and then we've got these look like poppers to me you know the press studs because you had to stitch them on so the little holes around the edge didn't they and the little popper in the middle that's what they are really really nice and I really like this one as well the zips not going to move it about too much because it will make Hugh feel dizzy on the camera because it plays havoc very nice. Twenty-two ninety-nine is the price. You're saving nine seventy-five. Remember, forty-four inches wide, hundred percent cotton. These are all half-meter pieces. You get in four in the bundles. Different item numbers for different options here. This particular one nine five seven six three five. As I say, oh, we've got Michael Miller next, haven't we? We've got the little scientists or the technicians in here. Half the stock has gone. So of course you can see um, all those wonderful shapes in there. The uh, triangles, the, what else have we got in here? We've got rectangles, we've got rulers in there, we've got crayons, we've got um, trapeziums, we've got parallelograms, yeah, we've got sums on there as well, the rhombus, 
there's a parallelogram. That's not easy to say. Parallelogram. You want to say too many L's. There's a lot in there, but you want to say even more. You want to say parallelogram. It's not easy. <laughs> there's a little scientist. Look, this is my favorite one. <laughs> Oh, you've even got little clouds of faces on them, little rain clouds. What do we call these? Are these atoms? All I'm getting is, um, is it an atom, that? It kind of. The thing that, a, ne a neutron and, a, and an atom, is it? And we've got, um, oh, I remember when my brother got his first, um, what do you call it? Microscope. I was going to say kaleidoscope, but I knew it was wrong. A microscope. Oh, oh no, I better not tell these stories. <laughs> what we were looking at. It's amazing, though. Yeah, the atom is the smallest bit, and the uh, the what is the the neutron? So it was a neutron because the whole thing is a neutron. Ah, oh. child, I can remember more than I thought from school. Oh, it's a distant memory now. Now, it might not be scientifically correct, but it's, uh, we've got little, little scientists there. We're doing our very, very best. I'm sure somebody will email in and say we've got it all completely wrong. But uh, what have we got here then? So what are these? Are they, these codes? It's the periodic table. What are the, what are the circly bits? <laughs> we've got, ah, oh, no, they, what do, yeah. KR, Krypton, look. You've got, um, what's FL? What does that say? Floor, floor. Can't read it upside down. Uh, what else we've got? Titanium, is that I can see? TE? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you know, it's no wonder I go home with a crick in my neck. I that's when you see what I have to do to try and read some of these things. And it would be so much easier if I just took the piece of fabric out and read it straight from the fabric. You've got silicon there. SI. Yeah. Mag is that magnesium? Man man no. Is it magnesium? Um man manganese. I've never even heard of that. You see, you, do, you can learn so much. Then we've got, I know what that is, it's a circuit board. Or lots of circuit boards. I do like those, they're beautiful colours, very bright, very cheerful, great as I say. If you want to make little bags or lunch bags for children or things to play with in their room, a little mat or bags to hang on the wall with the building blocks or the scientific uh, gadgets, perhaps they've got, I don't know, perhaps they've got their own microscope. Um, you can make a little cloth to go on the desk to stand it on. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Michael Miller there, 749 919. 60% of the stock is gone. 2299 975 is the saving. Oh, the next one. Oh, I was so excited to see the next one still here, but I've just heard. It's another one that's gone. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Where are we going next then? Because we've run out of those, and we're moving down to the next selection. <sighs> what have we got left here? Let's see. Oh, this is Michael Miller, isn't it, again? What do we call it? Bungalow bundle. Oh. It's very nice. I don't know why it's called a bungalow, but it's a bungalow bundle. Somebody else might know why it's called a bungalow bundle. There must be a reason. Is there anything to do with elephants and bungalows? No? I like the mandalas, look. The print on their backs, really pretty. Love the flowers on this one. You could fussy cut those as well, couldn't you? You're getting four pieces again here, half a metre of each. So that's two metres in total. There's your elephants. Love the mandalas here. And your green background with that sort of darker green tone on top. That print is stunning. Love it. That's such a fresh colour. Very nice. You could pick out detail in there as well. Little beads maybe. I'll sequin sewn into the centre. Some nice metallic thread. That would work. 
And then you've got a very pretty florally one as well, non-directional. It's a very little waist. It is like a trellis. Let me open it out so we can see it. There we are. Very nice. No bungalows on that one either. Love it. And then finally, finally, we've got another beautiful green fabric with a very pretty print again. Item number 353805. We'll see if we can just focus on that uh, print a little bit more. We've got our brightness. There it is. Look at that. Perfect. 975 is the saving on this one. 22.99. Two thirds of the stock has gone. Um, yeah, Michael Miller again. I still don't know why it's called bungalow, but it doesn't matter because it's just gorgeous. Uh, now the next one. Is it, is it gone? Oh. We've had lots of sellouts, haven't we? That's gone. You do need to be quick. This was busy. Have we got any of this one left? We've still got some of this one left. Wonderful. So we've got the gherkins. We've got the red chilies. And we've got the watermelons. So primarily you've got that beautiful green in there, the bright reds and the dark uh, black in there, which really does make those colours pop. That is gorgeous. Definitely great for a kitchen apron. That's what our Ross would do with that. Don't know why, because it doesn't cook anything. It just <laughs> likes to wear an apron. Uh, oh, you'd make the apron and give it to Katie, would you? <laughs> Ross would give Katie the fabric and say, make yourself an apron. Ross, come on. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> 17 pounds and 40. It doesn't even lay the table, you know. Does it even lay the table? It doesn't even put the kettle on. 141 881 is the item number there. <laughs> you need a kettle for that, Ross. You don't even know how to do that. I don't say what's in my head at the moment. 141881 is the item number if you want to go for the food festival bundle. I learned something new every single... Did you really used to work in a kitchen, Ross? What did you do? You were a kitchen porter. How long did that last? Two years. Oh, wow. I'm quite impressed with that then. Well done. That was Ross's first job. That's not bad. That's not bad for a first job, but you've just told me you got paid there. 141881 if you want to go for the food festival. <laughs> oh, dear me. I think Ross needs retraining. That's what I think as a kitchen porter. Uh, yeah, great buy there. Do gr grab that while we've got it because we have still got a little bit of stock of that one. The next one, we've got another. Is it Michael Miller again? It is. It is. Yes, it is. You're loving Michael Miller. Three quarters of the stock has gone. Let's have another look at the little fish. Do turtles swim together or do they swim independently? Do they, do they sort of swim in schools or skulls or? Oh, it's not a skull. No, it's not. That's a, that's a brand of a, a shoe. <laughs> it's a shoal of fish. Of course it is. <laughs> Oh, it's early in the morning. It's been a couple of long days. Uh, oh, dear me. Yes, it's a shoal of fish, of course. Turtles. Does anybody know? Look, there's two together here. <laughs> they, yes, they do, don't they? They swim with the current. Uh, look at the crab. I love, I love that crab. It's going, yay! Uh, <laughs> you've got lots of different fish, lots of beautiful colours on here, really bright. Really, really fun. That's the word I'd use, fun. There we are. Little octopus as well. I'm sure there's some really amazing facts about octopus, but I can't remember off the top of my head now. They're really, yeah, they are very smart. Are they really friendly? Octopus. That's what it was. It was that documentary, wasn't it? With the man, the man who befriended the octopus. The octopus teacher, is that what he was? Oh, no, it wasn't a happy ending. But it, yeah, it was. I only saw a little bit of it, but it was absolutely. I need to actually find that watch it properly because it did look like a wonderful watch, although a little bit tearful at the end. Uh, there you can see the seahorse. Seahorse amaze me. Uh, do you know, out of all of the creatures in the world, I think the under the sea ones are the most fascinating. 
and the plants and everything. It's just an amazing world, isn't it? And then you've got the whales as well. Did we find out what the water plume is called? Nope. <laughs> I'm sure there will be a name. Oh, it's a spout. Yeah, that would make sense. It seems to ring a bell now as well. Yeah. You see, you've, you've got to check on these things because if you do forget, it's worth reminding yourself of all these facts because you will remember them and pass them on to other people. And they're not useless. Yeah, what about if it does come up in a quiz? You never know. You could be the one person that knows the answer and you could win yourself a tidy sum, perhaps, or a free drink or, yeah, no phoning a friend. That's another one, though. What if you are the friend on the other end of the phone and somebody's relying on you for half a million? Wow. Just think, if you got the answer right, they wouldn't be a friend anymore. They didn't share that, would they? They'd have to share the winnings with you. 672208 is the item where you want to go for the Michael Miller Under the Sea Bundle. Three pieces at half a metre each. Yeah, great buy. Don't miss out on that one because it has been busy. Now, moving along again, we've got the last of our 108-inch wide fabrics. These are huge. Dare I ask if I can open one again? Right, I'm going to go for a different colour. We did the blue last time. Oh, you can't start arguing, boys, in the gallery. We're going to go for the dark purple. Just for Hugh, because he's lovely. Let's have a look at this. So, oh, right, I'm going to leave that end there so somebody else can grab that as I social distance down the counter. There we are. That is a lovely colour. I love the background. It's almost like you've got a spotlight, isn't it? Just shining down. There you are. Do you know, I'll tell you what I'll do. Look at that. Now, I've got the wrong side facing, but it still looks very nice. Very nice indeed. So you've got the colour choices. You've got the dark purple, the dark green, or the dark blue, all 108 inches wide, all a metre in length. So a really good chunky piece there. 247592 is the item number there. Only 14.99. Now, we haven't got a lot left, and we haven't got a lot of time left either. The best place to see all of the fabric is on the website. A lot of it has sold out. So if you are trying to put something in your basket and it's not allowing you, it's simply that it's gone. But we've still got some amazing bargains for you. We've still got some very bright and colourful fabric bundles. We've got uh, large fabric bundles for you as well. We've got something, I'm sure, to suit absolutely everybody. All my favourites have gone. Ah, the seven-day saver, the paints there. Is that right? We found out about these colours. You, right, okay, so what you do, you get five colours in a pack, but you're getting two packs, so you're getting duplicates of everything. So ignore the fact that there's three red lids there. I don't know why that's like that. <laughs> that's what confused me. You've only got one yellow lid, but two... Oh, no, you've got one's upside down, look. Ah, the, oh. Now, that is, that, is, that is odd. Ignore the picture. You're getting five colours. You're getting two packs, so you're getting two of each colour. Red, blue, yellow and bronze. All for 9 99 and they're busy as well. 25 millilitres in each. Dylon's a brand that's been around a long time as well, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, very, very good company. Uh, let's see what we've got left, shall we? We've, we've not got a lot, but we've got a little bit. Oh, no, we've got lost another one. Bye bye Christmas. Christmas has gone. We've still got Halloween, the sewing Halloween, have we? Is it limited? Limited, so let's have another look. Should we find another sewing fact? I don't know if there's one that I can read that's not been chopped into. Blind hemming, here's one. Uh, directions, so if you don't know how to do a blind hem, here we go. Blind hemming can be done more rapidly than slip stitch. Oh, I did read this one, didn't I? No, we'll move to another one. Blanket stitch. Forms a, f oh, a finish for edges. Blanket stitch, I love that. It's a really nice stitch to do. Wear it from left to right. What happens, is that always the case? Or if you're right-handed, left-handed, does it switch? I don't know. Anyway, read that because it gives you all the information there. You've got the pumpkin pin cushions. You've got the fasteners. 
the little pop popper fasteners. That's a really nice fabric for sashing, I think. And then you've got those amazing zips. Beautiful. I think you could make a fancy dress out of this as well. Make a little character outfit. $22.99, No, what am I doing now? <laughs> Read it. Price. And then the item number was one long item number. What did I say? Twenty two ninety nine. It's saying nine seventy five. Item number nine five seven six three five. Oh, that one's close to selling out. Oh, it's gone. Oh no! <laughs> We've got this one. The little scientists, have we? Have we? Have we got this one? We're nearly out of time. We've had eight sellouts. We haven't got a lot of this one, I don't think, because it was selling very, very well. Oh, is it limited stock? Right, okay. This is the last selection we've got of the four half meter pieces. This is the Michael Miller. Uh, even if you're not sure what you're going to do with this yet, I, I would say just grab it because it is lovely. 22 dollars is your saving again. Item number 749919. I think I did that right. I fell asleep crocheting last night when I got home. <laughs> I've done that before. And when I came round, I've got all the wrong amount of stitches, so I had to unpull it all. Uh, never mind. Just do it again. It's more practice. <laughs> it's been a very, very busy hour, hasn't it? We've still got more to see. Everything that we've got left, you will find on the website. Let's just remind you of one or two things, because here we are, the vineyards. Now, have we... The purple looks very vulnerable it's limited stock this is the dark green that you're seeing that's uh, that that's limited as well limited on the green as well that is huge 108 inches wide you're getting a meter of fabric so a really good piece great for dressmaking as well as your larger projects <clears throat> excuse me the blue is available but yeah the purple and the green limited stock 247592 there we are. The prices go up in four minutes' time. In fact, less than that. It's nearer three minutes now. Uh, yeah, grab yourself a bargain. Multi-buy if you so wish. And uh, we've got more fabric coming up later as well, because Jewelry are back. And they've got some amazing projects for show as well. Oh, I love it. Uh, maybe they've not sold out yet. I hope not. I need something to talk about later. See you very, very soon. Bye-bye. Oh, look what's coming up next. We've got Art Inspirations. It's another happy hour. Grab another bag and jewellery designs coming up later. I am looking forward to that. And then Sakura at 12. In the foothills of Alnul, a lawless event unfolds. The craft store's sixth birthday. An exciting time beholds. Phil Martin and Indigo Blue, Heartfelt Creations, Zuri, and Crafts 2. With six pounds of credit, there'll be plenty to buy. With great one-day specials, the aces are high. With discounts and deals, with prices to amaze, join us for a hoedown for a wild seven days. From fabric to paper to glitter and pencils, pens and stamps, inks and stencils join us in august a craft extravaganza happy sixth birthday the craft store's bonanza hello i'm carol and i'm hayley and together we are the dreamies Dreamies have been around for 11 years now. We started with CD-ROMs, we've developed into stamps, paper pads, dies. We've now got the Dinky Inkies range as well. We design everything in-house and we manufacture in the UK. We produce tutorials to inspire you to get the most from our products. Hi, I'm Sarah from White Gecko Craft Lounge. We have a little shop in Dinner's Palace, which is between Cardiff and Barry, so right by the seaside. One of the aims of White Gecko is to really inspire you to start sewing. We'd like to uh, get people crafting and start that sewing process. A lot of patterns and kits are perfect for beginners to use. It's a real wonderful, mindful way to start that journey into sewing. So don't miss the White Gecko shows.
Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. Good morning, I hope you are well. Now, this is a happy hour, but it's a happy hour with a difference uh, this time. Uh, we are talking, I've got loads on this show, and I mean absolutely loads, more than we normally have for a happy hour. But not only do I have happy hour prices, I've got limited numbers for some of the bundles. I've also got our Leone. Now, she's not here in the, uh, in the studio with me, She's pre-recorded some demos, okay? So we've got some demos throughout the hour, so it's not just going to be me waffling on for an hour. Do not worry. Uh, so we're going to go through all the products that I've got, first of all, uh, from Art Inspirations, which is an amazing product that we're talking about. There is so much uh, that's on here. And then we'll throw to VT. Uh, we'll have our Leone who's going to demo everything that you see on the show. Right then, let's crack on, first of all, with our first big bundle. I'm now being told you we've only got a handful of units left for this first one. £30.32 across two, uh, across three, sorry, three interest-free flexible payments. 517051 is your item number. This is the Noel Enchanted Noel Complete Collection. 74 stamps. Once again, a really sweet stamp set uh, that we're talking about here. From the name of Artist Inspirations, we do like uh, Art Inspirations that we got because these are the ones that do the little quirky houses and things like that. These are the ones that you'll see during Let Leone Loose and things like that. Uh, you've also then got uh, some of the frames. A third of the stock here now is already gone. Uh, £90 and £95, three flexible payments of £30 and £32. You've got a saving of £20 on this as well. Uh, let me quickly show you some samples. Uh, I only said show you the samples because they're absolutely beautiful. Um, she phoned me earlier. Uh, these are absolutely stunning. They do get bigger, just so you're aware. Uh, they are getting... Uh, they do get bigger, then they get smaller again. So you can do different size cards uh, with all of these. Uh, that you Look at that. How magical is that one? Uh, we're going slightly bigger again. Uh, we're going slightly bigger uh, again that we're looking at. All of these you can do from this kit that we are looking at at the moment. Uh, as I said, three flexible payments of £30 and £32. 517051 is your item number. Right, I've got a lot to cram in this hour. Let's press on. Uh, our next set uh, that we've also got on the show. Uh, this is uh, a single stamp set that we're looking at here for it all. Uh, this is Wednesday's uh, that we're looking at now. Made uh, Wednesday's made A5 clear stamp set as you start to walk is the name of the stamp set. So as you start to walk, uh, £9.99. Nine nice sizes uh, that you can do with this as well. You can do a lot uh, with these when you get them home. For £9.99, a saving of £7. We've never seen prices like this on your art inspiration shows. Uh, it's worth having a little go on this one. 163571 is your item number. Uh, up next, uh, works well with this first one. Well, they all sort of work well together. Uh, you've got the little bug uh, that you can see here. The, the lovely little bug that you've got. Uh, look at this. The sunshine within your heart uh, that you've got here. Nice stamp sets to, uh, to colour in. Nice big stamps. These are standalone stamps if you want them to be. You also get add-on stamps down at the bottom for £9.99. All of that stamp set, £9.99, a saving of £7 is what you're looking at. 568434 is your item number. Uh, some more samples upside down that we're looking at here. So just going out in your white embossing folder still really, really works. Then using some of the others uh, that we get nine pounds and 99 pence five six eight four three four is your item number for this one ten stamps in total is what you're looking at here working our way down the collection once again I remember launching these I think uh, with our Leona they are absolutely beautiful this is the uh, mindful lady that we're talking I like this one sort of got that peacock feather-esque look about it hasn't it 
uh, with the sample that you can see just here. You also get all your other added extras. That's, that's like the background that we did before. Uh, this one here. It's like the background we did with our little uh, in, during the happy hour, uh, during the one-day special show this morning. Uh, you've got your little believe in there. You've got your little circles in there. You've got your flowers in there. Your solid leaves. Your break top leaves as well. Uh, it's nice to colour in uh, is what we're looking at for this one. I'm getting all excited. Uh, 202435 is your item number. Mermaid's up next. Uh, we're looking at the moments. I told you I'm going to rattle through these. I've got so much to get in. I've got to go all around the back as well uh, before we get to VT because you, you know what our Leone's like when she does a VT. We've had to cut it down a lot. Uh, I think she filmed over about three days and we've had to cut it down to about 20 minutes. Uh, 9 99 for your mermaids uh, is what you're looking at now with the £7 saving once again. Nice little stocking fillers that you can go. Uh, this is what you can create. You can create cards uh, that look like this or like the one behind if you add that spot of colour uh, that you've got going through there. £7 saving, 9 99 large stamp. I don't think I've ever seen them at these sorts of prices. 19 stamps in total is what you're looking at. Once again, these are Wednesday. They're the A5 clear stamp sets. These are the. This is your swim. Uh, why? I like this. I really do like this. Two nine two nine nine six is your item number. Moving on down. Uh, we're now looking to see which one we've got. Uh, we've now got the florals. Uh, if you like your florals with these, nice to make borders, nice to make backgrounds, nice to do corners. Uh, even the envelope you could do a little bit with like this. Uh, look, it, it genuinely looks like a bit of lace, doesn't it? It genuinely looks like lace with your glitter card. If you don't know what to do with your glitter card, uh, you can really enhance uh, the card with simply stamping and embossing uh, with this one. £9.99. 835732 is your item number. A £7 saving once again. Uh, but we don't have a lot of this one. We don't have a lot of this one, and we don't have a lot of the next one either. I'm now being told, you're shopping ahead. You're savvy shoppers. You know how these, these happy hours normally work. Uh, and it's, I don't think I've ever done this two happy hours uh, with this today as well. Okay? So what will happen is the prices will go low for this hour. Then they all go back up again. Then they'll come down with Catherine, but then that's it. And I think once they sell out, they sell out, I feel. Uh, with these sorts of shows. Uh, someone will let me know if that's correct or not. Uh, I don't know if we can get any more stock. No one tells me. You know how it is in this place. Right, and up next, like this one. It's just a bird, but it reminds me of a um, bunch of flowers that you've got in there. But then you've also got uh, the little bird. Uh, I like the little bird uh, that you've got in there as well, because you could use it as a standalone, or you could the snippability in this is absolutely beautiful. 999-297-690 is your item number. From then, pressing on down, keeping with the bird theme this time, it's like a little hawk. Uh, that's what it sort of looks like. It reminds me of like a little little hawk that you can get, that you can get, uh, that you see out there. Uh, I suppose you can get them. Some people have them as little pets, don't they? Uh, like these ones, though. It's just the fleur de lis in the, in the wings that you can do. You can do your inky backgrounds, stick them straight on, and you can't go wrong. Like, it, they work. They're standalone stamps that will work on their own, or they'll all work together. £9.99, 291810 is your item number from there pressing on down is what we're going to look at now it's like your little chickens these would be nice i like the little chickens in the backgrounds uh, that you, so you've got your larger background that's in here something quite quirky about these ones uh, that we're looking at so you can see on the card that you've got here it's use the stamp background and then the two little chickens uh, once again uh, then uh, you've got your little inky backgrounds once again with these ones. It's well worth having a little go at these. Uh, using a little bit of glitter on there. So you've got the sparkly glitter that works well. £9.99, 502802 is your item number for this one. Righty then. Now, these are my favourite bundles of all time. I love a scene builder. Uh, are these are these flying out? These are flying out the door. An eight pound saving for everything. Literally, that entire counter, people have been like, they're selling out. Everything's selling out. What we're going to do with VTs? What we're going to do with our VTs? Um, I, re I remember Leone's doing VTs which is videotaped, so we pre-recorded uh, Ali only doing the demos because uh, she's celebrating her seventieth birthday. Uh, so our um, She's on a barge somewhere. Uh, Ali only uh, pre-recorded. We're already approaching 30% on this already. This is your Treasure Island. Out of all the collections, this is my favourite, I feel. Um, I've stamped this one. They only stamped this out for me a couple of weeks ago when I was on with Sharon and I coloured it in. 
with the with the gorgeous colors. I like the Treasure Island that you get in here. Uh, it's sort of very Pirates of the Caribbean esque. It reminds me of when I used to work on the ships and sail around the Caribbean and things like that. It's got that look about it, but you could quite go old treasure map with this if you wanted to as well. You can see from the samples, you can do so much with it. There is so much scope that you look at on this. Uh, even down to your little bit, oh sorry, that was just my belly you saw then. What a, what a shot. Uh, but you even down to just a bit of foiling. But how well does that work? It still works so, so well. Uh, you get your little... You get your little platforms in there, you get your little houses so you can make them bigger, you can make them smaller. It's sort of very, do you remember the original Peter Pan in Neverland when they lived, used to live in the tree? And the, uh, it's very much similar to that and very, yeah, the Lost Boys and very sort of similar to like Waterworld and that sort of pro, them sort of films that you've got, I've not seen that for years, uh, that you've got out there. Because you, it's all those little shacks, but you go in with your brands and your straws, you could really enhance uh, this. Right, I'm moving on because it's going. £25.49 and 49 pence flexible payments on this one, a £16.49 and 49 pence savings, 092474 is your item number for this big bundle. Happy hour prices. We have never bought you, I don't think, at these sorts of prices. Right then, moving on is our next kit uh, that we have here. Uh, I love this one. I love these. Uh, I like them a lot. I really, really do. There is so much uh, you can do with them uh, when you get them home for the sheer fact. Once again, it's another scene builder kit uh, that you're looking at with this. So you've got your trees. It's sort of quite nana. 40% of the stock has already gone here. 40% of the stock. I think this was the original. Okay, I think this is the original uh, set. And then we've got the add-on set that we've got there. Uh, so you've got your things like the little tree houses. I like this one. All that, it sort of reminds me of like a little coastline. And you put your sea in and your sky. You've got your clouds already in there. You've got your extra houses should you want to build on and make things slightly bigger that will all nest in with each other. Uh, then you've got your... Where are we going next, Hannah? Where do you want to go next? Which one do you want to look at? Right, let's have a look at this one. Uh, then you've got your little tree house in your little gnarled tree that you've got there. Well, you're just that tiny little spooky swing. Something quite spooky about them, which I quite like. Uh, and I'm not normally into spookies. I'm not normally into the ghosties and the ghoulies uh, that you get there. You could make them quite whimsical as well. Go in with your quickies, your quickie glue pens, and sprinkle a bit of glitter on these. Uh, and you're good to go. You, like, you, just go, you go in with your little bit of glitters, a little bit of snow powders. You could, like, you could really go magical uh, with. On the other side, uh, you've got your gnarly... It sort of reminds me of a beanstalk. Um, if you were going to go into Jack and the Beanstalk uh, that you've got in there, which is this one just here. Uh, you've got the clouds at the bottom, and then you've got your, uh, your tree that goes all the way up. Uh, then you've got the extra turrets on there as well. And then last but no means least, this one would also go with the Treasure Island that I bought you a minute ago. It's got that sort of uh, look to it with the little kites in the sky that gives the wind power. I love it. I absolutely, 50% uh, of the stock has already gone. And then last but no means least, another bundle that I'm going to bring in. That's all my bundles and you've sort of seen everything. Uh, then uh, is what you've got. Uh, this one, oh, so smooth. Uh, I had to crawl for the last one. Uh, did you wonder how I got to the other side? I was on my, on my hands and knees is where I was. Uh, right, let's look at this one in more details uh, that we are getting here. Uh, this is the second edition uh, of what we're looking at now. So this is your second edition, £84, 94 pence. Right, and I'm going to stop there. So, we are busy, okay? We are busy across the board. This is, we think the bigger bundles are about to go. Normally I would go into more de normally I'd go into more details. Uh, it's like a little parrot, oh look, it's like having a little miniature. Good, cool. Uh, that you've got there. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go straight to demos now because you know Ali only likes to talk. Um, so we are, you're not going to miss anything. These are not live so I won't be chipping in. This is just Leone, it's all been pre-recorded. You enjoy the demo, but I don't know what will be here when you get back. Don't go anywhere. You're in for a treat. Right, Leonie? It's over to you. Hi there. 
Right, okay, next. Um, I'm going to do a demonstration uh, using Miss P's dies. Um, so Miss P is um, obviously a power, uh, and she brought out these wonderful dies, um, a boundless journal, an endless boundless journal, endless. Anyway, a lovely little book. Sorry, I'm rubbish with names. Um, but and I'm only going to do two sides. I'm not going to do a full book because that might take me about 12 hours. Um, so I'm just going to do the two sides. So I've already die cut these um, just in white card. And I'm just going to pop these two together for a second because I kind of want the sunset to be um, to be coming into the centre of the card there. So first of all, use my fossilised amber. Now, I'm not too worried if my blend isn't perfect. It's okay. So just going to start about there. So I know where I'm started. Spring in that on that one. And then on this side, I'm going to spin that. And then that on that side. So. So we've got that like so. And it's okay. Me. That'll bug me. The, where I've got that bit too high and that bit too low. Because that'll just get on my nerves. Even though you're not going to see them together. But it. Well, you will. Oh, no, you won't. You won't see them together when they're in the book. But that'd still irritate me. So. Doing that. And then going to widen that little arc of colour like this. Okay, happy, happy. Yeah, that does work, doesn't it? That's about fa 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 fa. Now, I'm not going to put any more colour yet because I kind of like that, that sort of the yellow and the white space. In fact, I'm lying. I am going to put some more colour, I've decided. I'm going to bring in the weathered wood. I love this colour because it's a really nice soft blue grey. It's a, a gorgeous colour. Before I go in, I am going to take the yellow off my mat because I don't want to, to pick that up when I'm blending. So I get that nice soft colour, that pure colour. And make sure it's not wet because if it is, your blend absolutely won't work proper. Now, taking this in, so this will give me that, oh look, dirty finger marks. Do you know I am the worst for that? Oh, I do me head in. I do me own head in. I just, honestly, every time. Stop going on. <laughs> Don't rant about your own dirty fingers, Leonie, on teller. <laughs> it's not anybody else's fault, it's just yours. Okay, so we've got a nice sort of grey on the outside, I like that grey. It's such a lovely colour. It's a really, um, it's quite atmospheric. So just bringing it on the other side here. And I won't spend too long faffing about with my backgrounds because I want to get onto the stamping. So, um, oh, that's bad blending there, folks. Now, what that is, is because there was some water on the mat. If you pick up water, that's what happens. So just be really careful. I did it on purpose. It looks like it's someone's head and that's a little eye <laughs> popping over. <laughs> yeah, don't, I know the water really does mess it up. You really do not want any water on your mat. You don't want water on your mat. You don't want dirty fingerprints. <laughs> just saying. But it's okay. We know where we need to ink over. Um, but it, it's fine. I'll blend it out. We'll both we'll work with it. So the... Um, the stamp I'm working with this time, love this. The Strong Roots one is absolutely beautiful. Um, it's one of those stamps that has got so many, um, it's got just so many options. It's got so many things going on. It's absolutely stunning. And obviously with something like this, um, you've, you've got all these extra little bits and it mixes and matches with so many others. In fact, I used this one with my overboard stamps the other day. Um, and again, yeah, they all mix and match one mix and match wonderfully. So my first one, I'm going to use the big stamp. I'm not going to use it all, however, because of course it's miles bigger than the actual background. I'll get in my stamping platform again. Um, I'm only using my stamping platform because I forgot to get out one of my uh, stamp um, my doodas, um, an acrylic block. I didn't get an acrylic block, so I want it about so my book i want my book to kind of be like so okay so that's that's kind of how how i want it to appear and then my stamp now 
this bit, this is where you start having a little think. Because it's like, okay, this is the solid bit of my stamp. That is a bit that I'm covering up, so I'm aiming the solid bit of the stamp there. I wasn't going to do that. I actually wanted it off centre there. Actually, I could probably get away with that. Because I kind of like the, the image going off a bit to the side. I think that's that's quite interesting. But, yeah, that tree will pretty much cover the curve. So I think we'll be right. Okay, happy with that. Now, this time I am going to stamp with black just because... So I've got my VersaFine um, black and it's such a gorgeous, strong colour. And the thing is with these stamps, they're very detailed. Make sure you've got a nice juicy ink pad, then you'll pick up all that gorgeous detail. There is some, I can see I've got some on my stamp there. Uh, just be careful. Make sure you, you've got a nice clean stamp. I know I've over inked. Some of this will be going onto my platform. I don't really worry about that, but I know a lot of people um, cover up the platform so they don't get ink all over the shop which is a very good idea, but I don't. Right, so <laughs> mine's just got ink all over it instead, which I then transfer. So, <laughs> see, it's literally everything. Uh, I wore one of my T-shirts yesterday that I actually really like, and it's quite new. Yeah, I were prepping, got glue all over it. <laughs> really unhappy times. There, look at that. Now, I absolutely, what a beautiful image. I adore, and these really need very little. I love the way that that's zooming off into, into the sky. It, it's just such a beautiful, beautiful image. And that's my first um, image, and that will sit on my book just like that. They make the most, the quickest and easiest pages, honestly. And then my second image. So that on the stamp plate is the full thing. So that's your, your full image. However, on this stamp plate, you've got tons and tons of little extras. And this is where you can start playing. So let's bring in a few of my acrylic blocks. I like using the different sizes because um, sometimes it's, well, it's easy to stamp with. If you haven't, if you've got an acrylic block that is obviously um, a size that fits the stamp. Because if you've got a teeny little uh, stamp on a huge acrylic block, it can be really difficult to get the balance right. Let me just check. So you end up um, messing your stamping up. Right, so I want my book to go, oh, look, <laughs> um, about there, okay? <laughs> That's an inky mess, but it's okay. <laughs> so I'm going to bring in, that one is going to go there, like that, covering up my inky mess. And look at, you see again, it's that detail. It's the, the beautiful roots that is is given us and it's a mixture of the, is this stamp set it's a mixture of um, some of the beautiful details that you get in the bigger stamp and what's happened is they've been lifted out so we can use them in different ways so I'm having that so it's falling off the page and then I'll take which one shall I take let's take this one actually because that's kind of the it looks like the bottom Leone, of Leone, my love, I'm going to have to chip in there. We are now sold out of that bundle. And I don't want to tease you or tempt you any more than I already do. Mm. Uh, so, the techniques that you've learned there, I know we've only just stamped and we just saw do, back, do the background and we did the inky background, will work with the other bundles. But due to telly law, I'm not genuinely not allowed to show you any more because I've got no more of that. Okay, so that bundle has now sold out. What I have got a bundle of, though, it's the original. Shall I move my mug? Uh, what I have got an original of is the big bundle that we got here. The details will bring up on the screen for you now. Uh, this is one of the bundles uh, that we are talking about. Once again, it will work in the same way as the one that we saw our Leone using. This was the first edition uh, that we bought. Leone was using the second edition in that little clip. Now, I have got more demos, and we are going to one in a minute of our Leone uh, using the Treasure Island one. But this one... Once again, £84 and 95 pence. 878193 is your item number. 54 stamps in total is what you are looking at for this, which is absolutely phenomenal. There is so much scope and possibilities uh, that you can use with all of these, from going from your deepest, darkest colouring and using all your techniques uh, that you already got. 
Uh, from there, you can also go uh, with the colouring and you can also knock it back and just use it in your plain stamps if you wanted to, which are absolutely beautiful. Even this card that you can see all the way over here that we're about to look at in a minute, uh, even this one using some just black and whites and using the silhouettes and using the spotlights that you're using in there. As I said, £84.95, 878193 is your item number for this. There is so much scope with this. 70% uh, of the stock on this one. I do not think this will be around for, uh, for Catherine's later show. I don't think if it is, it'll be ones or twos uh, that we're looking at. Something though that we have got on the show, um, and we are going to see a VT of this, we are going to see a little video of Ali only using this, is your overboard techniques. My favourite personally, I think there's more, my own opinion, I think there is more scope with this because I can see your treasure islands that you're getting there. The detail in here is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, you got your sentiments as well. To my little treasure. Oh, that's nice. To my little treasure. To my little paradise island. Oh. Uh, to my little washed up shipwreck. That's, that's a sign of endearment, isn't it? To my little washed up shipwreck. Here's the card. Happy anniversary. <laughs> That's true love, if ever I heard it. Uh, so you're getting your little sentiments in there as well. Uh, you get your little island. Love the island uh, in this one with the little uh, rocks that you got on there. If you've ever been to Mallorca, that reminds me of the rock that's in the middle of the sea in Mallorca down by Palmanova Beach. Uh, and Magloff Beach is around there. Anyway, I digress. Uh, then you've also got your boats. You've got your little tugs that's in there. Uh, so you've got your little wicker tugboats uh, working our way up and then you get like the little houses that's in the tugboat as well but the snippability in these are phenomenal. Then as we moved on you sort of got like the harbour master's house uh, that you got. You've got a beautiful harbour master's large stamp set as well with a little hot air balloon uh, with the beer barrel uh, that's in there. You've got the little... I, I love it. There's also something quite... What was his name now? Um, oh, you mean uh, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, the old man. Um, no, um, it will come to me. It's got, it's got that look, you know the one I mean. The one that starts flying around in one of these little houses. Uh, oh, the, the old man, yeah, the little old man that's in, um, child, uh, oh, it will come. Um, I can't think. Uh, then, we've got some more, ah, oh, the little thing while we do the VT, it will come to me. And then you've got the large stamps as well in all of this. If you know what he was called, the old man in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang with the big moustache, that sits in that little, and it flies in the balloon. You know, the, what, you, I can't even think of the name of the song he sings. Um, it works like that, and it works like that, and it's so, so good. Are we going to VT? Uh, two flexible payments on this one as well, and Frida, here she is, her little smiling, cheeky little face. It's our Leone with this set. Hi there. Right, so one of the demonstrations, first one I'm going to do is um, with this little beauty. Now, you'll have to excuse me, I've already taken off this stamp, obviously, because I'm so organised. I love this stamp. Um, it's got so many elements on it, but this, I mean, one of the, the words there, serene, it just looks so beautiful and relaxing. You've got extra, obviously, you've got extra buildings, so if you want to make your own scene, you've even got extra ladders, you've got extra little birds there there as well so there's a lot on it that you can work with but we're going to take the main stamp in this demonstration um already got a piece of card i've actually already stamped it so it's ready but i just wanted to show you what i was doing now what i'm using is to ink up um you might have seen our lovely john on with the um collido machine um so i've obviously treated myself to the machine so i thought mm, let's have a look at this foiled because i bet it looks absolutely gorgeous so i've already inked my um ink pad with the um the ink and remember it is the special ink which is going to allow this image to foil so i'm just going to ink this up now um this is a detailed stamp so just be a bit careful because as you can see i've it recently inked this ink pad so it's a little bit juicy so just be careful because i am a little bit heavy um yeah i'm definitely a bit heavy handed with this but you know what i, I kind of like it because it gives it a really watercoloured effect. I found this um, when I were practising with the ink pad. I keep putting the ink pad on wrong and... Anyway, um, so put the ink pad on right, the lid. 
So all you're going to do is stamp. Now, because this is a speciality ink, and it is a special ink, just be a bit careful. Don't um, overpress, because what you'll find, it might stick to your cardstock. So don't get too carried away uh, pressing your stamp down. But you do need to then let the ink dry. So you've got that lovely image. And do you see what I mean about the watercolour effect? I really like that. I think it looks absolutely divine. Now, as I said, that needs to dry. Because it is a different ink, of course, you do want to be cleaning your stamp off. I'll leave it for now. I'll just give it a spritz of water um, because, obviously, I'll clean that later. Um, but you do need to leave this to dry. So, one I prepared earlier. Wow. Whoa, I've prepped. Um, so, we've got the, the card already ready. I've already cut a piece of foil out. Now, when you're actually foiling, you need to put it's the, the sort of unfoiled side face down because that's the side that's going to lift off. So you need the shiny side at the top there. Um, taking my plates, I've already got my machine turned on, so hopefully it'll be nice and warm. Uh, with your plates, make sure your foil it's just folded over the top of your paper um, and then it won't get caught in your rollers. That is super important. You do not want it to get caught in your rollers. Pop that on there and then move over the machine. Now, I'll bring the machine in so hopefully you'll be able to see it. I'll just move those over. So I'll bring it into about there-ish. Is that okay? Yeah, I'll move... Bring it in about there-ish. I think that's going to be best. Um, so, taking this through the machine. Now, I'm going to, and it, I love this because it is ridiculously easy. So, just pass it through the machine first, and I'm actually going to bring it back as well. And this has been um, this has been turned on, and the pips have already pipped. So, I know it's nice and warm, and the rollers are nice and warm. So, when we move this over here now, Take this and then watch as you lift it off and I can see it's worked because I can see it on there and you've got that lovely foiling. Can you see that gold in the light? I really like this. I just think now it isn't it isn't all of it. It's just um, a hint of now. Can you see? And I really, really like that. I just thought that is absolutely beautiful, really beautiful. It just, yeah, it gives it like a magical sheen, which is just divine. Because something like that, it looks really effective when you put your inks on, which is exactly what we're going to do now. So move all that to one side um, and let's get inking. I will cut this down, but we'll ink it up first of all. So the ink pads, obviously, I've been using prize ribbon, so brand new, I needed to use that one. And I'm going to be using my weathered wood um, and they're going to be my backgrounds so just taking my weathered wood first of all and just inking straight over the top of this now what I'm going to do is not I want an open space in that center I want a bit of white space the white space on this and I am wasting quite a lot of ink there so um, oh, I don't know, I've popped my paper trimmer. Doesn't matter. I'll ink from here rather than right at the edge because I'm wasting quite a lot of ink. So leaving a bit of white space in that central panel and just bringing this round. I want these to go over the, the rooftops and then bringing my prize ribbon in as well. So it's just giving me that really sort of... I don't know, it's a beautiful combination, these two. They look, yeah, they look kind of cloudy, a little bit atmospheric. And I'm just getting a bit of cardstock, sorry, because I know I'm getting inky fingers because I'm putting my fingers in it. So if I put a bit of card there, my, um, my fingers won't get as inky. So bringing this in right over into the, the image, allowing the colours to blend. So around here, I'm getting that beautiful blend. Just pulling the, the card around and then I'm remembering that open space. And the white space sometimes, it, it just draws your eye in and it just makes it look that bit more um, effective. There, again, just blend, 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 like so. Bring this one round and just blend that in as well. So getting those two colours. Don't worry about the edges. I'm going to be chopping that off anyway. So that isn't a concern. That's not our concern. Just move on. 
I'm a little wrong, will you? Right, let's have a little look, see. And it's funny, actually, because where my inky fingers have been, it, it's given it texture. So it's OK if your fingers are inky. Right, now then, what I love about this, the, the actual, can you see the foiling? The foiling resists... And you can see, I've been over there, but that beautiful resist, it looks so effective. Um, if I do that, and you can see, I really, really like it. And it just, it just resists, like, especially in the clouds, where the clouds are quite solid with the ink, right up above there. And you can see how it's resisted. Really, really beautiful, beautiful. OK, so, happy with that. And then what I'm going to do is take um, one of my first fine clairs. Um, I've taken the cheerful, what a fabulous word, what a fabulous name. Um, and it's bright, gorgeous yellow. I'm using um, one of my, my paint brushes that has actually seen better days. It's a bit tough, is this one now? But actually, for stippling, it's even better. I mean, it's a stippling brush anyway, but it's even better now it's gone a bit... Um, a bit solid, a bit hard. And look at that colour against that blue. It just gives you that really gorgeous kind of warm glow. So I thought that, you know, they've got the, the lights on in the little huts. It's a nice sort of chilly night, but the lights are on. So it's just glowing with, with warmth and light and cheerfulness. There we go. And that's just dabbing round like so. And then just get my water spritzer. It's distress. So, of course, um, when we're working with distress, if we do the, the little bit of water, whether you're just spritzing a fine mist onto it, um, or, of course, if you're, you're doing like I were doing and getting quite... Um, quite a, a lot of water on there but I quite like that it's up to you how you apply this and how you then lift it off I quite like that I think that looks really quite effective and you know and the beautiful thing is the yellow isn't going to shift because your versifying isn't going to react to water so you get two different images which look absolutely gorgeous and if I show you see look how good that looks I mean, it's beautiful. And then you've got that foiling as well. And I love the foiling on this stamp. When I were playing with this, it looks really, really effective, doesn't it? Really effective. Now, all I've done, and actually, I've cut this one down, but I haven't done the water yet. So I'm going to do the water on this one as well, just because it is your finishing touches, the water. It's the, it's the kind of the wow factor, isn't it? So I'll just do a little bit more water on this one. And then do the, let, it, let it sink, let it do its thing. And then roll them, roll them, like so. And then what we've got, oh, absolutely adore it. I've cut this one down to size. So then all you need to do is mat and layer these on. So just taking your good old glue, sticking this. I mean, this is obviously a little bit wet, so really you'd let it dry. But for demonstration purposes, there we go. That's our first layer and then our second layer. And normally I don't even finish a card, let alone mat and layer. <laughs> so actually, this is way better than I normally do. And see, have a look at that image. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, it is serene. It is just gentle and beautiful. I mean, you could do more with that if you really wanted to. I'll tell you what you could do, which would look nice. Off she goes, on a tangents. On a merry tangents, doopy doopy doo, she's off. If I take the sentiment stamp and I'm using the weathered wood, the weathered wood is the lighter of the two, um, but just a few. And I'm not, I don't want this to be heavy. I don't really want to, I don't want it to pop. I want this to be in the background because that's what, what this stamp is. It is a background stamp. And just gently, really gently stamping this in. So you can just see a few of the words coming through. And as I say, it's a background. I want it to be a background. I do not want this to, to pop. So beautiful. Oh, I like that. And then you can just see, that's my finishing touches, um, which look absolutely good. Cool. I love that image. It's stunning. Um, and that's, again, just one of the things that you can do with these amazing um, stamps. And they all work together as well, uh, which allows you to be super creative.
Thank you, Ali. Oh, we went for a whitewash then and everything. I liked it. Uh, thank you, Leonie. It's always a pleasure, as always. Um, that is, it's an amazing little thing. You can go from the biggest to the smallest of cards uh, with, and there's so much, uh, there's so much scope in the collection. Uh, I think this is the first one. Uh, that she did when she run it through the Kaleido uh, just on its own before she did all the backgrounds uh, that you've got in there. They're absolutely beautiful with the shine that you've got running on. Uh, but all these sets, you can get hold of these sets as well. £25 and 49 pence. If you're a Freedom member across two interest-free, three I think, interest-free flexible payments or a one-off payment of £84 and 95 pence a day. 092474 is your item number. Oh, it's three. Three flexible payments is what you're getting on this with an £8 saving as well. And there's also a cheeky little freedom price on it. Right then, shall we push forward? Let's push forward. Let's push on, push forward into the night. Uh, we have some fancy quirky birds up next that we're going. Remember, it's a happy hour. The price will go back up. This is not your normal run-of-the-mill show. The price will go back up at the end of this. We are talking a happy hour. Um, we've already had one sellout. We had to come out for one of our videos early uh, because it's sold out. Uh, and we, there is more. This is another happy hour later on with our Catherine as well. But who knows what will be here. Right then, this, if you've got anything in your baskets, by the way, check them out. Start checking out your baskets now if I was you. You've got about 20 minutes left uh, before the prices do go back up. Right then, all the stamps I'm about to show you now are £9.99. pence. You've got a £7 saving on all of them. These are your quirky birds, your funky quirky birds, first of all. Uh, for 9.99 you get that beautiful background that's in there the lovely little background that you've got here let's turn it to camera three so you can see oh look at that that's good oh so there's your, should we turn it the right way as well there's your quirky bird so maybe you want them um that way maybe let's turn them the right way around uh, so maybe you want your oh there we go look your quirky little birds you've got cute in there you've got funky you've got fun you've got cool and they're just some of the words that people describe me with in this building. More cute. I don't know why. I don't know what it is. You'll walk past people and they'll whisper. Oh, cute. I think it's acute, but you know. Uh, nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Five zero two. Just silence in my ear. Uh, zero eight two is your item number. There, your quirky birds. From your quirky birds, uh, we have a floral bird. Now, this is your floral bird, uh, A5, clear mounted stamp, 15 stamps, you get 15 stamps on this, is what you're getting, for £9.99, £7 saving, large images, once again, love that large image, and it does work with the smaller bird that you're getting in there as well, and you've got the beautiful wings uh, on these, I love the uh, the feathers that's in the wings. Uh, if you're going to do the feather that we did this morning, you could really add onto these uh, as well if you so wanted to, just to give them the fluidity. That's what you get with these. You get fluidity. You get that beautiful drawing. And if you're not very good at doodling, this is the best way to go. Uh, you could stamp out and use all your secure pens uh, that you've got there. Just, just make them glossy uh, little asses. Uh, up next, Majestic Birds. A few and far between, but they're limited stock. You are loving my majestic birds this morning uh, on the show. Nine pounds ninety-nine pence, seven pounds saving. Green on screen means you're keen. Two nine seven six nine zero is your item number. Um, I used to do bingo in the hotels and abroad. I used to love doing bingo. Oh, I used to love calling out bingo because people used to, uh, people take bingo so seriously, and you know what I'm like. I could never take it that serious. Um, I used to love it. I used to love it. Uh, anyway, I digress. Uh, you, um, what was I talking about then? Birds. Uh, Majestic Birds, limited stock. 297. 690 is your item number. 999. 11 stamps in total. Uh, it's about to go. Get it while you can. Something else that we've got. Uh, up next, florals. You can't go wrong with a floral. A floral never dates. I find. A floral never ever date. 17 stamps in total. This is your floral and garland uh, that you've got here. So you've got those beautiful leaves that bend to the left and bend to the right. So like little trumpet flowers, isn't it? like little daisies uh, that you've got in there. Uh, then you've got your little flowers as well. You've got your little hearts. Uh, and then we've got your lovely little leaves. £9.99. 835732 is your item number on this one. 17 stamps in total is what you're getting. Mermaids. Mermaid. Uh, here she is. Uh, so it doesn't matter what colour you do this in, uh, a hair will always be a solid colour. Um, you could do jelly plate technique with a hair. You could also use a hair as a guard. 
you could also use her hair as a garden path. I feel. I feel you could use her hair and chop it off just before you get to the mermaid. Uh, could you also just give her that quiff at the back, the loft at the back? So if you got rid of that bit there, and then you've got you've just got this sort of bulk of hair at the back if you didn't want it, if you didn't want it flowing. Uh, you've got your love, you've got free that's in there, you've got your flowers and your hearts in there as well uh, that makes that beautiful, beautiful flower. Because I don't know if you've seen, she's just holding the stalk, and then you add the flower onto your mermaid itself. Uh, 999-292-996 is your item number. Right then, we weren't going to do this, but we've had emails. Start checking out your baskets. Here's our Leone with another demonstration. In and I forgot to set up a demonstration. <laughs> Standard. Um, OK, where do I want to start? Oh, I don't know where to start. OK, I am going to start with, let's start with that one. That beauty, because it's detail. It's all about the detail, OK? So I'm going to go on with that um, incredible moon, which is just absolutely stunning. I'm going to use my um, my stamping platform just because. Now, I've dis when I've been using these, I'll cut this card down. Sorry, I... I I didn't even think about demoing. I was too busy playing. Um, when I've been using these, I actually preferred using brown with these rather than black ink. I'm not really sure why. I think because there's that much detail, they just seem to suit the, the brown in, um, ink better. Sometimes uh, black can just be a little bit heavy, can't it? So I've been using the wonderful pine cone that our lovely Julia gave me, actually, who's in the building. Um, and not as we speak, but she's in the building. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, she is in the building. She's doing our fills today. So, popping this on here, and then let's have, a, let's have an ink now. This is, as soon as you start inking, you see the detail. I love this, because you see all the gorgeous imagery just come to life. And it really does suit the brown ink. It's just, just I think it, it's just stunning. OK, so you've got all that lovely detail. Absolutely adore it. When you get your stamps up first, um, as with a lot of your clear stamps, your first impressions, just do a couple of first impressions just to um, remove any other stuff from the manufacturing process. Your first ones won't be as crisp as your next one, so always do a, a couple of impressions or, you know, you go over with your sellotape to remove anything from the manufacturing process. But then afterwards, you're, you're cooking on gas and then... Just making sure, I've got that image, making sure, oh, look at that. How adorable is that? Now, can you see that detail? It's this that makes these super special. It's all of that. I mean, the, she is an incredible artist. Her imagination is beautiful because that lovely crescent moon, I love the crescent moon anyway. I just think that is in, sensational. I love that image. But it's when she's got a little Christmas book here. You know, she's got another little plaque there, so that could be whatever you want it to be. You've got all these beautiful, little dangly elements there which are incredible and I love and I love how a candle seems to be just bursting with just Christmas joy quite frankly now that's your first image okay but I want to show you this because so some of those lovely little um lovely little buildings and at first I'm just going to play with stamps I would just want to show you the stamps and how they work together because I think that's really important rather than spending any time um coloring in or faffing with backgrounds etc etc um so the little villagers so in that one you've got one of your little villagers let me show you okay so if I just move that one second bring this in and this and let me show you the little villagers, because these in their own right are sensational. And this, I mean, you could use this for um, gift tags, you could make it for some teeny tiny cute little cards. So you've got your little villagers, okay? I mean, that in its own right is ridiculously sweet. That's one of your little villagers. Let me show you one of your other little villagers, because these are just, honestly, you need to get them home and play. It's one of those, once you start playing, look, that's your other little village. Two completely different 
ridiculously gorgeous. So you've got two absolutely beautiful little villages there. Really detailed. R again, just magical. Doesn't need to be Christmas. You could easily put little flowers on that and it doesn't, it turns it into summer, it turns it into spring, it just turns it into magic. Okay, so you take those little villages and we're now going to bring in one of the frames now remember you have got two frames as well with this collection you've also got a border that border you could actually create your own frame so it does allow you to do let me just move that i don't know um it does allow you again to do so many different uh, variations this frame is sensational it's so pretty and honestly like i'm going to stamp this a couple of times to give you an idea of the amount of things you can do with it so now pop one here like this and these shows you never get enough time because part of what i want to do is just show you look you can do this you can do this you can do this do you know what i mean and obviously they always look amazing anyway but then when you color them in i mean it's just a it's just another level of amazing but i i always want to to do this because i want to show you so many different configurations so i'm stamping this twice because i want to build up two completely different configurations in here right so that's that frame the frame look how gorgeous that is again it's all about the detail you've got those lovely little baubles i love how she's got that that delicate um the the lovely sort of foliage on there i mean it oh the frame in itself is stunning remember the frame is on that big a4 one and now this is where you can start playing so you could bring into that frame one of your little villagers so if i get my little village on my acrylic block that should be a bit cleaner than it is because hmm, i know this this makes positioning slightly harder but it's okay so i want the candle facing up popping that little village just there look how sweet that is bang so quick so easy ridiculously beautiful so you've got your little village in there but 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 you've got all your little gorgeousnesses so if i take and i must admit the acrylic makes it a bit easier to see the stamps um, I've taken it off because I put it over there, but obviously you'll have yours on. Uh, wow, okay, it is already approaching half the stock. It is very, very busy. Please, please check your baskets out. Absolutely brand new and just adorable. Ador and this is what you're, for me, if you're doing Christmas, look, look, if you're doing Christmas, it should be magical. And that's why I think Martina's images are just sensational because for me, this is this makes christmas you know this this magic that she seems to have and i keep using that word i keep batting that word about but that's what it it means to me does this collection now look so i can now bring in the little lantern because i love the lantern so i'm going to just ink up that little lantern look at this it's ridiculously cute and i'm going to pop that just there i mean how cute is that oh man every time every time you're going to find another way of using the things you're going to find something else that you want to put in there so that's one of them move on to my next frame that's one with the village in it so this time i'm going to take and i just need to decide what i'm going to put in this one or oh, i'll tell you what i'm going to put in this one look 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 because in this one you know that we've got our separate little um separate little houses look so in this one i can pop our lovely little toadstool houses so i've got one little toadstool house there now i you could mask these off because if you did mask them off then obviously you could um you could overlay them but i'm popping them like that just for speed and for time i'm then going to take the foliage again now the foliage is really important and you've got foliage on all of them but the foliage is a, a must because it allows you and because i haven't got my acrylic i do apologize it's it's a bit trickier to see when you haven't got your acrylic now see the foliage is your your essential because this allows me because these are floating currently but this allows me to build up my scene so just bringing these in like so i know i've got more foliage i've got another one there 
so bringing that in as well. Half of the stock has now, oh, half of the stock, I didn't swear, half of the stock has now gone. Um, if you want these, you know what to do. You need to be, I did get too excited. You need to be checking out your basket. Look how built, quick that builds up. And look, 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 where's the orange bear with? This could be tricky to see. Hold on, oh, there it is. I love this piece of orange for some reason. I just think it's cute. Look, eh? I love orange. I love orange. I love orange at Christmas. Oh, rest it year. But Christmas, look, how cute. In fact, I, I want to stamp that again because I want it all over the shop now. I'm not going to. I'm playing now. And I've inked it up, so I am. Look, look, look. Let's put it here as well. Look. Isn't that sweet? And then let's do another one for the sake of um, symmetry. There. And then playing this is so lovely oh happy days this is what you see when you're doing christmas guys this is what it's about isn't it it's about playing and enjoying the process and look isn't it magical and you see i'm working on the inside but you can equally work on the outside of this as well um and do remember you've got extra little bits so i've got this one's a pretty stamp this one's a really pretty stamp the beautiful little holly See that one, I'm going to pop that, um, oh heck, where shall I put you? Ch -ch -ch. Decisions, decisions. I might pop that one there. Look how pretty that is. Thank um, you, Leone, my love. I'm going to have to stop you there once again because it is now a technical sellout. So it's not 50% at all. Remember, all these were pre-recorded. Uh, some was taken some shows and some were recorded specially uh, for this hour and the hour that our Catherine's got coming up later as well. It is the early bird that gets the worm. Uh, we've got a sellout of this big kit now. We've got a sellout, well, it's already gone. A sellout of the kit at the back. Something else that's sold out as well is your Majestic Birds. Sold out as well. I love when we do this, so we get it all snazzed. It's sold out. I don't even know why I'm bother showing you. Uh, three sellouts this hour is what we've had. Three technical sellouts. Um, our Catherine is back this afternoon. Uh, what time is this on again? Two o'clock. Uh, two o'clock with our Catherine. So the list won't be here. The Majestic Birds won't be here. We've already took out the one at the back as well. So who knows what will be left. So this is going to be a case of if you like it or it's in in your basket, start checking them out. Okay, so um, remember you've got all your 9.99 stamps down here as well. So all of these are nine pounds and 99 pence. You've got the big bundles at the back as well. If you want to go and look at those, go and check out the website. Tap the new app. Yes, the new app. Everything has changed on the app as well. The logo has now changed. It now says the craft store. Uh, so tap the app or jump to the website. It might be the quickest and the easiest place to go with this one. Three sellouts this hour. Uh, thank you to Leone. Not that she's here, she's on a barge celebrating a 70th. But she's there, she did them for us, and it hopefully gives you some inspiration as well. Uh, don't go anywhere. There is so much more to shop for here on the Craft Store. You can watch all these shows back as well um, on the website, on Rewind. Watch it all back, the fun and frolics that we've had this hour. Right then, I'll tell you what's coming up in the next three hours. We've got terrarium soon. Yes, indeed. Jubra Designs is up next. Then we've got your one day special with Alu Sims. Then join me for a brand new guest. They are glass terrariums. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. 
Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the Craft Store easier. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and I'm really excited to be working with you guys here at the Craft Store. We've been here since the very beginning and hopefully we'll continue to bring you lots of new and exciting soft craft projects. We've got everything from things like our Fabazine, which contains 12 different projects that you can do either in one go or split them up separately. Um, and that's a journey through all types of different soft crafting. And then we've got things that are really specific like our stitchery, which is a journey through all kinds of embroidery as well. So make sure you join me and craft yourself silly here at the craft store. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hello everybody, we've got some cracking shows today. We really have, we've had great shows so far, another wonderful hour ahead. Of course I'm not on my own, it's all about jewellery designs, but do stay with us throughout the day, lots of variation coming up. Now we are talking jewellery, now the lovely Julie was on of course this morning as well at 7 o'clock, so we're welcoming, welcoming jewellery back again for another hour. How are you doing down there? I'm alright, thank you. We're yeah. quite a long distance you away. Are. We are, aren't we? Oh, my goodness. Now, busy show earlier. We've got some, as always, Julie, some absolutely beautiful fabrics here. Yes, thank you. I, I mean, I've bought some stuff that we've had on before that was sold out, and I've managed to get more stock, so I've brought it back on again. And we've got some new items as well. Amazing. And we've got some gorgeous samples to show you as well. Now, the first item we're going to show you is the panel. This is the Woodland Church fabric panel. This is stunning. Brand new today. I mean, look at that print. Isn't that beautiful? A quarter of the stock has gone. Only 14.49. Item number 844599. That really is beautiful, isn't it, Julie? It's lovely, isn't it? So, um, I was going to get some fabric paints and actually sort of, you know, metallic paints and paint on it. But I didn't get round to it. <laughs> Do you know, it is absolutely gorgeous. I'm just going to take away the bottom bit because we're only seeing the top part there. Look at the deer at the bottom. That beautiful stream, you've got the reflection in the water. Oh. You know, this reminds me of some pictures, actually, some oil paintings that my mum bought. Oh, right. I'm just is. wondering. I wonder if it could be from prints from the same artist. It, it is could beautiful. Be. Absolutely beautiful. What sort of things would you do with this century? Um, so you could put it into a centre of a quilt. I've actually made um, an attic window quilt with it so you can hang it on the wall and it, it, it's intended to, to look like yeah. you're looking through a window. Oh, you're just, you're just waiting for somebody just to wander across that bridge, aren't you? Very, very nice indeed. 844599 is the item number. Now, that is for the panel that we've just shown you there, but we also have a finishing kit to go with it as well. So this is optional. We're going to show you a picture of that, and the details are separate for it as well. So let's bring it in for you. Here we go. There we are. So you've got your finishing kit and pattern 2349609455. Absolutely beautiful. So do we, can we put that as though we were looking through a window? Is that how that works? Yes, that's, so the way you, you sew it together, it, it's designed to look as if you're looking out of a window. How and that's why these, these scenic panels work brilliantly with it. Amazing. We have actually got samples in the studio as well, so we can show you those. Look at that, the effect of that window is magnificent. It really is. In fact, there's two samples there because we've got another option coming up or another item number as well. But looking at that window, well worth going for that pattern and uh, the finishing kit as well. But the panel is just amazing. 23.49, as I say, for the finishing kit if you want to go with that along with the uh, the panel then. I'm just going to remove that just for a, sec a second or two because we have got, well, we've just seen the sample for this one. Let me just show this. This is just as beautiful. Oh... A little deer. 
Oh, try that. I mean, you could That's actually, so um, it is, isn't it? So you could actually do an attic window with that as well if you wanted to. So it looks again as though you're looking out onto the fields and a wintry scene. It's very wintry, isn't it? It is beautiful. You've got the red cardinals there sat on the branches and in the tree. You've got the little rabbits. You've got the deer. Look at the fox. Look at the fox and the feet. Oh. And the bunnies, it's lovely, isn't it? It really, I could just stare at that all day. It's absolutely gorgeous. £14 and 49 pence, 889-661. Of course, if you want to go for a finished kit, we can offer this one as well. We'll show you the details. We will bring that up as a picture and a different item number. Here we go. There you are. That's what you'll get in the finishing kit. 45 99 232 285. That includes, of course, the pattern that you've seen there as well. Do have a look at the details on the website a little bit later on. But we have got more to offer as well. Absolutely beautiful. And it doesn't get, you know, it doesn't, we don't move away from all those wonderful sort of features in the fabrics, the colours, the themes. We've just got something for everybody here. Let's move on to this next one because we're going, we're staying with kind of a woodland theme because we've got the owl here. Julie, this again, the colours, gorgeous. These are placemats. This is kit to make the yeah, placemats. Yes, so um, I bought, I bought the, the picture fabric, which I think is absolutely gorgeous with the owls. Um, and I thought it's not Christmassy, it's more of a wintry sort of feel. Yeah. Um, and what I've done is I've fussy cut the owls out of the main fabric and then added strips and corners on it to make it into a mat. And in the nice. kit you get the instructions and also enough fabric, including the binding, to make four mats. Beautiful. And then what's the overall size of the mat? It is, that's on the front there, doesn't it? Ten by eleven and a half inches. And you can, don't they look amazing? They look absolutely magnificent. I've got one more to show you as well because I've got all four here. There we are. They look beautiful quilted as well. But they're gorgeous. I love them. They're, they're going on my table when... when Oh, I don't blame you. Well, half of the stock has gone. Everybody's loving those. Wonderful kit at 37.99. is the item number there for you. Then, moving down, we've got even more when it comes to sort of seasonal fabrics here, but completely different colour ranges now. So let's have a look at our next offer for you. Let me open this out as well, because we've got here for you the wall hangings. So we can see the instructions here as well. We do have these as finished samples in the studio. They're right next to Julie. And again, when you see the actual finished samples, you will fall in love with them. You really, really will. Let's have a look at the fabrics, because we've got a couple of different options here as well. So we've got the blue and we've also got the silver for you as well. So let's look at those details. We've got blue and silver there. In fact, that finishes one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. So there should be Where about 13. So the, it's the blue, oh, the blue, black and reds with the silver. So tones we're going from in. here to here, aren't we? No, a bit blue further along, actually. Another one? Uh, all right the way along to the white. All the way the... Oh! <laughs> So that's the next step. That's a lot of fabric in there. It is a lot of fabric. You, you do get wow. quite a bit, and it's all metallic. So I've, I've done it in two different um, colourways. One is it's got the gold flecks in it, the gold metallic, and got one's you. got the silver. Yeah. I think one's more traditional colours. You need to see the finished samples for these. Look at these fabrics. I absolutely adore everything that's on this show today. So how much in total are we getting here, Julie, fabric-wise? Oh, do, do you know, I think it's about three metres, maybe three and a half metres. That is wonderful. It and is they... quite a lot. And, yeah. and you, you do use most of the backing fabric, but you will still have a lot of the, um, the charm fabric, all the, the focus fabrics left, and you can make extra coasters and things with it. Beautiful. I love the size of the print as well. That means for me that, you know, often there's not a lot of waste on anything, so you'll end up with yeah. little bits and pieces to create more. Two payments of £30 on this one as well because you have got a flexi. Now, that is the first option. I honestly thought that was two lots there. So, as we just explained, from the blue right through to this next option where we go to and see the reds and greens there. So, again, you're getting the pattern. We'll look at those fabrics a little bit more closely as well. And then, again, we've got a finished sample we can show you a little bit later. So let's have a look at these. So the, the same amount of fabric, obviously, Julie, it is, it's the yes. same, uh, just, same design. Just a different colourway. So this one's got the golds and the greens yeah. in it, together with the blacks and the reds. 
So I would say this is a more traditional um, colour range. Very traditional, isn't it? And a beautiful bright red. Sometimes, you know, we, we see different reds, we see different greens, but to me this is true Christmas red. It is. Green. Those, those are yeah. Christmas reds. And, and you've Christmas got the stripe greens. which works beautifully, of course, because you always think of the candy stripe. That lovely metallic gold in there. There you can see the candy sticks with the holly on them as well. And it just goes on and on and on. Again, you've got that flexi on this one, 308, 145. You've got both uh, um, options under one item num number there. So you can, if you want, go for one of each. That's entirely up to you. Maybe you want to make for somebody else some gift. You will, of course, get the pattern, the full instructions there as well. Let's have a look at the two finished samples, if we may, because that might help you choose if you are just going for the one. I can't pick a favourite out of these. I really can't pick a favourite. Yeah, I do like the traditional red and green, but I've got to say I love blue and silver Blues as well. And, yes. 38 by 44 inches is the finished size. Oh, Julie, they are stunning, aren't they? I love, well, I love them and I really enjoyed making them because they're quite little pieces, you know, yeah. and sometimes it's quite nice for a change to work with small pieces um, again. And I think... I, You've, you do end up with quite a bit of fabric left and you could easily make a table runner with it. They are lovely. I, do you know, uh, Ross has just asked a question. I'm going to say it's from Ross because it's a good one and I like to give him praise every now and again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Ross is saying, could we, because we've got the individual blocks there, could we sort of mix them up more as well? You could, rather than yes, having them in rows? Yes. So we've got that freedom of choice You, you could do whatever you like with them, yes. Ooh. How would you mix yours up then, Ross, seeing as it was your question? Ah, Ross would have the candy canes diagonally. Diagonally. And then bits and pieces, wherever he feels like. Lovely. Lovely. Yeah. Something at the top left, something at the bottom right, something in the middle. 308145 is the item number there. They are absolutely beautiful. Uh, right, let's move on again now. We've got something coming up next that is always, always popular. When you see it, you'll know why. If you've not seen this before, oh. Now, it did sell out earlier. This is how popular it is. It's back on extended delivery. 23rd of August is the dispatch date from. Now, you do get a pattern again here, and we're looking at the first two sets of strips here, the beautiful peacocks. Julie, I'm going to ask a question, and really, it's a quite, kind of, to me, it's a bit, little bit silly. And that is, why do you think this is so popular? <laughs> <laughs> it is a silly question because you just look at it and you know why it's so popular. It I, is I, so beautiful. The colours are really vibrant in it, aren't they? There's, it, it's really strange how all those colours mix, mix together. You've got a bit of black, you've got whites, you've got purples, blues, greens. Um, and it, every time, you know, I brought it on and it sold out and I've managed to get some more so i just thought oh i'll bring it back on again look at that that blend of those beautiful purples and blues together. they are lovely aren't they they are and we've not even really seen the peacocks yet there you can see the feathers the black the colors how they stand out the metallics and we're just looking at one of the strips here you're getting two strips we've got the lighter version coming up next as well um all there under that one price 43.99 so these are your jelly strips you do get the pattern, as I say, 175087 is the item number. We'll just have a look at one or two of the lighter ones as well. You can really see those colours once again. I'm just randomly flicking through these. Look at the feathers. Just look at the detail in these. I don't know what I'd do with these because you could do so many projects. But you, you just could want, do an you awful lot. You want these on show, don't you? Yeah, so you could do an awful lot with them. Um, but I, I've I've done the quilt that's behind you, and that's the pattern that you get, and I just think it works really well. It does. It certainly does. Well, you can use the pattern for the strips or use the strip for something else. You have got that choice there, but the pattern is included. 175087 is the item number. Remember, we are on extended uh, delivery now because... As always, so popular, it did sell out earlier. And you can see that beautiful finished sample right behind me now as well. But we've still got more to share with you. We've got more strips coming up now. Very different, though, in design. Very different in colourways as well. Uh, so what we've got here, they, they're kind of paisley, aren't they? The top ones. Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, they could be um, Christmassy, or they might not be Christmassy, these. Um, so th this is called Jubilee, and it, it's a silver Jubilee. 
and again I just that's my favorite this one because Is I it? just well I love pinks and purples so you know it's just I, I I just love it so and the, I think the patterns in it are just stunning they are and that little bit of metallic again it's just the right balance for me because it's there you can see it, it adds it's, to the and effect but and it's some of them you know it's only a touch of metallic in there so it's not too overpowering sheen. That is absolutely beautiful. Again, if you wanted to use these as uh, little edges on lines and curtains and even dress You could use, you you could could use them for all sorts of things, yes, definitely. Oh, look at them. 741991 is the item number. £44.49. and pence. So we've just looked at the pinks there. We're looking at the silver now. Let me just give that a bit of a wiggle again so you can catch the light on it. Because that sheen is stunning. The silver's very nice as well. Now they they both cost silver. They come together. So, uh, but, but this one, this particular row here, is more of the silver on silver. It is, isn't it? Yeah, we've got the pinks together there. But don't they just work? Pink and silver, grey, whatever you want to they describe just go those colours together, as. Don't they? Well, just go to the back there and have a look at that one. That's nice. I can see why these are your favourites, Julie. Seven four one nine nine one. If you want to go for that that particular one there, that's the jubilee in the silver. Right now, the next one we've got it's jubilee again. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. Right. Okay. We've got the jubilee again, but this is the golds. So we'll have a little look through both layers here, or both selections. Uh, more reds in this one. You've got black in there. You've got the gold again. I'm just looking at the first row of strips first because that's you've got a little bit more of the vibrancy and the drama, have, yes, I think, in this particular yes. one. That's nice. We'll just give that a little bit of a wiggle. I just like to catch the light on the metallics. Oh, I like that one, Julie. That's a lovely fabric. Um, they're all very nice, aren't they? Um, sometimes I, I feel I'm sport for choice, really, but... Um, and you get the pat. You get well. Like what I've done is I've done an inspiration booklet, so you can make several di different things with it. Oh, nice! That is lovely. Let's have a look at the other strip because obviously they come together, but we can see a little bit more of the gold and almost a, a mustard gold in this yes. one as well. Look. But it's got the gold metallic in there as well, hasn't it? They feel so nice as well, Julie. I recognise some of these fabrics from previous bundles as well. There's a particular name for this one. Which one? That one? This one here. I'm sure it's this one. What's the name of that fabric? I don't know. It's, it's not something like bumbleberry or something, is it? No, it's not. I, th are you thi I think you're thinking of like a fern, maybe. Might be it... something I've seen that's similar, it's but similar. it had a particular name and it kind of... Sticks in my memory, to a point anyway, because I can't remember it exactly. I love the fact, just moving down here, look, you've got that red coming through as well in that lovely design. Beautiful. If you want this one, 741991 is the item number. Let's try and get those to lay flat. £44 and 49 pence. Do stay there, don't slide, don't slide. Uh, yeah, lots to choose from, isn't there? But with moving on again... Oh, just keeps getting better now we've got more for the festive season but very very unusual i'm smiling here julie because we've got the cats They're next funny, aren't they? Yeah. oh i love them just have a really good look at these again because you've got the black background you've got those beautiful bright colors the metallic in here the gold in there and look at the cats they're, they're a bit up of fun, aren't they? With the, with the lights there they're, let me just lift that a little bit so we can see it look at that this is your catitude Attitude Christmas is lovely, isn't it? It's it really... really is. Let's go through a few of the... Oh, look at the snowflakes. But you've got a right mixture in there, haven't you? Ah, oh, they're more the lights. Yeah, it's not just cats in here, although the cats are glorious. Now, we've definitely got more cats there. I love that purple cat. It's lovely, isn't it? Let's keep going. Let's have a look what else we've got. The greens and the blues in here as well are just stunning. You've got lots of different shades of green, haven't you, you have, as well? Yeah, so you, 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 sometimes we, I think we think, oh, you've got to use them all in one project, but you haven't. You can separate it all out and use them in and make lots of different projects. And in the booklet, I've made, ta I, actually, I think there's a table runner that I've made underneath the counter that with the cat. I'll have a look for that in a second. 
Yeah, we do have one or two samples at the back here. Yes, I can see where they are. Uh, um, let's have a look at the other stuff so as well. So you can do quite a bit with them. You can separate them into several different projects. Or you could make a table runner for lots of people, because I think I used, in the table runner, I used four strips, was it? Let's see if I can find that table Six runner. strips. So we as you get 40 strips, well, you've course. got quite a lot of gifts and things that you could do, couldn't you? You've got lots and lots of samples here, actually. Is this a table That's runner? The table That's runner, the table yeah. runner. Let's That's just with bring the catitude. There we are. Look at that. Those colours. You see, when you see everything put together, I, it amazes me. Every time I do these shows and we see, um, you know, patchwork or quilting and you start to arrange all those patterns, all those pieces, it just you see, that's surprises just got, you every time. That's just got six of the strips in it. So they've got six in it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. you think it's a lot more, wouldn't you? And the white really sets off And then I've just added the, in a little pop of white there. just to make it um, stand out. What's this one, Julie? So that's a Dresden plate, and again, that's in the instructions. So you, you can use it, you can make it, sew the strips together and then make it into like a Dresden plate. So that could be a cushion or a table runner, or you could make it a smaller blade and then make it into a table runner. <gasps> that what we've got here. <laughs> Look what we've got here. We've got a, a skirt, the tree. Look at this. Wow. So, so you know, that, that's my tree skirt now, because <laughs> it's my favourite, isn't it? Yes, in the fabric that we saw yeah. earlier on. But is the pattern in the booklet it for that is, one? It is, yes. Oh Everything's in the booklet. <gasps> Look at this one. Oh, it is worth seeing these. Look at that. It, again, you know, it's just showing what you can do with the strips. Um, and that's why I think I, I decided to do it, what I called an inspiration booklet. It's yeah. just that to give you lots of different ideas. It because really does, doesn't it? it? It's perfect for little projects for Christmas, for gifts or whatever. So obviously you're seeing some different fabrics here as well, but all of those instructions in that booklet that is included in the strips that we're currently looking at. That's the Gold Jubilee, at. that's the one. That... Yes, that's the one we're currently on, isn't it? Yeah. It is nice to see those samples. Oh, thank you for bringing those in, Julie. I'm just going to put those back underneath there. Absolutely stunning. Um, let's go back to those fabric strips, though, because we did the Golden Jubilee. We're on Catitude at the moment, so you've got the two strips there, 827588, if you want to go for that particular option. But we've got another one for you as well. Now, this looks quite oriental from what I'm seeing of it. But these baubles, aren't they? These are yeah, ornaments. Yeah, they are baubles. It kind of reminds me, yeah, it is. It it's kind makes of, me think um, a little it's bit an oriental. interesting one. It's because uh, it, it's got bits of lacy effects on it as well. Yes, like that one there. A lovely combination of different colours again. The effects in these baubles and the colours in there. So beautiful teal colour. And you can see the lace effect on there as well. I'm not showing every single strip here because it will just take too long, but I'm giving you a snapshot of various different colours. Um, you can see everything on the website, of course, as well. Once again, you're getting two lots, two strips, or two packs of strips. Look at the holly. And the snowflakes on there as well. Do you know, it's nice to see the gold in the snowflakes because you don't usually yeah, see that. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Wonderful. Two payments of £22.25, so you can split the cost of these. 821-441 is the item number. That wonderful inspiration booklet is included in all of the different options as well, of course. Now, moving on again. We're moving away a little bit, I think, from the seasonal theme, and we're going with these particular strips next. Very bright colours. These are like batiks, then. Am I right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> they are. Beautiful, yeah. absolutely gorgeous. You can't go wrong with a boutique, can you? You really no, can't. I, and I, I just think there's so much movement in the colours in boutiques. Yeah. And these are triple dyed um, boutiques, so the colours won't bleed, you know, they're really good quality. Amazing. You've got a gorgeous sample behind you as I well, have, using yeah. these, haven't you? The, I just, when I saw these, I just thought, oh, I like those. I really do like them. Look at this quilt. See, there's the pinks and the purples in there again. Okay. Oh just makes you want to smile, doesn't it? All those colours. Item number 090179. This is your Barlet Strip Pie. Two payments of £22.25. and pence. Beautiful. And we keep going because we've still got goodies for you as well. We have got one of the nicest advent calendars I've seen, I think, that's been stitched in the studio today. I, I love this because everything about it is just perfect for me. You've got traditional colours, 
you've got the fur cones, you've got the fur, you've got the snowflakes. We've actually got the panel here. We will see a finished sample because there's also a kit coming up. But they open the uh, panel out, first of all. Julie, this is lovely. Uh, the, it's almost kind of a weathered wood effect in the it background is, isn't there it? as well. Yes. Um, so I, I just think it's a really nice traditional and it's um, quite quick and easy to make because it's made by folding up the panel. Um, and I've added in extra bits around it. You also get so, along one side, you get those little tags which you can quilt and use the, as something for something else, you know, for gift tags and things. So They're really useful, actually. I like those. Just uncurl that corner so we can see them all. There we go. Only £15.49. pence. do like this a lot. 019272. That makes quite a grown-up advent calendar as well, I think. I think it, it does, yeah. yes. Yeah. We all need I, an advent calendar. I think everyone That's needs what age one. we are. So the panels then with the numbers, Julie, do they fold in half or is it... They do. So you fold it up um, I see. and then pin them and then you can add the backing at the side and, and then sew it all down. So it's really Brilliant. quick and easy. You don't have to cut it all out, all the bits and pieces out. I do like that a lot. Great price on it, 019272. And we do have a finishing kit for you as well. So we can see that. So you've got the option if you want to go for this alongside the panel. So the finishing kit, details are just about to come on the screen for you, 988110. We can see uh, the finished item, as I say, in the studio as well, because we do have everything put together. So the panel with the finishing kit as well. Of course, you get the pattern alongside that finishing kit at 14.99. 988110 is the item number. When you see this finished sample, you will absolutely love it. I think just looking at the fabrics there, you can see how attractive they are. But it, it is, a, for me, that is a very beautiful, grown-up version of an advent it, it calendar. Is, isn't it? it is, yes. yeah. You've got those lovely red cardinals there. You've got the stag's head. You've got the wreath. You've got the holly. You've got the fir cones. You've got those lovely little pockets there. You can see how they fold up and create the individual pockets. Nice little gifts in there, or just as a decoration. Yeah, and I didn't get around to it, but I was going to put some crystals and things along the top, you know, and really make it bling a bit. Oh, that would be nice. It would, so, and I think that would just really make it look lovely. It would, hang or up. a little crystal in the centre of each of the snowflakes. It, would exactly, look yes. Yeah. yeah. And you could hang that on a piece of dowel, put some nice ribbon or yeah, some tape to hang, hang it up, up as well if you wanted yeah. to. Very uh, nice. And in the finishing kit, I've, I've given you the backing, some calico for the backing, plus the wadding, plus the binding. So you need all the thing, only thing you need to finish it off is some thread. That is really generous. You've got everything you need, yes, except the thread and the sewing machine. Or if you want to sew by hand, you could also do it that way as well. If you want the finishing kit, the details are still there for you, but don't miss out on that panel also, of course, if you want to create something like we've just seen in the uh, studio here. Now, the next item... I fell in love with these fabrics the last time you were here, Julie, which yeah. actually wasn't that long ago. These are oh, to die for. They really are. And I love the fact that you brought to us a lovely project with the, the little charm squares as well, the mini charms. Yeah, so I, I've done with it. I think last time I did um, a cushion um, and a table runner with these particular mini charms. But then I thought, you know what? I, I, I thought I came up with this idea for a lovely little bag. I call it a grab-and-go bag. Um, so you get the pattern and the little mini charm to make just this sweet little bag. It's adorable. I love everything about it. The curves on it, the size of it. It's very, very useful. You've got a nice strap on there as well. We've got another kit coming up shortly. But the charm part there, the mini charm part, I've just pulled that out a little bit so you can see the moth or part of the moth. It is beautiful. You've got that metallic gold in there again. Only 11 701 That does come with the pattern to make the bag. So if you do love the look of this and that's what you would use that charm part for, it's there ready to go. 701 is the item number there. Now you know what's coming up, don't you? We've got a finishing kit as well, so if you want to really make the project exactly as you've seen it here, the finishing kit is also available. You get the hardware included, the wadding. That is a lovely fabric to complement the charm squares it as is, well. It is, isn't it? Yes, it's, um, it's got the gold fleck in it, um, and you get the zip as well, so it's all there for you. Just to, Again, all you need is some thread. Love it. Just fourteen ninety nine for the finishing kit, 525460. I'm just going to turn this back round if I may, so we can see more of the charm parts, so you can see the detail in the fabrics, because I don't want to disturb the packaging on the actual uh, mini charms themselves. 
Don't they go together so well? Obviously, they're made to go together, but it just works beautifully. It's really, you see, orange isn't really my colour, but it really works. It does, it? and it's not. It's more of a coral, isn't it, I'd say? Uh, yes, it is probably coral. Yeah. yeah. I love that pocket. Yeah. I love it. Right, there we are. So, we've got more for you as well. We've got some more charm packs. These aren't the mini ones. We've got Crystal Lane coming up next. Beautiful blues in this one. So, let's show you the details here. So, just flick through. Yeah, Crystal Lane, that's a lovely name. Oh, we've got a little bit of seasonal in there as well. There's some snowmen. It is kind of seasonal, but it isn't. I mean, just it's got little bits of snowmen and flowers, all sorts of things, spots. I love the blues. These are beautiful colours. And the browns work so well with the blues, don't they? 840-463 is the item number for this one. I'm not going to go through every single one of these again, but you can certainly see the colour palette that you're going to get, and it works so well. 15.99 is the price on that one. There we go. And then next up, we've just seen that little bag project. Actually, we've got the, the five inch charm squares in the same fabric. So if you want to go for a bigger version, you certainly can do. You can see a little bit more than moths there. Let's find the details for this one as well. I'm, you know, I'm going to flick through this a little bit. Um, so you've got very sort of delicate fabrics in this one in design. You've got they this are. a little bit more bold. It's, yes. Yeah. And some of those, there's a little deer in that one that you just... That? You, you won't see it unless you really look. Can you see it? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love fabrics like that where you don't actually see, see things like that and then you have to look closely and find them. I thought I saw an elephant then, but I think I'm mistaken. <laughs> uh, but it's true, you do, you start looking yeah. at it. Look at that. Just look at that. That is one of the most beautiful fabrics. It really, really is. Oh, I adore this. Fifteen ninety nine, eight two four eight one one is the item number. And do you get the pattern? You get with the that pattern, one to, yes, make the bag. to make the bag. So if you do want to make the bag, that's included in that particular bundle. Let's go to the website. That's where everything is. We can see everything from jewellery, not just the items we've got the counter now, but other items besides as well. There's, uh, the panels are doing really well. I'm not surprised. They are amazing. If you missed those at the top of the hour, hopefully we'll get to see them again. But everything is there on the de and with way of detail on the website. Now, the Catitude. Oh, no. I knew this was going to be popular. That has now gone limited stock. Limited set on Catitude. Oh, grab that now. You are loving it. I knew you would. Those fabrics are to die for, as I say. That's your fabric strip pie and the inspiration booklet with those seven projects, remember. Let's get to Julie, though. We want to see a demonstration. Julie, what have you got for us? So, first of all, I thought I'd show you how to make just one of the squares on the... Um, oh, lovely. ...on the mini charm. So, the first one I was going to do, I was do the little... Um, stars down towards the nice. bottom yep. so the first thing I need is um, a two and a half inch square and then I've got to make some of the little points so I'm going to take um, my square and another squ square of the main fabric this is the background fabric which does come and it's got little stars on it so it, it's kind of intended to be Christmassy and I'm just going to place them right sides together okay. um, I'm going to draw a line diagonally across I can't see that. There we go. Um, and then I'm going to sew on either side of that seam, of that drawn line, right. using a scant quarter yeah. of an inch. Okay. So when you say a scant quarter of an inch, it's just less. It's just slightly just less. Teeny tiny bit less. I, I, I just find that it, it's... I prefer to do a scant quarter of an inch, and to be honest, nobody's quarter of an inch foot, either way you sew, is exactly the same anyway. Yeah. So I just find doing a scant quarter of an inch means that um, I can then trim it to size, you. You know, and you get yeah. a much nicer square. Lovely. So. And down the other side. Absolutely love the quilting that you have done on your samples. Thank you. They always look so, so, so wonderful. I mean, you can pick out the detail, but it doesn't take away from the fabrics at all. No, I, I don't like, I like, I love the quilting on it, and I love doing the quilting, but I don't want it to overpower. No, but it never does, that balance is perfect. 
But it's a personal choice, isn't it, with a quilting? So, do you know, because I, I, I do quilting for other people, and um, some people really like it to stand out, yeah. and others just like it to disappear. So it's a matter of personal choice. Of course. So I've um, just cut down the... Um, Sorry, down, down the centre of the drawn line. I'm just press these open, uh, and I'm going to press the towards the dark side. I always like saying that. Press towards <laughs> the dark side. Um, I treated myself to one of those pressing mats last week. Oh, did you? Yeah, I've wanted one for ages, and I was doing a shout. Oh, aren't they brilliant? They are good, yes. So, and then I'm going to just trim these down. And again, this is why I did a uh, scant quarter of an inch. Okay. Um, so I wanted this to trim this to one and a half inches. So I'm just going to place my the diagonal line on my ruler along the, the seam line. And I'm just going to trim this off. Okay, just as you're trimming off there, Julie, Catitude, guess what? We've had a sellout. We've had a sellout. I am not surprised. Now, we do have a little bit on extended delivery, so that's now going to move to the 23rd of August as the dispatch from date. Uh, so you still can get this just a week away. It's not long at all. Of course, you're going to get the partner as well, the inspiration booklet with those seven different projects in there as well. So Catitude, well done if you've managed to get from the first set of uh, allocations there because you'll get yours a little bit quicker, but not long to wait at all. Wonderful. So here we go. So I've, I've cut, I've trimmed my two little squares. Sometimes, you know, it's really nice to work on little projects, yeah. you know, rather than big projects. So I, I really enjoy doing this. Um, and then I'm just going to place, just make sure that you get the orientation right. And I'm just going to sew them to join them down the centre here. Okay. Again, I'm going to use a scant quarter for an inch. Is your home full of things that you've made then, Julie? Do you have a lot? Yes. So you, you can sit I do give a lot away, to be fair. Do you? Yeah. Do you make curtains and everything? Your cushions That's what things? I used to do. I used Is to it? make curtains and dress. That's how I started dressmaking ah. and curtains, you know. So um, I've always sewn. Yeah. I think um, <laughs> my husband always says he's married to a sewing machine. <laughs> <laughs> I could think of worse things. Yes. <laughs> I bet he gets all his trousers repaired when the hem comes down. <laughs> but he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a feeling you were actually going to say that? Uh, if he's watching this, he'll be thinking, oh, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> that, you know, it's kind of it does work a little bit like that, doesn't doesn't it? It's like we work here at the craft store, surrounded by all this goodness, all these crafty items, but most of us don't actually manage to make any cards or anything. You know, we end up buying them because we don't have time. No. We're always doing other things. You know, we're making for shows or samples. Yes, that's true. Yes. So, so I've, I've, I'm going to make four of these little um, shapes. And I'm going to first two, I'm going to put on the sides here. Lovely. Again, I just use a, quarter, a scant quarter of an inch. Do you make for gifts as well then, Julie? I know you say you give a lot away, but do you actually decide, you know, uh, Auntie Frieda or whoever you're making for, she could do with uh, a nice bag, so I'll make that. Um, sometimes, sometimes um, I, I give the quilts away to um, places that are going to auction them off for oh, charity nice. and yeah. things like oh, that. Because um, there's only so many quilts I yeah. can have in my house. I, I do keep some, you know, I've, I've got a few that I keep that I, you know, and all my sons have got one, you know, they've all said, oh, can I have that? Can I? So that's oh. quite nice. Um, I just enjoy making them, though. Yeah. That's what it's all about, isn't it? It's uh, crafting. That I just is enjoy the, on the, list, the creation it side of it. Because it's quite... Uh, the thing with quilting is there's so many different techniques, aren't there? You know, with uh, applique and... Oh, my phone's come on thread. Um, you see, you know, it's quite artistic in a way, yeah. isn't oh, it? Oh, definitely. Um, which I really like. Sorry, my thread's come undone. So. And because you've got the option to cover so many beautiful fabrics, I think fabric, Julie, to be fair, 
just seems to get better and better and better. Well, it's it interesting, isn't it? Because you can take a pattern and you can use one fabric and then make it look totally different using a different style of fabric, yeah. um, which I just love the variety that you can do. So it's on here. I'll give that a quick press. And then we'd add another one on this end and we need some little squares. So okay. I'd sew the little squares onto here and then again on the back and then join it all together. Perfect. And that's how you make your little star. Absolutely. You can see that building very, very easily. Those points that look so difficult aren't actually difficult at all, are they? You can see the process is very, very, very easy, but also such a striking result. Now, um, I've got a little bit of an update as well. Catitude, it did sell out back on extended. I can tell you on the extended stock already 660. Did I hear that right? 60% of the extended has gone. I did have to check then because I wasn't sure. I did think I heard 16, I did. Um, you're loving it. I am not surprised. From the 23rd of August, I'm just going to very quickly flick through one or two more again for anybody that missed these. You are getting both rows of these strips here. So the darker background, the lighter background, those colours. Oh, you've got some beautiful jewel colours in here as well. Deep reds, bright reds, pinks, purples. Uh, of course, you've got the cats in there. The cats aren't on every piece of fabric, so there's something to sue absolutely everybody. But work together, the results are amazing, aren't they? 827-588 is the item number. 44.49 is the price. You're getting a lot for your money there because you also get the inspiration booklet that creates seven different projects. Now, we've had another sellout as well. I am not surprised. This is the five inch charm pack with the pattern for the bag. Now, yeah, this one is also coming back on extended. It's sold out, the initial stock, 23rd of August. So if you've missed out on this one, a week to wait for this is nothing at all because you will absolutely love it. 701-507 is the item number. Only 11.99 for that charm pack as well with that bag pattern, which you can reuse afterwards with other fabrics as well. Julie, back to you if we may. Okay, so I was just going to sew this on and then I thought I'd show you how to make the star. So I was just continuing on to that. So okay. there we go. So I'll put that aside because that's quite straightforward now. Um, then I thought I'd show you how to make the, because this is also, this pattern is also, comes with the peacock flourish strips and it's also in the inspiration booklet. So you can do this with all of the strips if yeah. you want. So the first thing you need to do is to choose four um, strips and sew, sew them together. So I've chosen a pink, two pinks and a black and I've paired them up, one pink, one black, one pink, one black. I've offset them slightly and sewn them all, uh, sewn them along okay. using a cord. This is your favourite bundle, isn't it? Yes. This one. Yeah. <laughs> is this the Jubilee yeah. in pink? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I, I just love it. It's the, the black and the grey. I can see why. When you see the strips so. like, together like that, wow. Yeah. yeah, silver and pink together. And we do have an option that's the gold as well with the reds. Both beautiful. Sorry, Julie. So that's all right. So I've sewn them together. Um, I've cut, and I'm going to cut a two and a half inch strip. So to do this, uh, two and a half inch um, triangle. Is it? What's that shape called? Trapezoid? I can remember. Uh, oh, we had this earlier because we had the shapes on fabric. A trapezium? Depends on the sides. Oh, does the it? The length of the sides. Oh, we've okay. we've got different sorts of triangles and things. Oh, okay. We are trapeziums and parallelograms and all sorts made <laughs> this morning. Right, so I, I've got my 45 degree line and I'm just going to place that along my seam line here. Okay. Um, and I'm going to count two and a half inches in. I'm just going to cut like that. And the other side as well. Actually, I'm just going to straighten this up because it's gone a bit wonky. So, uh, there we go. It's such a clever process, isn't it, when you patchworking and quilting? Because originally, for someone that had never done it before, when you first see a quilt, you'd think, 
oh my goodness, somebody's taken so long to cut all those pieces out individually and then stitch them all together. But you actually do work in blocks and strips and then cut. You sew together. Yeah. But then it is just so it, yeah, much it's quicker. Quick in, in yeah. the process sometimes. So then I'm going to uh, put these together. Um, now you can choose. You can either, you know, have the pinks in the middle, or you can have the swap it round and put the. No, that's the pinks. And the pinks at the top, and I want that's what I want. So to join these together, we're going to offset it slightly because we've got corners here. But to okay. make sure you get a nice centerpiece, if you put a pin through and then through into the, another seam here, and then make it straight, and then you can put another pin to hold it in place. You'll notice that um, on the edges here, they're slightly offset. But when yeah. we actually sew them, they'll all they'll be nice up. and straight. Yeah. That's just allowing for the seam allowance. Yeah. I noticed you've got some magic pins there, Julie. <laughs> I love the magic pins. Right. Have, we, have we got any left on the website? We sold out when we had them on last time. They're lovely fine pins, nice and long as well. And if you, you do drop them, they always go the right way up, so to speak. So the point will be downwards, so you can't stand on them and hurt your feet. I'm always doing that. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've, I've, I've got to wear it. I always wear shoes or slippers now because I usually stand on something. Oh, yeah, painful. And so then when we open this up, oh, oh, it's come on, thread it on. Have you lost your thread again? <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, sorry. <laughs> Right. Jo, I was just listening. I was thinking about something you said earlier, Julie, about your uh, your other half, and he thinks he's married to a sewing machine. Actually, if you listen to a sewing machine, it is as though it's talking to you. The whir <laughs> of a sewing machine, and every now and again you hear a bit of a groan as well. Yes, <laughs> as, as it snaps the thread. All <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, sorry. I don't know why it keeps coming unthreaded, but it does. Okay. Sorry, so I'll sew that together again. It's a good job we're not going all around the edge of a quilt, Julie. It's, at least it's only a short run. It is, yes. That is very annoying when that happens, isn't it? <laughs> Some machines tell you, though, don't they? Yeah. You've got one, a clever machine that says, your thread is broken. <laughs> Wait, it doesn't actually say it comes up <laughs> on the screen, does it? <laughs> Next thing, that will be what we have yeah, here, a machine we'll with an actual it. voice, like we have a sat-nav. We'll have a machine that actually does talk properly to you. You've reached the corner, turn left. Needle down. Pivot. Right, so, there we go. <laughs> there we go. So there, you, you've got your lovely... Um, point coming together. Now we're going to add, I've just done one, I've done one here. So we're going to add, make sure I do it the right way round. That's it, a, half a, a triangle onto this side okay. and a triangle onto here. Lovely. And then you can see because I've done some other bits, so you can see how easily it comes together. Again, I'm just going to offset my triangle here at the point, and I'm going to start sewing from the centre outwards. Do you recommend always line out all of the pieces before you start stitching together to make sure you, you have got everything in the right orientation, or you're happy with it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, let's... Um Try again. Sorry, my sewing machine's come on through. It's having a bit of a. Oh, you need one of those um, magic needles for your sewing machine as well. One of those self threading ones. If you haven't got a threader on your sewing machine, we did have the other day the needles with the little slots, so you just kind of push the thread in from the side and it's threaded. You don't have to worry about not seeing the eyes so much. I've not. Is it, do they make them for sewing yes, machines? That, I saw them for the first time the other day. Yeah. Oh, I hadn't heard of those. It was. Um, I could yeah, Hayley Smith had them on the other day. We had bundles of different sewing sewing needles. Oh, that's, that sounds like a good idea. They're very. Do you know what else I saw for the first time the other day, Julie? I didn't know it existed. 
It wasn't a twin needle, it was a double eye needle. So the eyes were one above the other. So that when you, you sew with two, it, you get a you nice your own thread effect. Thread effect, yeah, that was very clever. I have seen those. machine sounds nice and happy now, do we? So, so that's one side on. And then we'll just add this piece on. You can see how it's coming together. It builds very quickly, doesn't it? Again, I'm going to start sewing from this centre point out towards the outside because we're going to square it off so it's, okay. it's better to sew from the outs from the inside to the out so that you get the nice point in the middle how long have you been sewing julie sorry how long have you been sewing well probably since i was about five or six have I you? Think, yeah my my mother was a she used to sew all the time well in those days she used to make all our clothes yeah um so she taught me how to knit and sew, um, and I've just done it ever since. I think that's how a lot of us started, isn't it? Because I was the same with, with my mum. She used to embroider, sew, knit, yeah. crochet, do all those different things as well. Really interesting, actually, because she used to make our clothes, and it wasn't that long ago she t was telling me she'd found a little notebook. I think she'd put it somewhere in the loft. And she used to write down what she'd spent on fabric and thread so she could really? work out the price of every item she made. Yeah, and it was an interesting read, I'll tell you. I can, I can, I can imagine that, because things have changed slightly, because of, you can get much cheaper clothes now, than, and it's not always cost-effective, is it? But you, if you make your own clothes, yeah. they're one-off, aren't they? Yeah, definitely. So there we go. So I've added the bits onto it, and I'm, I would then join, again, from the centre. I'm just going to match up all my seams. It's a reminder that Julie's using the silver and pink Jubilee as well. You can see that on the screen. We've got a flexi buy on it as well, so if you add anything else into your basket, you can also split the cost. 741991. We do have another colour option in the Jubilee, which is the gold and the red together. Just sew down the centre. And again, when I'm doing this, I, I like to start in the centre and sew out, which I've done here, because then I know I've got the nice points, and then I'll sew from the centre to the outside again. OK. Do you have a dedicated sewing room, Julie? I bet you do, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I, I have um, a top floor. Do you? <laughs> yes. A whole floor? <laughs> yes. Wow. Well, we, we, we used to, I used to have a shop, um, and obviously had everything in, in there, and then we've moved and we shut the shop down, so the top floor I have a workroom, my long arm, and then sort of oh, my wow. little office area as oh, well. Oh, that must be amazing though. It is. It's yeah. lovely. Oh, I'm quite jealous of that. That's why we bought the house. Well, is I it wanted, really? Yeah, because I wanted that top floor. <laughs> It was oh. also in a very nice area as well. So. You must have a lovely husband, Julie. Very understanding. So there we go. So you can see we have got one quarter, and this is the other quarter that I've made. You sew Look those together. together. And that is how you make your your star. Wow. They are absolutely beautiful. We've got the finished quilt as well in a, in a different pattern, different design. In fact, we're going to go over those different strips again, but the uh, silver and the pink there together is exquisite. It really, really is. Let's have a look at those strips, actually, because you get the same pattern with each of the options here. The first one always proves to be popular. Whatever Julie brings us with these fabrics always sells out. Now, these did sell out earlier on. Back on Extended, the 23rd of August, so this is the Peacock Flourish. So, the, oh, look at those feathers. Look at those feathers. 
you've got the peacocks in here you've got all of those jewel colors as well we've got you're getting both of these strips so the darker background is the one i'm going through at the moment again i'm not going to show you everything for two reasons one because we're running out of time and two because it will spoil this is going to be a gift in itself when you receive it i love 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 this one then you can see of course the lighter background here as well the blue how that stands out there the gold metallics in this particular option just works so so well doesn't it look at these 175087 is the item number don't forget you do get the pattern you've got a flexi on there as well so that's the peacock flourish then of course the silver jubilee is the one we're looking at now so that along with the pinks you've got the silver we've just seen julie piecing this one together so you've got a good idea of how this will look that wonderful star as well, a really good size that creates as a block. So you can make big quilts or cushions or whatever you wish from this as well. You are getting the pattern for the quilt, but of course you can break this down and use these fabrics in different ways as well. Item number 741991, if you're going for that one. And we've also got the gold version for you as well. So we can see the drama in this one. You've got the reds, you've got the black in here. You've almost got a mustard as well as the golds. Lots of metallic in here as well, that lovely shimmer. Let me just peel back some more of these so we can see more designs. Let me peel them both at the same time. We can see them together then. Look at that one. Oh my goodness. I don't know how anybody can choose it. They're sticking to one design here, Julie. How you choose amongst what you've brought to us today? I don't know, I really. really. I don't know. Two payments again of £22.25, pence. Seven four one nine nine one. This is why it's so nice to have the finished samples, because you get to see things in a completely different way. Now, don't forget, Catitude also sold out earlier. Uh, back and extended from the 23rd. Again, you're getting both sets of strips here. I love that one with the lights there just how you've got that reflection on the light as well so effective 827588 the extended stock was simply flying out as well when we brought it back on extended we've still got some left though so you haven't completely missed out just yet yeah you've still got time to grab this one two payments of 22 pounds and 25 pence again item number 827588 now we have for you as well of course oh these are lovely as well we've got the christmas let's have a look at these we'll bring the details up again let me just flick through these so you've got the dark the oh, beautiful backgrounds again the black the gray in here the beautiful teal color the lace effect on the baubles there you've also got lace effect on some of the prints you've got little holly leaves in here then we've got the green with the gold look at that holly leaf Look at that. Oh, something's going sliding away. I'll just catch that. Uh, you didn't see it, but I did. Love, 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 love these. Look at that. Oh. 4449 again, 821441. Don't forget you get the inspiration booklet. Seven different projects in there as well. Shall I? Have I got time to bring these samples out again? Can I show you these? So you'll recognize some of the fabrics here, but of course. Uh, you can, it gives you a good idea of some of the strips. I do apologise, Julie, because I've just dropped one of your samples. There we've got Catitude in this one. This is the table runner. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Oh, we've got less than a minute left, Julie. Where's this hour gone? It's just gone, hasn't it? I've got to show you your tree skirt again. In Julie's favourite, this is the Silver Jubilee. So if you're liking the look of that one as well, there you can see one of the samples made. I'm just going to keep throwing these projects as I wind down the show for everybody to see. There's the Golden Jubilee. Oh, Julie, what a lovely show. Do keep bringing all these wonderful fabrics and these beautiful kits to us because every time you're here, it just amazes me, you know, what we can create from fabric. Check those baskets out. Don't miss out. This is the second and final hour for Jewelry today. Julie, thank you so, so much. Really, thank really you. enjoyed that. Yeah, stay with us, though. We've still got lots more to come. It's nearly 12 o'clock. That means we've got the one-day special coming up next. But so much variation today and lots of bargains ahead as well. See you soon. Yes, and Louis Baba Sakura, it's the Jelly Journal One Day Special next, and then Tropical Glass Terrariums. Do not miss that, they look amazing. Art Inspirations back at 2 o'clock, and another one with Leonie.
Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dyes and flower stamps. On our shows, I hope to bring you many hints and tips and techniques to inspire you, the crafter, at home. Hi, I'm Charmaine from Dolly Dimples and I've been crafting since I was a little girl and I have a massive passion for anything crafty related. Dolly Dimples is a fictional character in Dolly Dimples Town. There's uh, whimsical characters, fantasy characters, mythical characters. There's so much going on, so much happening in Dolly Town and it's a fun place to be in. Our products are all hand-drawn. That makes them quite unique because you've got that quirkiness about them. We have decoupage, backing papers, we have templates for 3D objects, stencils in the mix, we have dyes, and lots of other things are coming to you soon. Make sure you tune in for the Dolly Dimple shows and have some fun. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have. So we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. And we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. Hi, I'm Jo, and I have the pleasure of demonstrating for That's Crafty. That's Crafty are a family-run business that started online in 2005. I hope I can inspire you by bringing along my experience together with the That's Crafty products. So make sure you don't miss the That's Crafty shows. Good afternoon. Right then, it is your penultimate live hour of the one day special. I love these pens. That's all I can say. I just love them. Hello, Lou. Hello. Now, you've been teasing me all morning because you, you're like, you're going to be doing something very special this hour. And I'm like, ooh, what am I doing? So I, have, I genuinely have no idea. Lou has not told me. So I, I await to see. I'm going to take you a little bit out of your comfort zone. Oh, because yeah, as, as we've been chatting, I just literally tend to use the the pens just to color but there's so much more that you can do with yeah. them shall we chat about them actually in the one day special you've got your metallics but you can do the same sorts of things with the glaze with the um with, with stardust all, yeah with all of them they're an ink at the end of the day and whilst the ink is wet yes. we can do all of those we can blend together we can blend it out with water yeah. dry brush them you know you, you can whilst the ink is wet do a lot with them nice and then obviously having the metallic yeah. you now add a metallic shimmer if you're using it as a watercolor yeah. to your work straight away which adds you know something a bit different as well amazing <laughs> so we we're talking about the metallics here we go these are the metallics that you'll be getting you have got the sweets. Oh, let's tip that forward. I, I like this because um, you've done, I say this a lot, but you've done the white and the, on the white and the black, which is so nice. So you've got your sweets, you've got your nature, then you've also got the oceans and you've got the forest. And they've got the, did you say the word opacity? Yes, and they're, they're, they have an opacity to them. Yeah. Whereas some of the other jelly rolls, like the glaze, are more translucent, same with the stardust. Yeah. Um, the moonlights and the um, metallics have more of an opacity to them. Yeah, beautiful. And then we've got the sort of, would you say they're limited edition or special the, edition? They've been created because it's Sakura's 100th birthday this year. Right. So they've gone for black and gold because of like the roaring 20s yeah. and all the decadence from there. So it is, it's exactly the same quality ink inside them, but you've now got this wonderful packaging that is just for this birthday year. Amazing. And we can see here we've got the 01, 03 and 05. And, and there is a difference. There is. It's, it's basically the smaller the number, the finer the line. Yes. Um, so it, I would start with like a, 
005 or a 01 mm -hmm. to put my initial outlines down with and then I can get darker and darker with each pen. Yeah. Or if I'm feeling bold straight away, I'll just go with the 05. Absolutely. Look at that, beautiful. And then we've got our lovely white gel pens. Um, and these are a medium and these are an absolute essential. I think if some people go, why do I need this? But as soon as they start using it, they go, oh my gosh, why haven't I had this sooner? It is, I mean, we mm. always think of the white pens to add highlights, little dots to eyes. And you know when you see around the flowers and things like that. But they are also a white ink. Yes. So once they're wet... Is that on here? Yeah. Oh, excellent. Okay, um, I can show And do that way. And I've got one in the journal, which I can show when we come back. Um, oh, and lovely. It, you can blend it out, use it as a paint, you know, yes. pull it out, try and see it in different ways. Um, so you can... We it, can see that on the overhead if you right, like. If I move that, white, yes, that, I was going to find the page. So you you know when you think I should have really bookmarked it? Oh, no, that's all good. I've just got loads of pages in here. I that... love your journals. <laughs> They're amazing. We've got journals on the show, by the way, if you do want them. Right, let's find it. There we go. So that page there is showing that is done with, with the white pen. Mm -hmm. yep. So I've drawn around the outside and coloured it in and actually watercoloured it all out with the white pen. And then just to add a little bit of a contrast, I've added um, some of the moonlight fluorescence in the yellow and the orange. Oh, amazing. Just to give a, an extra shadow. But your white pen doesn't just have to be for writing mm -hmm. or adding those little highlights. It can do exactly mm -hmm. the same as well. Lovely. And last, no. Second to last but not least, you've got your white, uh, it's clear, 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 it's clear, it is not white, it is clear, I keep tripping myself up. Uh, you've got your clear glaze. Now, you can only get this in the one day special. It absolutely flew out from the pick and mix. But, like you've been rightly saying, it looks like it's in, it's clear embossing powder, but it isn't. It isn't. I mean, so you can get that look then, um, and you can put it precisely where you want to put it. Yeah. It's a great accent piece when you've finished a piece of work as well mm -hmm. um, so you can you know you can add that glaze to it yeah put it on top of the fluorescence because they're matte yeah you've suddenly made a matte now a glaze yes. so it has a shine to it that fluorescent shine to it as well so they do layer once they're dry they layer on top of each other um, brilliantly amazing there we go and then last but not least you've got your journal 160 GSM it's a5 and you've got 50 sheets and you were saying yesterday it you can literally throw <laughs> anything at it because you said that I went and dug out everything oh, that I had to you. thank you so <laughs> you know when you make four sheets but it's the same I've got paper. A five. It's, it's all exactly the same so this is working with um, oil pastels and gel mediums and that's on the A5, so that went on that one there, and you see. This is working with um, a doodle I did with coloured pencils. So you can mm -hmm. use actually pencils on it, you don't just have to use normal mediums. This is printing on the jelly plate. Um, so I've done all the jelly plate printing with watercolours on that. Yeah. That's working with acrylics, so <clears throat> that's a background ready to go. Mm -hmm. And that's a mixture of acrylics, watercolours and oil pastels. Wow, just you've be, done You know, just because you can. Yeah. And then this one is again acrylics um, and blending out with different acrylics. And then I've gone over with oil pastels over the top. So they do, they do take a lot, you know, sort of thing. I, but after you said yesterday, I thought, yeah. I know I've got them somewhere. Oh, I'll go and dig you. them out. <laughs> Thank you. So they really do take yeah. a lot of different mediums. They are fantastic. Right then, so your one day special, uh, you can spread the cost, two payments of £20 and nine pence, but let me tell you, you will not be dissatisfied, this, these pens are fantastic, and you'll see at the back that I've got all of my big stash as well, <laughs> 979867. Now we do have a pick and mix, and I know I've been banging on about this because we've been together for a couple of hours last <laughs> night, yeah. but I'm going to say it again, this is fabulous on a pick and mix because I love getting packs, but there are some there are some uh, colours that you're more drawn to, mm. so you'll run out quicker. And then sometimes you're like, well, I don't want to buy a pack and then have duplicate. Oh, I just want that one pen. Yeah. You can do this now, which is fabulous. It is. Yeah, like you say, we do have our go-to colours. Yeah. Definitely do. And then that way you've got you've got them more, and then you've still got the other colours as well. Absolutely. Definitely, yeah. Definitely. I like this way of buying, and it's a really good value. Now, you're choosing five. I must let you know, though, um, that everything on this show is going to be dispatched from the 31st of August, OK? Not too long to wait, but uh, and it really is worth the wait. So we have got our fabulous colours. Here we go. 
Let's have a look at these. So you're choosing only five, and I ran up to the call centre <laughs> last night in between shows, and I chose ten, because I had to. Uh, so we've got the sepia, the black, the grey, royal blue, blue, turquoise, red, rose red, pink, orange. Now we have run out of the uh, clear glaze. Uh, there is a white in there, I believe. Uh, then we've also got the green, the hunter green, deep green, purple, and deep red. And you've done the lovely board for us. If I tilt it forward and tilt it back a bit, because it is worth doing it on the black as well, isn't it? It is, because they do, it does, you know, if you were going to put one of those colours, if you've already done like a metallic, you could still make it work on top of the back as well. Yeah. It's a subtle highlight as well, so you can do a glaze highlight. And the coloured panels around the outside was to show that because they have a translucent nature, they will pick up the colour that they go on top of. Mm. So, you know, like do a pink on a blue and you'll get like a pink purple. Yeah. You know, do a blue on a yellow and you'll get like a, a yellow green. So you can actually then extend them if you want to, just a little bit further as well. Nice. All right then, so for any five, just ten ninety nine. I think that is incredible value. Uh, 540663 is your item number. Mm -hmm. Then we've got some pigment microns. So these are a bit of fun. It's nice, isn't it? We always think of just black, but no, we've got some more. Yeah, we do. And I, I like them because like, we, we talk about no lines colouring and things like that, but they also can make your work... Um, stand out but also recede back. Mm -hmm. A black outline can sometimes make something stand out very harshly. Yes. And also we can be very good to criticise ourselves. So mm -hmm. if you make a mistake with a black pen, you'll spot it quicker than you would with a coloured pen. Got you. I got you. Uh, so we've got the black, the blue, the red, the pink, the purple and the burgundy. And you've done a fabulous example here in your journal. I like this. <laughs> yeah, so I've just drawn around my hand and then doodled in each of the fingers. Yeah. But I've used, actually used the pens that we've got there um, and then coloured in with the koi's on top. Yeah. So it, it changed, so it, I've done a pink outline coloured with pink mm -hmm. and it changes how it actually looks. Really in does, my eyes it? it does, anyhow. Yeah, it totally does. Okie dokie, for those six pens then, uh, it's £13.98. We are 70% of the stock gone here though. Uh, 559910 is your item number. Now, thank goodness. Unfortunately, we can't get the um, clear glaze back in stock, but we have got the white gel pens back in stock. One extra day delay, so that's not much really, mm. is it? But we've got the bold... And then we've also got the different sizes, uh, 0, 5, 0, 8, and 10, or it could be 0 0.3. It depends how you look at it, isn't it? It is. I mean, I'm used to, um, on the actual um, lids themselves, it'll have 10, 8, 5, and that's right. what I'm used to. <laughs> um, the other numbers are actually the true width of the, itch, the actual nips, yeah. if that makes sense. So 0, 3 is the finest, yeah. 0, 4 is your 8. Yeah. And 05 is what I would consider your 10. Makes 10. Yeah. But that is really good. I'm so pleased that we've got these back in stock. Excellent. Okay, but um, the... Oh, they are as well, yeah. I was going to say, these flew out yesterday. I think they sold out in about 10 minutes. It's happening again. It's happening again. We're all obsessed with white gel pens. Um, £9.95. Again, another fantastic price for the six pens. 119127 is your item number. Then we've got the nice little mixed pack. And as I said yesterday, I think this is lovely if you've not got any of these pens you want to dip your toe in. And then you can try a bit of everything. It can, can you? Because we've got 12 Stardust, mm -hmm. we've got six of the Metallics, five of the Moonlights, and a white pen as well. Yeah. So like you say, you've got a little bit of absolutely everything. Um, and they all work together absolutely beautifully. And they, and they all bring something different to the table. They do, don't they? So nice. And then you've done some samples for mm. us. I always go straight to the dream catcher. <laughs> I love this. Um, so you've got a mix of a bit of everything on here? I have. And so it's, it's, I've watercolored out because I can. Yeah. You know, why waste? And then all I've done is I've layered up and I got Adam to make a feather early this morning he using said, the I same said, technique. What did Lou get you to do this morning? Uh, have you noticed where it's taken pride of place? Oh no, I haven't. I'll have to come back and say, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I'll go, is it by the one day special? Yeah, I found my notebook over here thinking, why's my notebook there? Oh, it's, all it's, right. I it's in the one day special. So he actually did that using a mixture of all the moonlights, the metallics. This the, one? Yeah. Oh. The glazes. Um, we created a background first. You know, so it was just doing all the layering to create a, a multi-layered feather. So you, you can keep 
layering on top of each other. So like I said, they each bring something different Amazing. to the look. He's done a fabulous <laughs> job there, hasn't he? Lovely. I bet he enjoyed himself. <laughs> He did. He's going to get his daughter involved as well, I know. Um, and then we've got this sample, which has got those lovely leaves and a, a mix of, again, the different pens. All the different pens, but I've stuck to different, um, the same colour family. Yeah. Because you don't have to, you know, bring everything on top of each other. If you just want to use the greens, pull out all the greens and That's use it. all the greens. Amazing. And then we've got this one here, which uh, has got some sparkly in. That was done with all the sparkle pens and it's a stamped image. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Think about your stamped images. Um, Adam said this morning, which I didn't think of fairy wings and oh, things yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, you could add that little bit and blend it out if you want to do the watercolour soft effect. Mm -hmm. I just thought it was lovely to, to know, stamp and yes. then colour with them. Amazing. Right, if you'd like to go for your lovely mix here, it's £34.99 with an £8 saving. 245810 is the item number. Then we've got a little choice for you. Uh, a pack of 12 pens uh, and you're choosing which sort of option that you want. You've got your, we're calling them traditional moonlight. Uh, they're the new ones that came out, but I would say they're more the everyday colours. Everyday We've got a mix colours. of, that, that's just how I describe them. Um, so you, you've got all the different ranges in there. I mean, I'm, I love the greens we've got in there. I'm obsessed with the greys that are in there. And that deep, deep, deep blue is just beautiful. Um, and, you know, it, it's, oh. It is. They're really, really nice. They're a finer nib than the traditional Moonlights that came out. Um, they're a 06, yeah. whereas the traditional are what I call a 10. Um, yeah. So you, you've then got a different nib size then again working against each other, which is another, another thing. Oh, no, I do love them. Oh, I see. I'm being so daft. I'm sorry I was looking confused. I was no, like, I, was, I, was, I didn't want to say to you. in the front. <laughs> sorry, that's me. There you go. <laughs> there you go. That's the swatch. Oh, that's so funny. I literally was like, I've only got two behind here. <laughs> anyway, let's put this one in front then. So um, this one is your fluorescence. Have a little look at that one. So, so that one, the, this is, was the tradition, the first one that came out of the, the moonlight pens. They're also opaque, a bit um, like the metallics. And you've got a full, full range there. So you've got like the bolder fluorescent, as we call it, like the pinks, the oranges and the yellows. Mm -hmm. But then the, the purple and the pink purple and the blue mm. haven't got that fluorescent look to them. No, they haven't. But they pack a real punch with a colour. Yeah. Um, and the moonlights are matte, so you they, they bring something else, whereas mm -hmm. the others have got the sparkle, the metallic, yeah. the glaze, mm -hmm. and these are the matte. Nice. And then we've got the metallic, last but not least. Aren't they pretty? Oh, they were, and again, another you know brilliant range. And I like the fact that the metallics take on... They can look colder, like the blue can look colder on the darker colours, yes. but look, suddenly looks warmer on the lighter colours. Mm. So you, you've got that different change that you can use as well. Now, we've had a question actually. Somebody's asked, are the metallics different to the One Day Special or are they the same? Um, I believe... I they're think, the same. I think they're the same, looking yeah. at them. Yeah. I'm, I'm just looking at the colours quickly and, and then looking at the colours. I believe they're the same. Yeah, and while, while you're demoing, I can do, do a triple check, but I think they are as well. Yeah. So if you're wanting to get the one-day special, then go for a Moonlight instead, and then you've got a nice mix there. Uh, so there, uh, any of those are 19.99, Then we've got the Koi's. And here we are. I'll show you all those lovely pens. And they've got that nice brush nib, haven't they? They have. We can do um, tip to tip techniques with them. You can watercolour with them. You can, or you can do absolutely everything colour your stamps, make backgrounds, do your brush lettering. Mm. Um, they are the beautiful, and they've got, they're very, very vibrant. And yes. they pack a punch. A little goes a very long way. Mm. Um, and I, and they're a great size pen as well. And that's the other thing I like. When you put the lid on, you, it feels like you have to do a double click so you yeah. know the actual lid is on. Yeah. I know it's silly things like that that, are, that I know then I've put the lid on. Yeah. It's sort of. Um, but it, it's silly things like that. And you've got a beautiful range there. Absolutely. So, you know, starting with your primary. So you can actually then mix in, as I was saying, tip to tip. You could actually put two colours together and then just colour blow, you know, colour wash. Mm. Put one colour down and then use an alternative colour and go through with it with an alternative colour and it will blend out as well. I love that. I mean, I love this sample. Isn't that cool? They, like you said, they're so vibrant. They aren't are. They? They're really, really vibrant. Um, and actually, when you think consider, there's, there's not many colours there. Mm -hmm. And I do, I do. I'm obsessed like you are with the seaside. So yeah. <laughs> anything with a fish on or 
starfish or anything like that and I'm like yeah. Yay. Yay. Uh, <laughs> £44 and 99 pence and you can spread the cost if you want to. Two payments of £22 and 50 pence and you've got a £10 savings. 007351. And then we've got our lovely stardust pens um, and I love that one of them is called Happy. I love that. So we've got our lovely warm colours. There you go. So lovely warm colours that are the yellow, the orange and the sort of red colour. And you can see they are jam-packed with sparkle, aren't they? They are. Um, and, you know, it, a little goes a long way, as you know, with your own colouring as well. But from different lights, you get different levels of sparkle as well, don't you? They look really beautiful. Um, and oh, it's a nice way just to add a subtle touch. Yes. Just a subtle touch if you want to. Or, you know, just colour with them, as I did with the bird. Yeah, I like that. Right then, so you're getting all four packs. Uh, twenty pounds and ninety six pence uh, three zero eight eight zero five now we've also got some fabulous journals apparently these sold out at eight o'clock but we've got some back in stock so we've got some lovely or sketchbooks then shall I call mm. them and then we were actually querying the price on those I know but um, well, they're very I could, good I would query the price as well for these nine pounds and ninety eight pence and how many pages have we got in both of them hang on 80, 80. sheets yeah Acid free, of course, and 140 GSM. You've got a pocket at the back. Oh, hang on, let's open it up. So you, the elastic is a bonus for me because you can shove then as much as you like in and the elastic keeps it in. Right at the back, we've got a pocket that opens, but the sides oh, are material. Here. Look, 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 can you see there? So I'm, I put in there, I have stencils, off cuts of die cuts. If you could use it as a traveling notebook, mm -hmm. so you could put tickets, you could put absolutely, you know, all the things you've collected if you were traveling. Mm -hmm around with it. It's a lovely idea. Um, you know, so, uh, it's, it is, it's great. You've got the, the pen holder is only meant to hold one, but uh, I don't know if it was meant in. to. I've got four. Yeah, in four? The, yeah. Amazing. I'm not sure, you know, it was designed to hold four, but when I was traveling, it was easier then. Nice. Look at that. So you get that one and then you're also getting the um, little Diddy sketchbook. Again, you've got 80 sheets in. But that's also got a pocket at the back. It's the same Ooh. quality. Okay. And it's also got the pen holder as well. Yes. You've also oh, got... Oh, cute. You've got a ribbon there so you can mark your place. Oh, yes, you have, haven't you? Hang but on. But I was going to say, the outside wrapping that you've got there... Yeah. If you cut away um, part of it, and you've then got a page, you can make yourself a bookmark as well, because it wraps around the, the cover of the front of the cover. Oh, I see. So you could keep the bit that wraps around the front of the cover, cut it where it is roughly by the spine, and yeah. you can put that inside your book like a bookmark as well. Good idea. Oh, aren't they? They're so posh, aren't they? Mm. I really like them. So look, can't believe you're getting both of those for £9.98. pence. You're getting 80 sheets in each, 140 GSM. Item number is 847330. Then... We've got like a really nice like salmon-y, coral -y colour, haven't we? We have. Um, again, another one with... Um, this doesn't have a pocket with it. Um, another one... Do you know, I love an elastic band. I know it sounds really silly. No, but, it doesn't. It's but when your books pleasures. grow, yeah. um, it keeps everything in place. Absolutely. Um, and it's a nice paper to work on. Mm -hmm. it's, it's probably a little bit creamier than the other books, I open. think. Yeah. Um, but I, use, I actually use one as a normal notebook. Mm. Um, that I have, you know, everyday notebook that I've got. And then one of the others I've changed and added little tabs to and things like that so I can... Um, it's the smaller one I carry around in my bag and it's an easier one then to put notes in as you go along yeah. and stuff like that. It's really good. Okie dokie, £10.98, uh, 460159. Here's the website so you can check out everything else that we've got. We're going to see lots more techniques now. Um, <laughs> please do catch up on Rewind. Um, to see even more, uh, 6 p.m., 8 p.m. yesterday, and of course 8 a.m. this morning, and obviously Lou will be back as well at 4 p.m. this evening, well, this afternoon, really. Um, but we've got such a lovely array of beautiful pens, beautiful journals. They are absolutely delightful, and like I said, I, my stash has grown and grown and grown. I should count them, really. Have you ever counted yours, Lou? No. <clears throat> I should, really, shouldn't I, sort I of bet it? you've got over 100. It, it's because it, they're all in little colour bundles. Yeah, I know it's you, it lovely. Makes it makes it look like I don't have quite as many, or you know, that, that's my justification to go and get some more. Indeed. It, you know, it doesn't look as many there mm -hmm. when, when they're probably 
is a fair few. It is. I won't even mention my Micron pen collection, <laughs> <laughs> which is somewhere else sort of thing. Right, I thought yeah, go for it. we're going to have a little play and you're going to join in okay, for go. this one. Now, with you, you will have a, a little block and I put some um, koi's, Sakura Koi's there. And we're going to play with die cuts because I want people to realise, you know, doodling with Micron pens and everything, that doesn't just have to be, you know, thinking of random pictures that you want to do. So what we're going to do is, did I leave you some card there? I think I did. Yeah. Oh, so, like light bulbs. Yes. Cool. So on, so on the, the stamping block, all on we're going to do block. is we're just going to put down a couple of the, the colours. Okay. And we've got an orange and a yellow. So just in random fashion? Yep, yeah, random fashion on your block. And then you should have a water spray. So I've, can you see, I've, if I put mine there, you can see what I've done on my block like that. Um, and then we're just going to spritz them. I'm just going to turn away from my heat gun. I just, and you're just going to cover them with water with the spritzer. And we're just going to let the water reactivate with the watercolour. Spritz, spritz, spritz. How spritz. much spritz? Um, a good, good soaking. Obviously, the more water you put on, the more dilute the colour will become, she says. One for uh, good measure. Okay. Yeah. So what we're then going to do is we're going to put it so it's two-thirds of the way down the page. And what we want to do is, using your fingers, because the water wants to travel and water wants to escape, um, we're just going to push the background around and we're just going to move it around. And then we've got that background there. And I'm not going to... Anything where you, you think is, like, too... Um, pull together, just blot, and then we're going to use up all the other Ooh. little bits we've got on there. And we're just going to do a little bit more of a background. So all we're doing is, because we're going to use light bulbs, I've chosen colours that will help with the light. A nice glow. So you're using up the rest from your... Yeah. So that can add dots. And then I, it was just, just wipe the block clean. Now you've got a heat gun plugged in. Have I? Oh, you, you have. So set me up. This is great. Well, I borrowed Adams. <laughs> but all set up, ready for you. Because Amazing. we need to, to to now work with the jelly rolls. We need the um, underlie area to be dry. If we went straight away on the wet with the jelly rolls, it will actually clog up. So I'm just going to do both sides. I think I put you a heatproof mat down as well. <laughs> yeah. Plug. Sorry. Um, so we just want to dry it, and if you do both sides, it just speeds up the process. That's all it is. Okay. Uh, do we need it bone dry? Um, it will dry pretty quickly, the paper, because we've only done a really light... We haven't oversaturated it. Now, so what I've done is I've cut out some die cuts, as I said. I'm putting them... And we've got two of each design. And what we're going to do, they've been done for you on self-adhesive, so we don't even have to use any glue. You're brilliant. Um, so we're just going to peel off the backing, which is the sticky part. This is one of the other reasons we needed it to be dry. And then it's just put the light bulbs where you would like to put the light bulbs. So one of each one. So if you peel off the backing... Um, so I'm just going to place them in a random design. Now this design could easily be a card front because it could be you're the light of my life, you're, um, you know, sort of thing, you lift me up, you, you know, or it could be a journal page. Mm. It, you know, it... So look at the die cuts you've got. Well, I've, actually I can't, I have to put the die cut that's got the sticky on. So I'm just staggering them in different ways. And we've got them like that. Okay. Now, this is giving us an area to colouring because I want to now start bringing in the metallics so we can start bringing in um, and I've got a gold there and we can bring in some of the stardust so if you pick some colours that you think will go I want and I'm actually going to do an orange stardust as well and do you know I think I even might go for a little bit of the red metallic let's have a think Oh, shall we go for that? Um, you know when you go, shall I, shan't I? Well, that's the moonlight. I'm going to think about... Oh, sorry, I'm being indecisive now. I apologise. Let's go for that one a little bit. I'm going all sparkle. You, you go all sparkle. <laughs> I'm mixing a mixture of absolutely everything in, sort of thing. OK. Right. Now, my paper will go flat once it's... Because it's we're working on it. And then all we're going to do with inside the light bulbs is we're going to start building up... 
and we're going to start to colour. So I've just started there with a sparkle. And we've got a little bit of the sparkle going on there. But then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take the koi, the water, and I'm Ooh. just going to bring it down there. Now, okay. I think I've been kind to you with the koi and put a blender pen. Oh, you did, yeah. So just in case you weren't, didn't feel comfortable with the water, the blender pen will do the trick for you. Okay. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag the sparkle pen over the, the, the koi. So now I've changed those into having a light sparkle colour wash. Oh, but you've done it with a water brush? Yeah. I'm using a water brush, but the blender will do exactly the same thing. Ah, right. Does that make sense? Some, if you're not confident oh, with no, how much nice. water you've got. So now I've changed the, the coys. I've got the, the intensity of colour with the coys. Yeah. But now I've got a really subtle little sparkle on, going nice. on. So I'm then going to do... Ooh, 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 that's the colour I was looking at. So I'm just going to do them all slightly differently. So I'm using the metallic here. What colour metallic? I've gone for, it's like the, um, the rose colour, the, the, the rose pink. I should have that. Uh, it's okay. number 520. Thank you. <laughs> you and, know. And again, I'm going to use the yellow and I'm going to put it nearby. And just do it that way. Now, it doesn't matter if you go over the die cuts at all. So you don't need to be neat at this point. Okay. And then I'm just going to drag that metallic now through the coys and I'm bringing some of the metallic shimmer to the actual the coys themselves as well I've got so many here <laughs> those are the colors you like that you think would look cool oh, no, in the light this bulb. Is nice I like following you along okay yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I found my rose one so, which, so you did your rose metallic and uh, did you do the orange koi? Um, you can do, I, d I did the, the yellow one. The yellow, oh, yes. let's do that then. So we, we can do it that way and then let's go for um, the orange sparkle. Actually, yeah, no, let's go for an orange sparkle because it's a totally depth, different depth of colour. Oh my gosh, this blend is amazing. So, um, as, as, as we were saying, the slower you colour, the yeah. more ink that goes down, which means it's got more choice chance then to mix with the um, the coys. So I'm just going to do the, the yellow again, and we're just going to bring those down and around. And having the die cut there just gives you an area to colour in. Mm. But because we've got other die cuts, because we're going to layer up the die cuts it will hide anything that we've done because I want the top layer to be white of the, of the actual um, light bulbs themselves. Yeah. So now I'm going to use a sparkle in the gaps here. I'm not going to put any koi but I will probably blend them out because we might as well have a little bit of sparkle there. There we go. And we're going to bring them up there like that. And then once we've got those going on there we're going to put a little bit of shading now around the outside and we're going to use oh oh you know when you go you've got the choices now I'm gonna go for eeny meeny miny mo let's go for this metallic uh, this is like the bronze color metallic and all we're going to do I'm gonna to have to turn my book sideways because that's just easier for me to work yeah and I'm just gonna literally go round the edge of the die cut not too far round because obviously we want as much ink to, to watercolour out. Yep. And your blender pen will still work. You don't need to have a water brush for this. And then I just want to bring out to create a shadow around the actual die cut, which will have a metallic shimmer to it. Did you just do one side? Uh, I'm going to go and do the other side as well. Ooh. I'm just doing it little by little. So we've got um, so I'm, I'm doing like a third pulling that colour out and then doing another third. So, and it's creating a shadow, a, a, a subtle shadow for us. So you said, because I realise I've been a bit messy and gone over my... No, you're going to cover them. That's good. You're going to totally cover them, so don't panic. Don't panic, <laughs> Mr Mannering. Uh, yeah, that, that's why we're doing... That. I like doing tricks like this, Alex, because it takes the pressure away of staying between the lines. Yeah and you can still have fun. 
I have to say, I like this blender pen because I don't work with water very That's much. That's why I gave you the blender pen because um, I didn't want you to be scared of the watercolour. Bless you. And the Koi's, we used to have them. I don't know if they're still on the website. The Koi pens actually come with a blend. They did have blender pens. Oh, okay. Um, and the blender pens are a fantastic way of seeing how colours blend out, yeah. you know, um, but you're in control and you don't have to worry about the water. Now, I've gone round one of the other bulbs rather than in the metallic. I've then chosen to go round in the sparkle okay. around the outside. So we can do, and then I'm going to do one in the moonlight, just so we've got different edges around each of the bulbs, because why not? It's a totally different look then, isn't it? So let's grab a moonlight. And then we've got the moonlight going around here. Now this would also work if we, um, on, on the black card, so yes. you could still pull out all of these colours and create those shadows. That would look so nice. So we've got the moonlight going round here. And then, and so, so we've just really coloured the inside of the bulb and we've given it a little bit of a shadow. And then once we've done that, so we can go on the next bit, we're just going to give it a quick blast of the heat gun again. I tell you what, while you're doing that, yep. am I right to do some yes, certainly. little bit of admin? Because yeah. I realise it's half the <gasps> way through the show. Oh, sorry. <laughs> See, I love these sorts of shows. Now, we are almost half the stock of the one-day special gone. Um, so you've got your fabulous metallics. You've got, let me get the board again. You've got your sweets, your nature, your oceans and your forests. I'm having a lovely time. I've had such a crafty weekend this weekend, I can tell you. There we go. You've got the sweets, the nature. There's the oceans and the forest. Then you're going to get those micron pens, like a lovely special edition for the 100th birthday. can't believe they've been going that long, Lou. I know. Well, they started out with, within the graphic design industry, which is the micron pens, and they, they were the ones who designed and made the jelly rolls. Yeah. Um, and you know, and it's built on from there. And the colours that started out were very traditional. I think there's only like two or three colours, mm -hmm. and then it's gradually got more and more and more. Um, you know, we've now got the sparkle, we've got the metallic. Oh, I'm so pleased they have, haven't they? Yeah. <laughs> sort of thing. So you've got um, the three different pens there, and you. Oh, I, I gave you an open pack on your pod if that's easier. That would be easier. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a sec. Oh, look, gosh, they feel so precious. So you've got these now, and so they're, they're the, um, the colours for um, their actual 100th birthday. So rather than being the traditional colours like we've got in the pigmas on the rest of the counter, they've gone for the gold and the black because of the 1920s, the yes. roaring 20s, the decadence. Um, and they are literally just being done for the birthday year. Hang on. There you go. See, that? such fine tips, aren't they? They are. I mean, and... Like I said, I love them. You, you've got the uh, the little arm that you can... You, you mean this? Yeah, you can put them in your notebooks that you've got the Sakura notebooks. Yes. Or you could even put them in your pockets, blazer pockets. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Uh, and my children had them in their blazer pockets when they could get hold of mine. I was going to say, they're mm. spoiled if they got these. Well, um, not in the black and gold, but uh, then, uh, but, uh, yeah. Um, and then you've also got your white gel pens there in the medium. And then you've got, oh, is my, clear, my clear's fallen over? <laughs> we'll get that stuck back on. But they, there's your clear glaze. You can only get that in the one-day special. And then, finally, you're getting that fabulous um, notebook there, uh, A5 notebook, 140 GSM with 80 sheets, 50 sheets in that one, sorry, 50 sheets in that one, £40 and 18 pence, and you can spread the cost on Flexi by uh, 979-867 is your item number. Then we've got our fabulous glaze pens. Uh, you've got so much to choose from. You're choosing any five, and you've got the rose, you've got sepia, there's black grey, royal blue, uh, blue, turquoise, red, rose red, pink, orange, white, green, hunter green, deep green, purple, and deep red. So have a little look on the website for which one that you would like. Lovely. Uh, £10.99. Item number is 540663. Then we go for our pigment microns. Um, shall I just wing this in? I? Is that all right? <laughs> there you go. 
you can see you've got the black, blue, red, pink, purple and burgundy. Lovely and fine these, absolutely beautiful. £13.98, 559910. Then we have our white gel pens. Now, half the stock of the restock stock has gone. They are absolutely flying out the door. You all love them. We all love them. That's great. So you've got your bold and then you've got your different sizes, um, which are on here. There you go. You can see those. You've got your 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. Uh, £9.95, 119, uh, 127 is your item number. As I said, these are absolutely flying out the door. Half the stock has gone already. There's only one day's extra dispatch, so. Okay, and then we've got our black notebooks. These are also proving ridiculously popular, and I'm not surprised because when you see the price on screen, it's like, Somebody's made a mistake. Um, I love the fact they've got the pockets in the back. I'll open that up again, just so that you can see. Hang on this way. It's very, I like, yeah, put die cuts in, little stamped <laughs> images. That's perfect. Yeah, I mean, my book over there, I've got die cuts, little stamped images. I've got, oh, everything in there. Stencils, small stencils I carry around. Can I, can I have a little sneaky peek in there? Um, it should in be in the back one. pocket there. This yeah, one? Yeah, right at the back. That's if I haven't moved everything out. Okay. So if you take the elastic away, it was just, oh, the yeah. elastic's just holding the page that would open. Help. <laughs> That's And the pocket Ooh, there. Ooh, here's the pocket, look. And I, I carry, I'll carry things. So in the envelopes, there's little die cuts, little stencils. I'll just check. Is this for, there's a, oh, so nothing in there. Cuts. I mean, there things I'll draw around and stuff yeah. like that, you know, little stencils in there. Um, envelope full of goodies in there. Yeah. And I, you know, just the smaller ones or little doodles I've done or started, so cool. you know, and the pocket will carry so much. I was going to um, say, there's a lot more than I thought. Um, the only other thing I have, I do do with those books is, this is just personal preference, because as your book grows and you put different layers, I will, this is my black version, that, um, so I've got little stencils in there, as you can see, and other bits of, oh, I've got actually quite a few stencils in here. Yeah. Ooh. Um, but I carry a little bit of funky foam, oh, or cool. you could do felt instead. So yeah. when you've come to a really heavily layered page, and you want to work on the next one, and you've then got something softer there to work against, yeah. and you're not going to be affected by the page behind. Nice. I like that. <laughs> That's good. So for both of these, so what are we talking, the A5 and, was it A6? 9 by 14 and a 13 by 21, if you know what that means. Anyway, this I'm visual. Uh, so <laughs> you're getting 80 sheets in each, and they're both 140 GSM for just nine pounds and ninety-eight pence. Eight four seven three three zero is your item number. Please check out the website. Everything is flying out the door. These are I cannot express to you how much I love all of these pens. Back to you then. Right. So we've got this bit going on here, and so now we've just done some subtle edging and around. Now you've got some micron pens. So my battered box. I can't give my box needs repairing, but I can't throw it away because it's obviously the hundred year box. You know, you're just going to mental. And what we're just going to do, we're just gonna ground first of all these lights. So if you just take a pen and you're just going to do whatever you want to do to bring them up to the top. It can be a straight line, it can be a wiggle. And then they're just then hanging from the top of the page. So they've got a reason. They're not just randomly there because we decided that's what we wanted to do. So, and then with the other die cuts, all we're going to do is take off the back. And these have all got double-sided tape on as well. And we're, just going to take, and we're just going to put them on top of the ones we've done before. Cool. So now they stand out. Don't worry if they don't line up of mine haven't but I don't mind actually there we go and then let's grab that one it's just because I cut them back to front being quick that's why and I can let so now this is a way that you know that like you were saying about all your coloring and going over the edges and everything yeah. like that you can now be as messy as you like because we've now put a leather layer on top that has hidden all our work underneath Oh, so it doesn't matter if they're not the exact same die cuts? Well, no, it's up to you. I have put the same die cuts on, only because that's how my head works, I, sort of thing. But So we've got that on the top, so that's now hidden any mess that we've actually made. And then 
what I would like to do, I wanted to put the second layer on before we did the next layer, and we need these to be dry, is we can then start thinking about bringing in our glaze pens. So now, that's a moonlight, Louise, so let's go and get a glaze pen. I use my full name when I'm telling myself off. Um, <laughs> so, we can then bring in the glaze pens and then slowly fill these up. Let's start with a smaller bit. And then what the glaze pens are doing are, they're giving us that lovely shiny effect. I won't colour all of these in because you'll have lost me for ages then if I do. And then we'll have the, it'll go on top of the sparkle. And I've used the yellow here. Now you could easily use the clear. If you, want, if you really liked your background and you didn't want to change its colour in any way, um, use the clear, which is in like the one day special. So are you glazing the whole thing now? Yep, I'm glazing the whole thing. Oh. Okay. So we're trapping, the, you know, the sparkle underneath as well. And once it's dry, we'll see a little bit. And having the second layer on now just gives you um, a more defined area to colour up to. So we're both going to go quiet now, aren't we? Sorry, we did. I was no, you carry see. on. Have I got a yellow glaze? Because um, I ordered one last night because I don't think I've got one. Would you like a yellow glaze if I put that like that? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you know, that was a, so let's have a think. Shall we go form? We'll do one other. And then if I do, just as a contrast, I can then bring in a little bit of the orange on the top, which is the orange glaze. And I'm going to bring a little bit of the glaze on top. But this time I've decided what I would like to do, because just because I haven't really blended with the glazes, I'm going to just blend with the glaze and bring a sparkle. Where's my sparkle that I want? This is when I've got too much out and I can't mm -hmm. find what I'm looking for. There it is. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of the... I want to put a little bit of the sparkle back in. So you don't have to glaze everything you can glaze parts of something. Yeah. So then, and I'm just going to brush this out, but I want to, I'm only going to wet the brush because I want to put the bristles together, but I really want it quite dry. And then I can pull out the sparkle, the glaze now into the sparkle. Can Doing, you, once the glaze is dry, can you go over with the sparkle? Yep. Cool. Yep. You, you can go over with the sparkle and and it will then add um, another layer on top. So we can fill that up there. So we can fill each of the light bulbs and create... So you can create easy shading, mm. even with these pens, even though you think you shouldn't be able to. Yeah. If, if that makes sense. And yeah. then you don't, you don't think you should. So if I get a clear... So the difference between your clear and the white, just to say to people, they, um, compared to a normal white pen, the white pen is solid opaque. The, for the, jet, the glazes, they have a pearlescent cap to them. The solid pearlescent cap is your white one. The one that you can see the nib through is your clear one. It's a question I always get asked yes. by a lot no, of people. Yes, no, it's good. Thank you. Um, so I'm just going to... This one, then, I can go over, because I like the blends on here. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go... I'll just do this bit here with the clear. And it doesn't... This, if you want a thicker layer of the glaze, colour a lot slower than I am. Yes, because um, when you go slow, it pulls out. It pulls it? out. And, and that's when you get um, more coverage. Mm. Also, the slower you go as well, y you won't see your um, colouring. Yeah. Any lines Whereas I'm rushing anything. here, so you'll see, uh, you know, where the pen has gone and the pen strokes. But the slower you go, the more that comes out. If you feel like the... Um, mm -hmm. That's okay. If you feel like the pen, it feels scratchy, I think is want of a better phrase. Yeah. Um, it means that you've just got too much ink on there, you know, like where we're going all these different layers. And as I said before, if you just sit there and just roll it on the side and just get rid of the excess ink, it'll work. Go back in and work. Oh, let's do those bits there. Can't forget those bits. And I'll just do that glaze there. <coughs> Sorry. There, <laughs> bless you. So there, so it's... Um, so there's a quick way. So now I could stamp just a simple sentiment on here or handwrite, you know, you light up my life. And it was just to create a subtle little background and it was just using die cuts. And the whole page would change totally differently if I'd done the outside layer black. Yeah. 
So if you didn't like that now, we could get the black glaze pen and go over in black, and then you've got a different, you know, look all together. Is that the glaze? Yes, it is. This is probably one of my favourite ones. So I could go over if I wanted to. I won't do the whole lot. I'll just do a little bit of it. So you could change it. So if I'd have done this, we're just pretending I'd cut this in black card. But actually it looks quite good in, with just the glaze. It does, doesn't it? Gives a shine. So you can then change it, you know, again, if you don't want the white. I'm going to As I don't have a black glaze, what do you think about the black metallic? The black metallic would... Actually, the black metallic would probably... You know where the light bulb bits are on the top? Would look really cool, like the silver effect you get the, on the light bulbs. The same bits that you're doing. Uh, sorry? No, do whatever bit you would like to do. Whatever you would do. So I could then... So these could technically be black and it changes the look of the page again. But it was just to give people... That could be a card front. Cut that out, put it on... Uh, that would go roughly on a 5x5 five five card front. Uh, with a simple sentiment, and you're done. Yeah. How interesting that you, you picked up the black glaze because that's now sold out from the pick and mix. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> it's it, it is one of the favourite ones I do like. I, it's a nice way of if you if you do like your handwriting, you, you can when it dries, sort of thing. Um, you know, it stands out. I'll see if I can get I write. Or I don't like writing on air. You know, when you just go. Oh, you've got lovely handwriting. So now that, once it's dry, is, is slightly raised. Yeah. So, you, you know, you, you, could, you could stamp on it, stamp over it, and, and go over it with the black, or you could go over it with the clear if you wanted to raise it. But I just wanted to show that, you know, it doesn't have to all be about art journaling. Think about, um, you know, cards, your die cuts, colouring things, things how you can layer up and, and go from there. Love it. I love that. <laughs> I think that's so super cool. Uh, I like the fact that, you, that you, you sit there busily colouring all yours. I know, yours. I am, I am. <laughs> Sorry. No, not in the slightest. In fact, I think I should... I've start, I haven't finished this, yeah. obviously, but... Oh! Because oh. I think we should. I'm just ducking down, because we were doodling yesterday mm. as well, and mm. I didn't really... Sh so we did some blends, but also because you were like... Because I said, oh, no, I shouldn't really show this. But you're like, no, you should show this, because... Mm. You write a note next to it and go, oh, that's because you didn't let you let the colours dry a little bit quick. Yeah. So that's not as good a blend as I'd like, but I do like that one. So that was straight blending with mm. the metallics. Mm. And then that was using water. And then I kind of got it right when I got to here. So it's yeah. just practising. It is all practice. And printing out um, things, you know, like with the a, a font on it just yeah. makes it a lot, a lot easier and a lot nicer. As yeah. I said... It, you went ahead because you knew what colour blends you wanted to do, yeah. so you went straight into colouring mode. Yes. Where I was stopping after each two colours, so then you'd gone, I'm going this, 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 this. Yeah. And then it does make it harder once it's dry. Oh, that looks cool. Cool. I've just started, but obviously because we're running out of time, yeah. but, um, um, but I can't wait to receive I, my... I'm glad I, I ordered two black glazes yesterday, <laughs> and I'm glad I did now that it's sold out, because that's the a start of the metallic one. But there you go. Um, and, but your blending is superb. Yay! And then with the glaze and the top. But your background. I bet you didn't think you would make a swishy background. And no. Go on. <laughs> so I'm super chuffed. Oh, just, sometimes my job is just fabulous. Um, and we've got time to do We've got like about five minutes if oh, you fancy. Oh, okay. What would you... Let's go. I'll tell you what we'll do. Okay. I'm going to grab this. This is my black journal because I've worked in a lot of white. So I thought it'd be nice to do something in a, a little bit of the black journal. Yes. Um, and I'm going to, we were saying, so this is actually all done, oh, there's some freehand doodling in here as well. Uh -huh. But um, mul the bulk of this is done via stencils. So you don't have to think that you, you know, you can doodle, you can do shapes. Think of the stencils you've got in your stash um, and how, you know, how they work for you. Right, okay. So I've got a, a stencil here, which is a beautiful flower one. Yeah. So I won't do all of it. I must admit, if I was at home, I probably would. Um, and let's grab this pink colour. And one of the things that I like about stencils, especially if you're colouring with stencils, is you can go around the outline, and if you keep your stencil in place, you can then colour neatly. So, she, you know, we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to stick between the lines. You know, it doesn't really matter. It's just for our own enjoyment. It is, but the stencil, keeping the stencil in place means you can actually, you know, do that. So we can...
build up a design. So I'll just draw around. I'm going to have to colour one because it will bug me if I don't just colour that side. Yeah. You know, okay. we just go, it will just bug me, I, just for symmetry sakes. So we can do that there. So let's do one or two more. So you look at the stencils you've got because they're just shapes. If you haven't got stencils um, and you've got decorative die cut panels, mm -hmm. Look at those. Wow. Because you can, if you cut them and, or layer them two or three up, mm -hmm. you've then got a thicker piece of card to work around. Yes. So if I take that, so that's the start of a build up there. Okay. If I then just grab, I can then start. Now this is still a little bit wet here, so I will start. So let's, don't smudge. Oh, I'll, tell you what, I'll cheat. I wouldn't have done that, but we can cheat here. And I'm going to grab, don't want to glaze, I want a normal pen. So we can then start building up a different design. And I can build up the white. Now, don't forget, I can blend out the white as well. Now, these stencils are meant to be for bullet journaling. Yeah. But they're shapes again. Yeah. So, you know... They don't it, have to be restricted. No, I think we, we've got terrible habits, haven't we, of pigeonholing things into, you know, that's that, that's that. Yeah. Um, and it's crossing over in lots of different ways that you can actually do things. So mm -hmm. I've got here. So, I, so like I said, I'm just going to use stencils. So now this is for bullet journaling. Do you do a lot of that? I bullet journal, yeah. yeah. I, I like a, a traditional diary as well. Mm -hmm. So I do bullet journal, yeah. It's, um, it, it, oh, it just helps me organise myself just a little. Yeah. I can't say it always works. In my head, I feel like it should work more, but <laughs> all good. But it's a way that I can be organising myself and craft at the same time. Absolutely, yeah. So we can carry that on. That's cool. The white looks amazing on the back. And the, but we've got the metallic there. Yeah. I mean, and then you know you can bring. Oh, you know, we just think. I'm trying to think of different sets. So I can now. It, I've cut all those in, but now what I could do as well is just go around the outside of the stencil with the white. And then I'm going to go in the inside, but what I'm going to do is find my brush. And I can then drag a little bit of the white inside. Mm -hmm. So I'm using both the outside and the inside of the stencil. Yeah. So your white c can be just as much as a decoration as it can be um, an outline, outlying, mm -hmm. outline tool. Let's do the yeah. middle there. And we'll blend that one in. So you can keep building up, you know, your designs. Mm. Look at your die cuts. Look at different things that you, you want to do. Yeah. And you know you can carry on going. Once that's dry, if I didn't like that, I can put the stencil back in place and colour yeah. back over in white. See, that's you know, really good. Because they are a non you know, they're a they're the slick surface once they're dry. You know, yeah. so you can take it just that little bit further. Yeah. And you can do, do lots of different things. Um, you know, we just go, right, let's put that there. So I'm just going to bring in... So this is a page. So I was talking about stenciling. We've got about a minute and a half. Right, OK. So let's just move my wire. I'm just going to put the lids on. But you can do all your different pages and your designs. And this, you know, this is with the koi's, but this is using stamps. Mm -hmm. I know, so don't think that you, you know, you can't do different things with it. So I want to add a little bit. I think she needs a bit of sparkle on there. Okay, Doug. Um, or a bit of glaze. So I've got glaze and I'm after my yellow sparkle. I've got so much out, I can't see for looking. There it is. So let's start with the orange. So you could colour in your pages. As I said before, I would then sit there and see where I wanted to add a little bit mm -hmm. of detail. I'm just going to blend those two together. So I'm not lost the, the definition of the two colours I originally painted on. Yeah. But now I've given her just a little bit of a... I've made her hair stand out. Yeah. Of, of flowers in her hair stand out beautifully. Gorgeous. Oh, oh Lou, I'm afraid we're going to have to leave it there. <laughs> Sorry. Are you doing a surprise for Adam at four o'clock? Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to seeing what he's doing.
<laughs> thank you, no, Lou. No, thank you. So enjoyed that. When I get to join in, it just flies by. It I can't does, believe it? it. It's amazing. <laughs> right then, uh, so please do check out your baskets for your fantastic uh, one-day special. Um, it is absolutely beautiful. Uh, details just coming onto screen for that. You've got the metallics, the white gel pens, the glaze, the micron pens, and the journal. Forty pounds and eighteen pence. Nine seven nine eight six seven. Thank you for keeping us company. We will see you right after this break. <laughs> Next then. Something a bit different. We've got tropical glass terrariums. I hope I've pronounced that correctly. And after that, we've got art inspirations happy hour. In the foothills of Aldal, a lawless event unfolds. The craft store's sixth birthday, an exciting time beholds. Phil Martin and Indigo Blue, Heartfelt Creations, Zuri, and Crafts 2. With six pounds of credit, there'll be plenty to buy. With great one-day specials, the aces are high. With discounts and deals, with prices to amaze, join us for a hoedown for a wild seven days. From fabric to paper to glitter and pencils, pens and stamps, inks and stencils join us in august a craft extravaganza happy sixth birthday the craft store's bonanza did you know you can continue watching the craft store 24 hours a day seven days a week for free using your smart tv it's just like watching us on your computer or tablet only now we'll be on your large screen smart tv Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If it's not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember, you will need your router's password at hand whether you are on a wired or a wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the centre of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type thecraftstore.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcasts and access to previous shows. Now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite TV shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Yes, indeed. Good afternoon. I hope you're well. It's Sunday. The time has just gone one o'clock and I am a little excited bunny. Yes, indeed. I have been waiting for this show. I thought I was actually off this weekend, which I was meant to be, but I've cancelled sort of holiday so I could sort of do these shows. You know what I'm like for a terrarium. I love the word and I love house plants. There is something about a plant in your home that can just lighten your mood. You go and do your own research about plants and how they make you feel and how they change your mood and by Jove have I got a show for you. We are talking terrariums. Yes, it's the word that I love that I can say over and over again. We are talking bottled, closed terrariums that has their own system. So they have their own cycle. So once you've set them up, you watch them, you nurture them for about four weeks, for about a month, make sure everything's all right, the conditions are fine, and then you let them blossom. And then you sit back and enjoy. I've got prices for everyone's budget as well. 
Okay, so we can go from small all the way to large. Shop ahead of me on the website if I was you as well. You can see the different sizes that I've got, but let's introduce the lady herself. Lady Terrarium, you could call her. Uh, she's amazing at what she does. I've only seen her for the last about half an hour, but oh my word, her knowledge is phenomenal. Uh, it's our Katie. Good afternoon, how are you? Hi, good afternoon. I'm very good. <laughs> so, uh, we've all said it. I think every presenter, even Lou that was on at the last... Uh, guest as well we all love these we saw i did a facebook live with them this morning at quarter to six because I, I find them fascinating but what is your background how did you get into the world of terrariums well we did it for it's me um and my partner actually lucas doing it together uh we started it a few years ago when we were looking for a perfect mother's day gift and we came across a terrarium kit we thought okay this is something different rather than a bunch of flowers and a box of chocolates and we bought it, we did it all together, which was a fantastic time to do it together. Um, and surprisingly, they still have them, which is very nice. <laughs> it's been a few years already, yes. Um, and yeah, last year, obviously, when the pandemic hit, um, and our jobs were at risk, um, we thought, okay, we need to come up with a plan B. And because terrariums is something we used to do for a few years for our friends and family, we thought, okay, we are good at it. Let's do it, uh, like properly, full time, so. And you really have gone for it. You get everything you need inside these kits. We go from soil. We go down to the activation little seeds. And we'll talk about all this as we go on. Do not worry. Uh, you get the plants. You get the stuff that makes it look amazing. Right, then, let's kick straight off, shall we? Let's go in with our first little bundle. Right then, you're already buying ahead, 10% has already gone, I mean, you've not even seen them uh, really so far. So how this is going to work, this is what they look like. I have finished samples for all of them, okay? So this is what it's going to look like when you put it together. But remember, they are your terrariums. They are your, they are your little bit of the outside that you can bring in. So if you don't have a garden, maybe you live in that high rise flat and all you have is a little window box. But plants, they lighten your mood. They really, really do. This is something you can do. Maybe you live in a little camper van like our Hannah and our Danny. They're going off to travel the world. Maybe this is going to be like a little leaving gift uh, for them. They can just sort of nurture in their little van as well. Maybe you like our Leone who wants to buy a barge. And she won't have a garden, but you still want the outside to bring in. The little ones are perfect. £26.99. Let's go through the kits in more detail, if we can, uh, to what we're actually getting. So we get the soil mix. Yes. Is this our standard soil that we could go out and buy um, in the garden centres? Or is it a, a specific mix? Because do we? I'm guessing we get the right amount for the jar that we're using. Yes, exactly. So for most of the containers, you get the exact... Uh, amount of soil but because some people like to be creative we add slightly more depending whether you want a flat surface or if you want to make like a small hill oh. so yes you will get more soil than it is required only because of what you want to create but obviously you will um, adjust the amount of soil depending on what you want to uh, achieve. They are, yes. so you get everything you need then we're also then talking uh, the small little sort of pellets and I'm guessing this is where the, it holds moisture in it. and if you make if you pot any plant at home you have to sort of put that crockery at the bottom so the air can sort of yes. circulate and the air can breathe around i'm guessing that's what these are in the bag yes yeah, so these are the clay pebbles so you put them at the dra uh, at the very bottom of your container as a drainage layer because obviously the container doesn't have any holes so the water cannot really escape it so yes this is what you put as a as a bottom. So you get the base, then you get your soil, then you get your pebbles to make it look good. Okay, so you're not going to go over the top. You're getting three little pebbles, which looks beautiful in the jar, as you can see uh, that I've got here, which look absolutely stunning. You're also getting your plants. Now, there was a massive debate over the weekend, Friday and up to, yeah, up to this morning, where we're like, are these real plants? Are they, are they, are they artificial plants? None of us could really work it out. Uh, but they are. Everything is real. Isn't it? They're all real plants. They all come beautifully packaged as well. So they're not going to get damaged in transit. No. Which is nice to see. So your plants that you see here have travelled down to us in the boxes that you will be getting them uh, as well, which is phenomenal. Uh, then you also get, right then, the activated. What is... What do we do with our little activated seeds? So activated charcoal you put actually in between the layer 
of the soil. This is just to get rid of any, like when the water cycles, it goes through the activated charcoal and it clears all the toxins inside your terrarium. And it also gets rid of any bad smell that you might have inside. Ah, oh, so there you go. So yeah, right. it is very important to have activated charcoal. On the back charcoal. of this then, so say we've got the activated charcoal that's in there, and you talked about a cycle. Mm -hmm. And this is what fascinated me during our meeting earlier, that you don't think about it, but in theory, you've got your own little microclimate in there. So you are going to see the whole cycle of it's going to rain indoors because you're yeah. going to get the rain, you're going to see the moisture come down, and then it's going to absorb it all back up. It's just going to go on that continuous cycle. Exactly. So you, you, you observe it. The most condensation you usually get in the morning and in the evening. Um, and yes, yeah, so what happens when you finish your container, you water it a little bit. Then once the plants take the water, they release the water and all the water will condensate on the glass container. And then that water will drip back to the soil and the roots will take that water again and the whole cycle just like repeats an, and repeats, you know? <laughs> it's an amazing cycle. Uh, then we get your little stick. Now, what is your little stick for? What do I need a little well, stick Well, the for? little stick is really good to tamper the soil. Oh, it goes this way. Yes, <laughs> it goes that way. <laughs> oh, it's a little, it's a little beaterer. It's a little so, patter downer. Yeah. So obviously you can do it with your hand, but sometimes it's just better to tamper it with. Obviously, you take the lid off. I'm just showing you what you're <laughs> yes. doing with it. You can do it inside the jar. Uh, then, um, so that's everything you need in the kit. Now, let's talk about instructions. If you've never done this before, which I have, and I've got to go, I'm going to have a little go uh, this hour as well. Um, instructions are very important. If we've never tried terrariums, maybe we're not that green fingered. I know my producer, she said it in the meeting, any house plant that she has normally lasts about a week. Um, before it starts looking brown and sort of just, and then it goes into the bin. So with your instruction, do you break everything down for us to how, what layers go where and how do your instructions work? So yeah, so when you buy our container, it comes together with the instruction of how to do it. Um, we do it step by step. So when you put your clay pebbles, we mentioned that we also tell you why this particular layer is important in your terrarium. That's good. Um, then the soil, obviously the charcoal as well, you have it as explained why it's needed. Then also you, inside the uh, guide, it mentions how to look after the plant, what to do if something goes wrong, for example, um, where you should put it, how often you should water it. So yes, everything is basically here. So for any beginner, if you, if, even if you're not green fingered, to be honest, and you don't even have one plant at home, that should be easy peasy for you. And the instructions do break everything down. We were flicking through these earlier as well. Uh, the small one, a quarter of the stock has already gone. Um, you may find that you get it home and you look at it and you go, this is amazing. I've, put, I've done everything the instruction says. Uh, you've left it for the word. And then you're like, well, we're just going to change the details on the screen for some of the bigger ones as well. Just what we talk about, because everyone is the same. After this, it's just the vessel that changes. So say we've read the instructions. We start looking and in about two to three weeks. We start seeing sort of mold growing in there and things like that. Is there a problem? Have we done something wrong? Is this, does that mean that, oh, I have to start all over again, take everything out? Or is it a case of we just go back to our instructions, read them again, and it will tell us how to get over this? Well, yes. It, it does, our instruction does mention what to do if you have any mold appearing in your terrarium. But if you do notice it, please don't panic because it's like a completely normal thing. Um, it's, a close, it's a close terrarium, so obviously bad things can happen. The only thing you have to do if you see any sign, sign of mold, just remove the, the leaf affected, remove it from the container and just observe. What you can also do is to open the glass container a little bit, just open the lid so like the excess water evaporates. Oh. And then if you have any questions, we are available anytime. So you can always get in touch with us, take a photo and we're going to be there to assist you. You see, you are never on your own with these. Uh, they've got Facebook, they are on Instagram. They've also got an online chat as well, which they always man, apparently. Always man, they're always there. Uh, you can send photos in. Right then, small one we've done, flying out the door. Your next size up is the vessel. So obviously you're gonna get the jar. 10% of the stock has already gone here. So this time though, the plants are gonna slightly change. You're getting more plants in this one. So we're getting two of your plants uh, in here. You're getting your soil once again, uh, but this time we're getting your pea shingle. Now we all know what your pea shingle is. This is your decorative element uh, that you can see. So that is your pea shingle, as you can see currently on the bottom 
of your jar. Uh, then obviously you've got your soil, which we spoke about earlier. Then this time you've got sand. Now is the sand part of the process or is that just a decorative thing? It is just a decorative thing. We like how it looks because usually you put your terrarium on a table and you want it to look nice. So we think if you add that line, it just makes it look nicer. It's decorative, you don't have to put I it. It's absolutely adore. I think they're absolutely beautiful. Uh, so you're getting your sand, uh, you're getting two types of sand. So you get your black sand and you also got your white sand as well. Let me lift it up so you can see. Uh, so there's your white sand uh, and there is your black sand that you've got in there. You've got your activated charcoal in there as well. You've got your clay pebbles in there. We talked about your soil. Then you just sort of get added extras now to make it look nice. You're getting your, uh, your mossy verge as it were. Is this real moss? It is real moss, Ooh, yes. You get real moss. Everything looks artificial. I think that's working in TV for too long. Everything looks artificial. Uh, you get real moss that's in there and you also get your pebbles and your little, um, your rock that's in there as well. So you're going to be creating this. I'm scared I'm going to drop them. Uh, you're going to be creating this. This is absolutely Stunning. Two flexible payments on this one of £25 is what you're looking at. 200 386 is your item number. £49.99. pence. You go out and try and buy something like this that is already done. It's going to cost you more than this. Uh, nice for Nan and Grandad. If they like, like to keep their fingers in the garden, but the garden is becoming too much for them. Uh, get them a little terrarium. Nice to keep the kids involved as well. I'm so tempted to get one for Molly's bedroom. You imagine adding your little fairies that's in there. Anything that's ceramic, you can pop in there as well. Uh, there is a big brand at the moment that, that you basically grow grass. That's all you grow. Is it's a little lane of grass. You put a little house on it and a little fairy that sits there. Uh, you take those elements and you pop those into your terrarium as well. Uh, so your next one, 200, 386 is your item number. Start checking out your baskets. We are busy. Next one, we're going slightly larger this time. Uh, this time... Uh, we like the look at this. This is beautiful. There are different plants. Uh, once again, in this one to the last two that you've seen before, I adore this one. This is absolutely stunning. As, as the vessels get bigger, the more stuff you are going to get. Okay, so now obviously, the more decorative layers that you can do. I'm so scared I'm going to drop it. Uh, but look at this. But the core of the kit is exactly the same. You get your instructions. You get your little dabadanera uh, that's in there uh, to make everything nice and smooth. You're getting your mossy rock in there as well. You're getting your pea shingle. You're getting your activates in there. You're getting your sand in there. You get your stones in there. Everything you need to make these look beautiful are there. I can tell you now our Catherine has already bought two. Our Lou Sims has already bought one as well. Um, and that was before we even got to the show. Um, I was like, I'll do the show first and then I'll make up. But I think I've already made up my mind which one I am going for. Two flexible payments of £30 is what you're looking at for this one. 572307 is your item number. And this is not just a one trick pony. Once you've made it, yes, you look after it, you nurture it, you don't need to water it again, but you see, you watch them grow. They are going to grow. They're real life plants. And all you simply need to do, I'm guessing, is just cut them down if they get a little bit too big. Exactly. So what you need to do, if you can see that the plants are getting bigger, just trim them. I like this next Which one Which is well. very easy as well. I love it. Look at this. How beautiful. So what's the difference between a closed, I think I've answered it itself in my head, but what's the difference between a closed terrarium and the normal terrariums that we see in sort of those, sort of the open front ones? Is it a case of it waters itself? Yes, yeah, so the closed terrarium is technically known for its little to no maintenance because you have that ecosystem and with the water cycle. Now, you're not going to put every single plant in a closed terrarium. The only plants that will work inside such container are the tropical plants that love high humidity. Um, typic I mean, you can have tropical plants in an open container as well, but you just need to remember to water it. But for example, in such container, you won't put any cacti or succulent because they like to get fresh air and to have the airflow. If I you put it. one in inside, they're just going to die. So I, I, I don't... Just look at that as a centerpiece on a table. You have that, a little standard lamp next to it on the sideboard. It's going to look absolutely... That is a talking point in anyone's home. £69.99. Now, I'm with you all the way. I know it's a considered purchase, but look what you're getting. You get everything you need, and it's going to last you. As long as you look after it, it will sort of last you a lifetime, is what you're going in with this. You can watch it grow. It's like a, it's like a fish tank, but with plants. 
It's sort of like a fish tank, but with plants. You've got a lid on it that's in there. It is. That's the easiest way to describe it, because you can watch them grow. You can see what happens on the day-to-day -day basis as well. Um, I absolutely, if you're into your succulents, if you're into your air-dried plants, uh, you're going to love these as well. Um, I can sort of see these in bathrooms and things like that, on the kitchen uh, on the kitchen um, uh, uh, windowsill and places like that as well. You can tell I'm getting excited because I'm losing my words. This, this one, I love. I love this one. Um, this little short, oh, look at it. It's like Scott, isn't it? It's like our little Derek. Little short and stumpy, bless him, but packs a punch. 10% uh, of this has already gone. 75 pounds and 99 pence. It is absolutely beautiful. It really, really is. You imagine, now, Okay, tell me if, I, uh, if we can and can't do this. I'm just, I'm just running with it. Okay. You imagine taking one of those outdoor lights that you can get, that's waterproof, obviously because of the moisture, and attaching it to the bottom of the cork, and then put it in, and then obviously you'd have the light cascading down. Would that be possible, or would that ruin the environment? It, it, it depends what kind of lights, to be honest. I'm not sure if I can answer you. I know there are some cork leads that already have lights installed, just to lighten it up. But if you have such idea, just don't make sh just make sure that the light is not very hot, because you know it's a glass container. That is true. It, you know some of the lights they do create hot like hot air, so then eventually your plants will die because of the heat because inside. Of the over so it all de really depends what kind of light you have inside. I, I never tried that, so <laughs> next step. That is a nice way of saying no, Adam. Uh, £38 on the nose uh, for two flexible payments is what we're looking at for this one. Uh, it's worth having a little, you imagine, little, oh, I can see it at Christmas, a little bit of tinsel around the bottom in the centre of the table. Ooh, gorgeous. Then we get to the big boy. Look at this. Now, I'm guessing the plants... I, I'm guessing the plants will grow to fill the jars yes so the plants will grow so you are going to get that full oh i think i found a new favorite now you do get the cheese plant that's inside as well so you get everything that you get there um but is it not a cheese plant have we just made that up okay so you are getting that large plant uh, that's in there as well that one at the back with the holes in uh, is what you're going to be getting so you're going to be getting that as well everything that you get in there that is beautiful that literally looks like a little woodland walk a little woodland walk inside a jar. None of these are overpowering. None of them are too big. The jar that you're going to be getting, it looks like this, just so you can see. I just want you to see an empty jar. So that is the jar. That's how it will come to you, all beautifully packaged. Uh, but that's the jar that you will get as well. Two flexible payments on this of £40 is what you're looking at today. Set a 071629 is your item number. Right then, you've seen everything I've now got on the show. The only hard decision you have to make now is which terrarium are you going to go for? Now, there is no, th these are not ones that you go, oh, I'll go with the little one because I'm a beginner. The concept is the same. It all depends on where you're going to put it. So whether you like the smallest to the largest or the small and dumpiest, the process that you do is exactly the same and it's all written in your instructions. Everything is in there for you. In case you look at us at the end of the phone, they're at the end of a chat, they're on Facebook, they're on Instagram. You are not on your own. The large one, 10% of the stock has already gone. Uh, we have so much more to do. Uh, the, the best, that this is going to be the fun now, because what we are about to do is we are about to create and I'm going to have a go at making my very own terrarium. 30% uh, of the small one has now already gone. £26.99, 653972 is your item number. 21 by 10.5 centimetres. Uh, it's also got your ivy plant in there. You get your plants and you get your deco decorations in there as well. Uh, worth having a little look. Um, right then. Shall we crack on and see how all this works? Because I'm excited, because I get to play. Uh, so, right, okay, I'll follow you. Um, <laughs> tell me what we need to do first. So, first, obviously, we open the lid, and then we need our drainage layer. And there. Now, you could, you're just going to add, obviously, when you buy the kit, you have everything measured, so you just add it to your glass container. You just add it, just a layer, 
The drainage layer is just so that the water doesn't sit in the soil. Okay. And then our plants actually get a root rot. So this is very important to put the clay pebbles inside. Because as mentioned before, obviously you don't have anywhere the water to, to escape from the bottom as you have it in a normal house plant and you have it in a box. But you added just a few handfuls. Yeah, that should be enough. Okay. Now that once we have it, once we have it, yes, it's now time for our soil. Okay. <laughs> so you also it. add a few handfuls at the beginning. Do Lovely. you know if you want to create the, the, the sand line? Have you yeah. thought of it? Would you like to make one? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. I'll follow you. Brilliant. I'm... So now because we need to think of where we actually want to have our uh, line of sand. We add just a few handfuls. Yeah, add add just more? one more. Yeah, just add a few handfuls, spread it around so it's all even. Yeah, that should be it. Just spread it around so it's all even. You can use the cock tamper for that. Yeah, which how, is do, very how, do, how do we know how much? We, obviously, ours will all be measured out. So, do we put the whole of the bag of the soil into our terrarium? How, how much are we looking for? Well, it, it really depends how tall is your plant. So, for example, my parlor palm is very short, so obviously I could make it higher. But the whole idea is to put as little soil as possible. Okay. Because the less soil you have, it will stop your plants from growing very, very tall. Ah. Like you have house plants, you repot them every year just to make them bigger. For this container, we want the plants to we want the plants to stay as small as possible. So the whole idea is not to put as much soil as possible. So you just add a few handfuls. Once you are happy with that and you know that you want to have your line of sand in here, you just tamper it down. So you just tamper it next to the edges of the glass. Yes, that's the one. You just tamper it around. We've had a, we've had a question in okay. from our Christine. Uh, thank you for emailing in, Christine. Thank you, good afternoon. I hope your Sunday is going well. Uh, Christine said about the ivy. How do you deal with the ivy? Because ivy is normally one of those that will take over the side of a house. It will go. So how do we contain it to be beautiful and small? Do we have to keep taking it out and chopping it down? Or is it like you said, because there's the lack of soil in there, exactly. it will only grow to a certain size? Exactly. So because you don't have enough soil in here, the, the roots can only, you know, grow as much soil as they have. And then also they are limited by the cochlead and the glass. Oh, okay. So once you kind of, like I trimmed the plant and I could see, okay, it stopped growing only because the lid stopped the lid it from it growing. growing. And it's like, kind of like the plant learned, okay, this is enough, I can't grow because they're gonna chop me again. No, that, make, that makes so, it. So, yes. Oh, <laughs> oh, poor little, maybe that's what happened to our Derek. Uh, and she also says, lovely show. She's oh, loving the you. show as well. Christine thank is loving the show. Thank you for your email, Christine. Keep your questions <laughs> coming. Studio at thecraftstore.com. Okay, so once you're happy with tampering down, obviously, once you have a lot of time you can make the line as straight as possible as you want yeah um, it's your terrarium so you can be as creative as you want it can be a straight line it can be waves you can do even double lines you know whatever comes to your mind just you can do it and now once you are happy with that anything okay that will be enough yeah I have the brush if you want you oh, should have a brush, brush on your oh, desk yeah. yes you thought of everything <laughs> It's very useful. You can use either your kitchen towel or like a paintbrush. You um, don't get the brush in the kits, uh, you don't, just use a paintbrush. You can buy it separately if you buy want. Separately. Yes, but so you just clean it because we want this, the sand, because the sand is very light in color. We don't want any soil to actually destroy the whole effect. So okay. you just clean it around in the middle. As I said, it can be a brush. But you can use even a kitchen towel, as you did with your hand. Yeah, I just used my hand. I yeah. forgot I had a brush. As long as it's clean, because, you know. Now, again, you can use your spoon. We have a little I've got a spoon. wooden yes. spoon. Yes. Now, you don't get the wooden spoons in the kits either, but a little teaspoon, I'm guessing, would work the same. Yes, obviously. Yes, little teaspoon, big teaspoon. 
Yes. It's simpler. So, it, okay, it so we've put, uh, we've put our bead, we've put our clay in, we've put our soil in, we've tampered it down so it's a nice straight line. Uh, yes. What do we do next? So now we're going to make our decorative line using the sand. So I'm going to take the bowl of the sand. Take the bowl of sand. Take the bowl of sand. Now use your spoon and just pour it around. Try not to put it in the middle of the soil because okay. obviously that's where our plant's roots going to be. Just put it just on the oh, sides so we don't of do the a glass. layer of sand. No, you don't. You don't. You, you only put it on the rim of the glass. This is why they're experts <laughs> in terrariums. This is why they ditched everything in and became terrarium experts. So you're going to use, just going to pour it. Put it I around. I would have done a full layer as well. I like the, oh. What happened to you? <laughs> If you have, uh, see, I go quiet now, I forget I'm on the TV. Uh, if you've got a thing like, I've got a lazy Susan here, um, so, so it makes it easier to spin things around. Uh, but if well, you've got actually, one of these you, uh, the wooden part, your glass container, is, it does spin. Yeah, I've, I ju I've only just found that out. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot I've about it. I've only just found that out. <laughs> uh, so if it does make it easier for you to get yourself a little lazy Susan when you do this, and you haven't got to keep spinning the jar, um, oh, I want more time to do this. So you just put it to the thickness that you want. It doesn't have to be like very thick. Just put it around. What shows next? Oh, it's a happy hour. We can run into that. <laughs> I don't want to rush it. We've got like two demos to get in, but. So we put our little layer of sand in. Yes. I think it is mindful. Uh, do your own research in it. Uh, but I think it, it is very mindful. It's sort of. It's quite relaxing, and I suppose it's nice. It is nice to take care of little plants. Like you, they become like little children. Kind of, yeah. As you can see, those little new leaves popping, coming out. And, and there's something quite satisfying, I'm guessing, when you when they when you watch them grow, and you go, "Oh, I did that. I made that grow. I planted all that into there." Oh, it's such a great you know. happiness, actually, once you make a terrarium, because you know you you take your steps slowly, obviously, at your own pace, and Imagine you can put like a nice relaxing music or like the songs oh, that you like yeah. and oh, you just... So very zen. It is, yeah. It I is guess everything that's related to plants and like gardening, isn't it? very... Oh, I love it. I love it. It's right. Okay, so we've done sand. So you have the line. Check if you're happy, just with all the thickness. Yep. Yeah. Once you're happy with it. There we go. Okay, so now comes our activated charcoal. It should be in the very small, the smallest bowl. Small pot. Yeah, the small pot. And again, you can use your little spoon and just put a few handfuls. So are we, are we going around the edge or are we scattering? No, in the middle. So oh, in, the in the middle, middle of the time. soil, yes. Now, do we need a lot, a little? Add two spoons. Two spoons. In the kit, you have the exact amount of activated charcoal Ooh. measured. So you just pour in what you get. Okay, and this is a crucial part, is it It not? is very crucial, yes. This um, is like the eggs if you're baking an egg, if you're exactly. baking a cake. So you need it. You, you definitely, as I said, it clears all the toxins in such a container. It elim eliminates any bad odors as well. Okay, I like that. So it is very important. Okay, yeah. now we're done. Now it's time for the, now it's time for the second layer of the soil. Second layer of soil. Yes. I feel like Mary Barrow. Just try and put a few handfuls, just maybe like so you have a one centimetre of soil. One centimetre. On you. I feel. I mean, the, the height of the soil will also depend on the size of the container that you have. Um, um, because you have a small container, we're going to obviously put less, less soil in. than, for example, in mine or in the biggest container. But put it around, scatter it. Uh, just so you're aware, myself and Katie, we're doing two different size containers, so these aren't the same. I'm, I think Katie's got the next size up to what I'm doing. I've got the, the second to smallest, yeah, yes, is what I'm currently using at the moment. Yeah, so you have the one with two phytonias. Um, yeah. I have the one with phytonia, parlor palm and a little syngonium. I've got my little plants here. Yes, so now we put the layer of soil. I think your one is looking good, yes. I think it's fine. So now we're going to do it. It's time for our plants. Mine's just <laughs> fine. Just fine. Just no, fine. No, it is fine. It is fine. So we need to remove the plants from its pot. 
So okay. just gently massage it. Yeah, you can do it to the wherever you like. Just put it aside. We have some gloves if if your plant oh, is I'm very right. wet. Just... Now, can we split the plant? It depends which plant. Okay. For example, the one that you have, which is called Fitonia, or also known as Nerf plant, you can split it. Yes, because you will have few different stems in the inside it. Oh yes, I have. If, yes, you see, so you should be able to show it. So there is one little root. Yes, yeah, so you see, so you have one. So technically, you should have maybe two to three little plants. I've got inside. four. Oh, even four. Well, you're lucky. It's hard to find. Oh, yeah, I've got four. I've got four separate ones. <laughs> wow, in <here>. that's lucky. <laughs> okay, so what, where are we up to now? So I've separated all so, those. So yes, yeah, so break. So for example, I have the palm or palm yep. in here. I can split that one as well. So I can make few different little plants. Um, but for example, Syngonium, you won't be able to split it. That's nice. Fitonia as well. Yeah, this is the same plant as the pink one. Oh. Fitonia just comes in different various colors. So different for example, Fitonia, you have red, green, but I have a different green color if you look at it. I love this. I have like a lime green, which looks very nice as well. So it comes in three different colorways that you're it getting It actually comes with different, many, many colors. Uh, Fitonia is like well known for each co its colors. But yes, you, you can split that one as well. So we'll get rid of, obviously when you take your plants, you try and get rid of the old soil as much as it's possible. Yeah. Just so you have it like very bare root. So I'm going to do it for each plant. Just to prepare so, uh, The details on the screen at the moment are, is for my one. Try and uh, do this and read at the same time. Uh, it's, for the, it's for the next size up, so it's not the small, small one. Okay, so it's this size here that we're looking at at the moment. Uh, so this is the currently one that I'm doing uh, now, which is a nice size. It's not too small with the ivy in, but it gives you the same concept. Remember, each one, there is no difference uh, in any of them. We are approaching half the stock of that small bottle uh, is now is what we are looking at in this one. Uh, half the stock of the small one now has already gone. Right then, let's start planting. Yes. Give me a second. Okay. I'm conscious of the time. So now, yes, yes, yes. So now what you need to do, you need to dig it. Obviously, you need to plan where you want to put your plants in. You dig in a small hole for your plant. If you have bigger plants, I would usually start from the bigger plant first. Okay. You How dig deep a hole. do we go? You, you go until you actually can hear you reach the clay pebbles. So you will okay. hear that kind oh, of so like a sound. Deep. Can you hear it? Yeah. You should be able to hear it. Yeah. Once you reach the clay pebbles, now you are ready to plant your plant. Oh, I'm like Monty Don. And you just put it in inside your hole. Just make sure that the roots are tucked. Well, I inside the soil. Da, 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 da. Oh, this is amazing. I love it. This would be amazing with the kids. Uh, if you've got little ones at home, uh, this would be... Sorry, I'm faffing. Uh, this would be absolutely beautiful. Yes, it is. Just when you put in the plants in, just make sure they are not really touching the glass. What happens if they touch the glass? Well, as you know, the... the um, the water condensates on the glass, yeah. on the sides of the glass. And what happens if the leaf actually is touching the water? It can die or it can... Oh. You, you can have signs of mold. So you don't want it touching the glass. No, so don't no, make sure your really. leaves aren't touching uh, the glass. Righty then. Uh, let me pop If you in. have any leaves that you don't like or they are too big for your container, just feel free and just take it away. It's not going to damage your plant. It's actually good for your plant as well to trim them from time to time. But trim so, them even then when we've, when we've planted them, still trim them and look? Yes, for example, if I have this little Fitonia and I don't like this little plant because I know, you know it's going to touch a decoration or I know straight away it's going to touch my glass inside the container, I just take it away. Oh, okay. So you can do that as well. Don't, it's not going to damage the plant. It's completely normal. So you can do that. It's content. easier to, to remove any unwanted plants once they are outside the container than once they are sometimes in. inside, yes, so it all depends. It's so you repeat like... the whole process for each plant. You dig a hole where you want the plant to be in, 
bit like flower arranging. Until your son yes, it is actually. I've made a, I've made a right mess. Uh, right then, um, I'm literally going to pop two more plants in, and unfortunately, I've got to work. This has been the best day at work ever. Uh, play with pens. Now I'm playing. Now I've done quite a lot of demos today. I might have to put an invoice in. Uh, right then, um, let me just pop. Let me just pop these little 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 badges in, and then uh, I will I will do you a little recap because I know at the moment you're like me and you're all currently just watching uh, because you want to know how all this works. But I need to tell you that we are phenomenally busy at the moment uh, with all of this. Uh, right then, uh, the details are currently on the screen at the moment for the uh, set, which were the details for the second one, uh, the one I'm currently doing at the moment, uh, at the moment. But let's just quickly go over to the, uh, just go over to our case to see what she's up to. Oh, she's just putting her second plant in. Yeah, I'm actually on the third plant. <laughs> oh, a third plant. Yes. So I already have my pearl palm, fitonia, and my little pink syngonium. I love this. So look at so it's quite easy to do. Once you, it's just about working out where you want everything exactly. to go. Exactly. So it's all basically about the planning, how you want it to look like, and where you want to put it as well, because um, that's how you will arrange your plants inside. I I, do, I really do. Oh, I just want to tinker. Uh, right then, I've got to do my job. Right then, let me do my job, and then I can get back to tinkering again. Uh, right then, the small bottle is very, very busy. 50% of the stock now has already gone for this small bottle, okay? So you are getting everything that you need in the kit. So you get your dabber downer uh, that's in there. Uh, you're also going to get uh, your activated charcoal. We've worked that out. That goes on top of the soil once you've done your last layer of soil, because that will activate everything, and it will give you that full water cycle that you need. Because remember, you are making a closed terrarium. What is a closed terrarium? So once you've watered it, the water will seep to the bottom. As the jar warms up, so in the morning and late afternoon, like you have, like you see with a barometer, the old soil barometers, um, the moisture will run through the roots into the leaf, and then it will sort of evaporate itself, and then it will turn into condensation down the side of the jar, which is technically like rain. And that's how really rain works. Uh, and then it, will, so it becomes its own environment. You get everything you need in the kit. Everything is measured out for you as well. In the starter kit, it's not really a starter kit at all. Uh, you're getting your ivy. Uh, so you're going to look a little bit like this. You're getting your three pebbles in there. Everything's measured. Everything has been done for you. So it's not like me um, trying to do the guesswork. Uh, everything is measured. So you really can't go wrong. £26.99. 653.972 is your item number on this one. Uh, from there, we then move to the size of the jar that I was demonstrating. Uh, two petonias is what you're getting here. And you're also getting your moss as well. You're also getting your rocks and your foliage. Uh, so you get your stones and you also get your large rock in there. Two types of sand, so you can go really decorative if you wanted to uh, around the edges. Um, I think the sand, the black sand, we'll get onto shortly because that's what you put on to finish the top. Uh, do is just covers uh, the earth that you've put on there. Uh, you also get 30% of the stock now has already gone here. Um, absolutely love it. If you're just starting out, it's a nice size to go for. But then if you're just starting out, I know I'm going to back to contradict myself. The only thing that changes in all of this is the size of the jar and the plants. Obviously, the bigger the vessel, the bigger the jar you're going to get and the more plants you're going to get. So just pick the size of the jar that you want to go for. £49.99, and pence. there's two flexible payments on that as well. So you can get flexible payments on this. Uh, your item number is at the top, 200, 386, £25 is what you're looking for, two flexible payments on that one. I'm moving on up and moving on out, in the words of the M people. Uh, we are very, very busy uh, for this one because the larger the jar, you can go more decorative if you want to with your sand. Uh, you're getting a peace lily in here as well and two petonias uh, that you're getting as well. I love this. I absolutely adore this. You can sort of see the condensation when it's sort of starting uh, to work in the studio lights uh, that we have here as well. Remember, yours will come empty. Uh, here is the kit that you will be getting, and you've also got your jar as well. £69.99. 023597 is your item number for this one. Right then, moving on up to our larger size jar uh, that we have here this time. Um, it is beautiful. I do really love all of them. Um, I want them all. Because uh, you're getting your three plants, you're getting your two rusty marks in there, and everything else uh, is included in your kit. £69.99. 023597. Remember, you get full instructions 
breaks everything down for you, step by step guides on how your terrarium will work, um, on how to look after it, uh, your finishing products that you get in there, how to water that you're getting there, should you get diseases, what to do in there, how to prune them. Everything is in this booklet and should you get stuck, uh, Katie and Lucas are at the end of a phone. They're on Instagram, they're on Facebook, and they're on their website. They've also got an online chat forum as well that will help you along the way. From there, another one of my favourites. Another one of my favourites. I like this one a lot. You're getting two petonias in there. You're getting one ivy in there. And you're also getting this little, this little bad boy. I love this. This is, what's this one? Cryptanthus. Cryptanthus. <laughs> You're getting one of those as well for £75. <laughs> Leave it to Katie. Uh, £75 and 99 pence. Just as a bundle of plants, they look beautiful. Look at those. Absolutely stunning. And you will be able to look after them. You'll be able to care for them. You'll be able to cherish them and love them. You will. All in their beautiful little home. Look at that. How beautiful. I, love, I, just, yeah, I do like the style of the container. That in the middle of a table or on a bedside, uh, even in a coffee table, in a bedroom. Uh, we've only got 15 minutes. Um, I need to finish my terrarium. And then last but no means least, oh, I've meant to make two. Uh, then you've also got the large one as well. Uh, 79 pounds and 99 pence. 071629 is your item number. We are loving the big ones that you are getting. And it's not, also, you're also getting... What is the plant with the holes in the leaves? The holes in the leaves. It's called Monstera. You're getting one of those as well. Uh, you are getting all of them plants that you see in there, and then it's down to you. So you can make. I like what we've done here. I say we. I've not done anything of this, uh, but this we've done your little path. So you've done a pathway that runs all the way to the back as well. You imagine putting your little cottages in here. Um, maybe you've got uh, little stickers that you want to put around the base uh, or on the top. Maybe because they've got uh, the jar at the top, you could decorate with ribbon along the top as well if you so wanted to. Uh, maybe glue a little, a little handle on the top if you wanted to do that. Two flexible payments of £40 is what you are looking at here. 071629 is your item number. Uh, going back... Uh, to one of the ones, one sort of your semi-big one. This is where we started going into the big territories. This one, approaching 50% of the stock, now has already gone. Is this the one that you're currently doing, Katie? Are you doing this no, one? No, I'm doing the, the the third one, I believe. Uh, so you're doing that. So this is the next size up to the one that Anne is currently doing at the moment. That is beautiful as well. Start checking out your baskets now. Start checking out your baskets. You're not going to miss anything. I'll let you know when we're going back to demonstration. Uh, you're not going to miss anything. Uh, so do start checking out your baskets if I was you. Remember, you've got flexible payments on this as well. Um, loving this. 023597 is your item number. Two flexible payments of £35. Right then. So you don't miss anything. Because I know what you're like. You're a bit like me. We get all giddy and excited and we forget to check out our baskets. I'm going to put a little VT in. So you can check out your baskets and when we come back, we'll go and finish the demonstration, okay? Here, if you don't know what Flexible Payments is, here's a little video for you. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on Flexibuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexibuy payments so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. What, put the lamp on the... Uh, we're just gas bagging it. We're just having a little chinwag while that VT was on, because I've come back to the demo room. And we were generally saying this is... Uh, we're all saying it's very therapeutic uh, to do. Uh, about a lamp? Yeah, some people draw a hole and they put, like, a lamp and the shade on top of it. That refers back to the light that you mentioned to oh, me before. So imagine. if you like someone is very, very crafty, you can have your light, your light bulb in here and like the, the rest of the light in here. So this can be your base that of the light as well. That would be your base of your well. lamp. Yes. You, if you're very crafty, you would like to do it, you can as an idea. 
and we are crafty. Yes, We're, you are. <laughs> my one viewer, I've only got the one, uh, but they're very crap. Imagine turning that into a lovely standard lamp, and that is your base. Especially those larger ones, having two of them either side of a mantelpiece on top of a bookcase. Oh, now we're talking. Um, the details for the large one is currently on screen at the moment as well. Right then, I've got my plants in, and you haven't got to use all the plants, have you, inside your terrarium, or do you? I, you don't have to. Okay. You don't have to. We provide you with enough plants, but if you feel like you want to make it like more minimalistic style of terrarium, you don't have to put in. Okay. For example, I have two stems of Fitonia left. I can put them back in a pot and leave them as a regular house plant, so it's completely fine. Okay. Uh, so now that we, that we did it, you secured your plants. Now you need to tamper the soil a tamper. little bit. I'm tampering. Tamper it. Tamper it. Just so you know that, just tamp it down, especially near the plant's roots, so you know that they sit securely in the soil and they won't move around. So you just do that around. Just so you know, Katie Monov, we've got 10 minutes left. Okay. Now, <clears throat> what's more important thing we're going to add as a last thing? We're going to add some moss. moss. Okay. This one is called ban moss. Now, it's going to come in a clump. Obviously, we're going to send you the appropriate size to your container. But if you want to spread it and you want to have two pieces, you can just pull it like that. And that means I have two smaller oh. pieces of moss, you see? So now what I'm going to do with my piece of moss, check how the height of it. If it's too high for your container, you can pull that up as well a oh, little bit. Sweet. But your one should be fine. Now, as for the plants, you're just going to make a small hole. Also, we have to plant the moss as well. Yes, you get the moss as well. Oh, I never moss is great because I feel like moss complements the terrarium. Oh, and it gets, it adds that extra touch really to terrarium. So you're going to dig a hole deep enough for your moss. Put can your the moss, moss. Can the moss touch the soil? Yes, moss can touch the, the glass. So that's perfectly fine. I'm just asking for myself now, really, to be yes, honest. Yes, you can, you can. So it can touch the glass. Press it firmly. Don't be scared, you're going to destroy it. Moss needs to really attach to the soil because it takes all the nutrients from the soil. Okay. Okay. Once you're happy with that, I have another piece, but because we don't have enough time, I'm, I'm not going to put it in. Now it's time for the decoration. You see, we have different kind of rocks and pe oh, you still do not. <laughs> see, you really go into it. <laughs> I, lo I love this sort of thing. This is what I enjoy the most: just playing and making uh, things look beautiful. I do try. Right then, where are we up Brilliant. to? Brilliant. Rocks. So now we have two different type of decorations. You have rocks and some white pebbles. Now, it depends you, on the size of the jar, depends on what you get, doesn't it? Well, you know, you're not going to get in the smaller one. So in the small one, you just get the white rocks and everything else, you exactly. get Exactly, yes, so you should get both. You just place them wherever you want it, just so it looks nice. I don't know where to place them. Do you have a space? One or two. You don't have to use all the materials that we also use if you feel like it's too much. I suppose that's where people go wrong. They feel like they have to use everything. No, you don't have to. We, we give you enough so that sh you don't feel like it's too little. Or the, the worst thing that can happen when you make a terrarium and you feel like, oh, you know, it, it wasn't enough for me. <laughs> I want it to look different. So you add a few decorations as you're happy with it. Make sure they are secure. My leaf is touching the glass. Ideally, if it doesn't touch the plant, um, because it's the same idea as with the glass. What, so the rocks can't touch the plant? Uh, ideally not. Oh, no. if, you, if you can move them around so they don't touch the leaves, then yes, that would yeah, be I can, ideally. I can do that. So once you are happy with your setup with the rocks and your pebbles, now it's time for the decorative layer on the very top. Now, you see, right. some people like to see the soil on the top. They are very happy with it. But because we have some perlite and some other stuff in the soil, so it's perfect for the terrarium, we, likes to we like to use some decorative gravel. Yes. Just because it makes look elegant. But you can use your black gravel, and then you can also use the white pea shingler on top. Oh. Or you can use your black gravel and then make some 
roads, as you mentioned, in the biggest container. Yes. Make like a little road with your pishingla. Okay. okay, how do we get, uh, sound, this is going to sound a ridiculous question, how do we get it in without ruining what we've already done? The spoon <laughs> comes spoon. very helpful, but if you put any gravel or pishingla on top of your plant, just use your hand or use your brush and just take it away from your plant, so it's perfectly fine. So, so don't worry that you will put any pishingla or gravel on top of your plant. It can be easily removed with your okay. brush. Yes, so don't worry. I mean, don't do it obviously on top of the plant. But yeah, don't purposely. Yeah, put it don't on top purposely of the plant. do That's it. Yeah. So you just put it around. For. That leaf is really annoying me. Sorry, I, my, I've got stuff touching glass. What are you put in black. Let's go black. Right, and so we're nearly at the end of the hour. Uh, we have literally got five minutes left. Um, I hope this has sort of answered any questions that we've got on your uh, terrariums. Uh, remember, if you do have any questions, you've got literally about five minutes to send them in uh, before I have to say goodbye. Um, it's been a very, very busy hour. Uh, at the moment. So if you've got any questions and you're thinking, oh, we should just ask before he goes, uh, quickly get in now and I can read your email out. How thick do we do the black gravel? Just so it covers? Just so it covers. Okay. There's no really... As long as you can't actually see any soil and you're happy with it, then it's fine. There's no rule. Yeah, and you just use the brush to get rid of any... No, I'm not... I like, I love mine to bits. I just wanted more time. It's one of these things that, this is, <laughs> not, a, time this flies, is not a quick it? job, is it? This is a job that you need to take your time over and, and just enjoy the process. I would recommend, oh, you, you can do it quick, but I would highly recommend to take your time, relax, plan it. It's such a relaxing activity. It really is. I've had the best hour ever. Um, I'm now being told that we have to round up the show. Uh, but I'm not going to listen for a minute. Uh, so there's one more thing that we need to do before, thing. which is the most important thing as well, is watering. <laughs> well, okay, okay, it's a squirty bowl. <laughs> so yeah, we we want to water the the plants. Administrate the water as closest to the plants' roots as possible. Now, the, how much you water it all depends from the plants. How many plants you have inside, and also how big your container is. How I would, do I know how much to put in? Well, I would recommend for, for the size of your container around 50 millilitres, for my container around 80 millilitres well, of water. The, the rule is oh. the less the better, because once you put too much water, it will be really hard to get rid of it. So it's better to put, it, to put little water and then observe your terrarium. If you feel like it's too dry inside or you don't see actually any condensation, this is the time to water it slightly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm there. <laughs> so now your terrarium is ready. Once you're happy with it, you close the lid. And that's it. And it's done. And there, if you're wondering what these uh, the little brushes are, uh, just a long paintbrush uh, bent would work exactly the same uh, if I was you. And then we have finished. So if I move these out of the way, uh, it's just so you can see in all its glory, um, the I, I think I'll be part of the design team soon, I'm not going to lie, uh, that you can see in this. So, this is, and if I can do it in an hour and still talk at the same time at home, you can do it as well. Uh, that is, the, I think that's going to be the front uh, that you've got there. There is your little terrarium. Uh, there is so many things. What is, and we all keep asking, what's the little tree that you've got in the one next to you, the big one? This one? Yeah. That's Ficus bonsai. So you can put bonsais in them? Yes. It's a special one to put. It's a miniature version. Oh, it looks beautiful. It, it looks so beautiful. Uh, right then. It's that now. Half the stock of the one I've been doing has now already gone. Uh, they are very, very busy. You get everything you need included into the kits. It's up to you. You are your own designer of the kits as well. And then you've got some, obviously the ones I've got in the studio, I'm guessing have been growing for a while. Yes. So the, so the one I've just done, obviously if I put it on top, 
if the stand will hold, uh, you will see that obviously mine are only little at the moment, but obviously they will grow into the beautiful colourways uh, that you've got down at the bottom. Everything in the kits, everything is measured out for you. You haven't got to worry about grabbing handfuls of this and handfuls of that. You get the plants, you get your soil, you get your, so uh, your soil, you get your foliage that's in there as well. I've got a minute left of the show. Take 30 seconds for me. If anyone's still unsure, going, I'd like to have a go, but I'm not really green-fingered, mm -hmm. what would you say to those sorts of people? Just go for it and try. It's, it's very amazing. And once you do one, it's never going to stop on one. Trust me, you're going to want to do a second one as well. <laughs> you're, so, you're so right. Once you start this, it's going to be one of the things like, I'm, I'll get another one of them. Next time they're on, I'm going to the go slightly bigger. I started with Ivy, now I'm going to move to the one he did on the TV, then I'm going to go slightly bigger again. Don't be scared of them. The only advice I can give you, if your budget will stretch you, it, go to the big one, because you will not be disappointed with that big one. It is the same process that you do for the little one, just on a larger scale. There's full instructions in there. They're on Instagram, they're on Facebook, they're also on a live chat as well. Uh, thank you, Katie. It's an absolute pleasure. Thank I've you. Had an blast of a show. Don't you go anywhere. There's so much more to shop for. Start checking out your baskets if I was you as well. Go on. You know you want a terrarium. It will cheer you up. Honestly, it really will. I knew she would. Ah, Catherine's dabbled again. She bought them before the hour. She's been buying during the hour as well. Oh, this impression's a happy hour. He's up next. She's a stinker, isn't she, eh? Hi, I'm Anthea. Uh, I'm from Quilting Antics. Quilting Antics started around 2011, 2012, I'm never really sure. At one point we nearly became the cushion company because we've churned out so many different cushions. But we'll do bags, we'll do cushions, we'll do book covers, we'll do things for your sewing room, anything. If it pops into our head and we can physically make it, then we'll go for it. As I said, the buzzword is all about fun for us. On our shows, we always like to have lots of fun. There's always lots of laughter, and hopefully you'll learn a few things that you didn't know along the way. So don't miss the Quilting Antics shows. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, my name's Mel and I'm from Crafty Devils down in Devon. We are a family run business and we've been established for about 16 years now. We're known for our MDF products and our mediums. So make sure you tune in to all our Crafty Devil shows.
Good afternoon, everyone. Yes, we do have another happy hour for you this afternoon. Well, we had a very busy hour earlier on as well with Ali. She's not here live in the studio, but she will still be demonstrating for you. We've got some wonderful videos to show you of great demonstrations. Now, we've had lots of happy hours, actually, during the day. And this one, Art Inspirations, was on early. It was extremely busy. In fact, we did have sellouts, and we're expecting more this afternoon as well. We've got some great, great prices for you. Being a happy hour, of course, remember that the prices will go up at the top of the hour. So keep an eye on that yellow box. That's where the savings are. And don't miss out on a bargain. Now then, before we get into the show, I just want to make a little announcement. It's a very special day today, a very special day, um, and I'm at work, unfortunately, um, for a certain person. Um, but never, never mind that, because I hope Mr. Glenn Moles is watching, and I want to wish him a very, very happy birthday from me, and I will see you very soon. Um, and as a little surprise, because you know what day it is today, it's not just Glenn's birthday, it's pizza Sunday. Instead of a slice of cake, I'm bringing you home a slice of pizza. There you are. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Right, okay, that's out of the way. Yeah, very happy birthday, Glenn. I'm sorry I'm not home. Uh, let's have a look at this bundle here. We've got an amazing prize for you as well. And we've got Flexi. We're already a third of the stock gone. Let's have a look at these stamps. These are incredible. They really are. The detail. This is the overboard collection. It's the complete collection. You can see we've got that enormous A4 stamp set right at the top there. You can see lots of individual elements. Very very clever designs, absolutely amazing artwork. And then at the bottom, we've got the A5 stamp sets as well. In total, there are 53 individual stamps here. Amazing value. As I say, we do have flex on this as well, and we've got a fantastic freedom price. Your saving freedom member, £16.49. £76.46 is the freedom price. We're going to split that down for you as well. Let's have a look at all the details here because as I say, 53 individual stamps. There's so many ways you can build these up. We're currently looking at the A4 stamp set there. Let's look at the samples around it as well because you can appreciate the work that's gone into the designs and then how incredibly you can work with the stamps themselves. Now, if you do want the A4 by itself, you can get that one as well, the bottom of the screen. Now, this particular set, this A4 set that we're looking at, wasn't on the earlier show, so we're seeing that for the first time today. 762351 is the item number there. 24.99 is the happy hour price, but the side of the screen, that's where the comp complete collection is with those 53 individual stamps. Three payments of £25.49. That's what we're looking at there for the Flexi Freedom. 092474. Let's have a look at the details of the A5 stamp sets as well. There's so much going on here. You've got that amazing island. You know, you can build those stories again, can't you? you can, that each and every one of these stamps tells a story. Incredible detail. Do have a look at the samples. We'll have a close look at some more in a second. But yeah, grab yourselves a bag in this afternoon. Do not miss out on these. I know when they've been brought to us previously, they've been very, very busy. Now, I can tell you as well, once they're gone, they are gone. We'll not be seeing any extended delivery on these. Remember the A4 stamp, we didn't see it earlier on, so maybe you've seen it for the very, very first time. I've got, do you know, I want to know who's done all these samples, actually. We have got names on some of them. We've got Alison on the back of this one. I know Leon is going to be demonstrating via her wonderful videos a little bit later. I think she's out enjoying herself, actually. It's a special weekend for Leone as well. Look at that. I just love it. There's so many ways you can work with these different mediums to colour with. Use your stencils in the background. Use your watercolours. That's the ramshackling. You can see that you've got the name on there as well. The more you look, the more you see. Keep it a little bit more simple, but isn't that effective? Paradise Island. Maybe you know someone that's getting married abroad. That would make a lovely card. And just a print there as well. That's onto glossy paper. That's really, really nice. Oh, I love this one. I remember this sample from before. Look at this. You're joining almost by a little bridge there. The bunting is joining the two little islands together. You're my little treasure. And then if I show you this sample as well, who's done this one? Handmade with, oh, I'm not sure who's done this one. Actually, look at that, isn't that clever? I'll just turn that to the side so you can see the depth of that. Really beautiful. Yep, make sure you grab yours, 092474. We are very 
busy for this now. We're approaching 40% of the entire stock of the collection gone. Well, it's gone. It has gone. There'll be no more. Now, we are going to move along because we've got so much more. We did have some bundles earlier on, and they sold out very quickly. And I am not surprised because they were beautiful. But... There is a bit of a consolation because we've got some A4 elements for you. So you can go for these individually. So let's have a look at the first one. These are the large hero stamps. Yes, we can bring these back. Again, I'm going to show you what samples I've got. Uh, this one here, building your dreams. Now look at that. Look at the balloon. It's like a, a whippy ice cream on top. I just think it's just so wonderful. This is, the, this is the thing that dreams are made of, isn't it? You can really tell those stories again. Build up those little scenes, build up the buildings, put extensions on there. You've got the trees in there. So many individual elements. In fact, there's 14 stamps in total in that one set. Only $24.99. It's another happy hour deal. You've got a five pound saving, two, three, four, five, seven, four. Once again, you need to be quick because when they're gone, they're gone. Let me just show you this card as well. Actually, I like this. This is clever. If I just turn that to the side, look. It's got little wings on it. So you see from the front the entire image, but it stands like a card. Look at that. I want to live there. I want to live there. That's my new home. Yeah, we can have pizza for tea every night, me and Glenn. Uh, two, three, four, five, seven, four is the item number now. Do you know, it's flying. 20% of the stock has gone already. We've literally just shown that one for you. It wasn't on the earlier show. That's the first time you've seen it today. Uh, yeah, very, very busy. Individually, you can get that right now. Now, the next one. Oh, this is so beautiful. Now, there was a bundle that sold out earlier on, and it absolutely flew. This, I believe, was part of it, but we've got the individual A4 for you now. So 18 stamps in this one. Oh, that price. I think that needs changing. Look at that. You're saving naught. That can't be right. Let's, let's get that figured out for you because we need to change that. But the item number, I believe, will be the same. 013142. Just looking at the details in this particular set, you've got the book, you've got a little scene in there. The deer. Wow. Honestly, you can see every little bit of fur. Wait until you see the sample I've got here. It's beautiful. No name on it, so I can't give the credit to anybody in particular at the moment. I've no idea who did this, but it is the most stunning image. We're looking at all the details in the stand there. Look at that. I don't know if Leone did that herself. Maybe she did. She's a clever lady. $24.99. Now, that's just the deer there, one of the elements. You've got many more stamps there besides. Two of the large deer, actually, in different poses on that one stamp set. 013142 is the item number. The other deer, actually, it's here. Um, if you look at the antlers as well, all the decorations on the antlers. Isn't that amazing? Absolutely love it. Christmas sparkle and magical wishes. Yes, it certainly is. Already half of the stock gone on that particular item. Now, the A4s are not going to last, are they? We can see that we're only, well, we're just over eight minutes in, quite frankly, so I can't see them lasting the hour. Uh, do check those baskets out as soon as you can. Do not miss out on these at all. Now, we're moving along, so we've got another A4 for you as well. Oh, these are wonderful. Each, I can't choose a favourite again. It's one of those shows, isn't it, where everything you see, you think, oh, that's a must-have. Then you see the next one, you think, actually, I must have that one as well. I've got a very clever sample I've just found. This one here is the Town High Rise. Again, you can build up those scenes. You can change the height of the building. You can add on to it. There's almost a little church front there as well, I can see. Beautiful. Those little trees, very, very useful for scene building. You've got clouds, uh, very effective stamps. The artwork... Brilliant. $24.99 is the price on this one as well. £5 saving, 560 0, 0, I've got one or two samples for this one, actually. But isn't that lovely in the blues? And with the clouds, you do see the lineage there as well. It's part of the stamp. It's so effective. Yeah, it does give a fantasy feel, doesn't it? And very different to that sample, using the same, same stamp set, of course. Isn't that very nice as well. I don't know, is that a stencil, do you think? Or maybe something's been stamped. It might be some sort of dauber or something that's stamped that, I'm not sure. Uh, oh, this is nice. Let me show you this one. A smaller version, but it just shows you don't have to use the whole of the stamp. And you've got the church at the top. That is really unusual. But wait until you see this next one. This is clever. Let me bring this in. Just watch. 
there. Talk about a high rise. Look at that. How clever is that? I love it. Do you know, if we could all have extensions like that on our houses, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? You can just pull them out and push them back in whenever you want. 560-070, if you want to go for this particular stamp set. Once again, got to remind you when it's gone, it has gone. All those are happy hour deals, of course. Each and every one of those is very, very busy. If you've definitely got your eye on something you don't want to miss out, don't hesitate on checking your baskets out. Now, we do have more. Now we've got some A5s for you next. Different feel to these, different designer, uh, all from Art Inspirations though. Beautiful stamps as always. However you work with these, you're going to get lovely results. Really striking imagery on this one as well. There we are, look at this. We've got, this is one of Wednesdays. We've got the, um, as you start to walk stamp set. There's six individual stamps in this one. You've almost got that big focal point there, but you can break that down in so many different ways. You've got the smaller stamps as well. Beautiful, nine 99 is the price, seven pound is the saving here, 163571. And that says, as you start to walk on the way, the way appears. That's very nice, isn't it? I love words. I love reading sentiments and mottos and things. Yeah, very good prices. Seven pounds saving, that is whopping. Now, there's just one very simple sample to show you. If you want to be a little bit more elaborate, of course, you can do as well. Oh, loving the colours on that one. You can use your embossing powders, you can use your inks, you can use your pens to colour, you can use your stencils, you can layer up, you can decoupage. You've got many, many options. Yeah, lovely stamp set. Another one, let's move on because we've got a, it's keeping kind of along the same theme here, but you know, a little bit different at the same time. Let's look at the details for this next one. In fact, you've got the lovely beetle here. You've got sunshine within your heart. If you're going to have a beetle, you want one that looks like that, don't you? Oh, if I could see those running around in the garden, I wouldn't be frightened. I'd, I just want them all to be my friend. I love anything with colour. That would look fantastic. Lots of wonderful worker stamps in this one as well. You've got the individual flowers. Uh, oh, what do you call those spinning? Is it a spinning Jer Jenny? That thing that you throw up in the air, they're like the seed, and it spins like a propeller. That's what's on there. Is it a spinning jenny that's on there? I think it is. You've got like little uh, berries and sprays on there as well. So you can build your detail up in many different ways. <laughs> spinning jenny, I think it's a nickname for something. It looks like it could be one of those, but it's probably not. It's probably the bottom of one of the flowers. Maybe you can layer them up. You can stamp them separately. You can, can't you? If you look at it, you can see the flower heads and then you've got the base of the flower. So you can over stamp that or cut them out separately but it does still look like a spinning jenny. 568-434 is the item number on this one. Seven pounds saving again, absolutely beautiful design. We can see a sample there at the side of the stamp set. I've got another sample here actually, just done with different color inks. So we can have a look at that one as well, just to see it uh, in a different, a different light, so to speak. Seven pounds saving, 9.99 for this hour. That price will go up at three o'clock. 568-434 is the item number. And then we're going to move down again. Now, again, staying with the same sort of theme. We've got those beautiful florals. Uh, well, we've got a lady involved in this one as well, and she's very beautiful. Again, £9.99, a £7 saving on this one. This is your mindful lady. Every time I hear that word, it reminds me of Leonie. She is very mindful, isn't she? Um, so this could be Leonie herself. If you want to go for this set, you've got 13 stamps if you count them up individually. That is a really good price again. You see those individual details, when you build them up, you can do so much with them. But then you've got that main focal point again. Lots of ways you can cut these out. These would be great on fabric. That would be absolutely stunning on fabric. We have some wonderful fabric paints on earlier as well, the Dylon ones. Have we still got some left on Seven Day Savers? Oh, maybe if you do want to print onto fabric, do have a look at those as well. Item number 202435 is the item number for this one. Then moving on again, lots of detail in this one as well. Now, they, how do we describe this one? She's a beautiful little mermaid. It's kind of whimsical, very sweet, absolutely adorable. But then you've got all those separate florals again. Her hair is stunning. Look at that. And all the seaweed, you know, you can build up, you can seam build with this one as well. She could be coming out of the water. She could be under the water. Love those flowers. 
9.99 once again for this one, seven pound saving. 292-996 is the item number there. This one's called Swim Free Thora. So that must be a name then, Thora. We've got the word nature, peace is in there, take things easy, breathe, magic, love, free, beauty. So you can use those all together or you can put them together in certain ways as well. All happy hour prices. 16.99 is the usual price on this one. That price will come back at three o'clock this afternoon. So grab yours now. Moving down again, staying with the florals, staying with that theme. This is pretty. This is a lovely one because the size of the flowers, you've got so many opportunities again to build these up in many different ways. Make borders, you could make corners, you could make frames, you could make sprays, you could make wreaths. Oh, again, for fabric, I think these would be stunning. £7 saving, £9.99 for this one. Item number 835732. Got a lovely little sample here as well that's been stamped onto some decorative card. So don't think you, you always got to stamp onto plain card. Find something that's got a little bit of interest maybe in the corner. It just adds to it, doesn't it? Carry the sunshine within your heart. Oh, that's nice. We've got some great bargains. Moving down again, I'm looking at a very colourful sample here. This is stunning as well. We've got a beautiful bird next. But it's not just a bird. Again, of course, art inspirations, different designers. We have another one from Wednesday here. And you can see the florals within the wings of the bird. You've got the bird on its own as well. Still very decorative, but without all of the florals. And then the individuals with the foliage and the florals as well. 11 stamps in this one set. This is an A5 set at 9.99, seven pounds saving, 297.690. Oh, I've just heard there the wrong details. Just ignore everything I've said there. The stamps, right? 15 stamps in this one. And it's called Floral Bird. We could have named that easily, couldn't we? Floral Bird, that makes sense. What's sold out? The Majestic Bird has sold out. Oh, I see. Yes, this one is definitely Floral Bird. 291810 is the item number. Just very quickly, can I just show this sample? Because I love the background of this one as well. Look at that. That must have been done with um, some pigment powders. I don't know the brushos are a different brand, but they all work, don't they? And it looks wonderful against the bird there. Beautiful. Right, we've got another one to tell you about as well. Another one from Wednesday. This is your funky, quirky bird. These remind me of kind of the, the folk, folk art sort of designs. Uh, another A5 set, you've got 17 stamps here. I love the fact that you've got a background with this one, but then you've got all those individual elements as well. So you could just use the whole of the background, you could use areas of it, just stamping into the card. You know, make your borders again. 9 99 for this one. Saving another £7, 502802. One or two more samples to show you as well. All very different, but all made with this one set. This is really sweet. It's nice having that background set, isn't it? The stamp in there. You don't have to use the background, of course, as we can see there. Another one, though, where the background has been used. Usually embossing powders. That one's got a little bit of glitter in there as well. Very, very nice indeed. Love it. Right, okay, so we've reached the end of the counter. We've got some very busy items. Now, don't forget, right at the beginning, we showed you that big collection there. Here it is again. Let's go through the details of this one. We are 60% of the stock gone. Don't know if it's going to last the hour. We're less than 20 minutes in at the moment. It is literally flying out the door. You've got an £8 saving, £84.95. Do I remember a freedom price on this one? I certainly do. 092474 is the item number. Freedom members, you are saving 1649 for this hour and bringing that price down and we're splitting it for you into three payments as well. Three payments of £25 and 49 pence if you're a Freedom member. Oh, I wish you could see what I can see right now. I've got two monitors. One is a preview, so I know what's coming up. And Leone is giving me the biggest smile I've ever seen. Oh, here we go. Hi there. <laughs> right, so one of the demonstrations. First one I'm going to do is um, with this little beauty. Now, you'll have to excuse me. I've already taken off this stamp, obviously, because I'm so organised. I love this stamp. Um, it's got so many elements on it. But this, I mean, one of the, the words there, Serene, it just looks so beautiful and relaxing. You've got extra, obviously, you've got extra buildings. So if you want to make your own scene, you've even got extra ladders. You've got extra 
extra little birds there as well. So there's a lot on it that you can work with, but we're going to take the main stamp in this demonstration. Um, already got a piece of card. I've actually already stamped it so it's ready, but I just wanted to show you what I was doing. Now, what I'm using is to ink up. Um, you might have seen our lovely John on with the um, Kaleido machine. Um, so I've obviously treated myself to the machine. So I thought, mm, let's have a look at this foiled because I bet it looks absolutely gorgeous. So I've already inked my um, ink pad with the um, the ink. I remember, it is the special ink which is going to allow this image to foil. So I'm just going to ink this up now. Um, this is a detailed stamp. So just be a bit careful because as you can see, I've it recently inked this ink pad. So it's a little bit juicy. So just be careful because... I am a little bit heavy, um, yeah, I'm definitely a bit heavy-handed with this. But you know what? I, I kind of like it because it gives it a really watercoloured effect. I found this um, when I were practising with the ink pad. I keep putting the ink pad on wrong and... Anyway, um, so put the ink pad on right, the lid. So all you're going to do is stamp. Now, because this is a speciality ink and it is a special ink, just be a bit careful. Don't um, overpress because what you'll find, it might stick to your cardstock. So don't get too carried away uh, pressing your stamp down. But you do need to then let the ink dry. So you've got that lovely image. And do you see what I mean about the watercolour effect? I really like that. I think it looks absolutely divine. Now, as I said, that needs to dry. Because it is a different ink, of course, you do want to be cleaning your stamp off. I'll leave it for now. I'll just give it a spritz of water um, because, obviously, I'll clean that later. Um, but you do need to leave this to dry. So, one I prepared earlier. Wow. Well, I've prepped. Um, so, we've got the, the card already ready. I've already cut a piece of foil out. Now, when you're actually foiling, you need to put it's the, the sort of unfoiled side face down because that's the side that's going to lift off. So you need the shiny side at the top there. Um, taking my plates, I've already got my machine turned on, so hopefully it'll be nice and warm. Uh, with your plates, make sure your foil... It's just folded over the top of your paper um, and then it won't get caught in your rollers. That is super important. You do not want it to get caught in your rollers. Pop that on there and then move over the machine. Now, I'll bring the machine in so hopefully you'll be able to see it. I'll just move those over. So I'll bring it into about there-ish. Is that okay? Yeah, I'll move... Bring it in about there-ish. I think that's going to be best. Um, so, taking this through the machine. Now, I'm going to, and it, I love this because it is ridiculously easy. So, just pass it through the machine first, and I'm actually going to bring it back as well. And this has been um, this has been turned on, and the pips have already pipped. So, I know it's nice and warm, and the rollers are nice and warm. So, when we move this over here now, Take this and then watch as you lift it off and I can see it's worked because I can see it on there and you've got that lovely foiling. Can you see that gold in the light? I really like this. I just think now it isn't it isn't all of it. It's just um, a hint of now. Can you see? And I really, really like that. I just thought that is absolutely beautiful, really beautiful. It just, yeah, it gives it like a magical sheen, which is just divine. Because something like that, it looks really effective when you put your inks on, which is exactly what we're going to do now. So move all that to one side um, and let's get inking. I will cut this down, but we'll ink it up first of all. So the ink pads, obviously, I've been using prize ribbon, so brand new, I needed to use that one. And I'm going to be using my weathered wood um, and they're going to be my backgrounds so just taking my weathered wood first of all and just inking straight over the top of this now what I'm going to do is not I want an open space in that center I want a bit of white space the white space on this and I am wasting quite a lot of ink there so um, oh I don't know I've put my paper trimmer doesn't matter I'll ink from here rather than right at the edge because I'm wasting quite a lot of ink so leaving a bit of white space in that central panel and just bring in this round I want these to go over the the rooftops and then bring in my prize ribbon in as well 
So it's just giving me that really sort of, I don't know, it's a beautiful combination, these two. They look, yeah, they look kind of cloudy, a little bit atmospheric. And I'm just getting a bit of cardstock, sorry, because I know I'm getting inky fingers because I'm putting my fingers in it. So if I put a bit of card there, my, um, my fingers won't get as inky. So bringing this in right over into the, the image, allowing the colours to blend. So around here, I'm getting that beautiful blend. Just pulling the, the card around and then I'm remembering that open space. And the white space, sometimes it, it just draws your eye in and it just makes it look that bit more um, effective. There, again, just blend, 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 like so. Bring this one round and just blend that in as well. So getting those two colours. Don't worry about the edges. I'm going to be chopping that off anyway. So that isn't a concern. That's not our concern. Just move on. Move on, will you? Right, let's have a little look, see. And it's funny, actually, because where my inky fingers have been, it, it's given it texture. So it's OK if your fingers are inky. Right, now then, what I love about this, the, the actual, can you see the foiling? The foiling resists... And you can see, I've been over there, but that beautiful resist, it looks so effective. Um, if I do that, and you can see, I really, really like it. And it just, it just resists, like especially in the clouds, where the clouds are quite solid with the ink, right up above there. And you can see how it's resisted. Really, really beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so happy with that. And then what I'm going to do is take um, one of my first fine Claire's. Um, I've taken the cheerful, what a fabulous word, what a fabulous name. Um, and it's bright, gorgeous yellow. I'm using um, one of my, my paint brushes that's actually seen better days. It's a bit tough as this one now. But actually for stippling, it's even better. I mean, it's a stippling brush anyway, but it's even better now it's gone a bit... Um, a bit solid, a bit hard. And look at that colour against that blue. It just gives you that really gorgeous kind of warm glow. So I thought that, you know, they've got the, the lights on in the little huts. It's a nice sort of chilly night, but the lights are on. So it's just glowing with, with warmth and light and cheerfulness. There we go. And that's just dabbing round like so. And then just get my water spritzer. It's distress. So, of course, um, when we're working with distress, if we do the, the little bit of water, whether you're just spritzing a fine mist onto it, um, or, of course, if you're, you're doing like I were doing and getting quite... Um, quite a, a lot of water on there but I quite like that it's up to you how you apply this and how you then lift it off I quite like that I think that looks really quite effective and you know and the beautiful thing is the yellow isn't going to shift because your versifying isn't going to react to water so you get two different images which look absolutely gorgeous and if I show you see look how good that looks I mean, it's beautiful. And then you've got that foiling as well. And I love the foiling on this stamp. When I were playing with this, it looks really, really effective, doesn't it? Really effective. Now, all I've done, and actually, I've cut this one down, but I haven't done the water yet. So I'm going to do the water on this one as well, just because it is your finishing touches, the water. It's the, it's the kind of the wow factor, isn't it? So I'll just do a little bit more water on this one. And then do the, let, it, let it sink, let it do its thing. And then rolling, rolling, like so. And then what we've got, oh, absolutely adore it. I've cut this one down to size. So then all you need to do is mat and layer these on. So just taking your good old glue, sticking this. I mean, this is obviously a little bit wet, so really you'd let it dry. But for demonstration purposes, there we go. That's our first layer and then our second layer. And normally I don't even finish a card, let alone mat and layer. <laughs> so actually, this is way better than I normally do. And see, have a look at that image. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, it is serene. It is just gentle and beautiful. I mean, you could do more with that if you really wanted to. I'll tell you what you could do, which would look nice. Off she goes, on her tangents. 
On a merry tangents, doopy doopy doo, she's off. If I take the sentiment stamp and I'm using the weathered wood, the weathered wood is the lighter of the two, um, but just a few. And I'm not, I don't want this to be heavy. I don't really want to, I don't want it to pop. I want this to be in the background because that's what, what this stamp is. It is a background stamp. And just gently, really gently stamping this in. So you can just see a few of the words coming through. And as I say, it's a background. I want it to be a background. I do not want this to, to pop. So beautiful. Oh, I like that. And then you can just see, that's my finishing touches, um, which look absolutely good. Oh, I love that image. It's stunning. Um, and that's, again, just one of the things that you can do with these amazing um, stamps. And they all work together as well, uh, which allows you to be super creative. Oh, thank you, Leonie. What a lovely demonstration. That is using the Overboard collection. We've got the complete here for you. We're very busy on this as well. Two-thirds of the stock has now gone. When it's gone, it's gone. We've got a fantastic saving for non-freedom members, £8. And a flexi buy, three payments of £28.32. Really good. Great samples there as well. We're looking at 53 individual stamps. Freedom members, it gets better for you because you are saving £16.49. Of course, we're still going to give you the flexi so that brings your payments down. First payment today, one next month, another in two months' time, you're paying £25.49 each. 092 474 is the item number. Let's have a look at all of the stamps really closely because, of course, we have got the A4, the Ramshackle Inn. If you want this one by itself, you can do that. Of course, it's part of the collection, but at the bottom of the screen, you have got the price there at 24 99 for that individual stamp set. Now, that is a happy hour price as well, so the price will go up from 24 99 at the end of this hour. 762351 is the item number if you're going for the A4 set. Then part of the big collection again, of course, we have got those four sets of A5 stamps. This completes the whole collection. Lots of detail in this one. Do you know, it's, it's difficult to pick out favourite bits and pieces, but you don't need to because you are getting it all. But I've got to say, that island, I just think is genius. There's so much you can do with that. We'll show you some more samples again in a moment. But look at the grain in the wood of the boats. You know, you've got all those little buildings, those little huts there. You've got the islands. You've got wording in there as well. You've got a walkway, you've got bunting somewhere, because, of course, we saw that bunting that's strung across from two islands, one of the samples. I think it's in this one anyway. If not, you'll find it somewhere else. Uh, but you can draw that in if it's not there in a the stamp form as well. Looking at all the detail again, I mean, you could have buried treasure in the island, couldn't you? Is it a shipwreck? I don't think it is. We had this discussion before with Leone. It's not really a shipwreck. It makes you think it is. But actually, it's a home and there are people living on the island. Oh, that's just one of the stories we've heard. Let's have a look at the final set, because, of course, the fourth of the A5s completes the big collection there. The A4 and four of the A5s, you can see the stamp that Leon has just been using there as well. You've got the wording. Amazing. You can build really big scenes up. These are those sets, aren't they? The, if you want some stamped out work, just line art to frame and put on a wall. These are perfect. If you want to add colour, you can. If you want to use your stencils, you can. It's entirely up to you. Obviously, when you see the wording, well, it is back to front on that one, but I think that's the same stamp that Leona used in the demonstration there as well. Um, it does say calm, serene, peace, tranquil, rest, dream, meditate, still and relax. Oh, they're words I hope to be using later on. <sighs> yes, when I get home. When I get home. Yeah. Oh, you're my little treasure. That's one of the stamps. I'm not just, that's not just for everybody out there. Um, although it would be very nice for me to say that to everybody out there. Can I just show you this as well? Because at the start of the demonstration, we saw Leone with the foil. You can see another version there with the gold foil. That's before the ink and everything went on there really effective look how it picks up the detail yeah busy on this bundle and uh, we've got a wonderful sentiment here for everybody <laughs> we've got you're my little treasure that's my sentiment we've got paradise island that's our views and <laughs> oh, 
washed up shipwreck for Jimmy. It was on floor. Uh, That's mean, Ross. I'm going to call him out. I'm going to call Ross out live on air. Yeah. Look at these. I've got to show you this one again. If I just turn it to the side so you can see the depth of that. That is a lovely card, and that will fold flat as well up. So if you want to take inspiration from there, create something very similar, you can do. Let's just open that out again. There we are. I'll show you the other side. Lovely. Uh, let me show you the islands. I want to find where the bunting came from. I'm sure it's in one of the sets. But you can... You, maybe it could be ramshackle. We'll see if we can find out. Those little birds, have we got those in the stamps as well? Look at the clouds and the sea, using your stencils or your masks. I remember when Leone used this as a demonstration because I think Leone lived in the house with the red roof and I was in the little, the little shack there. Ah, the bunting is in one of the stamp sets. It's in one of the A5s. So it is there for you. It's very useful, that one. I like it. There you can see one of the sentiments there as well. The sky, look at the sky. How effective is this? This is the same stamp again that Leone used in that demonstration, but it looks completely different without the foiling. But you get the line art in the sky. It really does give that lovely effect. A lovely simple one here. Simplicity just speaks for itself, doesn't it? Look at the reflection of the sun there. The little birds have got to be in the stamps because they're on that one as well. I don't think anybody's drawn those in. We'll see if we can find those for you. There's a ramshackle in. There it is. It looks, it looks like either it's been repaired or been built right at this moment, judging by some of the wooden planks there. Yeah, you can keep adding. You can build it. You can put those extensions on. Look at the balloon bringing in the beer. Now, is the balloon bringing in the beer or taking the beer away? Is it supplying or is it doing home delivery? It could be. Maybe it does a bit of both. This is it. You tell the story. You tell the story. <laughs> I felt like I was on a ship then. Oh. <laughs> there you can see the island look, with uh, the palm trees on there as well, all the birds. You've got the clouds, the sea. Lovely. 092474 is the item number. Now let's move along because the next items have been proving very, very busy. Now, in fact, the first one that I should be getting to, I can tell you, has sold out. And we did say... When it's gone, it's gone. So I'm afraid I'm going to lay that one down. Really well done if you got that because it is absolutely beautiful. So much you can do with it. The next one, oh, this is just divine, this stamp set. If you want to go for this one as a Christmas stamp set, there are elements also in there that are not necessarily Christmas, like the book. You've got the little toastals in there as well. You've got some foliage in there. You've got the moon. That moon is really nice. 18 individual stamps here. The main stamps, of course, are the deer. I'm just going to drop in this wonderful sample that we've got here. I really wish I knew who'd done this. It could well be one of Leone's samples, but it may also be from design team, but it is just superb. Look at the features on that deer. Oh, that, it's just so clever, isn't it? I love the droplets, the vines coming down from the branches as well. $24.99 if you want to go for this set, a £5 saving, 013-142. Two-thirds of the stock has gone to this one. This is Sparkle Reindeer. Grab a bargain while you can. Yeah, the little toastals are so handy as well, aren't they? There's lots of little toastals in there, and the foliage is always useful. And there's a little scene at the top. You know, it's hard sometimes to say, I wish we'd got more samples of this one, because there's a little scene. I think it's a toastal houses, and you've got a tree in there as well. When you stamp these out, they will be crisp and clear. 013142, £5 saving for this hour. This is a happy hour deal, remember, so you must check your baskets out before 3 o'clock. £24.99 is your price for today. I think you will find uses for that definitely all year round, but those dear, you'll bring out year on, year out. Now, we've got another A4 set for you next. This is also another cracker. This is your town high-rise Another one where you can decide how you build this one together. You know, you can keep adding to it. You can mask off areas. You could have them crisscrossing. You could do two towers and having them crisscrossed as well. The fact that you've got those individual little elements there, the little buildings, means it just opens up more options. The clouds, I think, are genius on this as well. Again, you've got the line art in there. It just adds the whole feeling and the mood of your samples, your cards, or whatever you're making. 
I'm going to show that very clever sample again as well. This is a card with an extension. In fact, it's got a double extension. We'll show that in a second. $24.99 is the price for the set. £5 saving, 560-070. Let's have a look at this sample again here. Dream big, live simply. And it's as though you've got a spotlight there into the centre. And then when you pull the tab, there you go. Not one extension, but two. That works perfectly, doesn't it? And then, I like this one as well. Simplicity, again, it just speaks volumes. I love how this one's been coloured. Just a couple of different inks, I think, have been used there. You'll never know what's possible if you stop dreaming. That's a very clever centre. I like that. 560070. Don't miss out on that particular set. Make sure you save that £5. Let's move on again. So now we're on to our A5 stamp sets. We've been really busy for these. Uh, I think once you start really looking into the sets and you, you break them down as well. I mean, we have got focal points. We've got extra worker stamps in there as well. We've got layers that will overlay to decoupage. You can stamp, you can paint, you can use these with your jelly plates. You can use these and cut them out, fussy cut them. You know, decoupage them up. You've got all those different options. This particular one here is you st as you start to walk. I adore how the sample we've got at the front has been colored. It's striking, isn't it? And that bit of ribbon across the middle looks really, really effective. But however you colour, what other colours you go with, whether it's muted colours, grunge, uh, whether you go with paint splatters, whether you add insects, you can mix everything about. You've still got the beauty of the florals there. That is really clever, actually, because you've kind of got that washed out effect in the centre, so it works with the sentiment, and then you see the detail of the florals around the edge. This one, very, very different with the colours. Beautiful colour's been chosen on a tag there. And also this one with embossing powders looks really, really effective. All done from one, that one set. It's a set there that I think, again, you're going to use that time and time again. I did say earlier, and I'll stick with this one. I can so see these used on fabric. 163571 if you want to go for as you start to walk. Uh, another reminder, because I'm looking at the clock, I can't believe how quickly we're getting through this hour, about 17 and a half minutes and the prices will go up to the originals. The next one we've got for you, that wonderful beetle is up next, but it's no ordinary beetle. You've got the floral element in this one as well. Do you know, it's one of those where you look at the main focal point of the stamp and you don't immediately see the beetle there, do you? You don't kind of, because the florals are all around and also in the shell, you, it's there but also it's kind of hidden away. It's a bit of a chameleon. And then you've got all those extra elements to build up on top, the flowers, the foliage, the leaves, the berries, or whatever you want to use them as. 9 99 again for this one, a £7 saving. Item number 568434. We'll just show a lovely inked version there, used with a prism that's Distress Inks or Oxides. Very nice effect indeed. And then something completely different because, of course, using your white embossing powder. We've got those spinning jennies again there. Look, they've been used as corner points. Very nice. Yep, make sure you grab that one. £7 saving, just 9 568 Staying with the same sort of theme, we've got the mindful lady next. We've still got those beautiful florals. You can see she's very mindful. She looks so at peace, doesn't she? We're going to see a couple of samples again here, but I'll give you the details as I hold this one up. We'll have a good look at it. 13 stamps in this set. Mindful Lady. It's an A5 set again, of course. 202435. That's the item number. Once again, if you want to break that down, you can do. You could just use the head of the lady. You could use the florals. Um, you can overlay. You can stencil. You can stamp over the top. You can stamp onto your pattern papers and cut them out. Lots of options again. What I love about this one, I like the little, the little ring, the little wreath at the bottom. It's like a little twig um, wreath, isn't it? So you can build up with those florals and those berries around it. And the word believe. We all need to believe. 202435 is the item number there. That price going up to 16.99 after this hour. Seven pound is a huge saving on these. Now we're going, we're going to meet, was it Thora, the name of this one? Thora the Little Mermaid? I think it was. We'll still find out when we see the details. Um, she's very pretty. Look at her hair. Oh, you'll never cut that hair, will you? It is swim free, Thora. You need hair like that when you're underwater, though, because it just, like, floats behind, doesn't it? It's like, oh, it's beautiful. 
Yeah, and she's holding that very pretty flower again. That flower, you could pattern build with that. You could sort of repeat, stamp that in a circle. Uh, again, use it in corners, build borders up. You've got words in there again. So let's have a look what we've got here. We've got, oh, peace, nature, take things easy, breathe. Oh, look at the little hearts there. They're like little crossover hearts. We've got magic, love, free and beauty. There's more words at the bottom. We've got the leaves individually. We've got more flowers individually. Look at the detail in her tail as well. Everything corresponds. 292, 996. Seven pounds saving on this one also. 9.99 is the price. There we are. 19 stamps in that one set. That is a lot of stamps. Very, very good indeed. Let's have a look at the next item. This is pretty. I, I do like this one because, again, this is good for building up detailed backgrounds coming in from the edge of a page, your journals, your albums, your home decor pieces, working into your shadow boxes, cutting the elements out, using whatever colours you wish, your embossing powders again, jelly plate. You know, it just goes on and on and on. I want to show, actually, the card that this has been stamped on because we do forget sometimes. We look at stamps and we think, oh, you know, I've got to go with a piece of white card and then add colour. No, you don't. You can use any card that you wish. If, obviously, if it's very decorative, you might take away some of the detail. This piece, see, if I open it up, you can see it's a double-sided piece of card. But it's really complemented with the colours in the background. And that's what matters. I mean, if the inside didn't work, you just cut that off and mat and layer. Really pretty with the sentiment there as well. Carry the sunshine within your heart. This one here is called Floral Garland. 835732 is the item number. So, of course, you can build garlands, wreaths, use them individually, put them in pots or jars as well. That would work. Maybe even make a terrarium. Uh, did you see that show? It was wonderful. I loved it. Adam looked like he had a ball. 835732 is the item number on this particular option for you. Now we've got the floral bird. This has been a popular one. The bird as well, if you didn't want the bird in flight, you could actually take away the wings. There is one that, oh no, they've both got wings, haven't they? On that one. Where's the other bird come from there? Oh yes, it is there. You've got the one with the whole spray of florals and then the one without the florals. Um, yeah, one going left, one going right. But what I was thinking there, if you don't want the birds in flight, you could actually take the wings away as though they've landed and they're just sat with them folded. I like the shape of the flowers as well. There's just the right amount of detail in them, whether you want to add colour or not. £9.99, £7 saving, 291810. And then finally, we've got the funky, quirky bird. Oh, this is, this is a really handy little set. I think this is great for your planners and things as well. You've got the background stamp, but you've got all those individual elements again. We've got words in there, cool, funky, I can say cute. What's that one say? A little bit quirky. Oh, this could be Leonie's set. She's a little bit quirky and we love her for it. Yeah. What else have we got there? Have I missed the word out? What's that one at the side? I can't quite read it. We've got, oh, fun. It's fun, the one I couldn't see properly. Uh, yeah, look at those. Does, does it, is it just me or does it remind you of kind of the the folk painting, like you see on the, the watering cans and on the uh, jugs and things and on the canal boats. Reminds me of that. I would use these as a sewing theme as well because I think the birds look like the little pin cushions. Does anybody else see that? They've got pins in them, look. They've got little pins in the heads. 9.99 is the price, seven pounds saving, 502802. There we go, right. If you're a Freedom member, don't forget on our big collection, we've got a really good saving. If you're not a Freedom member, you might want to consider joining. We're going to tell you how it all works right now. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom Members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. 
There she is, lovely Leone, pretty in pink. Right, we're nearly at the end of the hour. Remember, this is a happy hour, so you must have checked those baskets out to get the savings. We've got about 10 minutes left before the prices go back up. Let's have another look at the ramshackle in, because there's an A4 stamp set. This is available individually. If you did watch earlier, we didn't have this available then, not as an individual. Uh, we did see other bundles that sold out. When everything has gone, it's gone. If you like the look of this one, we've got 16 st stamps in total just on the one A4 set. This is the one that's delivering or um, bringing in the supplies of beer with the balloon. We've got a couple of stamp sets actually with the balloon. One of them might have gone now. I can't remember which one it was on, but with the ice cream top, uh, which was really, really clever. But ramshackle in. I've got a lovely sample here showing in colour what you can actually achieve. So a reminder that because everything's in different sections, you can build this up however you wish. But it, I mean, I just love the planks at the bottom. It's as though it's been repaired or it's been built. But the fact that it says ramshackling does make you think it's been stood there a while and it's seen the tests of time. And it just needs a little bit of work to into it. But it gives it character. It tells that story. And you're watching you're looking at every time you see it you're seeing something different i mean the little lamp there i didn't notice that before i've just spotted it you know you're kind of drawn into the image and you see certain things the little aerial there as well the lamp is a, a separate stamp so you don't have to have it there you can put it wherever you wish yeah you can just imagine can't you the characters that would go into the ramshackle in and who runs it that's what i want to know oh I wonder what the name of the character is. Twenty-four ninety-nine is the price for this one. Five pounds saving. Seven six two three five one is the item number there. Now we do offer also the whole collection. So if you want everything that you've seen in front of me, that does include the A4 stamp set, the ramshackle in, but also the four A5 sets as well. I'll give you a reminder of the samples in a second. All of that with an eight pound saving for a non-freedom member. Freedom members, wait for it. 16 pounds and 49 pence is the saving that's delivered to your door with no extra charge. 092474 is the item number. It does get better though because we're spreading the cost for you as well. Let's show you that Flexi Freedom price. So Freedom members, it breaks it down to just 25 pounds and 49 pence today. It's been very popular this hour, I've got to tell you. Uh, if you do get a chance to rewind and watch the earlier show as well, there was a different focus with some of the stamps earlier. Bundles did sell out, but you can still watch the amazing demonstrations from Leone. She wasn't here live in this studio, but we've got lovely footage of her creating marvellous uh, demonstrations and cards, as she normally does. So you can take inspiration from those, and maybe they'll lend themselves this particular set. The bunting we did find out was in one of the A5s, we said, didn't we, in this particular collection. Did we find the birds? They must have been here somewhere. I don't lean over the front because I will knock things over. Definitely. But I'm sure they must be there somewhere because I've seen them in quite a lot of the samples. In fact, the next one that's coming up has also got the little birds. Yeah, they are. Oh, it's in the same one as the bunting. So one of the A5 sets. There we are. The birds have been used there as well. I really like this one. Oh, I could just sail away to that little island now. Bit of sunshine, peace and quiet. That would be lovely. And there you've got the island again. Do you know, I bet that's one of those. If you really look at it, you'll see things you didn't spot before. Incredible artwork, isn't it? We'll find the bunting and the birds for you. We'll show you which set it's in. Ah, where is it? <laughs> oh. I can see, is that the bunting? Is it? Where are the birds then? I thought you said the birds were in that one. They're underneath the shack on the right. Let's see if we can spot it. Oh yes, of course. I can see it now. Yeah. You've got more birds than the others. Yes, you, oh actually, yes, you have because the one Next to it, I can make those birds out a little bit more clearly. They might be the ones that were on the samples I've just shown. You've got lots of birds then. You can have a whole flock of birds. What do you call? Oh, no. <laughs> that wouldn't make sense. Would it? I was going to say, what do you call a flock of birds? It is a flock of birds. <laughs> That's because we did the shoal of fish and the school of fish this morning. 
So is, does it work for birds as well then? Are there always a flock of birds if there's lots of them? I don't know. A, m a murder of I don't crows. know. What was that, Jimmy? A murder of crows. A murder of crows, that is true. I wonder how that name came about. <laughs> it's a bit scary, really. 092474 is the item number for the big collection. Do go for that. Remember, the price goes up now in less than five minutes. Now, we have had more sellouts this hour as well. So we've got an empty space before the next day for set. This has been busy. Do have a look at this one. Sparkle Reindeer. It is limited stock now. You need to be very, very quick on this one. Do have a good look at the detail. I'm going to drop that sampling again. If you want to colour in, take inspiration from this. A little bit of sparkle going in in the background as well. I just love that. I think that is absolutely beautiful. £24.99, you've got a £5 saving, 18 individual stamps. That book is very useful, really nice, isn't it? That could be a spell book, it could be a journal, it could be ooh, all sorts of different things. We're into the last minute. Are we going to see another sellout this hour? We might, we might just see it. Limited stock, you need to be very, very, very quickly. Uh, we've got another A4 available though. This one also, a popular stamp. Let's have a look at this one. This is your high rise. Again, if you want to build this up in different ways, you can. You've got the clouds in there. You've got the church. You've got the trees. Um, you, yeah, you've, you've got sort of the, the logs that are strapped together to build almost stilts and stages for the buildings as well. So you've got many, many, many options. Twenty-four ninety-nine is the price on this one. You're, make, you're making that uh, five pounds saving again. Item number five six zero zero seven zero. I'm just going to show you a couple of samples again, uh, just as we're being counted out. Get ready to get those uh, fingers checking those baskets out very, very quickly. We're being counted out now. Don't miss out on these prices. I will see you very, very soon. Yeah, don't miss a bargain. Another happy hour finished. See you soon. That did fly past. Where did it go? Funky Fossil Designs coming up next. The lovely Sarah's here. And then, of course, final call with Sakura at four. Then we're in the crafty kitchen with another happy hour. Hello, I'm Carol. And I'm Hayley. And together we are the Dreamies. Dreamies have been around for 11 years now. We started with CD-ROMs, we've developed into stamps, paper pads, dies. We've now got the Dinky Inkies range as well. We design everything in-house and we manufacture in the UK. We produce tutorials to inspire you to get the most from our products. Hi, I'm Charmaine from Dolly Dimples and I've been crafting since I was a little girl and I have a massive passion for anything crafty related. Dolly Dimples is a fictional character in Dolly Dimples Town. There's uh, whimsical characters, fantasy characters, mythical characters. There's so much going on, so much happening in Dolly Town and it's a fun place to be in. Our products are all hand-drawn. That makes them quite unique because you've got that quirkiness about them. We have decoupage, backing papers. We have templates for 3D objects, stencils in the mix. We have dies and lots of other things are coming to you soon. Make sure you tune in for the Dollar Gym Pulse shows and have some fun. Hi, I'm Sarah from White Gecko Craft Lounge. We have a little shop in Dinner's Palace, which is between Cardiff and Barry, so right by the seaside. One of the aims of White Gecko is to really inspire you to start sewing. We'd like to uh, get people crafting and start that sewing process. A lot of patterns and kits are perfect for beginners to use. It's a real wonderful, mindful way to start that journey into sewing. So don't miss the White Gecko shows. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons 
and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. Good afternoon. I'm back with Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Alex. Good to be here. Yay, good to be here too. And like we were saying, it's been a couple of months since we've worked together. Yeah. But very nice to have you back again to be working with you. We've got some new todays. We do. So, yeah, a real mixed counter as always, but a yes. bit of Christmas, a bit of uh, summertime. So, yeah. yeah, we've got it all covered. See, there you go. There's something for everybody. Right. Uh, what we're going to start looking at right now is the Enchanted Christmas. Do you want to tell us a little bit about these designs? Yeah, this is um, a, a, a new um, a new stamp set that we've bought out, which is a real kind of graphic look to it. So it's quite a geometric style, very clean lines. Mm. It's a beautiful stamp set for um, if you're stamping and heat embossing and wanting to make quite a few cards with minimal amounts of kind of colouring, etc. Yeah. Um, but I just love the, the kind of elegant simplicity of the line work. Um, and we've combined it with the stencil next to it, which is one that I've designed using uh, elements that are within the Christmas trees. So the Could it go either way? Uh, it could go either way, although that is it upside down I did in my think head. That. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hang on a second, how did we not? Spot I this? have been using it the other way up to be, yeah, that's there you it, go. That's right. So, <laughs> yeah, so I've just taken elements that are in the Christmas trees and mm -hmm. made them into a, a kind of sparkly border. Lovely. What I'm going to do is just grab this stamp set and then let's have a look at the actual stamps. Here we go. Have I got this the right way around? This way. Yeah, nice. There you go. So you can see the size of the um, beautiful stamps. Aren't they lovely? You're right. It does have a nice graphic design feel. Yeah. I think you could batch make with these um, stamps really quickly. They are. They're, they're really. They're really lovely to work with. And I mean, I love the polar bear particularly. It's, it's, a, it's a really lovely kind of image, a nice kind of magical uh, feel to it. But yeah, they they just they stamp really really nicely and. They're big enough to be a focal point Absolutely. image and uh, your card's pretty much done. Nice. And then let me just pop this back on the pack shop. There we go. There we are. Let's do this. And then you've got some fabulous samples here. How many people are on the design team now? Uh, I think we've got seven on the design oh, team. Oh, lovely. And they've all got fabulous individual styles. That one is, is one of mine. I but thought so. <laughs> I was like, there's no name on here. Hang on. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so just again, uh, uh, and a, a case in point of just a bit of simple heat embossing, black yeah. and gold, um, and it just looks, I think, quite quite elegant. It does. Lovely, clean, elegant design, mm. isn't it? Um, this one is by Sam. So she's really picked up on the Scandi feel and yes. used one of our older kind of Scandi style stencils, but again, blue and white, lovely and crisp. Nice. And then we've got this one here with our lovely snowman. This is by Samantha. And uh, yeah, the way she's just got the watercolour around that circle just again gives it a bit of a dreamy feel, doesn't it? I think. I think I said snowman. I mean, polar you did, bear. You did, yeah. yeah I, I thought <laughs> it's fine. I was like, hang on, <laughs> something does not add up here with the image I'm looking at. And there's another one with our lovely polar bear. Uh, so that one is by Sam. And you can, can you just see, it, you know, just, it's just a standalone image with white space around it, but it's got a lot of impact, I think. Lovely. As always, then, uh, I will show you lots more samples as we go through. £16.99, 393910. Next, then, so we've got a lovely garden set. Mm -hmm. This is nice, isn't it? It is. It's a, so it's a bit of a change of season. I always think kind of a summer days feel for it to it, but it's been designed for us by Tina. Mm -hmm. So I think this is either third or fourth set uh, for us and she's just packed it full of lots of lovely uh, individual elements that are just perfect for scene building mm. uh, you, know, you can just use the the beehive and the sign and you could use it as a, as a card but equally you can you can really build as much detail as you want to and you've put the topiary yeah so that's yeah. a new stencil um, but I just uh, to me that just uh, felt like kind of a, a bit of a garden theme to it and it's it, this, the topi um, designs are big enough that they work on their own really yeah. as well as um, I do have a demo later that incorporates them in with the stamps. Lovely and here are the stamps. I, my, I love, my favourite one is Welcome Bees, that lovely Isn't little sign. I think that's kind of where Tina's, um, mm. Tina started with it actually. She said oh, she, she's, she's really into gardening and she sort of just got, just got a little welcome bee sign in my yeah. head and that's where she, she went from. I think a lot of people nowadays, they're leaving a patch of their garden overgrown specifically yes. to a, invite it's called, the bees. It's called, called like a landing site or something. Something like bees. that, yeah. yeah. My whole garden's one of those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, mine's quite similar as well. But yeah, as you can see, you've got the lovely little honey beehive. There's some birds there. Uh, you've also got sentiments. Enjoy your special day. The hum of bees is the voice of the garden. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, nice one, yeah. And life begins 
the day you start a garden nice yeah. very nice indeed so some gorgeous ones there and then have a little look oh this is such a nice card just oh. yeah, i mean the the way the design team have just picked individual kind of elements from the stamp set and made uh, really kind of quite impactful cards i just think it's really impressive so tina's got a really kind of again a very clean simple line to her mm -hmm. illustrations um yeah they're just they're lovely to color and work with absolutely beautiful love that uh, so that one's by sam and then we've got one by samantha um, and that's got loads of texture to yes. it. Yes, she's used one of our, um, I think it's our Doodle Sunflower stencil, which I think is on the pick and mix. But yeah, she's, that's yeah. really, really full of, um, full of uh, texture and, and lots of dimension to it. Nice. We'll do one more. That one's by Jane, and she's taken all those lovely garden elements, hasn't she? Coloured beautifully, I have to say. Yes, and I love that pink and green. It's just really nice and fresh and, mm. and bright. Nice. Right, sixteen ninety nine then, and you've got eighteen stamps and that stencil, so that's really good value. Zero two five five eight six. Then next, here we go. Well, we, these are the ferns, mm, aren't they? They are. So I believe yes. the stencil is new. That's right. So we've had the stamps and the dies on uh, on the counter before, but. I've paired them with that stencil for hopefully obvious reasons, and it makes a fabulous fun, Absolutely. fun theme background. But they've been they've been really popular, and they're just such a, a fantastic um, stamp set. Certainly, large stamp images, and, and people you know you can use them for seaweed, you can use them for um, the kind of foliage with any of your existing stamps. They're just mm. real workers. Absolutely, just look, they're beautiful, and I've got the stamps here. Again, just to show you, those are, they're a really good, decent size. Hopefully, you can, there you go, you can see that okay there. Wonderful. And then some samples. <laughs> oh, yeah, so breaking up the foliage, that's clever. That's by Jane. Yeah, the, I mean, the dyes as well are just... She's used uh, obviously different, different patterned papers um, to create the colour and its immediate yeah. impact. Nice. And then this one is by Sam. That's great as well with those colours. I like, I love that sort of, oh, wrong way, I love that sort of strip there and then the sentiment in yeah, the middle. Yeah, so I think how she's done it on the diagonal is really clever. It just, it really makes the design unusual. It does, doesn't it? And then again, we'll do one more. So this is by Sam as well. And just letting that flourish or that fern take a centrepiece, centre yeah. stage. I mean, um, an unfurling fern. I don't know what it, what it is about it, but I just love it as a, yeah. as a shape. I just think it's always... Always beautiful. Excellent. Right then, twenty-six pounds and ninety-nine pence. Zero zero five eight five two is your item number. Next, then, uh, we've got some festive phrases. So let's have a little read. What have we got? Hang on, let's pop this the right way. Right way, Alex. Okay. So we've got "Have yourself a merry little Christmas," all in different fonts. They are. They're, they're hand lettered by a, a lady called Callie, and of course, yeah, she's good then. Yeah, it's, it's a huge kind of different different styles as you say quite elegant quite flourishy quite fun and modern as well um but yeah quite a few of those are really big bold sentiments mm. so they're, they're again great for uh, big focal points on a card a bit of pattern paper and you could you could leave it there absolutely have a holly jolly christmas then we've got the stencil Yep, so Christmas icons. So yes. I, I just uh, literally um, put together uh, some, some kind of shapes that I use most frequently when I'm making Christmas cards. And I've made them a reasonable size because, as you'll see with the MDF um, baubles, I, I kind of had it in mind that they would work on those MDF shapes. Yeah, nice. And then, yes, the MDF shapes, that's what we've got as well. So different, different styles, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, so there's different, different shapes. So the, the larger, I have done Christmas ornaments before, but these are larger ones, so they will take some of those big sentiments or a, a stenciled icon. So they're really fun to play with, actually. Lovely. Here are the stamps, again, so that you can see the size. Uh, I love that we've got fa la 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 la. <laughs> yes. And believe and joy, peace. Uh, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas that's there for you. And then let's have a little look at... Oh, this is lovely, our uh, MDF. So it's just so useful. You're right, those sentiments fit brilliantly. But yeah, I, d I just have lots of fun. I th an MDF ornament like that is just a nice project. To, I mean, I, I just gesso a load of them yeah. and then just to have a fun session kind of painting them and either doing slightly grungy styles or um, you know, something quite crisp and elegant. But it, as, as we've seen many a time on the channel, MDF is such a fantastic substrate to work with. You can get all your paste and paints out on them. 
Oh, this one's a nice little bit of crackle on there. Yeah, yeah. So say I, I kind of thought I'll go for some quite modern, quite crisp ones and yep. also a bit of a more age look. Yes, lovely. 1999, 167623. Then moving along. Ah, we've got these whoppers of dyes, haven't we? Fabulous, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. they are big dyes, our, our kind of folk art snowflake and Christmas tree. So, yeah, they're, I can't remember the exact uh, dimensions, but at least 11 centimetres. So, wow. um, you know, they're, they're great, as you'll see from the two that are, that are next to it there. They're great for actually making 3D decorations on their own, the Christmas trees. You can kind of cut four out, adhere them together, and you've got a 3D shape. Nice. Um, snowflakes make lovely ornaments, but they also do make fabulous um, kind of uh, fronts for cards yeah. and other projects. Lovely. Love and then, here we go, we've got some, and this is nice, so you can make your own ornaments, because um, sometimes, I, was, I say this a lot, you go to garden centres nowadays, and they're a fortune yeah. for, like, one, Yeah, you and know. I'm, I'm a terror for deciding each year I might want to go for a different colour combination. Oh, so, you? you know, <laughs> best to make me own. Best to make your own. Oh, look at this one. Isn't that pretty? Nice. Okie dokie. £20.99. Uh, 378276. So, you do get the both together. Then we've got a pick and mix. Now, there's loads more on the website, but these are the, the newer ones, aren't they? Yeah, they're the new today. Yeah. So, we've got. I can't remember now how many we do have, maybe nine or ten on the site already, but these are our A7 textures and backgrounds. Yes. Just a really handy, versatile size for, um, you know, for holding in your hand and, and kind of free, free style stuff. I know what you mean. Yeah, <laughs> or, yeah. Um, or, I say, building them up and creating quite big backgrounds with mm. them. Nice. Here we go. So we've got that brick wall. We've got the spotties. Distressed look. Yeah, bubble wrap. That could be florals. Good stuff. So that's a pick and mix. You're choosing any three. Have a look on the website for any of the previous ones in case you missed it. £13.49, 832696. Ah, and then we move on to this lovely bundle here. So we've got our paper mm. pad collection. I'll have a little uh, flick through. Um, so, ooh, 200 GSM, that's a good weight, isn't it? It is, yeah. Th so they, they die cut nicely as well in terms of the snowflakes and the Christmas trees. I've used, uh, I've used them for die cutting as well as, as backing papers. But, yeah, so I, I wanted to go for really bright and fresh red and green combo because obviously it's, it's a well-known traditional kind of festive uh, colourway, but I've, I've tried to get a really kind of um, sharp colours in this, yes. if, if that makes sense. It does, totally, yes. Love that. Um, so you've got 36 uh, pages, 12 designs, acid and lignin free. And then we've got some washies to go with. I like that. I love so you've got washies. four there. So you've got your two different sizes, your 30 mil and your 15 mil wide. But yeah, I do, I do love my washies. Yeah. It's a slight addiction. Cool. <laughs> and then we've got these lovely enamel drops. Ooh. Apparently there's 99. Is that right? Uh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, just um, again, I, I kind of went with a colour match to work brilliantly with the with the papers and the washi. So it's a lovely, it's a lovely bundle that works it together. Is. You've got you've got fabulous base and then embellishments that are all, all going to coordinate. Excellent. Right then, twenty two pounds and forty nine pence. Five zero nine eight two five is your item number. Oh, can I just show this really quick? This is a lovely little book that you. Who's done this? It's a. Uh, um, Oh, I forgot. Jane. Jane. <laughs> I wanted to call her Julie for a second. Uh, yeah, Jane's done for us. And although uh, the stamps are ones we've had on previously, I had to bring it on again because she's just shown how beautifully all the papers mm. work together. And it is a fantastic, um, a fantastic little journal. Isn't it? Look at that. Beautiful. Sorry, I just had to show that. Okie dokie. And then moving along. Now, these are the latest addition to the Funky Fossils... Um, Stencils. Ever expanding stencil collection. I swear, are we not at 100 yet? I, I wouldn't be surprised, you know. I love these. <laughs> right then. Um, are you able to name them for me? Yes, so um, we've got Christmas Star there. So we've yeah. got the aperture and then the inner detail. Lovely. And then we've got the um, sparkle shower. So, oh, yeah, I could. Sparkle shower. So there's almost, little, almost like little diamond drops. Yeah. We've got Scandi sweater. Amazing. It's so <laughs> funky, isn't it? And then Topiary is in with the garden, garden bundle. That's right. Well, Christmas icons, which is in with the festive phrases. Excellent. And then we've got Round Tree, which I thought was a lovely kind of 
summer summertime tree yes. shape. And then we've also got this one, which is in with the Enchanted Christmas. It is. So the spa uh, Christmas sparkles. That's it. Hanging border. Lovely. <laughs> right, there's loads more, though. Now, you're choosing any four for twelve seventy-five. So you've basically got four for the price of three here, which is excellent value. There's so many. There's mandalas. I know there's teardrops. There's rainbows. Oh, goodness. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I know. The, oh, yeah, the circuit board ones. Really like those. So please do um, pick the ones that you love, although that's really hard. I'd end up... I did this with the gel pens. I, I was like, I have to have more than one set of pick and mixes. So that's what I'll probably do with these stencils as well. Um, but they are... I love the pineapple. I don't think yeah. I'd seen that one. Uh, we've got uh, heart with honeycombs in. We've got cocktails. There we go. We're coming along to the uh, newest ones at the end there. We'll, we'll have to count them, see how many I'm there say. are. I think, I think we can confidently say there's probably stencil for every occasion, yes. there, isn't there? <laughs> Absolutely. Beautiful. Right then, so um, I'm going to hand over to you then, Sarah. Okay, well, I thought we'd start with a shaker card because that gives us a chance to get some sparkles going for um, a Christmas-themed uh, design and what I wanted to use was the large um, the folk art snowflake because it is it's such a kind of striking image um, a striking die that it, it can really kind of carry a card on its own and you can see almost kind of fills that window um, that's been die cut out some craft card but I wanted to add a little bit of detail and decorate our frame before we uh, we put the snowflake over the top and to do that, I thought we would use um, the Dotty um, A7 stencil, uh, A7 stamp, sorry, the background stamp. Um, and I'm not going to go all the way around this embossing it because it would take a little bit of time. But what I thought would be nice just to show you is um, how you can really kind of stamp um, and move this, uh, move the uh, pattern along and, and create quite a big background. Now you could have done, you could have actually had a solid piece of craft card and done the whole thing and then die cut out the middle. But I thought uh, yeah. for, for sake of speed on this, uh, this demo, I would already have die cut my, my frame out. You can see. And what I really like about this um, dotty stamp is um, the dots are different sizes. So it gives you a really kind of interesting, mm -hmm. interesting background straight away. And see absolutely nothing there, so we shall apply a bit of Yay, white, heat embossing. Em white embossing powder. And I'm going to try and the trouble with it, the trouble with Christmas cards is it calls for sparkles, doesn't it? And and all the kind of um, wait a second, I've not even put the. Uh, I'm just Are you right? <laughs> yeah, I just put embossing powder on a bit without the stamping. Oh, <laughs> don't <laughs> worry. Like, well, that, that's not looking great. Um, so. <laughs> So yeah, you can see how lovely that that stamps, and because it's a background stamp as well, it's really forgiving in terms of how much detail that you want to add in. I say, if I if I held it in my hand and was putting it on at random, I wouldn't be getting quite the same straight lines as I've got from using it on an acrylic block. And now that I can see where the the stamping finishes because I've got the white embossing powder on it. I'm just going to eyeball it. One of the things I did when I was making the original is I didn't always line it up perfectly, but another really forgiving thing about this is I used, just used a Versamark pen and yeah. went in and made some additional dots and embossed that and it made it a seamless, seamless pattern even if, um, even if the stamping hadn't quite butted up to each other. Yeah. So, let's say, just to give you the idea without doing the whole frame. And I think, I just love white on craft. It's, it's, so, it, yeah, it's it reminds me, if I don't know, if you add a bit of red to it, suddenly you have a Scandi feel, don't you? It, it is definitely yeah. one of my kind of go-to Scandi colourways. Yeah. And of course, you've brought us the uh, Scandi jumper, which is brilliant. Yes. yes. And I think that the um, the snowflake and the tree were designed for me by um, by a lady, really talented Annette Annette uh, Jelenser, and she's in Hungary. So she's kind oh. of she brings that kind of Nordic-y yes. um, 
feel to what she does. So she, so when she sent me the the um, Christmas tree, she says it's completely symmetrical, so you can you can make it into a, a full decoration. I thought I would never be, I'd never be able to work that out on a, myself as a design. Yeah. So very quickly, just bring that white to life against the craft. Never gets old. Love that. I just, I do heat and boss everything at Christmas because you know it just is a really good excuse to play with your gold and silver. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so just while Sarah's doing that, here's another reminder of our fabulous textures. You're choosing any three, and there's more on the website. I'll just show you the. Uh, little boards that we've got. I love the brickwork. Then you've got the spotties, as I'm calling them, like, uh, there you go, that she's using them. And then we've also got the bubble wrap and the florals, but there is more, as I said, on the website. Here it is. We can take a little look then. And you're choosing any three for £13.49. There's a nice little selection there, isn't there? more and more they're, they're just great for adding that little bit of texture in the background yeah so lovely. you can see it without going around the whole frame how quickly and easily you're going to get that kind of that nice embossed detail that just gives you a bit of interest a bit of detail um, around the uh, around the frame of the the card now I've already um, die cut the Snowfall a cow, and what I used to die cut it was some of the washi tape. Okay. So I just put I just put a number of strips of I think it's a 30 mil washi tape down, and ran that uh, over on a piece of white card and ran that through the die cutting machine. Oh, I see. So a, often when I'm die when I'm looking for papers to die cut, you quite often want a smallish pattern because. You obviously, you've not got much solid space mm -hmm. on the on the die cut design. So, using the washi tape was a really good way of getting yeah. that, those little like dots, that. and then and they echo the frame as well, don't they? So, I have already um, uh, put some acetate on the back of this frame because mm -hmm. we say we're making a shaker, so we need Yay. to create our aperture, um, and I put some three D foam tape around the edges of, uh, of the frame. Now, what I've done as well with the white card. That's, uh, that I'm going to uh, attach it to is literally uh, painted around the edges with some red glitter paint because uh, that's all that is going to be seen outside the frame. And obviously, I didn't want anything appearing within the aperture. So I'm, I, went, I went with a square for my shaker card because I thought that's about as complicated as I can get <laughs> with the foam tape. Oh, I've done I've done the shaker cards with the Christmas tree, but I yeah. thought that is just going to take too long to get the foam <laughs> tape in the right place. I'm uh, just going to do a stock update because we are a quarter of the stock gone of our fantastic snowflake and Christmas tree dies. And they're really lovely large dies, so they're going to be a real centerpiece for you. I love that you can 3D them up. I think that's really pretty. Uh, 378276 is your item number. Now, I've already um, made a, a shaker mix here with all sorts of stuff from my craft room. So there's bits of glitter, there's sequins, predominantly white, um, but I put, I put a few bits of red in there as well, just so that that would show up behind the, um, behind the aperture. Now, I don't often work with glitter. I must admit it's, um, it's one of those materials that mm -hmm. I'm a bit wary of. Well, it gets everywhere, that's yeah, why. Yeah, certainly on, on uh, live TV, it's, uh, <laughs> it's taking life in my hands. So I put them in the middle of the aperture, um, just so that I know that it's not going to attach itself to the foam tape as I put this down over the top. I must watch John do it, actually, because I think he's got some really nifty um, techniques for uh, creating shaker cards. Oh, OK. So as you can see there, one of the things... Um, that I often do when I'm at home um, is put some an anti-static bag over yeah. the acetate before I put the um, the glitter inside because that obviously prevents there being too much too much static in there. Um, but because with this um, shaker mix, I've got some bigger pieces. It tends mm -hmm. to keep it moving. Yeah. So, and I'm going to just very quickly adhere the snowflake to the front. And of course, we've got the acetate, so that's going to support support the flake.
These dyes are flying out the door. Really good. They are just wonderful. I was just mm. so delighted when um, Annette sent them through. She is clever. Right, so just placing this over the center. And what I like about this as well is that the window is is partially obscured by yeah. the um, by the die at the front, so it's uh, it gives it it just makes it a bit interesting when that movement behind, um, yeah. behind the snowflake. Really like that. And all I have done for our centerpiece on the the, um, the snowflake is I've uh, just put a die cut a, a small circle mm -hmm. in craft. And added the sentiment. What did it say? Snow is falling. Oh, that's nice. And we're, that, we're all going to start singing now, you know. I know. I've, I, <laughs> that is the trouble with Christmas sentiments, isn't it? They do always uh, get you singing. Um, and this is and actually the stamp set that's coming next month, so with the sentiments on. And then I have no nails. I thought I'll put a couple of little enamel dots on. Just to give it a bit of a, an embellishment. So we've got our lovely little um, embellishments there. That's it. I've not adhered anything, so I'm... Oh, don't worry. These are lovely to work with, aren't they? They are. I just, I do like enamel dots. I just like the finish of them. Yeah. That, and that white is a really lovely crisp white. Yeah. Mm. Yes, it, it, it took me a surprisingly long time. <laughs> really? To, to get the kind of right colours. Yeah. Same, so. You've got your red and white there. Yes. That does have a lovely Scandi feel. It yes, really does. Thank you. That's really nice, thank you. I'll tell you what, that everybody's loving these dyes. Oh, that's wonderful, yes. thank you everyone. Good stuff, we're now a third of the stock gone then on these fabulous dyes. Shall I let you get set for the next one? Do, that's Excellent, all right then. So look at the size of these, aren't they wonderful? Um, I've got some um, samples. Here we go, let's have a little look here. This is cute. Where's this stump set from? Oh, that was one we had on the last show. Yeah, it's sold out. Naughty or nice fairies. I, it's just, it's just, it's just adorable, oh. so cheeky. But yeah, they sold out, I think, last time. There may be still a few on, on, the, on the site, yeah. but yeah. Amazing. Right then, so we've got our fantastic die here with the stamp. Then we've got the trees here, but I love the fact that you can stand them up. Look, isn't that great? I love that. Isn't that great? And then one of the things behind you, um, Alex, on the shelves, I've made a shaker. So the, the aperture that's created when the waste, effectively, when you, when you cut the um, tree out. Yes. It makes a lovely window as well. Doesn't that? Look at that. That's great. I like that lots. I'll put this back in a second. Um, or you can make your own little ornaments. Nice little bell on. That's cute. Um, what else? Look at this Christmas card. No, oh, it's just beautiful. Layer them up, that's nice. Look, a little bit of a dimension is fab. Okay, if you'd like to go for these dies, it is £20.99, but remember, we are losing a lot of stock very rapidly. Uh, item number is 378276. Right, we've got some blending brushes back in stock. These are gorgeous. They're so nice to use. Uh, they are 12 99 uh, we've got the different sizes, actually. Oh, they're so soft. They're so soft. I don't want to get makeup on them, though. Look at these. So you've got your different sizes. I think the sizes are on screen for you. <gasps> Look at the little diddy one. There you go. Nice. So you've got three and a half, two and a half, two and 1.3 centimetres. They're always really, really busy. Um, so please do check out your baskets. I think it's really nice to have one for each colour that you've got in your crafty stash. Uh, £12.99 piece, uh, <laughs> piece. <laughs> uh, item number is 985982. 
Okie dokie, we're just going to tell you a little bit about Flexi Audit if you spend over £60. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Now you're also really liking our enchanted Christmas. We've got a third of the stock that has flown out the door. Um, it's a really nice kind of graphic feel to it. Really pretty with these designs. Love that polar bear. I love that he's got the little, little star just touching his nose. That's so sweet. So you can make some really fabulous cards and batch make, I think, quite quickly. Oh, that's nice. Uh, may your Christmas sparkle. Um, and we oh I like that just the O oh, Christmas tree I like that yeah that's clever it's nice um, and you've got the uh, stencil that will come with it but you've got those really nice stylized trees as well um, and the stencil is lovely to use just that in the background is wonderful really nice um, and let me show you the stamps here we go here they are so just so you can see the size there you go. Lovely. And then some samples. Here we go. So this one is by Jane and she's layered them up a little bit. Do you see they're swinging actually? I think that's nice. Again, a lovely sort of clean, elegant design. This one is also by Jane. Same again. It's just such a nice little image, isn't it? And then we've got our tree here. A little bit of sparkle. Ah, and of course, that's using the dyes in the background. That's a clever composition. That's by Jane as well. Jane's been busy. <laughs> um, and then we've got this one by Sam. So again, that's going to be nice and quick for you to um, put together. And you've got the use of the washi tape there. And the, yeah, and the pattern paper as well. Oh, yes, of there, course. Yeah. Oh, it is, isn't it? Yes, mm. there's a mix, isn't there? Nice. And then this one is by Jane. Again, just so nice, easy, clear, beautiful. OK, £16.99. Um, your item number is 393910. Over to you, Sarah. Great. Well, um, we're going to make a card with the um, Enchanted Christmas now, actually. So cool. that's, that's um, very helpful. It was if we planned it. <laughs> <laughs> very helpful. Um, so what I wanted to do was combine um, the stencil and the stamp set um, just to show you um, how, they, how they go together. Uh, the stencils, as all our stencils, work with so many other things that you have. But um, I particularly like the fact this one does echo elements from within the stamp set. Yeah. And I'm going to, uh, this, the original one that was my inspiration, I did in silvers and aquas. Uh, and I'm going to do a green and gold version of this. Cool. And I'm going to start with a technique that I, I love doing, and I'm sure I've done several times already. Um, but I think it's just a great way, again, of getting a bit of sparkle on your card and a bit of dimension, um, but not having it all over so you can't then do any stamping as well yeah. so what i've done with this stencil is i masked off the bottom effectively because i don't want both um both rows on this one i just mm -hmm. want the top and i'm using some of my trusty pentart mm, good, uh, good gloss gl heavy body gloss yet yeah. medium <laughs> um i'm particularly liking the gloss for this because obviously we're going to add some sparkling yeah. embossing powder so anything that doesn't catch the, the embossing powder um, will still have a bit of gloss and shine to it so you don't always need to worry too much about getting complete coverage and so you may not be able to see that too well but we're going to add some embossing powders to make it stand out and this is just a um, it will keep its um, 
it will keep its shape and mm. its dimension when it's dry as well, which is nice. So on this one, the original one, I just used um, a verse marking pad and oh, embossing uh, glitters. So that's so that's flat. And by using the gel, I'm going to retain a 3D element to it. And what I want to do on my card... Oh, you've got three wells I know. There. I thought I'll combine some... Um, mm combine some glitters and do a bit of um, variegated glittering. Sounds good. It sounds, it sounds almost like a technique. Variegated glittering. Mm -hmm. I shall copyright it. <laughs> yeah, Katie said exactly at the same time she said, you need to trademark this quick. <laughs> I'm afraid it is, it is a technique I've seen done. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, because I don't want full coverage of the silver, is just flip this over. This is this is a um, you know a glitter potential glitter disaster waiting to happen. Mm -hmm. um, if I had a separate pot, of course, I could put all the glitters in it together, and make yeah. my own make my own mix. This is peridot. This is another wow one, but it's got a slightly more greeny feel to it. Um, and again, just a bit of sprinkle. What I'm going to do is the final colour that I add, which will be the gold, will be the dominant colour. So I tend to put the other um, colours on with my fingers to make sure that it's almost like salt and pepper that I've got a light. Yeah. And you want to try and turn your design over rather okay. than move your paper to the side because, of course, it will catch on catch on any surface that hasn't yeah. been covered. So if you do want your different colours to show up, then it's best to try and flip it over. Which one's that oh. one? And then I've got the gold Your sparkle. fingers are covered now. <laughs> I, I, I was at tea last night and uh, Mr G turned to me and said, you are very sparkly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he meant it as a compliment, actually. <laughs> uh, we're now over half the stock of this bundle gone. It's your Enchanted Christmas and you've got the 10 stamps and the Christmas Sparkle stencil for 16 99 so we'll add a bit of glitter to the studio. That's all right. It wouldn't be the studio <laughs> without it, really. So you can see here that the gold kind of becomes the dominant colour, but you you will see the other mm. um, the the kind of the silver and slightly green green tones um, coming through as well. So it's it's worth doing. Yeah. You can get more dramatic. Um, uh, variations if you go for um, very different colours. Reds but and greens. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. And I just uh, didn't have any to hand. That's all right. <laughs> but, um, but that's for say that there I used um, a kind of an aqua and a silver. So you, you do, you know, you, it gives you a little bit of interest. Now, I'm not going to heat set this because the, um, the gel medium is still wet. And what you'll get is it, and it's a fab technique. It did bubble. And we've, yeah, uh, and, we've, and we've done it. We've done it before when we're going from a slightly more grungy distress look. It's great to have that bubbling come through. Um, I wanted to go for quite a smooth look on this, so I will wait for this to dry and then I will heat set it. Completely dry. Yeah. Oh right. Yeah, and okay. It's, it, I initially when I heard that, I thought, well, that's going to surely the, the everything's going to blow off. Yeah, or the. Um, the embossing powder won't turn once yeah. it's in, but it, it does turns absolutely lovely. Oh, okay. And you, if you if you leave the heat gun on it for too long, you will still get bubbling. Um, but actually, if you if you see here from what I've done earlier, mm. um, I I uh, heat set that and melted the powder once the gel medium was dry. Are you want to turn it to camera one? Upwards like this. Yeah, we'll come to it there. You see, so you can just see that there's a bit of raised dimension to it. Mm. But it's not got that same, you know, the almost like little uh, volcanic little pockets yes. that it has when you when That's you a good hit, description. when you hit it um, when it's still wet. So say so it's one. This is the one I did earlier. We'll set this one aside to dry, and I can heat emboss it before. And actually, um, one thing to say is you can heat. You, you can leave it. Yeah. Uh, it won't necessarily shed lots of glitter if you just leave it with that uh, embossing powder in the gel medium and didn't ever heat set it, it will right. still have a nice effect. So okay. you don't need to heat set it if you don't want to. It won't all fall off. Okay. Is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All good. All good. <laughs> so let's get the Christmas tree on um, underneath our sparkly border. And I particularly like this one from the set because it's got these kind of all these little dots around it. Mm -hmm. So it's almost quite got its own little glow, mm. its own little shimmer to it. I'm just trying to fit it in underneath um, the border because obviously that's got dimension. So the 
stamp won't particularly like working over the uh, stenciled area. And this doesn't matter too much because really all I'm wanting this bit of the image for is the dots because I have cut out and will layer up the tree on top of that. Right. But obviously I'm not going to be cutting out the dots so I want to have the the design underneath yeah, it so I don't lose the dots. Through, yeah. yeah. So this won't be a long bit of heat embossing because it's a fairly simple shape. So I'm just using now, I'm not using a sparkle one, I'm using the gold um, fine powder because this is quite fine line art. You could use uh, you could use a glitter powder for mm -hmm. it, but I, I tend to find you get a crisper line with the um, with the the kind of the fine embossing powders. Yeah, I'm going to need to be hosed down after this, aren't I? I'm I know. You've got a seven o'clock <laughs> show as well, haven't you? Yes. We'll mm -hmm. have to make that the disco hour, and I'll just I'll just. Oh, that sounds good, doesn't it? Nice <laughs> disco hour. Yeah. So we'll see how this line art comes out so nicely. And again, it's another example of the really fine dots and, and elements in here. So the fact that um, we've been able to get that in the stamp, fantastic. Chase my powder and yeah. the image. It's lovely, isn't it, chasing it? Yes. Certainly, when uh, sometimes initially you think it's not going to turn, and mm -hmm. then it goes and it moves, it moves quickly. So what I want to do now is, um, with my blending brushes, is just add a very loose bit of colour around the outside of our Christmas tree. And I'm not, again, not worried at all about covering this up because it's going to be covered by another layer of stamping. Yeah. So I've got some crushed olive here. Mm -hmm. Uh, I've got one of my bigger brushes. I'm not doing anything that requires any finesse or detail. And actually starting in the middle of the car, middle of the um, tree because that means I can get a softer fade yeah. to the outside. Uh, we've put the brushes on screen. You're getting four lovely brushes, different sizes. 12.99, 985, 982. Yes, they are definitely addictive. You've got loads in your pot. I do. <laughs> I do. I do like to keep them for, you know, one colour. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and you can, as I said before, um, you can go between different um, shades of, of one mm. colour, shades yeah. of tones of one colour, yeah. um, without worrying about contaminating your ink pads. But I do like to, as you say, because they're white bristles and you've got that true mm. colour coming through, yeah. it's nice to, to know what you, you're using it for. And it also means you've got a rainbow in your pot. Yes. So, so there we go. All I'm really wanting to do is make sure there's a glow around the tree. Mm, lovely halo. Before we add a final bit of detail. So all I've done here is heat embossed um, the same image uh, a second time yep. and watercolored it, really letting that, that kind of watercolor pool um, in the edges to give a bit of shading. And... Um, because it's heat embossed, it resists the yeah. resists the watercolour. So again, very easy to do. But mm. I think that you know, having the green glow around the outside, it's really pretty. Is it a nice look? So yes. let's just mat this, and so it really pops off. So it's just a nice, nice. I think to see how different it looks in a different colourway from mm. the um, the aqua and um, silver. So I've got a bit of gold around the outside, a bit of dark green. And if we put all this without the magic of adhesive <laughs> <laughs> um, on the card front yeah. with, a, with that same sentiment. What's it say? May your Christmas sparkle. Oh, that's nice. So you've got the kind of rich greens and golds and you've got the cooler tones of the Ooh, aquas and silver. I couldn't choose. I like both. They're just a bit, they're kind of a slightly, a slightly different look, aren't yeah. they, in terms of that? But Completely changes it, actually, yeah. the colours. Yeah, and I, I like the... The, the depths of greens that we've got in the tree there. Yeah, nice. Thank you, Sarah. I know you've got another one, haven't you? I do. Excellent. Yes. Now, we are three quarters of the stock gone on this lovely bundle. So you've got your lovely sort of graphic feel, uh, very stylized, lovely Christmas trees, baubles, and you've got that lovely polar bear. 
So you've got 10 stamps, you've got some sentiments as well. And you've got that lovely stencil. I love all of the baubles and the stars. They're just dangling away. They're really pretty. Let's go for some samples. May your Christmas sparkle. This one's by Sam. It's so sweet. It's just how the star just gently touches his nose. I think that's really nice. Here's another version. That one's by Samantha. Oh, I might take some from the front, actually, if I may. Let's show this one. Oh, that's a clever idea. Did you do this, Sarah? Yes, yes. I did. I yeah. so. There you go. So that's one of Sarah's. And then we've got this one. Very pretty. So that's using the papers that we've got on the show. I've got to bring this plaque in. Look, isn't that gorgeous? I really like that. Okay, £16.99 is the price. 393910. Then we've got the garden days. See, this would be really good for my dad. He'd love a card in this because he loves being out in the garden. He loves his allotment. Apparently the next time I see him, I'm getting, I think he said onions and courgettes or something. Anyway. <laughs> both of which I like, so that's okay. Um, the stamp set, let's have a little look at these. You've got on here, um, the hum of bees is the voice of the garden, which is gorgeous. Enjoy your special day. My favorite is the welcome bees sign. I think that's really cool. Life begins the day you start a garden. Oh, and then we've got our lovely little kitty. It's got that same sort of feel as the polar bear, really. It's really nice, and you've got that. Like he might be after those birds as well. He in does, the bird house. <laughs> nice. And there's a tiny little bee. I haven't spotted that. Yeah, yeah there's two little, two very dinky little bees in the set. That's very cute. And then look at these samples. Aren't they gorgeous? Isn't that wonderful for a scene? Oh, and somebody's fussy cut these out as well. Yeah, that's Natalie. She's just her colouring is always exquisite. Yeah. So yeah, I love those soft pinks in the clouds. It's beautiful. Um, this one is by Donna. Again, what a lovely little thing. That's a, I always think that that's a nice thank you note, thank you card size, if you know what I mean. Yes. Yeah, yeah I know what you mean. Mm. Little, little just because cards as well. Yeah, that's really nice. This one's by Tina. Oh, she's got a whole scene going on here. And then you've got one more. Uh, Life begins the day you start your garden. That one's by Sam. Great stuff. £16.99. So you have got the stamps and you've got the stencil, the topiary. Um, item number is 025586. Um, over to you, Sarah. We've got about 10 minutes. Oh, that's plenty of time, she says optimistically. Mm -hmm. It's plenty of time. So what I was wanting to do is play with the Garden Day set and make just a very simple, a bit like you're saying, a, a little um, just because cards, but using just, just, um, just green, so monochrome uh, stamping. And because I'm stamping in Distress Oxides, that gives me the opportunity to pull out a little bit of the colour and add some shading to the images. I'm also going to do a bit of masking as well. Because as soon as I saw this stamp set from Tina, I immediately kind of made masks because it felt like the kind of set that you want to build scenes with and put the, uh, put the images together. So I'm using Rustic Wilderness as one of the slightly darker greens. Uh, and as you'll all know, because you've seen many people do it before, when you are mask stamping and masking, start with the front image. So the images that you want to be at the foreground of your scene need to be the ones that you put down first. So I've got my little trowel. <laughs> I love them. And I love the way as well, Tina's kind of like left the, um, on the trowel on the fork, she's like left the base open so as if they're sti she? sticking into the earth. So you don't need to kind of mask that off, if you know what I mean. That's clever. Yeah, I thought it was a really, really nice touch. So applying a little mask there. Oh before. my gosh, you've done a little mask I for that. I've done a little mask for it. <laughs> um, and then we'll go in with our watering can. And just put it at a slight jaunty angle. This isn't overlapping the trowel hugely, but there we have that. So I'm doing this all on watercolour card as well. So we'll be able to move these inks around. There are just so many stamps on this set. Mm. 
So let's use the fork now. So we need to cover up our watering can. What I did when I was cutting this mask out was... Um, Be patient. Yes. <laughs> Not do it very well. Um, was, was I cut the, um, the handle and the, the, two, the two handles kind of loose. Right. But one inside, so oh. I could cut inside because, of course, you're sticking it down as a mask. You're, yeah. not, you're not using it as a finished image. So that's always a nice way of getting inside details on a mask without feeling you've got to kind of go in with a knife and cut yeah. through. I'm funny about craft knives. I'm not very good with them. I'm no. Generally. So, uh, so there we go. So we've got those two masked off and we will add our fork. And we have the fork sitting behind the um, trowel, which we've got masked off. Yep. Yeah. See that there? It, it took, when I started doing, I love it as an effect. I think it's really, um, really clever, but it did take me ages to, to mm -hmm. get my head round the going yes. backwards. Wh which, yeah, which one do you put down first? Yes. Yeah, I'm the, exactly the same. I think because we, I always felt like the focal point should be the thing you added last. Yeah. Of course, it's not the not that way around. So we've got one of the big daisies as well. So if we remove our masks from, and of course they're completely reusable. If, had yeah. a lot of wear and tear these ones so you oh, can see good. now how how everything's um sitting behind one another and you just you know endless combinations in this set Absolutely. for different um and i'm going to add a bit of mode lawn as well mm -hmm. um just a slightly lighter green and the line up, these aren't solid images, so there's not as if there's a huge amount of ink sitting there. But you can see just all I've done is put a bit of, bit of water on brush, yeah. and it's already pulling, pulling out colour. So it's a, it's a great way of just not worrying about lots of shading, not worrying mm. about what colour, colour choice. You just go with the flow. Yeah, it's just a. And it's very relaxing, isn't it? It is. And uh, again, it was, um, <laughs> I think I'm probably just slow on the uptake, but it took me a while uh, doing this technique and not getting the ink to move before realising it really, I found it really did need to be on watercolour cards so it right. released the ink yeah. back up once you'd um, stamped the image down. So I'd get really, <laughs> really frustrated thinking, this, this ink's not going anywhere. Really distress ink. <laughs> <laughs> but it, even though some of these images have, have been stamped a little while now, mm -hmm. you've still got time to play with them. That's nice because it's lovely and subtle. It is, and so if we just want to add a little bit of shading, then we just go in with the same colour and just pull that out. We can just pull that out with our water. <laughs> And then just pull it out. Lovely. So you said you're on watercolour card there? Yes. Yeah. Yes, on, on my Bockingford, my Bockingford card. Oh, is it? Yes. Oh, yes, that's on the website. Lovely. I was, I always feel very posh when I say Bockingford. Bockingford. It's my Bockingford, darling. Yeah. Uh, have a lovely cream tea. Yes. <laughs> So, so, that's lovely. It comes together really quickly, actually. Well, it does. It's just, it's just a, um, again, for, if you want to kind of do a reasonable number of cards as well, mm. just be able to get into that kind of um, masking flow, and then yeah. you've already got the ink on your card to do a lot of the colouring, and just add a little bit more where you want your depth to go. Yeah. So. There's something really, I don't know, something quite, really quite timeless about 
monochrome cards. I mean, mm. you know, think think sepia and stuff. But yes. So there we go. So just add a bit of mowed lawn just to ground everything. Mm -hmm. That is clever what she's done with the fork and the trowel. Yeah, initially I was like, oh, yeah. she's got a bit missing. I know, yeah. <laughs> so, no, she hasn't. No, she's, done she's it just intentionally. thought about how you might want to stamp it out. Yeah. That looks really fab. Great. So there it's like go. an illustration. It's just, and it's it just so simple to, to um, come together. Now all I've done is, apologies everyone for wiping up um, all the lovely distressness distressness <laughs> um is i've done a few splatters on there which yeah. uh obviously won't won't do now given i've just mopped up my distress ink you've got only just uh, over a minute though oh my goodness and so it's gone quick that really all all i've done just to pull the eye in is again using my brushes to give me that edging take that kind of white edge off the cardstock mm. um, and stamp the sentiment so I'll leave that to, to your imagination and then use a bit of the um, pattern paper oh that works perfectly and that works nicely behind it so again I, as I keep saying about that paper pad although I've called yep. it merry and bright there are no festive images in it at all so again the greens work really lovely for, for the garden set too nice and the, the one that's finished with the sentiment on can you show it to camera one so, brilliant there you go isn't that beautiful it's really simple but it's so effective it's really really gorgeous Lovely. I'll give you the details just one more time then for our fabulous Garden Days set. You've got 18 stamps and you've got the topiary stencil and that is just 16 99 There's some gorgeous images on there and I still, my favourite is the welcome bees sign. I like that a lot. <laughs> Uh, 025586 is the item number. As always, you can give us a call 01733602000 or go to thecraftstore.com. We will see you at 7 o'clock then, well, Sarah. Looking forward to it. Good stuff. You'll be with Catherine as I well. Will. I will. Lovely. Uh, as always, don't go anywhere. We've got more coming up after this short break. Stay tuned. We have got our final call of the Sakura Jelly Journal one day special. After that, ooh, Crafty Kitchen happy hour. I know Catherine will be really chuffed to be doing that. She loves kitchen stuff. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dyes and flower stamps. On our shows, I hope to bring you many hints and tips and techniques to inspire you, the crafter, at home. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and I'm really excited to be working with you guys here at the Craft Store. We've been here since the very beginning and hopefully we'll continue to bring you lots of new and exciting soft craft projects. We've got everything from things like our Fabazine, which contains 12 different projects that you can do either in one go or split them up separately. Um, and that's a journey through all types of different soft crafting. And then we've got things that are really specific, like our stitchery, which is a journey through all kinds of embroidery as well. So make sure you join me and craft yourself silly here at the craft store. Hi, my name is Maggie and I'm from Impressions Crafts. Um, I've been running my business now for 15 years. We've been bringing lots of lovely beading kits, jewellery, uh, for necklaces and bracelets and earrings and we also bring a wide range of angels and accessories, beading accessories like bookmarks.
Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the Craft Store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Yes, indeed. Good afternoon. I hope you are well. It's four o'clock, which means it's time for final call, uh, which means it's the last opportunity that you've got to get your one day special before the price goes back up. And what a one day special uh, we've got for you today. It is one of these things that when, I said it at eight o'clock this morning, when you see the one day special in itself, and uh, you look at it, you go, oh, it's just a set of glitter pens. That's all we're really getting, just a little set of glitter pens that I do my Christmas cards with every now and then, that I let the kids use. I can get these from anywhere, no. First of all, they're from the big name of Secura that we're looking at there, which means you can use them uh, you can colour with them, which is standard, which you know our Alex does. From there, you can also use them with your water brushes. You can dry brush them. You can see everything that we've got here, that we've done here, has been done with these pens. You're also getting your fine liners in there as well, you see, your Micron pens, uh, with three different sizes, and you also get your book. This is a book and a half that we are looking at here because the paper that we're going to be using through this one day special is a simple fact. We are using all this cardstock that's in here, and I'm not alone. She's made it through the day. You're still here. <laughs> Bless her. Uh, it's our Lou. Uh, last and final hour, Lou. I know, I know. But what a couple of hours you've had. I know, it's been really good. We've had a, lots of fun playing with them in lots of different ways, which is what we wanted to show. Um, which is the Ooh. thing, because it would have been quite easy if you'd come in and go, well, this is what you do. You can just do your little outlines with them. This is a little glitter swatch, and this is what this one does. But it's not, and once again, and I don't want to keep going over old ground, because I said it out, but this is what you do so well. You take the product that we give you, and you go, right, what else can I do with this to get my money's worth out of it? It's not just a pen. This will do X, Y, and Z. But I'm like that with any of the, my crafting products, because I want... We all craft in lots of different ways, but actually we all do lots of different types of crafting as well. So I, I won't be able to drag it all in at once, sort of thing. what will work, what won't work. Give it a go, you know, and the pens do do so much. Like you were saying earlier, you think they shouldn't. They should just be for writing yeah. and things like that and bullet journaling. And, but they're not. They, you can bring them into lots of different ways that you craft. Well, they do. Like, and for example, and I don't want to keep going on about <laughs> it, but I'm very happy about what I did. Uh, this down here, if this is your first live hour, not that, this one over here. Uh, that one just there. Now, this one here, this you think, I know what you're thinking. By Jove, that design team's good. They're really talented in what they do. <laughs> that was me. That was me this morning. Doing a little feather, using the pens, pulling it out with the water. We've got the um, cure pens, uh, uh, koi pens on the show as well, which we did the background with. But then the little white dots that you see on there, they're done with the white gel pens that are coming in your set as well. You've got every stroke of that feather. It looks 3D. I'll give you that. I'm there with you. It looks <laughs> three-dimensional. I know. <laughs> It's not, but it does look like it. Um, I might give this one away. Uh, but uh, every one that you see there, every single stroke has been done by my own fair hand with one of the pens that you've got yes. in this kit. So if I can do it on the telly box and still talk at the same time <laughs> and still have a laugh and a giggle, you can do this when you know what you're doing with them as well when you get them home. Let me show you the boards, first of all, of the colourways uh, that you're actually getting in here. Uh, you get your sweet, you get your natural, you get your oceans, and you get your forests. Uh, as you can see, they're on black and they're on white. They've got that little glimmer. They've got that little speck there. But as you water them down, you sort of water down. So you've got the intense colour, because this is just pen on paper. But as you water them down, you sort of lose the intensity, so you sort of like putting on white gesso with them as well. But you still get that sparkle. You, yeah, you get the, the metallic um, thread that runs through. Um, you lose the opacity of them. So whether they can, you know, cover something up in their entirety, now you can merge it in together. Um, and Alex and I were using them actually with the kois and blending out and going through as well. So you could change your watercolours yeah. as well with them when you watercolour them out. It's like the perfect partnership, isn't it? These mm. pens and the koi pens mm. as well that I've got on the show. I'll give you the details for those uh, later on. These are your special edition 
special 100th edition uh, that you're getting of your micron pens that you're getting here. So these are in the black and gold, as you can see here. So there's sort of that black and gold look uh, that we're looking at. Uh, you get your one, your three, and your five inch, uh, inch. Can you imagine? Five inches. Uh, your five mil uh, that's in there in a pen. Be like, like a ruler's width uh, that you're getting there. But once again, handy to have. Everyone uses these. Everyone uses them for their little doodles that you're going to get because then you can create cards that look like this that you're about to look now. This is using your one day special, is it not? It is. It's using the, well, it's using a bit of everything. It's got the metallics in there, the moonlight. So I created like the nebula effect and I've watercolored it all out. Um, and then what I did was I put on um, like a glass medium and then using the pens, I've actually coloured the glass medium as well because they work on a non-porous surface. You, get, you uh, can use them on glass jars and things like yeah, that. Yeah, and then I just obviously random little white dots and some little stars. I can show you the it. one that our Alex did uh, that I've got here. So this one uh, is the pens. They're permanent. It's not going to go anywhere. The pens on a little glass jar. I know. Quaint. Beautiful. Lush. Right, uh, <laughs> what you also need to do now <laughs> is start checking out your baskets. Right then, shall we press on? Let's press on, shall we, uh, to our pick and mix that we're going to look at. Now, you can pick any five of these pick and mix pens. It's one of these that it's sort of when you look at them once again, you go, oh, I don't really need these at the moment. I'll wait for the next here. But you sort of do. Oh, you do with a glaze pen. I, th I think that they are one of the nicest. Well, they're not all of the pens are lovely, but the pens, they add that extra... Um, sheen to a project so if you put them on top of something like a moonlight which is a matte based pen you now change that fluorescent moonlight into having a glaze effect you can um, go over your handwriting with them and you've given like a mock embossing effect like you know it. add the clear on top of it and it gives you a flat glaze um, dries in five to ten minutes which is slightly quicker than a glossy accents as true. I've learnt to my peril when I've been packing <laughs> things up um, and you know so you, and you've got all those colors also because they're translucent you can then when you put them on the other color card as a you know you've got something different so if I put a blue onto a yellow I'm gonna get a green yeah, and it's if I put a, a red onto a blue I'm gonna get a shade of purple so you, you could actually have that effect with them so you can then change your work if you don't particularly like a colour, by just adding the glaze, you then give it that lovely sheen, but you've changed the colour at you've the same time. The, and it sort of enhances the colour underneath. Mm. It sort of takes the colour from underneath and then mixes it and blends it itself. Yeah. Yeah. With just, and that's what the card for is around the edge. You can see the different card types that you're getting there. Uh, beautiful nibs on these as well. I'll show you one of them um, on my hand. They come with a little glue end uh, that's on there, simply like that. So they are like a normal biro. Okay, they're like your normal standard Bic pen that you would normally write mm. with, but they are a coloured pen that you're getting in there. Uh, beautiful nibs on these. A little goes an awful long way as well. Um, they are true colours. So when it says the colours, you can see on the white, they are the true colour that they state. You can pick any white that you are looking at on these ones. Very, very busy on this. £10.99, 540663 is your item number. Uh, fine line of microns up next. Um, I like these ones as well. Uh, I, I, I sort of get into pens. It's one of these things that you never know, really know when you're going to use them. Mm. It's always nice to have them. Yeah, no, I know exactly what you mean, sort of thing, yeah. Uh, yeah, you can never have enough pens. You can never have <laughs> enough pens. This is me hiding all the boxes behind <laughs> yeah, me. You can never have enough, <laughs> and you can never have enough micron pens. Now, you are getting, um, well, let me tell you, first of all, 80% of the stock has already gone. Uh, you're getting all the colourways that you sort of need here and extra. So you are getting your black, your blue, and your red, your standard colours, as it were. But then you go into your sort of... Obscure is the wrong word, but you know what I mean when I say this. Your pink, your purple, and your burgundy. Because those are the uh, colours that you can now bring to your projects. They're things like purple that we don't normally see in a micron pen that we'd normally do in a black. But maybe a black is too harsh, but a blue is too light. But you want something in between. It is, and it's... Um I mean, if, if you like, I mean, I have an old-fashioned diary, and if you like different colours for different things, like, you know, birthdays are blue, and uh, I, I, yeah, I do colour coordinate that way as well. But y you can, I like them for, actually, which we're going to do, is doodle with as well, because sometimes doodling with a colour is not quite as stark as a black. So if you make a mistake, the black is there staring at you. That is true. Whereas if you use a colour, whether slightly lighter, it, it allows you, it's a little bit more forgiving. Uh, and I think this sums it up as well. Using mm. the colours to do the doodle. These have been used with the pens that we've got that we're currently showing you at the moment. £13.98 uh, that you get here. You don't get them harsh black lines. You don't no. get that 
in your face. This is a border. This is where that leaf finishes. This is where that leaf ends. With this, it all merges into one. It, it does. And then each finger stands out in its own way as well, rather than just being the black outline and you just see that everything, uh, you know, as a whole, you can pick certain elements that you want to look at within your drawing. I love um, it. Uh, but something that goes hand in hand with these as well. Uh, we didn't have these this morning. They brought them back at 12 o'clock, but already 50% of the stock has already gone on this. These are your white pens. Now, these are your brilliant white. They are your bold that you are getting in there. And they're also your 3 mil, 4 mil, and 5 mil. Once again, handy to have these. These are your next level going with the detail that pupil of the eye the snow that's on the top of the church yeah and also i mean blend out the white will blend out you know yes yeah, like that picture you did in that in your book yeah you know it will absolutely blend out so you can it's, it's an ink at the end of the day or you're gonna have to have a rummage through to see if you can find it um but you know so you can use it that way you can use it with your um writing you can use it to add all the different highlights that um that you're using and you've got different nibs there, so you've got the really fine one that you can add extra little tiny little bits of detail with, and then you've got the, th the thicker nibs there that, you know, create... So I've drawn round that, and then I've coloured in, and then I've pulled the colours out, and then just using the moonlight, and then the metallics around her eyes and everything like that. You know, so you can mix and match absolutely everything if you want to. And that is from a pen. Uh, I meant to say 60%, now two thirds of the stock has already gone. Uh, that is from a pen, that is pulling out with, I'm guessing with a water brush, mm. um, maybe it's it, a paintbrush or a water brush, it's entirely mm. up to you, it's the same thing, isn't it? Uh, that you're using, but you can start pulling the colours out should you so wish. Busy on these, 9.95, well worth having a little go, you're getting three bowls and you get three of your different sizes uh, that's in there as well, three mil, four mil and five mil is what you're getting in that kit. Nice little kit to have, something not a nice little giftable mm. as well mm. for a crafter because uh, it's something necessarily you wouldn't buy yourself. Oh, I don't know. Well, <laughs> it says me counting how many white gel pens. Sarah's over got. there going. Mm. Uh, it's something that necessarily, if you're just starting out, it's yeah, something I, you wouldn't buy yourself. <laughs> uh, it's one of these that you would you sort of acquire, yes. as it were, yeah, that yeah. you sort of left on the side. <laughs> oh, I'll have that. Uh, something else that's been busy as well. How it works here. Uh, <laughs> these have been busy now. They're in sets of three, so you get one. You've got three options to choose from. Uh, Nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence is what you're looking at for these. If you go all three, we'll change the details on the screen. Uh, if you go for all three of these, it works out to be that sixty-pound mark, which then means you can open up that flexible basket. Let's start with. Let's start down the bottom first of all for a change. Let's go your moonlight uh, fluorescence. Uh, the you, amazing with your white pens. And it also knocks back colour. It can, yeah. These are the original size nibs, so they, they are the bigger than the, the new ones that have come out. But it's only recently, I always thought of fluorescent things as being working in a school is what we highlighted. And, you know, yeah, so like if I highlight colours. Yeah, so if I saw anything like that, it was just like, <laughs> it just reminded me of marking oh. and things like that. But it's actually totally different. You add a, a, a fluorescent colour to something, you can lighten it in a totally different way, um, but you've got some beautiful colours. The blues are stunning. Oh, blue. um, and then you've got the white. You've got a white there. They're like chalk. Yeah, they've got a matte finish. They've yes. got that chalk. So yeah. I wouldn't say necessarily fluorescent, fluorescent, like your old discotheque fluorescent. They're not that neon, neon, are they? They're not in your face. No, not, not totally in your face. I mean, if you sat there and just coloured on top of each other, then you'd get brighter and brighter and brighter. But no, but they, they do, they have a nice pack, pack of punch, but then you've got the coordinating lighter colours. You know, that I go like, with them. That, I like the black. Mm. I like, I don't know if it's black or clear, but whatever, it, that little spot of glitter that, that you've got down the end. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's like a clear glitter. It's like a clear yeah. glitter pen that you've got in there. Uh, £19 and £99 for them. Uh, moving on from them, we've then got your metallics. So these are the ones that are in your one day special, but they come as a little bundle uh, this time. £19 and £99 if you want more colourways. Uh, you can see the colourways that you've used, that you've got on there. Lovely, but they're by far the busiest, and they still are the busiest. These are your moonlights that you've got on the top. Uh, true colours on your moonlights as well. <laughs> Uh, Hannah seems to love the glitters at the moment. Uh, then you've got uh, your moonlights that we've already got in there. Uh, true, true colours is what we're looking at. But the same colour on white to what they are on black. 
Yes, they are. And again, they're matte, but it, this is a thinner nib. So it has a, a totally different effect when you write with it or you doodle with it or you even colour with it. They are beautiful. Um, and like I said, I'm, I'm in love with the teal. But that dark blue... I like the blue. You wouldn't think it would have been stand out quite so well on the black. And it does. It's still... You know, still has its place. Well, they are, yeah, they all they all mm. are the same represented colours. And the grey. I love I love this sort of lighter blue on mm. black. Mm. Uh, and then you could do it on white as well. It's, it just adds that other colour. But I'm guessing if you put your white colour down first and you let that dry so it's permanent, you could go over the top with your blue, and then it will be sort of become the other colour that you've got there. So it's really going to work uh, well with all your colourways. Because remember, once they're permanent, uh, they're permanent. I'm now hearing your white pens, super limited stock. Uh, the most limited we can be. <laughs> How, have we got a percentage? <laughs> have we got 99%? We are. I've never been that precise with a, a stock update. 99% <coughs> of the stock has already gone. They are super limited stock. Is what we are. They are about to go. They are about to go, and I don't think we can get any more. Uh, they are now, as you said, they are now. We won't be this out. It's the final call. Final call, you ain't getting no more. So if you want them, 99% of the stock has now already gone. So get it while you can. You d see? Technical sellouts, I'm hearing now. I knew if I lungered for long enough. Uh, technical <laughs> sellouts, they've now already got... Saves changing the details, isn't it? Uh, so, technical sellouts. If I lingered long enough, I knew they'd go. Uh, well done. Well done. If you got them, if any bounce back, I will let you know. But at the moment, as I said round here, things are lying around. They just disappear. Uh, from there, though, we are now talking about your coys. These are amazing. Now, I'm with you. They are a considered purchase at £44.99. I know this. And we've also put them on to... Are they on Flexi? They're on Flexible Payments as well. But the colourways that you are getting in here are beautiful. Because you've got something for everyone. You've got your skin tones. You've got your forests. You can go under the sea. Mm. You can go mysterious. You can go magical. And it's all in... 24 pens, but they're highly pigmented. Mm, well, oh, definitely. Uh, um, and you've got, like you say, you've got a really, really good range, but you can watercolour with them traditionally, i.e. Uh, put, put some colour down and get a brush and cut, pull the colour out. You can do um, your your um, hand lettering, if that's what you want to do as well, tip to tip effect. Colour, you can actually lay down one colour and pull the other, get another pen and pull the colour out again, and it works in a different way. But they are, they are, they're beautiful. They're, they do pack a punch. A little goes a long way. They really do. Mm. Uh, as I said once again this morning, these are now, I'm lucky enough to have these pens, um, and I sort of hide these ones, but these are Molly's go-to pens, <laughs> which really annoys me because they're my best pens. <laughs> And they are her go-to, this and a water brush, a little stamp with my best ink pad. <laughs> She's away. <laughs> She's quite happy Why Dad sits there sort of curling up his eye with a slight <laughs> squint and a, and a twitch in the corner at why she's having a little go. £22.50, but I wouldn't change it for the world. Uh, 007351 is her item number. Are we cracking on? Well, we're moving on. I didn't think we were going this far. Uh, right then, this time, your Stardust. So this is individual. Are these all together? All together. You're getting all four of these. So what's the difference between... This and the one-day special. They're metallic. That's got glitter. There you go, you see. There you go. That's why we employ her. That's why she's here. Uh, these are your glitter. There you go. So if I show you that and then show you this. Oh, it's not my first rodeo. There you go. Look, so this is, the one, this is the one we're selling now. The details on the screen for this one, okay? This is in your one-day special so you can see the difference. So you can see the difference. One's a little bit of glitter and one's like a mirror. Uh, maybe if I do it that way, look, then you can see two oceans together. There you go, look. So this is your one-day special. This is what the details are on the screen at the moment. Uh, so could we go over the metallic to make it super shiny and glittery? So you get the metallic and then you get the glitter on top? Oh, yeah. Ooh, Definitely. Oh, yes. um, and then if you went, like, if you did the blue and chose one of the blue sparkles, you could do it that way. Um, you can do, um, as we were doing, you know, with Alex's name last night, we were putting down the metallic, then putting down some of the sparkle and blending the two together. And oh. you, can do, you can do that. You don't have to stick to the same jelly roll family, if that makes sense. You can merge quite a few you of can them, merge them, to get, merge them all together, yeah, just uh, for different effects. Busy on this, because remember, once they dry, they are, can these go on glass as well? 
guess all. They, they create a totally different look. They will create a trans, uh, more of a sparkly, slightly translucent look oh. compared to the metallics. Can we say, uh, here we go. <laughs> Just lining it up. So that, that's the, the sparkle there. So it's a little bit more translucent on there. And that's the metallic. So it's more opaque. And then that's the glaze, which has like the glossy effect that you can see going through. Do we have to do anything to the glass before we start drawing on? Do we have to, obviously, make it sure it's clean and not like an but, old dust? Well, then you don't look in the inside. Oh, okay, don't look at the inside. <laughs> no. We haven't got to prime it, we haven't got to put anything no, special on no, it. No, I, I just cleaned this side with a tissue. And, and, that was and, I'm, it. and I'm guessing slow and steady. Don't yeah, touch the, it. Yeah, the slower you go, the more ink that comes out. Um, this is like a really slick surface. If you go too fast, that's when you'll see all your pen lines. If you go nice and slow and let the ink catch up with you, it will then slightly flood. And then it fills the space up a lot easier. Well, there you go. You see, you can do this as well. Now, something that was busy this morning. <laughs> Sketchbooks. Back on extended, uh, they, they were, everything flew out this morning. Now, the sizes for these, this is the important bit. Listen up, people. The important bit here is on the screen at the moment. 9 by 14 centimetres, 13 by 22 centimetres. 460159 is your item number that we are looking at for this at the moment. So they are the sizes that you are going to be get, okay? Uh, 9 by 14, 13 by 21. Nice size paper in there as well. Uh, it's uh, 140 GSM is what you're looking at. I mean, it's acid free. Uh, you're getting 80 sheets in both books that's already in there. 460159 is your item number for that one. Uh, any more? Oh, no, that's it. All right, fair enough. Uh, right then, let's go for, loving this little swipe to the side, it's like being back in the 80s. Uh, let's go back, uh, what are we up to first, Liz? Right, we're going to have a go playing with some of the coins um, and then bringing in a lot of the pens and obviously, sorry, ignore how many I might have of my Micron pens here, you know, you just go, mm, just a few. And we're going to use the, the different coloured Micron pens we've got and we're going to do a little bit of doodling. Okay. Now, you, I've put out for you some blending tools yes. and some sponges. And all we're going to do is we're going to create a background. So rather than this morning like we did with, um, you know, putting it on the stamping block, wetting it and letting it run through, we're going to do it a little bit, a little bit more control, but a bit wet as well. Okay. So all I'm going to do is just go across the sponge for my... five or six times and with the, the koi. And then you're going to spritz it. And now we've just react, we we're activating this. Now the reason we're do using the blending sponge rather than um, actually the stamping, the, I forgot what these are called now, but never mind. The it's, acrylic blocks. Thank you. Is we can now place where we want to put the colour. Now I've gone for the, the rectangular ones because if I gave either of us a circle one, we would automatically start making like a circle effect. Oh, mine's wet. So uh, it doesn't matter, you can dry it. If it's too wet, dab it and then dry it and then go back over. How big are we going? Are we only going small circles? Well, 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 however... Oh, okay. And then there's a couple of different colour pinks in there. Can we just, just go over the same, the same No, we're going to create different areas. So you're just going over the same point. So we've wet it and we're just making... Basically, we're going to cheat about where we're going to put colour down. So it's a nice okay. quick way. So, now I could put a lot more colour on the, up here, but I... I prefer to just keep loading it up rather than, and then I can choose where I want to put different bits. So I'm just going to, now I won't add any more colour, but I'll use up what's on the sponge. So it's another way of being a little bit more precise with your watercolour backgrounds. Oh, I like this way. It's a great way as well with children. So yes. You, that's, this what way you've made, that's what you've made me do, it, isn't it? <laughs> I, I, see, I see the gist in this now. No, it just, um, sometimes, you know, when you give them watercolours and then you give them water and say, give it a little spray, it ends up having a bath. That is true. So does and everything this way, else. it's a little bit more control to it. Now, we're going to do, you've got two there, and then the second one, we're going to use the greens. Okay. And what we're going to do in between is we're just going to fill up a few of the spaces with the greens. So doing it with the sponge as well, we're bringing in like a texture effect as well. Because we've got the texture from the, the sponge. So we're having a little bit more control over our background. And we're 
So it just makes it a little bit easier from when we want to do a little bit of doodling. And we've got a, a bit of colour. I love this. <laughs> I love, I love when I, I love when I'm losing. I've had the best day ever. I've made terrariums and I've made two pieces of artwork. I, I was watching you very jealous. I love my terrarium. So, so then we've got that. That is just our background, and I know it's looking very, very subtle. And it was done for a reason. So I'm just going to quickly dry this off. And um, what I've done is, or what we're trying to do, is create areas that we're going to draw flowers in, and then the green areas is where we draw leaves. Yeah. So it's like a form of, it's doing the bulk of the colouring for us. If you do the opposite side as well, it just dries the paper off a little bit quicker. Do you wonder what that noise is? I also have a heat gun. <laughs> yeah, the, the synchronised heat gun. It loses a lot of wire to the mind. <laughs> right, now I'm going to take the pink pigment micron and we're going to start doodling out our shapes and the reason I've gone for the pink first is we can either then choose when we colour it to do like the no lines effect or we can go over it with the black because they, they will go over each other as well. Uh, just before we do this the pens are now oh. limited stock. The pens are limited okay you don't just get one uh, you get uh, all the pens that are here they are limited stock. Okay, £13.98, pence. we're about to use them, so if you want to do what we're doing, they are limited stock, you need to get them quick. Let's go back to the demo. <laughs> right, okay, so we're going to do, because I thought we're doing, you know, Sakura, let's do um, a stylized um, Sakura, you know, cherry blossom. Okay. So I'm just going to put a dot in the centre of this pink part here, and I'm just going to join, do a line up, a line up, and then I'm just going to do a squiggle like that. I thought we were doing this in pencil first. You didn't tell me we were going straight to ink <laughs> when, we, when, we you this, when you sort of told me what I, I was roughly doing. Because <laughs> I know you would have said no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to go one side curved, one side curved, and then we're just going to do a wiggle along the top. One side curved, one side, wiggle along the top. One side, one side, and then one side and just to wiggle along the top. So that's now we've got technically a little bit of colour. Um, and then I'm going to do another one. I'm just going to put a dot where I want to start. And just do a wiggle. Dot. One side. One side. So I can't draw one without saying... No, you go for it. So it's, a, so it's a curve, one side. The reason I do the curves first, it gives your eye an ending point. So I can do now, a, so we can put on as many as we like. So I'm going to just do a smaller one. How many have you got done? Uh, I've got two. Whoa. I think you're nearly working as quickly as I am. One's only got four petals. Oh, I could possibly add a petal in there. I suppose you could Don't add. forget, we're doing stylized flowers, so it doesn't matter if we do, you know, bigger, smaller. And then, obviously, I, we would put, if we had the time, we would put a lot more flowers in. Okay. But the, so we're going over there, and then I'm just putting a, f a flower in each of the pink, the areas where we put the pink colour down. Yeah. She said it goes across like that, and I can do a little one there. So I'm just going to do quickly one. I'm just going to grab a micron, and let's see where. Oh, they're right in front of me. You know when you can't see something for looking. That's like my life. Is it? Uh, that's what. Hello. Single oh. figures, single figures for the pens now, single figures for the pens with the plastic nibs, that's what PN stands for. Uh, they are now super limited stock, so we're down to single figures if you want them, uh, let's get them. Right, I'm just going to do a contrast on this pink here so you can see how the black can be a little bit more daunting. So okay. let's just do my dot. But if, if you feel more confident with the black, go with the black. Now I've gone for the 03 um, because it's the size that's in between. Right. And we're going to go. Then. So the black would actually stand out a little bit more, and the pink, once we colour them, will blend a bit more into the background. So okay. that's why I like to use the different pens. I'm just showing the black. You don't need to use the I black just yet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're dreadful. Um, and then what we're just going to do is we're going to get um, the green. 
There is a green in there, or have you not got a green? I've not got a, I, We've not got a green in ours. We've got uh, a purple, uh, well, burgundy, I'll scoot pink. you over a green then quickly. Okay. We'll just cheat a little bit. <laughs> and then in the green areas, we're just, just going to do some little leaves. They don't have to be... Anywhere well, could we do this up? with any other pens? Yep. So if we were buying them at home, so if we could do these with metallics, we could do these yep. with the glitters in the same sort of way? We're going to colour with them. Okay. <laughs> uh, technical sellout is what we've got now. A technical sellout on the pens is what we're looking at now. So if you do like uh, the pens, it's worth having a little look at those because they are now sold out back to you Lou. okay so then we've got the burgundy in there as well and then what we were going to do with the burgundy is we're just going to create some mock branches it, as i said it's stylized so it doesn't matter if things aren't you know perfect so with the burgundy color because it's got that on the pink it'll give the illusion of being slightly more brown so we can go Burgundy. And I'm just going to do... So these pens have now sold out, but you could do this with any of the other colourways uh, that you've already got. So if you're going for the pick and mix, this would work with the pick and mix because you've got two greens, three greens in the pick and mix that you've got there. Uh, it will work with your glitters as well because you've got those greens in your glitters and you've also got the pinks uh, that's in there as well. It also work with your moons, uh, your moonlights pens. It, all those would work with this. Just because just we're using the uh, the pens, it doesn't mean to say, well, I can't do that anymore. Then, so I, what's going to happen now? We're still going to be colouring with the mediums that you see in front of me, but you just change the colour accordingly to what you've got. As I said, we're only doing it in pink because we had those pink pens, but we put the background underneath. But what you could do is you could do it in your black pen that comes in your one day special if you feel more confident of doing it in your black or even do it in pencil first and then go round with the colour so it looks like uh, seamless colouring, no edge colouring that you've got with your pens already. So it's worth having a little look. Whatever we're doing, you just adapt slightly to what you've already got at home. <laughs> right, so I just now, with the burgundy, I've Ooh. just drawn like little branches just going to pass the flowers, some are just loosely near each of the leaves, so it's, it's a stylized drawing. At home, I would probably add a lot more flowers on and around, but this, this gives the idea of what we want to do. So, you should have um, pinks over there, a selection of different pens near you, okay. I'm hoping. You know when you go... And well, I The pens I used this morning? Yes, should be in the Yeah, pot. I've got them in the bowl. Yep. So all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do, I've got the metallic here. Oh, yes, let's go metallic. And I'm just going to, like I said, we're just going to pull out a little bit. We, to make, if we worked on too wet a surface, the pens will um, clog up. Saying that I was having a conversation about that with Charmaine earlier. <laughs> she said I should say something on air to you and I went, no. Do <laughs> you not remember that show? Yes, I do. <laughs> about the ends of the pens. <laughs> Uh, is this the paper from the, this is the paper from yeah. the one day special, this isn't is, it? I'm using it straight away into the, the journal. So now, with the metallic, I've just put a tiny amount at the bottom where our centre point was. I've got to move my book around, apologies. And I'm just going to put there, and we're just going to pull the colour out. And... If I've got a decent paintbrush, that would help, rather than one that's obviously I've been using with a glue or something. There we go. And I'm just going to pull it out. And what's happening is now, with the pink outline, it gives the effect that the flowers haven't got an outline. You can just subtly see an outline. And this is why I like those pens for that. So we can bring that one out a bit more. And we'll bring that one out. You have to put a, you have to put a fair fair lot down, didn't you? Yes, I. It, the slower you colour, the more ink that comes out. That you don't doesn't feel as if you're putting as much down. Oh, oh I've got it now. I've got it. Yeah. So the slower you colour, the more ink that comes out. Oh, I like this as well. Sorry. I like this. 
You said you weren't going to, you weren't happy. You weren't I did. To. Literally, I walked in earlier. I'll let you into a little secret. I walked in, I walked into the studio earlier, about quarter past, quarter past three. I walked into the studio and Lisa, are you happy to demonstrate? I was like, yeah, I don't mind. You know me. I like having a go. I'll have a go on the telly. I said, but before we do that, just show me what we're doing. Uh, and so Lou got a pencil and she drew the, the little flower that we're looking at at the moment. She said, it's only a flower, but dot, arms up, wiggly line. Yeah, That's fabulous. I can do that. And then um, she was like, then we're going to colour it all in. And she showed me the finished one that we're going to do. I was like, nah, baby, I'll leave it. I can't do that. I'm not making myself look silly, I'm telling you. But once you get into it, it you, fi you find your own process. So this is mine so far uh, that we've got. As I said, I'm no, I'm no Lou. Oh, no, I that's brilliant. I literally have a go, but... They're looking really good. It looked better out of focus, I'm not going <laughs> to lie. But, uh, but you, you, once you've coloured them in, I think it will work. But don't forget that if, if we had more time, we would probably fill up the space a little bit more, um, you know, with flowers. Um, and, and it would look then totally different. It, it, the page is looking very empty because we've only done three or four flowers. So oh, we're going to go along there. And I'll just do... and. Then we'll start building up with the others. And so it's just the tiniest little bit of the metallic in there. It works the same for all the jelly rolls. You're amazed how far they go. Yeah, well, I've noticed that now because you would think, oh, I'm colouring with them. They're not going to last that long. Mm. But when you start putting water with them... And, that's, and this is one of the reasons, like I said, about using the um, different coloured micron pens. Suddenly the flower, the black doesn't, you know, the black stands out, but the flower now looks like it's meant to merge into the background, which was my cunning plan, she says. If I Ish. left the lid off, would they dry out? Yeah, it wouldn't be the best thing to do, no. Okay. But what you can do, if, if that does happen, um, isopropyl alcohol that you, you can buy, um, you just literally take the lid off, put the nib in the isopropyl alcohol for no more than five seconds, take it out and then scribble. If it doesn't come through, do it again, but n literally no more than five seconds each time and it will slowly melt um, oh, where the, the ink wax. was. Yeah. So now I'm just going to go over with the metallic, like a metallic brown. I don't know if I gave you a metallic brown. No, I've got, I've got a metallic. I've not got a glitter. I thought I had a glitter pink, but I don't. But I found another pen that works. Okay, I can give you a glitter pink one if you would like one. So I've now got the metallic. So what I want to do with the metallic, I'm just going down one of the edges and then I'm just pulling the colour out. Now, if you didn't want to watercolour it out, you could just colour them in with the metallic. And then just going and pulling a little bit of the colour out. How did you do the centres? Is that what you've just done? We haven't done the centres yet. That's just the colouring. Um, when I coloured, I just put the lines oh, like that like and that. pulled the colour out like that. We've had a question in. Newsflash. Oh, we've just we've just answered that. We've do, we had a, who was it from? Deborah, my love. We've literally ju we've we've only just we've literally just as you were typing. I think we've just answered the same question. Uh, it's how to how to declog a pen should it get clogged. But these won't clog unless you leave the lids off. Will yeah, um, th and the other reason they might clog is you know what I was saying to you when you feel like your pen's getting scratchy across the surface. It means that there's too much ink there. Just get a tissue. There's me now running out of tissues, and j just literally take the side and clear away the excess ink, and then put your lid on. Um, it's, it's worth checking before, you, and, you, and that will work as well. But the isopropyl alcohol is, I mean, there's lots of, people have lots of different tricks. That's the one that works for me. Uh, we've had another question. Do you have to shake them to wake it? No. No, no shaking to waking. No. I always store mine flat. I don't know if there's a rule to do that, but then that's the habit I've got with most of my pens. Oh, okay. So, um, I, I, as you can see, even on the lid, I store all mine flat. It's, um, it, I think if you don't store them so they're not facing down, nib down, then the ink is not going to flow, you know, all the way and sit by the nib and then it might block a bit. But, so, we're just going to add a little bit. I don't know why I've added the leaf up there, but we'll do that. And then it's choosing a green. Now, let's have a think. 
to go for that one. I like the I like this technique. So we can just and this is just now we're painting with the metallics as well. And I'm just letting these dry because we're going to go over the centre. There we go. So I'll just stop there with those. So you can, we can do that. That would work exactly the same with a stardust as it would a metallic. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to grab, let me think, I want the, the stardust and I would like the pink pen, which I've lost, I've put somewhere. Well, oh, there it is, right in front of me. So I just want to check that one's drier. I just want to give it a quick blast just in case. So all I'm going to do now is with between the two pens, a bit like we did with the feathers, I'm just going to go up with the pink pen and you can do little dots on the end and just go around the centre. Could you do this with the, the white gel pen as well? If you, want to you could. Um, it depends on the look you're going for. If your ink is still wet, your white gel pen won't be true white. <coughs> Excuse me. It will pick up the colour underneath. Okay. But then that's not such a bad thing either. Um, the gel pens prefer to work on top of each other when they're dry. If you picked up the colour, if, if it was slightly wet and you picked up the colour from the other, from the white pen, would that stay on the end of your nib? Just rub it out like you would do. Yeah. I'll get, it, yeah, so just wipe the, wipe the ends again. Yeah, I'll, I'll add some whites then. And then just with the start, um, I'm just adding one or two more back of the metallic that we started with. And I'm just going, and all I'm doing is just building out the centre. Sorry about moving my book around. It's about the, the only way I can do it. And I'll dry that off and we'll see if we can add the white if it's dry enough to do. Uh, let me give you, why it just quickly dries, let me give you a quick recap of uh, what is going on <laughs> here. Let me give you a quick recap. Don't come back to me, I've just got one more petal to do. Uh, let me give you a quick, I was trying to string that sentence out for as long as I can. Uh, let me give you a quick recap of your one day special. Did you see how long I strung that out for? Uh, I had one more petal. Uh, what it is, these are the pens that I'm currently using at the moment. And they've got that hint of glitter uh, that, that you've got shining all the way through there. Uh, you, this is the only way of getting your white pens and getting your clear pen now as well in there. You've got your oceans in there. You've got your sweet. You've got your nature. You've got your forests in there as well. All those little metallic colours that are going to shine through, even if you water them down, you're still going to get that shine. You're still going to get that glitz and glam that's going to shine through. And the cardstock that we're all currently using at the moment is taken from the book. It's perforated edges so they easily tear out. This is good quality paper that you're using if you're just starting out. Obviously don't flood the paper with water but it's going to take the rough and tumble. It's going to take the good with the bad as it were. Whether you're the best crafter in the world, whether you're just starting out, no one is a bad crafter, let me put it that way. You're only as good as your imagination. You're only as good as you think you are in your head and the story that I just said is no word of a lie. When I walk into the studio I say, Adam you're demoing. I was like, yeah, no I'm not. Um, and for the exam number, Lou showed me that feather this morning. She went, this is what you're going to do. I went, no, I'm not. At quarter past six this morning. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that on the telly. <laughs> I'll go simpler. Let's go something else. I said, no, no, that's what we're doing. Oh, all right, fair enough. I won't be doing it. And I did. And this was my unfinished work here. I, I know, it looks like one of the design teams. Uh, but that was mine that I had there. I know, I'll have my own Facebook Live soon as well. Just doing feathers. This is all we're going to do for about four months. <laughs> it's all I can do now. And flowers that I've learned to do as well. But using the tent, you can do all of that. Then you can also start creating your own backgrounds in there as well. Uh, so you can go all out using your micron pens, using your white pens uh, that we've got on there, using the paper to create the beautiful work that you've already got. I don't know who's done this, but by Jove, it looks good. Uh, that you've got there, but you can be doing it. If I can do it on live TV, and you know me, I'm not a crafter. Yes, I have a go, and I have a little stamp, and I have a little colour, but I'm not a crafter. I'm just like you out there. I like to try, and, I, and if I can do it, I'll do it. If I can't, I hold my hands up and say I can't, but I give it a go. And if I can do it on the telly, 
you'll be able to do it in the comfort of your own home. 979867 is your item number, £40.18, and pence, or we'll split the cost onto two interest-free flexible payments for you as well. Something else that you might want to go for? is your pick and mix on your jelly pens uh, that we've got here. These are amazing. These are the ones I think actually I am using. I'm, uh, yes, they are. These are the ones I've actually coloured. Um, this from the design team that they sent in. Uh, this is uh, the pens that they currently use. This is the pink that they used here. Um, so it is these. I mean, so you're going to get those bright colours. You're going to get those vivid colours. And y yes, you, wouldn't, you would know that I've pulled them out with colour, but you wouldn't say, oh, that's, what colour is that that he's used? I don't really know what colour they are from these pens. You still know that is pink that we've got in there. You still know that is a vibrant colour that you've got in there as well. You can choose any five that you want to go for in that set. £10.99 for uh, 540663 is your item number. Then, uh, your moons. Uh, your moons are so busy. Moonlights are so, so busy still once again uh, that we're looking on these. Each set is individual. Each set is £19.99. 792179 is your item number. 70% of your moonlights now have already gone. True colours is what you're looking at, whether it's on black or whether it's on white. And I'm guessing if you go craft card, you're going to go the same colours as well. If it works on black, it's going to work on craft card. It does work on craft card. Obviously, because that's got a brown colour, it will take on a slightly different look again as well. It's going to be it, even... It, it'll work, yeah. It, 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 they work perfectly on all It will work on, on any... Which, yeah. is, which is nice for a set of pens, because normally when you get a set of pens, you go, I can only use it on white. But I you, can only use it on white paper. You, I mean, can. You, you can use it on, you know, as an, any non-porous surface. If the surface is really, really slick, then you have to go a little bit slower. Yeah. And, that, and that's the only thing. I mean, I'd, like, I've got the mask over there, we've done the glass, I've done it on plastic, tiles, MDF. True, it works. And it's, it's, I mean, I've even drawn on front of my books with them, you know, so... So it, wor it works on anything. If you're doing anything surface, slow and steady will work. Slow and steady wins the race with these. <laughs> don't, and it's true, don't, it does, go, in, yeah. hell, uh, don't go in uh, all joints in. Oh, they're not working, they're not working. Slow and steady. The slower you are, the more ink that will flow out. Each set is worth £19.99. You're getting 12 pence in each. 792179 is your item number that you are looking at on here. Uh, koi pens up next. Loving the koi pens that we've got here. Uh, Cracking for making backgrounds. Uh, they are amazing for making backgrounds because they give you so many vivid colours uh, that you're looking at already. All the colourways uh, that you're getting in here as well. You're getting something for everyone. You get all the brown tones in there. You've got the blues for the seas. You've got the blues for the skies. Uh, you've got the greens in there as well. Uh, there's also one, two flexible payments of £22.50 and pence is what you are looking at for these. Uh, well worth their money. They are worth their weight in gold. Then we've got your glitters this time uh, in the same colourway. So you've got your happy, sweet forest and your oceans uh, in there. But this time you're getting your glitters. You can see that hint of glitter uh, that runs all through them. Some are subtler than others. The happy ones, the oranges and reds are nice. Then when you put them on black, it really makes them pop. Look at those. Then you've got your forest. Uh, in there. So imagine using your forest greens with your, uh, with your happies, uh, then greens and reds for your father Christmases and things like that would look absolutely amazing. £20.96, 308805 is your item number. And then it's like a little tester kit is what you're looking at with these. They are like a little tester pot because you get a bit of everything. You're getting a white in there, you get your glitters in there, you get your neons in there as well. You get a bit of everything, a bit of sparkle and shine. You get your Stardust glitter, you got your metallic shines in there, you got your moonlight fluorescence in there as well. £34.99, 245810 is your item number. £24 uh, and 24 pounds. 24 pence is what you're looking at. £34.99. And 99 pence. Uh, something else that I want to show you is your journals now. These are two amazing journals. This is your A4 and your A5 journal that you're getting this time. Uh, like these ones set. These are the paper that we're currently using as well. Uh, if this, so this holds, it withstands, it's durable. It will, it will last, it, I'm sort of going to say it will last the test of time. It's not these paper that you draw on once, we'll get it wet, wiggle your paintbrush on and you start pulling up the fibres of the paper. It's not like that. It's well worth its weight in gold. Uh, 996802 is your item number. Uh, we've also got one more to show you as well. This time, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, let's go back to demo, shall we? Uh, it's your sketchbooks. So you'll find those on the website. Uh, we've lost, we've just lost the details for the moment. Uh, but let's go back to demo to finish these. What are we up to? Right. So you were talking about, can I use white on this? So I can take my white 
and I can go along the center and I can you can add your white you know to I'm just going to do them so the center of the flowers so the white is now going on top of the pigment pen it's going on top of the metallic that I did and then I've got created the center of the flower so it stands out you know totally differently along those and then I've just added some glazed little spots around and obviously I keep building this up and up and up and up um, you know till you had a whole page together so, so you can once the pens are dried you can layer them all on top of each other so yeah you're, you're well engrossed now aren't you? I, uh, I've now found if you do it onto a non-slip mat you can use it as a palette yeah I didn't realize that so if you don't if you're too scared about going onto your card yeah, you can use it as a palette now if you spritz that as well you could then use it as a background. Oh. Right, I'll put that to one side while you're finishing off yours. Now, you have got your name done, but I thought we could do some more blending with, with our name. So I've just, this is the card that we've got in the one day special. Obviously this is the A4 and I've just taken it out. Um, I had to trim the edge where the perforated bit was only because my printer had a little bit of a hissy fit. But um, I've then just put that through my printer on grayscale. Um, just let the paper ink go through printer as well. This went through my printer. I try anything through a printer. Oh my word! And I've just done it on grayscale, so we could actually go over. Um, and and I can't write like this. I'd like to be able to, but I can't. Right. So if I grab some pens, let's go for. I don't know what's going wrong here. I'm using purple again. Um, purple not your go-to color, is that? No, like I find blue is my go-to color, and. Purple I, scares me. I don't find it easy to blend with, so I'm going to challenge myself. I don't know why, considering the, how it's made and the colours that make it. True. Considering blue is one of my... Right, I won't... Let's do the... I'm going to go for the smaller letter. We'll just go and... Uh, and I'm just going to use... So the slower you go on, the more ink you put down. And then I'm just going to grab the blue... So we're just going to put the blue and I'm just going to leave a little bit of a border because I want to then put the, the two colours together. So I'm just going a little bit slow because I've... There we go. And then I can pull some of the purple down into the blue. So I'm just going to blend them while they're still wet. And then pull some of the blue up with the purple. And I can do the same again. I'm just going to go down and then do the same with the purple. Oh, I love so, this. And then we can do that. Then I'm going to put the purple. Now, you're not going to get perfect seamless blending like if you were using an alcohol marker. I We've had a question clean yes. from Joan. Good afternoon, Joan. I hope this Sunday's finding you well. I hope you had a lovely Sunday roast. I'm guessing she cooks a mean Sunday roast, ah, Joe. Bet she does. Bet she does the full trimmings as well. Oh, I don't bet the pork's got crackling on it. Oh, bet she does a good nut roast. Anyway, a question that she asked for mm -hmm. was: um, Do the pens? Do any of the pens that we got on the show work on fabric? Um, you can use them on fabric, but they won't be permanent. Okay. Because obviously that that's the nature of them. Um, you you could probably put different things on your fabric to make them more permanent if that's what you wanted to do. Um, I have doodled on canvas and things like that with them. I haven't brought my canvas journal with me, but th it's not something I've done to make like for a t-shirt. Oh, okay, now, if so... you go over to the um, Royal Talons website and go look through the brands, on there is everything about the Sakura, what it will do, what it works on, but there's also little videos in there as well about the different projects they've done. That might give you a little bit more of an idea whether they'll work permanently on to fabric. Right, so I just add a little bit of the blue. Are you still doing your flowers? I'm still, I'm still on the flowers. Or uh, I'm you... now doing trunks. I like okay. tree branches. I think I've, I think I've decided. Mm -hmm. I have decided. I'm, I might give. I'm going to give this and my feather away. Oh. I think I'm going to give them away on my um, social media. I, th I thought you were becoming part of the DT. I already am. <laughs> I'm head. I'm head dig too. I'm now in charge. Uh, I don't know if the Cura know this, but. but okay. But then, so I've just blended those two together, so I can still get the metallic, and I can still get the blue, and I can still get the purple going together. 
So if I've got the blue there, let's put the lid on this and let's grab a Stardust in... Oh, you know, I'm going to say purple again, aren't I? Oof. Here we go. So now I'm, I can put the Stardust on top and bring it in. I'll just do a little bit more so we can see it. So this is the purple Stardust, which has got like the encapsulated glitter and it's really, really fine. And I'm just going, this time I'm just going to do it so it's slightly diagonally rather than in a straight line because why not? And then I'm just going to put the metallic blue here. There we go. And this, what I'm going to do rather than blend the two together, I'm going to get my brush, but I, I'm just taking most of the liquid off. I, do, I want it dry. It's just I want, to, I want the bristles to be together. And I'm just going to use a paintbrush, and I'm not blending it out with water. I'm just blending the two colours together. Oh, we've had a question, another question in. Who from, Kim? Jones email in. Let's get there. Jones email in. Thank you for answering my question. Oh, uh, more she said, welcome. oh, she did a lamb dinner with all the trimmings. <laughs> oh, oh, Joan, oh, I bet you make oh. them mean. I bet you had parsnips. Oh, I bet they were <gasps> buttered. Oh. Yorkshire's. You're, I bet she made her own. I bet, she, oh. I bet she's not about Aunt Bessie's. Oh. I bet she makes her own. Aunt Jones. Oh. That's it, I'm done. Back to, we've only got a few, we've got two minutes left. Oh, right, so I've, this is the... I'm just going to take one of the sparkles, and I can blend out the sparkle with the water brush and as far as I can make it go as well. So we can change it that way. So let's grab a pink colour. So if your hand lettering is like, is it, well, this is a pink metallic, um, I'm not very good at the hand lettering. It's, it's something I aspire to. So I, think I, I keep mentioning, every time I see Lou Dixon, I keep saying to her, Lou Collins, you know, please show me how. Oh, she's amazing. That's oh, it. Hello. Frighteningly good. We've only got a minute left. Let me get back on my okay. perch. It's been a beautiful show. I've thoroughly, I've thoroughly enjoyed uh, all of it. Uh, let me show you uh, what I've achieved this hour. So I'm very <laughs> proud of it. And Luz as well. Luz, Luz is phenomenal. The little cherry blossom uh, that's in there. Oh, I that couldn't find a cool. brown. But I've done. And this, and then obviously, as I'm head design team member, uh, I've also got the feather uh, that's on there as well. Uh, I will post them out to one lucky person. Uh, get on my uh, Facebook, uh, uh, Adam Humphreys on the craft store, and we'll send that out to someone. I'll put a question up there later. Uh, thank you. It's always a pleasure. No, thank you. I love it when you ring, because I know that means I get to do stuff. Uh, I think Jenny does it to keep us quiet, to be honest. Uh, so, yeah, it's true. Uh, we've got 20 seconds left, uh, and that's it. Start checking out your baskets. It's my director's last show as well, oh. forever. She's going for good. She's moving on. She's going to be down in the West End. She's becoming a singer and dancer. Oh, she's very talented. I think she's joining the cast of the Moulin Rouge. So good luck with the little high kicks. If you ever need me, I'm there. Oh, what's that? She's just an usher. She's just an usher selling the ice cream. Fair enough, it's still a gig. Uh, Crafty Kitchen with our Catherine talking about ushers and ice cream. You don't want to miss this. You are in for a treat. In the foothills of Alnul, a lawless event unfolds. The craft store's sixth birthday, an exciting time beholds. Phil Martin and Indigo Blue, Heartfelt Creations, Zuri, and Crafts 2. With six pounds of credit, there'll be plenty to buy. With great one-day specials, the aces are high. With discounts and deals, with prices to amaze, join us for a hoedown for a wild seven days. From fabric to paper to glitter and pencils, pens and stamps, inks and stencils. Join us in August, a craft extravaganza. Happy sixth birthday, the Craft Store's Bonanza. Hi, I'm Jo, and I have the pleasure of demonstrating for That's Crafty. That's Crafty are a family-run business that started online in 2005. 
I hope I can inspire you by bringing along my experience together with the That's Crafty products. So make sure you don't miss the That's Crafty shows. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Don't forget to join me on my Rowan Dean shows. Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Cathy. And I'm Mel. And we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand-illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. On our shows, we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Again, we've got another happy hour for you. It doesn't stop today, does it? Lots and lots of bargains, bargains galore, and sandwich right in between, of course, the final of the one day special there, and a brand new one day special starting at six o'clock. Now, we've got loads of happy hours. I'm just looking down the counter. I think my legs are going to be aching by the time I get from this end right to that end. We've got so much on offer here. Great reductions as well. Remember, the price is only for this current hour. It will go up. The prices will go back to their original at the top of the hour. Shall we get straight to the website because you could be shopping ahead we've got loads and loads if you like to bake if you like to make your cupcakes your pies your flans if you want those utensils for the kitchen maybe you're ready to um i don't know replace some old stock that you've got some old tins and mixing bowls and that sort of things as well we've even got a set for the barbecue so if you were if you you know living somewhere outside in the garden you want a, a nice silicon set of brushes we've got those as well uh, some great ideas but mostly, as I say, we've got great prices. Right, okay, let's get back to it. Don't forget, there's lots that you want as well, and you're adding up to £60 on that basket. You can open that flexi basket, worth keeping an eye on. Let's have a look at the first item, the saving straight away. Look, this is huge, a £30 saving. We are talking quality products here. You're not only getting the baking sheet that you see on the screen, but you're going to get the mega lifter as well. Now, when I first saw this, I thought... Is that really necessary? And actually, the more I look at this, the more I think that is such a good tool. How many times have you made a sponge cake and then you tried to move it or flip it over or, you know, just move it onto a plate or a different stand and it splits? because you can't pick it up properly. Well, this is the mega lifter. That will do that for you. It's going to slide nicely underneath. Same with your pizzas. Also using it on the grill of your barbecue as well. So if you've got, as we can see on the picture there, maybe some salmon. Maybe it is some meat or some burgers, but it's going to make it much easier to lift those pieces of meat or fish or whatever you're cooking off of the surface there. Yeah, definitely for the sponges. I've done that so many times, made cakes in the past, and then tried to move the different layers, and then I've ended up splitting one in half. Yeah, great buy. And that's just talking about the mega lifter there. When we look at the baking tray, this is huge. And you've got a recipe included. I don't know if there's more than one. We'll check in a second. So we've got here 12 inches by 18 inches as a baking sheet. It, it is a big baking sheet. Perhaps you're looking at making gingerbread or some nice shortcake. Um, oh, I'll tell you what would be nice for this. And it does actually say on the front, I've spotted it. What about, do you ever make your own fudge or toffee? Do you do that? For, just think for Christmas, homemade Christmas this year. Upcycle some pretty jars. There's lots of ways of doing that. Make some homemade fudge with different flavours. Nice chunks of fudge in a jar that you've upcycled and give them. That would be perfect. Shall I have a little look at the recipe on here as well? What have we got? I'm just going to lift that out of there. I think it's on the back of the sheet. Oh, you've got... Oh, there is more than one. Chocolate chip peanut butter cookies. That sounds nice. Pumpkin squares. Is there another one? Let me see if I can peel this off. And jelly roll. 
right, there you go. You've got three recipes included. Actually, this is a really weighty pan. That is really good. That's ideal for, um, yeah, for your toffee, your, your rolls. Would you make your Swiss roll in this? You know, when you roll them up, I suppose you would. That would be the jelly type roll, wouldn't it, I suppose? Because you make a thin layer of sponge, don't you? And then you have to roll it. Stay. Don't trust it. Don't trust myself. There we are. $17.99 is the price here. We're getting busy for this one. I think that mega lifter is very, very good. 526-363 is the item number. Now, I haven't done the Crafty Kitchen Happy Hours before, but I've seen them. And I was looking down the counter and thinking, I don't recognize a lot of these. I've just had it confirmed these are all new today. So do stay with us. Don't miss out. Um, some of them we might have bundles where you might have seen the odd item, but yeah, they're all either new configurations or brand new items, just not repeats of previous shows. $17.99, off to a good start there, very busy. 526363. Let's have a look at the next bundle. You've got two together. Now, this one makes me smile because a square donut pan. I've never seen one before, but look, they look really good, don't they? And sometimes, you know, when you buy the containers to put your cakes in when you've made them, you can't always get your hands on a round one. A square tin for square donuts would be much better. You could put all sorts of fillings in there as well. I bet you could make savoury or sweet with this. It doesn't have to be a donut. We've also got the muffin pan as well there. Really nice and deep because muffins are, aren't they? They're not like cupcakes. They're deeper than that. Do you know what? I, I didn't pick these up before the hour. I just went down the counter to do my little bit of a prep meeting. They're really weighty pieces. You can tell the quality of these. They are not flimsy at all. Perfect results, it says in there, and I can see that's what you're going to get. That is a really good weight of a pan. These are cracking prices. $17.99. You've got a £30 saving for this hour. 742-941 is the item number. Do we get any recipes with this one, I wonder? Uh, right, you've got 12 muffin pans there. Oh, this is a Wilton. Wilton's a very well-known brand. 10-year limited warranty. Dishwasher safe as well. Don't think we get a recipe with this one, but I'm sure you can find lots online or you maybe have got your cookbooks that you can go with. And if you are a baker already, because you're going for quality items like this, you probably know exactly how to bake without looking at a recipe anyway. 742-941. Don't miss out on those. A really, really good buy. Our Emily would love these. Emily's our producer, one of our producers, and she's a baker. She, and amazing. She made my space hopper cake for my birthday. It was lovely. I bet Emily has never made a square donut, though. Hmm. I wonder if she's watching. Emily, you need to go for these. Yeah. We might see some here at the building next week, some square donuts. Who knows? What would you do with that? Would you make savoury or sweet? Because it doesn't have to be a donut. You could put all sorts of sort of doughs or pastry fillers in there, couldn't you? You could, yeah, or you could do, oh, what about like a, a breakfast bun? You could put an egg in the middle. Bake it, take it out, put the egg in the middle, and then you could sort of heat that. Yeah, you could put, oh, yeah, a bit like French toast, or use um, chopped up sausage or bacon in there. And of course, if you, if you don't eat that sort of thing, you can, you can go completely meat free. Look at, look at the, ah, I've spotted something else. Look at the donut here with the drizzles on the top. Watch out for something coming up. 742941 is the item number for these. Love that. Now, I really like the next one. This is Hugh, our director for the hour. This is his top pick of the hour. Um, yes, we've all picked our, not necessarily favourites, but interesting items that we think are going to do well and might be popular with everybody at home. This is Hugh's pick. Now, this is called the Cream Canoe Pan. Canoe cakes. You can see why they're called canoes, can't you? I'm going to pick this up and show you the depth of these. Very weighty. You're not just getting the pan, you're also getting the uh, decorating kit as well. Now, I like this one for a particular reason. I've been looking at the packaging for the pan and I've been reading what you can make. And this sounds very nice indeed. I'm just going to read some of these out. So, would you like to make a classic yellow cake? I presume that's just a sponge. Uh, filled with marshmallow cream or buttercream frosting. Wouldn't mind that at all. What about cornbread filled with honey butter? Yum, yum. Um, chocolate cake filled with caramel and topped with German chocolate frosting. Oh, Jimmy likes the sound of that one. What about poppy seed cake filled with lemon pie filling? 
Nice. Yeah, I like this next one. My favourite's coming up last, though. Spice cake filled with apple pie filling. That would be lovely with a bit of ice cream. Um, my favourite, definitely my favourite, is this one. Carrot cake filled with cream cheese frosting. Oh, I love carrot cake. I love carrot cake. Now, look at this. We haven't finished because you do get the decorating kit as well. Not only can you use this for icing, and you do get the screw-on nozzles as well. So you've got various different designs. Um, you can use this as an injector to put fillings into things like your eclairs, into your canoe cakes. So you can fill inside as well as on the outside. So I think the particular end we've got on there now is more one for filling. That's my guess there. Very easy to use, very easy to clean. And then we've got all of the other nozzles there as well. I'm thinking perhaps if you do mashed potato and you want to pipe on top of a shepherd's pie or something as well, you could use this. Yeah, busy on this one. Only $14.99. This is a really, really good buy, actually. How did that hold there? Let me just see if I can get that to stay. There we are. Uh, how much has gone? Third of the stock gone. I just love the shape of these. I think they're really different. £20 saving, 803-105, and I really want a carrot cake now I've said that. It's somebody's birthday today. Maybe I need to go home and bake a cake. Glenn, if you're watching, happy birthday. And maybe we'll just have pizza because it's Pizza Sunday. Mm. Who knows? Uh, yes, I'm going to be in so much trouble when I get back. 803-105. Now, we have got something very interesting coming up. Did I say, was it Ross's pick the first item? It was, wasn't it? Oh, that was Jimmy's. Jimmy picked the first item. Hugh picked the last one. I'm, I'm going for this one. This is, could be a little bit of a dark horse, I think, because at first I looked at this and thought, well, what do you do with that? I don't, I don't understand it, but I think this is really clever. You've got the Lincoln Cupcake Square Pan. Not only that, you've got the drizzle spoons as well. I did say watch out for the drizzles drizzle implements. Uh, I'll show you how these work in a second. If I show you the front of the packaging, this might make a little bit more sense. Now we're thinking you could put you could put your paper cases into the bases. It doesn't look like it's non-stick as well, so you know whether you go with the paper or not, that's up to you. A little bit of uh, butter or you know grease that out as well if you're not using the paper. You put your batter in there, your sponge batter or whatever you're making. As it rises, if you've done a good job of mixing, the tops will come over and they will stick together on the top. So at the bottom, you've got the separate cakes, but they're linked together at the top. So when you take them out of the pan and you frost them, you've got what looks like a whole cake there, but actually it's like a tear and share. You can just take those individual cakes away or you can separate them beforehand and decorate them separately. So you've got choices. I just think as a party, you know, a, a nice design for a party or a wedding perhaps, where you want to make lots of things the same, that's a really nice idea. Your buttercreams, your frostings, your caramel, all those different toppings. Now, I am going to try and take one of these spoons out of here. There's two of these. These are your drizzle spoons. Actually, again, very weighty. These feel like quality. So what you do, you put your sauces in, gravy. You know when you go to these posh restaurants, not that I go, I see it on the telly, but I don't go there. Um, you know when they do the drizzles around, you know, whatever's on your plate, and it looks really pretty, or the um, puree, like the, the raspberry around a dessert or something like that, and we all want to achieve that look. This is what you need. This is what you need. You get two of these, the larger one that I'm holding here, or the smaller one, and it is for sweet or savoury. And basically what you do, you fill the area here, the spoon area, and you almost draw with it like a pen. So you'll touch the little spout onto the plate and you'll draw with it. Or you could drizzle it up in the air as well. Maybe honey, runny honey, that would be good. And if you want to make a sauce that's thicker, if it's a savoury, you add a little bit of flour or corn flour. If you're making something that's sweet, you add a little bit of icing sugar to thicken up the sauce. So you can change the consistency as well. I just really like that. Item number is 706. 783 19.99 is the price look at that saving 37 pounds and a penny is the saving i really like the you know you can buy them can't you those sort of slab cakes for birthdays where you have to chop them all up but you get one slab cake a tray cake that's the word i'm looking for this is already cut for you it looks like a tray cake but everybody can take their own piece and everybody gets equal pieces that's important isn't it that's why that makes that a really good deal. 
I've seen what happens here when it's birthday time. Somebody goes in with the knife, cuts the cake, out comes a great big slab. The other 50 of us have to share one tiny bit. Yeah, it's Jimmy every time. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh I'm going to show you this, actually, the packaging from the spoons, because you can see some ideas on there. You know what I mean when I say posh restaurants now. So we've got desserts. Look at the strawberries. Dip your strawberries in chocolate and then drizzle some white chocolate over the top. Look, you can you can even write with these. So if you want to write somebody's name or an age or something like that, you can see how the point of the spoon touches the plate. Look, so you get that control. Let's just spin it around. That's clever. You've got almost a it's like a flower shape in a pastry, and then the stem and the leaves are being created with the spoon. So chocolate. That actually, yes, chocolate. You know, you milk chocolate. And normally we pipe it onto paper and then have to peel it away. You just use a spoon. That'd be really good. I might have to go shopping. Oh, no, it's a happy hour. I can't. 706-783 is the item number there. The price, I'll have to pay £57 after this hour. Oh, no. 19.99. Love, love, love that one. Right, we're going to move on, though, because we've got much more on offer as well. These really are great quality. Oh, we get four of these. Four tartlet pans, the little miniature ones. Oh, I like that as well. You know, when you, you see, when you put them on the plate, and maybe a strawberry tartlet, and there's a little bit of icing sugar sprinkled, um, a bit of fresh strawberry on the top, maybe a sprig of mint. Then you go in with your white chocolate with your drizzle spoon. Oh, I'm making myself hungry. I've got to stop. You don't just get the four tartlets there in the small size. You're also getting this big one as well. So this is eight and a half inches in diameter. Again, non-stick coating, the fluted edge, which you would expect for a nice flan or something. Again, savoury or sweet, you can make in there. It doesn't have to be a sweet flan or a tartlet. It could be savoury. You could make it with goat's cheese. Oh, yeah, smoked salmon. A smoked salmon tartlet. Oh, that would be lovely. Oh, I am, I'm really, I'm making myself hungry now. Oh, half price on that one, 12 99 These are cracking deals, you know. 180549 is the item number. Now, what have we got next? Ah, oh, did you see the Carrera show yesterday? Oh, the smell in this studio, honestly. And um, Drew, who came in, made some mushroom tortellini. Well, that's similar to ravioli because it's pasta with a filling in it. If you want to make your own ravioli with different fillings, normally we think of beef ravioli, don't we? But you could put all sorts of fillings inside. You've got the little gadget here to cut out all the pieces. You can see how that's going to work. You're going to roll that across your, your pastry or your pasta, whatever it is you're making, and that's going to cut for you with the fluted edge and cut into sections as well. Then what you do, use this little gadget and you push down. That seals them into little parcels. Because they are, aren't they? They're like little little pillows. That's how they look. Can you see there? So you cut them out, then you seal them when you've got the filling in there. And then you've also got this as well, which is... This is our donut and biscuit cutter, so something a little bit different. Is the handle off this one? Why is that separate? Is that meant to be with that? Oh, I reckon you attach the handle to use the cutter then. I don't open it, I might get into trouble, but yeah, it all comes together as one bundle. $29.99 is the price you're saving, £43 and a penny there. Three pieces in total. Again, the weight of this is stainless steel. 638494, they look like very professional tools, don't they? They're something you'd see a, a proper chef using. Um, yeah, use them for cutters as well. It's not just for ravioli, you know, you've got the cutter. In fact, this can be used for your cookers, cookies. Oh, let me show you on the front of the packaging. Cookie cutter. So that's more your ravioli. That's more your cookie cutter, I think. 638494. If anybody's got one of those and has used it and got pictures, I'd love to see them. Yeah, very nice. And you make your own ravioli as well. Have you got any special recipes that you'd like to share? Right, let's move away. Everything's about food this afternoon. It's not fair. Now, this is Ross's pick. It's a really good pick as well because 20% of the stock has already gone. That is another great price. This is less than half price. You can see straight away again, this is a quality cake pan. The size of it is nine inches square. 
I'll just turn that around so you can see the depth of it there as well. Not only do you get the cake pan, which just happens to be Ross's favourite size of cake. Surprise, surprise. You also get the three mixing bowls as well. Oh, you don't have to use them for mixing in, you can use them for whatever you wish. But three very nice, brightly coloured bowls. These are excellent quality. Excellent quality. Don't know what, what they hold. I don't know if we, we know um, the capacity, but three nice sizes to work with there. Yeah, a sizable amount. You can be really organised in the kitchen. I like it. You know, when you watch the TV programs, they've got all the little dishes with all the ingredients in. You've got the salt in one, the flour in another, and it's all it's very organised, isn't it? You can do that yourself with all your little dishes. Yeah, £20 and a penny is the saving. You're getting this for less than half price for this hour only. £18.99 will get you everything that you've seen there. 433682 is the item number. I wonder if there's a recipe on this one. Uh, yes, it says so. Oh, they're all stuck down. I don't want to tear it. Oh, hang on. Is it carrot cake? It's an apple nut cake on this one. Oh, we've got another. Oh, we've got another one. Hang on, hang on. We've got banana nut cake as well. Mm. Apple nut cake and banana nut cake. Here, recipes there. All to be made in the nine-inch pan. Lovely. Mix everything in the bowl. Chop your apple and banana up. Bob's your uncle. There you go. 433682 is the item number there. We've got more pans coming. I like this next item. This is a good one. Yeah, we're sticking with cakes, but we've got pies as well. Pies or flans again. What's the difference between a cake pan and a pie pan? I think the only difference that I can see is, if we look at the cake pan, you've, you've got a straighter edge to it. It's not completely straight, but it's a little bit more, you know, even along the edge there. And then the pie pan is much more curved. Look, you've got the slopey edges. That looks delicious on the front. That looks like you can make a really nice cheesecake in it as well. Oh, have we got a recipe in this one? Recipe on the back. <gasps> What's your favourite cheesecake? Lemon for me and vanilla. Oh, key lime pie is the recipe on this one. Yeah, key lime pie. And you've got the perfect pan to make it in. Have we got a recipe on the cake one as well? I bet we have. Let's have a look. What sort of cake do you think we're going to have? Classic Victoria sponge? Chocolate brownie cake. Red velvet cake, maybe? Oh, who said brownie? You're almost there, Hugh, because it's a triple chocolate brownie. That's not any old brownie, is it? A triple chocolate one. Oh chocolate with a bit of icy sugar sprinkled on and raspberries just like you can see on the picture there very nice indeed item number eight seven three eight zero zero oh no, that do you know that is a, again a really good buy 11.99 11 11.99 11 you're saving 10 pounds and a penny for this hour i'd get two sets of those i think you're going to use those a lot sometimes as well when you're baking a cake if you're wanting to make a proper sandwich and rather than slice it you can make two at once. If you get two sets, make a really good cake, really good birthday cake or Christmas cake, anniversary, whatever. You know, just a piece of cake for an afternoon tea. doesn't matter. Um, let's have a look at our next set. This is an interesting one. This is a bit different as well. Because you've got the mini meatloaf or muffin pan here. Now, this is two components for this particular area. We've got the meatloaf pan at the bottom there as well, which you can always make other things in but one of them has got holes in and we were like why do you need holes is it for even baking and then we realized what it was what you actually do you put the two together so the one with the holes in goes on the top and then you know when you bake and you've got butters and oils and things the oil or the excess fat will go from the holes into the bottom tray leaving you that lovely bake on the top without giving you those soggy bottoms and getting rid of all the, the nastiness that you might not possibly want in there. So that is a really good buy again. You can also, of course, use the muffin tray without the inner. You don't have to use them together. Let me just see if I can get that to balance. You can use them separately. And then we've got the loaf pan as well. Again, these are for savoury and for sweet. Um, you could make some sort of meatloaf and put them individually into those little muffin holes as well, if you wanted to do that. 
Uh, you've got what else? We've got the bottle. I reckon we've got another another recipe here. Let's have a look. Uh, easy, clean, durable. Yes, recipe on the back. The size of this one is nine inches by five inches. What we're going to make this time? Oh, apple, cinnamon, oatmeal bread. Cinnamon, apple and cinnamon, it's lovely. Again, weighty pieces. You can f definitely feel the quality of these. Very nice indeed when it comes to uh, your utensils for the kitchen and baking. Seventeen ninety nine. You're saving nineteen pounds and a penny. Less than half price again. Five four six one eight zero. That's your item number for this one. Everything does come in a box as well. Are the ones that I've been reading from. You'll get, you will get the box, and there's there might even be more ideas on the packaging as well. We'll maybe have a look at those a little bit more closely later on. Moving down again though. We'll keep going. This next one kind of intrigued me a little bit because we've got a cake decorating set and there's a couple of things. I thought, well, what are they for? And then we found the packaging for them and it says rolling pin covers. So I thought, hmm, do, do you cover your rolling pin before you put it away? Do you protect it? Why? Well, I've never seen that before. Well, what you actually do, you put these onto your rolling pin and they will stretch and fit any size. Then you use your flour or your icing sugar, sprinkle it over onto your pastry or whatever it is you're rolling out. You actually use the roller with the cover on it and it evenly disperses the, the flour and the icing sugar. It gives you a, a professional finish. So I've never heard of that before. But do you know, it sounds very, very good to me. If anybody's used those, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. We've got another cake decorating set here as well. Used for cakes, pastries. Again, your mashed potato if you want. You can see the different nozzles there. I'm going to turn that the other way up so I can read it properly. Let's show you the bag inside first because, of course, you've got the icing bag itself. Metal nozzles on this one. So you can make uh, your leaf, which is at the bottom. You can make your rose effect. You can make your shell, your star, your scroll, and you've got your fine writer as well. So all the essentials, I would say, when it comes to piping. Then you've got your cutters. And you know what's coming, don't you? Because you know I'm, I love my clay. I use cookie cutters and also icing tools as well for um, for clay. Can I just stop just for one second? Oh, no. I'm so sorry. I've got to wave at Hannah because she's leaving. And keep in touch, Hannah. Okay. Best of luck. Oh, yeah. We all want to give her a hug and we can't. Joe, you know, we're so sorry. They're going on adventures, Hannah and Danny, who uh, both have been up until today working. I'm going to cry now. Stop it. Let's move on. Cookie cutters. Oh, we are going to miss them. They're just wonderful to work with. Um, 061878 is the item number. If you want to go for this, so the cutters, the icing set, the rolling pin covers as well, all for $14.99. And you do get a lid for the box for the cutters as well. What have I stuck myself to there? Oh, it's the packaging for the rolling pin cover. I'll pick that up in a minute. Let's move down. Bye, Hannah. Um, we've got a lovely set for the barbecue. Now, these are silicone brushes. I really like silicone brushes. They're easy. To, they're very hygienic, actually. Uh, easy to clean. These have got nice ergonomic handles to them as well. Very smart. You've got two clear ones, and you've also got... Oh, this is heavy. The metal one as well. I'm sorry, I've got to go all crafty again with this one. Do you know what I use these for? You know when I do the Azuri shows and I talk about using resin to coat onto things, but if you use a regular paintbrush, you tend to have to throw them away every time. So I try and find things that are made of silicon because the resin doesn't stick. That is brilliant for coating resin onto surfaces. Absolutely brilliant. You've got three as well. And then you've got the glove. So this is your... Very, oh, this is a nice glove. Um, it's all lined as well. This is your barbecue glove. One size fits all, I think. <laughs> Look at that. Um, I haven't got a barbecue. I need to get one. I haven't got a barbecue. It's not fair, is it? Yeah, a lovely glove there. That's going to protect you, of course, when you're cooking on the barbecue. Don't forget, if you're going for this one as well, you've got the barbecue lifter or the lifter at the other end for using on the grill as well as for cakes and everything. So look at, you know, using things together. Could you use that? that why? I reckon you could. You could use this as a regular oven glove. It's silicon, isn't it? 
it's silicon so up to 250 degrees they don't really cook above that do we our ovens go up to about 250 don't they tops yeah <laughs> Yeah, I need a new oven glove. Mine, mine's a bit worn and, yeah, I could do with a new one. Oh. Silicon's very hygienic as well and easy to keep clean. I'm going to lie that down because it's not going to behave. 16.99 is the price of £30 and a penny is the saving. 818.328 is the item number on that particular option there. Uh, now, I love this. I nearly picked this as my pick. Uh, you've got your mini cookie pan. Or your cake pops here. This is silicon, so you've got your little mould for your cake pops. Oh, you see, you could use this for your resin as well. That little domes of resin. You could put dried flowers in there. Oh, no, there's a hole in the bottom. You can on that one, look, there's no hole in that one. Why do we have a hole in this one, I wonder? Is it so you can get the sticks in? Yeah. I reckon it is. You put your, yeah, do you think? Oh, you could, so you can pop them out? I don't know. Somebody will tell me, I'm sure. Uh, but you've got those. You've got the sticks as well. But look, you've got the little pan to cook everything in. Oh, this is why I'm not a floor manager. I can't get anything to sit right. Oh, let me show you the box. Lots of ideas on here. Look at all the sprinkles and things you can put on your cake pops. You could use your drizzle spoons and drizzle on chocolate or caramel. They're great fun, aren't they? For children's parties, especially, well, children and adults. You know, everybody gets an equal share again there. You know, not having to slice into everything. They're all on sticks. Nobody's touching anybody else's. You know, you, know, you don't see somebody sort of rifling through looking for the biggest piece. Everybody picks up a stick and that's it. You've got a perfectly formed cake pop there. Love it. $14.99 is the price, £34 and a penny is the saving, 634942. Oh, we've got some more utensils. I like this one. This I like anything, you know, if, you, if, you, if you're having a little get-together and you want to provide a few nibbles, I do think it's nice when people can serve or help themselves. And this is lovely because you have got a serving tray, a mini serving tray there, not only for serving but for cutting on, but you've also got these serving utensils as well. Uh, you've had a fancy party, Ross, or you would have a... You'd like a fancy party. You're going to hire Jimmy. He's going to wear a bow tie. Oh, he's going to be serving, is he, with a little tray? Ah, oh, these are nice. So what would you use these for then? Things like your olives, your pickles, um, little spoons. That spoon's got a flat bottom. There must be a reason for that. Why would you have a flat bottom on the spoon? Is it just so it sits nicely on the tray? So, look, so it doesn't roll around. That's what I think anyway. <laughs> would it roll around if it didn't have a flat bottom? I don't know if it would. <laughs> if it's got liquid in there, it would wobble, wouldn't it, if you didn't have the flat base? Somebody let me know if I'm wrong. Uh, we've also got this. What's this one for then? I reckon that's for like pickled onions and things. So that the excess vinegar trickles out and you've got the onion inside, yeah, or oil, yeah, olives and things. So the oil, the excess oil will run out. My favourite one out of this, though, is the next item. You get all of them, but I love, love, love the serving tongs. So look, this could be, they could be ice, but they're not really, I mean, bits of fruit. Um, yes, keeps everything hygienic again. If you're sharing, you know, especially right now. So if you've got a tray of nice strawberries, you can just pick up a strawberry. I'd definitely be going for the biggest strawberry. I love strawberries. Uh, very nice. I do like this one. £16.99, £22 and a penny is the saving there. 910733 is the item number. We've got one more happy hour on this show that's on the counter anyway. It has been a long journey. Uh, let's see what we've got because we've got multiple utensils here all in one package. So let's start here. We've got... An olive stuffer. I don't like olives. That's one thing I don't like. No, I d I'm sorry. I don't like olives. Yeah, I like most things, but olives, no. Uh, no, sorry. I'd, I'd make them. I'd do them for other people, but no, I just wouldn't eat them myself. Uh, we've got the corn cutter there. I like corn. It's grip easy as well. The corn cutter. So does it actually slice 
it will just slice through the whole cob then. Uh oh. Ah, so it pulls all the corn off. I think that's how it works. Yeah, so you pull it down and it pulls all the corn away, so you're not having to use your teeth to sort of nibble away at it. What else have we got? I've knocked some things over. The scissors. The scissors are nice. You've got uh, guards for the blade as well. Very nice scissors. They are triple blade herb scissors. Triple blade? I've never heard of triple blade. Oh, I bet these won't open up, will they? You can actually, look, you, if you look at the bottom, you can see where there's going to be three, three blades. Look. Let me put my glasses on and see if I can find some information out. Triple blade herb scissors with dual sheath blade cleaner. Oh, so I reckon then when you put the, the cover on, that will go in between the blades and clean out any herbs. It'll kind of push them out, won't it? I think that's how that works. Oh, it is, look, you can see on the back. You can see the three blades. Three high precision, sharp stainless steel blades, cut, snip and mince herbs and scallions while retaining flavorful oils. Fast and easy, large and honestly ergonomic, comfort handles, protected sheath, doubles as a blade cleaner, cleans blades by sliding teeth at end between the sheath blades. I never knew they existed. Well, you do learn something every day. I've just been using a regular pair of scissors, but now I want those. That is gonna make the job quicker. Gets better though, because we've got more. Uh, let's have a look at the next one. We have the Grip Easy. Now this is a little scrubbing brush for cleaning all your vegetables and things. Very handy. Nice ergonomic handle again there. Easy to hold, very comfortable. There we are, fits perfectly in the hand it says. Comfortable, non-slip, even when wet. That's what we want. Um, then we have, this is my favorite. Cause it's like a little bird. Look, it's a lemon squeezer. So when you press down the bird's tail, I can't do it because it's sealed up, but when you press the bird's tail, I reckon it's the beak that opens and you put the lemon in there, a slice of lemon or something, and it's, it's going to squeeze the lemon for you. Brilliant for pancake day. That's a good way to get the kids to eat something, isn't it? If they, oh, I don't want lemon. It's too, um, yeah, they'd have fun. Squeezing lemons with that, wouldn't they? 16 pounds and 50 pence for the, <laughs> for the whole bundle. 30 pounds saving on that one. 447282 is your item number. Are you spending over 60 pounds? You might be able to open that flexi basket up. Let's remind you how it works. Here we go. <laughs> we will in a minute, promise. <laughs> What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. There we go. Right, back to the beginning. It was a long walk. I only just made it in time. Uh, let's have a look at the beginning again. I can tell you we've had an email in as well from Sue. Really good question from Sue, actually. I've got another implement here, just in case I need it. Sue's wanting to know the widest part of some of these items, because not everybody's ovens are as big as others. You might have a mini oven, so sometimes you might find certain things won't fit into your oven size. So we can measure. If we haven't got the measurements, we'll try and measure every one as we go along the counter just to see if that helps out a little bit. Some of them have got sizes on. I have double checked the first one because, you know, we don't know if that's the internal measurement or the external. And of course, it's the external measurement that is important. And I have checked that one and it is correct as the external measurement. So 12 by 18 is the baking sheet. 
doesn't have to go in the oven. You can use, of course, fudge. We said it, toffee, things that don't need to be baked in the oven as well. Uh, but yes, if you specifically want something for the oven, we'll try our best to give you all the sizes. If we don't know them, I've got a ruler. We're trying to find a tape measure, so we've got something a little bit larger as well, because that one was uh, a little bit difficult to measure accurately. But it's a really good kit. Half the stock has gone of this one, brand new today. Do you know, the more I look at this, the more I love this mega lifter. I think that is so useful. If you've baked that pizza, if you've baked that cake, if you're doing your cookies, you know when you roll out onto your worktop or onto your icing tray, you know, your, your non-stick surface cover, whatever you're rolling on, then you've got to pick them all up and put them on the baking tray. And then you do, they're all floppy out there because they're not baked yet and things break off and fall apart. If you use the lifter, you're not going to have that trouble. It's not just for baking inside as well. For your barbecue, you can use it. So for lifting up meat and fish and even your vegetables as well. So a really lovely bundle, this one. £17.99, you're saving £30. Item number is 526363. And just to confirm again that the baking sheet itself, the outside measurements are 12 by 18. Or oh, you can see it converted to centimetres there, just in case you want to check your oven sizes. Right, now the next one... Uh, we're going to measure this one because I know Sue's definitely interested in this one. And we haven't got the measurements on our information sheet. So we'll do our very best, Sue, to give you accurate measurements on this one. Now, you do get both of these. I can't believe the weight of these. These feel seriously excellent quality. Excellent. Well, the name Wilton is on there. You will, if you any, know anything about baking and icing and cakes, you will recognise that name. That is a company name that's been around for many, many years. Right, let's measure. So this has got a curve on it, so I'm going from the largest measurement on the outside. I haven't got tape measure, I'm going to have to do this in two, so I'm just going to have to mark where that goes. That's 12. It's, it's about 15 inches, maybe just a slight bit over. Let's go 15 and a half just to play it safe. 15 and a half by 10 and a half. That's inches. Okay, so if uh, that's all right for you, Sue, if that fits into your oven, that's a good one for you to buy because the quality, as I say, is amazing. This next one, in the same bundle, this is your square donut pan, but of course you can do other things in it as well. Now, again, you've got curved handles, so I'm going to measure right from the widest point. This ruler doesn't go from one end to the other. It kind of stops short, so I've got to, I've got to mark with my finger where I'm going. 12, 13... Now, this actually measures 17 inches from the curve there to the outer curve. So that's the longest length. And then across the width, it is 11 inches. So 17 by 11, so if that helps. But a really good question to ask because we haven't got the sizes on all of the packaging. 742941 is the item number for this one. I do love that square donut pan. £30 savings, £17.99 is the price. Yeah, it's been very busy. These, because these are professional cookware items, most ovens would, of course, take all these sizes. But I do understand there are some people that might have a, a small version of an oven. Maybe they live on their own and they've got a tabletop of oven, something like that as well. So it is quite important to know those sizes, really, isn't it? So really good. Uh, item number for that is 742941. Now, Hugh's pick, I've got to say, he's a bit of a smart guy, are Hugh? Because I really should have stuck with this one myself. I do like this. Uh, half the stock has gone. This is your canoe pan. So again, I'll measure this one from the outer edges, from the curves. There is, yeah, there's a very, very, you can get them in the UK if you're very lucky. Uh, there's a very, very famous cake in America that begins with a T, I believe. Is that the one? Uh, we can get them in the UK, but only in specialist shops and you have to pay an awful lot of money for them. Can I say the name? No, I better not then. Um, right, what did I measure there? 12, 15 inches this one from outer curve to curve, 15 inches by nine inches, that one. And you can see the depth of that. I love the shape of this. I love the fact that this one comes with the injector or the icing tool as well. So you can put cream fillings in there, uh, whipped cream, 
frosting, custards, all those different things could go inside your cakes. And then on the outside, of course, you can pipe detail because you've got those different nozzles and they're easy screw on and off the injector there as well. Nice to clean as well, very easy. Uh, you've got lots of ideas on the box of things that you could make with this. I'm only going to read my favourite out, which is carrot cake filled with cream cheese frosting. Yum, yum. Uh, I don't eat a lot of cake, actually, but carrot cake, I love. Love, love, love. When was the last time I had carrot cake? <sighs> yeah, I've not had any for a long time, you know. I'm quite good at that, you know. You know when we go, you go to the supermarket and you see all the lovely goodies? I'm quite good at resisting, although I really want to buy. When it comes to, when it comes to sweets, my favourites are carrot cake, cheesecake, mm. and I love a pavlova or an eaten mess. Give me that, I'm happy. Not bothered about the rest. Uh, 803105 is the item number for this one. A £20 saving, way below half price. 14 99 is the price for this hour. We have got left a little over 15 minutes before the price goes up. Well worth buying that one. I really, really, really like that. Uh, I wonder if Emily is watching. I bet Emily hasn't got one of those either. Let's move down again. We've got the square. We've got the square cupcake pan. Let's have a look at the packaging so we can find some more information about this one. So, oh, it says perfect for cupcakes, brownies, brownies with edges because they're all going to sort of come together, dessert bars, mini breads, cornbread, cobblers and muffins. Now, you could use each one individually. If you did put lots of batter in there, I think they would sort of rise and then maybe join on the top. So you can ice right over the top of everything and then just break them away. But if I show you the picture again, you can see you can keep it as one piece and then tear into it. Or you can make them as individuals. I don't think I've ever seen that, you know. I've seen the tray cakes, but I, I just love the fact that you don't have to worry about cutting one slice bigger than another because they're already worked out for you. One cake to pull apart and enjoy. Great for your parties for children. The kids will love that, being able to just sort of take a slice themselves and no falling out of who's got the biggest slice. Just make sure you get the cream and the frosting nice and even because that's the biggest thing. Or if you're putting sweets on the top, make sure they're even because they'll go for the one with the most sweets on. Or if you're putting those chocolate sweets with the shells on, everybody likes the orange ones best. So make sure you put one on each 12 spaces to make it fair. You've got to think about these things. It's important. I've had four children. I know what happens at these parties. 706-783 is the item number here. £37 and a penny is the saving. And we've not even reminded you about the drizzle spoons. I nearly forgot. That's my favourite thing, the dribble. Look, look, look. Look. Chocolate, sauces, gravies. You can thicken, you can thin, you can draw, you can write. You can show off to your friends because it looks like you've been in training with a professional chef. Use these for putting decoration on the top of your cakes, onto your fruit, onto your pastries, onto your ice cream. Oh. You know when you have a really nice piece of steak and you get that, that drizzle around the edge, it might have a red wine in it or a red wine sauce or, or something like that. Oh, just a little bit of decoration on the side. Yum, yum. Uh, item number 706783, if you want to go for this one. Let's move down again. This next one's a really good buy. Uh, you've got your cake pan mould and your tartlet cases here. Do you like a flan? When I say flan, like a fruit flan, upside down cake, a pineapple upside down cake or something like that. Do you like a flan, do you, Ross? Yeah? Again, you could use this for savoury or non-savoury, savoury or sweet. Recipes on the back. Oh, I didn't see that before. Let's have a look what we've got here. We have got layered raspberry cake. Oh, that sounds like it's got real, oh, it's got cream cheese filling in it. Isn't it funny? Because I don't like cheese, but I love cheese, uh, cream cheese filling. Butterfinger crumb cake. It's all right. I'm just reading the recipe so I can try and memorise it for later. <laughs> I've got to make a birthday cake. Uh, yeah, vanilla in that as well. Really nice recipes on all of these items that do include them. Item number for this one, 180549. Excellent quality again. The four little tartlets. Perfect again for savoury or sweet. That could be a starter, it could be part of a main course, it could be part of a dessert. 
Very useful little kit, that one. Only £12.99. £13 savings, so it's half price. Then we... Oh, who's been in touch? Charmaine from Dollywood and Dollytown. The scissors, yeah. They would be great for fringing for paper crafting. That's a good idea. Maybe they would. Maybe they would. So you've got an extra blade, haven't you? You normally only get two and you get three. So because you've got three blades, I'm guessing then it's almost like it's cutting double what two would because the centre blade, I don't know, I'm guessing at this now, but I'm trying to work it out. Would the centre blade be sharp or the two outer blades be sharp so that they grind against the centre blade? So you're cutting from this side and you're cutting from this side. So essentially you're cutting double the amount. Do you think that's how it works? Everybody's gone quiet. <laughs> 180549, if you want to go for the tartlet. Oh, I've got to back chat. Oh, Sue's... Oh, I didn't measure it, did I? Sorry, Sue. Sorry, Sue's been in touch. So sorry. Um, oh, let's measure it. Let's do this for Sue. Right, I'm doing this in inches again. I've got to measure, mark with a finger. 12... 13 and a half inches to the out, from outer edge to outer edge. And across this way, oh, it's about nine and three quarters. We'll round it up to 10 just to play it safe. So to say 13 by 10, that one, Sue. Just, I know it won't matter for the size of the oven, but I'm going to measure the individual cake pans as well. Uh, three inches square, these look like. Yeah, yeah, three inches square. Thanks for reminding me, Sue. That was very good of you. Goodbye, that one. Where was I? Do we need to know the size? No, the cake pan is eight and a half inches. It tells you on the pack. Uh, yeah, that would definitely fit in your, your tartlers. I don't think anybody's got enough of that small, have they? They'd go in. They'd go in. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's move down because where were we? We were at the ravioli cutter. The cookie cutter is in this one as well. We've got a, a couple of different cookie cutters. I'm still trying to work this one out. Let me just see. Glasses on. Uh, got a recipe on here as well, homemade donuts. And donut glaze is on this as well. I'm intrigued by that. It is a round cutter. I think the handle just slots in there somehow. I'm sure you'll find out inside how to do that. I haven't really got time to read everything. Um, we have got the... Oh, there's a recipe here and it says poor man's cookies. Why are the poor man's cookies? Six eggs, four teaspoons of sugar, a tablespoon of melted butter, a little bit of salt in there, cream. Uh, it's, it's six tablespoons of cream. That doesn't sound like a poor man's cookie. Half a teaspoon of ground cardamom and two cups of flour. And then, of course, you can use that. If we, I don't know if we can come in close on this. You can see how the little wheel is cutting through the cookie, cookie dough or the pastry there. Because you could use it for pastry. And then you can roll up look, and put fillings inside. So it could be used. I bet you could use this with your pasta as well. It's not just for cookies. But you've got your, your ravioli sealer that goes with this one, which is like your little press. And that presses down the edges. You put your filling inside and it seals it all together. And then you boil those, cook those. Uh, all that for £29.99. You're saving £43 and a penny. 638.494. On to Ross's pick, a reminder of this one. Have we got the size on this one? I think this is on here, isn't it? 23 centimetres on nine inches. Actually, nine inches will be the internal measurement of this one, but that's definitely going to go into everybody's oven, but just in case. Yeah, it's about 11 and a half inches external measurement on that one. You get three mixing bowls as well. Different sizes. I'm afraid we don't know the capacity of these. Shall I just measure the top? Just because I can. Uh, that one is about six and a half inches diameter from outer edge to outer edge. This one is eight inches. And this one is, I'm guessing, yeah, that one's nine inches. And then you've got a good depth on these. Obviously, the depth is different as well. So they go up in size. So good mixing bowl. Something for, you know, all capacities, different amounts that you want to put in there. What do you want to use them for? Just really very handy. 18 20 pounds and a penny. Uh, 433682 is the item number. <laughs> if you're a family of bears, they're great for your porridge. That's what I've just heard. The things you hear. 
Yeah. It is true. Daddy, mummy and baby bear. Can I be Goldilocks? Uh, let's have a look. You... <laughs> let's move down. I really like this next one. This is such a good buy. You will definitely use these over and over and over again. I, this, these are the, this is the one item, I think. If I was going to multi-buy anything, it would be this one. Because you've got your cake pan and you've got your pie pan as well. So your cake pan contains the recipe for the triple brownie cake. Triple brownie, not double. And you've got the cre um, key lime pie as well as the recipe in the other one. You can see here, these are nine inches in diameter as well. That's the actual flan or cake size. You've got a little bit extra, but again, these are going to go in your oven. £10 and a penny is a saving here. Eleven ninety-nine, just short of half price on this one. Absolutely great quality once again. 873-800 is the item number. I wonder what Sue's gone for. Uh, have we got time to do another one? We have. The next one, this is an unusual one. The mini meatloaf and muffin pan. So remember, with this piece here, the one with the holes in, if you're making something that's got oils in there, so maybe you are doing something savoury, something with meats and there's juices, if the juice doesn't run away, it makes the bottom soggy or things don't cook the same. So it's made to sit inside the muffin case there, or the muffin pan, so the oils or the liquid drains away, which will give you a better bake. Obviously, if you're making your sponge muffins, you don't need to use that bit. You can just use the tray. You also get the loaf tin in this, and that, again, is for savoury or for sweet. So another lovely buy, this one. $17.99, you're saving £19 and a penny. Item number 546180. The loaf tin there is nine and a half inches. I've not just measured those, but I can see if the larger ones fit in your oven, so they definitely will. Uh, let's go to the website and have a look at everything again. We can see all those top picks here. Uh, Hughes, Hughes gone for the winner. That one is the one in the a limited stock on that. That is such a good buy on the canoe pan with the decorating kit, of course, as well. You do get those different nozzles. Very easy to change. You just screw them on, take them off. I still do like the drizzling spoons. I'd pay $19.99 just for those. Uh, it's been a good pick, I'm hearing. Uh, definitely, all our picks are good, actually. We've got some cracking deals on this show. The mixing bowls in the pan, I do like the items you've just seen as well, the cake pan and the flanting. The barbecue kit, really, really good quality there as well. And, of course, those cake pops. Great fun for the children. Oh, we've had some emails about those. Is it about the holes? Andrea says, the hole in the cake pop mould is... I did wonder this, yeah, to let the steam... Yeah. Ah, Andrea's used this. It lets the steam... I did wonder that, because I thought, well, why would you put the stick in when they're still in the mould? did think about that afterwards. Yeah, to let the steam out, you get a better bait, don't you? Again, if you've got water, moisture, steam inside something, it keeps it soggy and it doesn't bake the same. Do check those baskets out. We haven't got long left. I'm just gutted because I need a new tin opener and there isn't one on the show. So I've got to go shopping elsewhere for that, but never mind. Uh, do check your baskets out. Make sure you get everything you need. Think about what you're creating. Maybe you do need a decorating kit or a drizzle spoon to go with it. Make the most of those happy hour deals before the clock strikes six o'clock. Bong. That's the first one. Studio Light Essentials Christmas is coming up next. And then I'm back with Sarah and Funky Fossil Designs. And then, of course, Lou and Studio Light is back at eight. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques from button making, 
lace making, weaving and other forms of passementry. Mark and I work hard designing the kits and developing innovative tools to make all of these traditional crafts more accessible to the modern user. I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B. Silkworks shows. Hi, I'm Catherine and I'm the guest presenter for Zuri Designs. Zuri Designs are based in America and they bring to us their exceptional quality silicon moulds. Zuri Design moulds are used in all areas of crafting, not just for your clays and your resins, but also their food grade silicon as well, so used for your cake decorating designs. Zuri excel on the detail in their moulds and the designs range from animals through to fantasy and much further beyond. If you watch the Zuri shows, I will share with you lots of hints and tips. I will show you how to use different mediums, ranging from your clays and your resins through to things like even your hot glue. So make sure you don't miss the Zuri shows. six o'clock which means it's time for a brand new launch of a one day special and we are talking studio light and we are also talking a little sparkle of Christmas because we have a complete collection now everything's going to be dispatched from the 24th of August just to get that in there because it's coming from the Netherlands that's right isn't it Lou yes it is hello hello Lou hello. <laughs> um, right then are you happy to talk about the collection but first off actually before we do that better talk about the fact that it's a why not deal mm -hmm. now you're saving six pounds on top of all the individual savings and if you're a freedom member look at that it's even better so it's not just 13.99 there is that you're saving there are several savings that carry over from the little bunches that we've got here you can spread the cost on flexi two payments of 35 pounds and 96 pence 272118 is your item number. So then, Lou, shall we start off up here yep. with our fabulous stencils? Yes, yeah, sure. They're nice, aren't they? Yep, you can, you've got uh, one that doesn't lend itself to just being Christmas. You know, it looks more like, I know it's got stars on it, but it looks more like, um, I, I can't help but think about festive stockings. Yeah, you oh, know. I know what you mean. Yeah, like fishnets sort Ooh, of Nice. Thing. Um, and the stars can be used for anything. It could paper piece if, if you so wish, but I, I really like that. I think it could be for a number of things, not just Christmas. But the others, they make great, great little borders, but they make great overall um, sort of sta uh, mm -hmm. overall stencils for pages. So you can, I, I like the fact that they're in strips as well, which means you can use, to ma for me, I'd use them vertically and horizontally. Yeah. But um, I wouldn't go on the diagonal with them, but I think they make perfect sort of echoes, you yeah. know, so that you could stamp near them and create like a shadow. So Yeah, mm. I like those. With the stars as well, um, I think uh, it could be like a nice congratulations, couldn't it? Or mm. a celebration of something. Could be New Year's, New Year's Eve card. Yeah, it could be what's uh, fire, fireworks and things like that yeah. in the sky. Yeah, it could be anything. You could just cut a, like a piece of it and have it popping out of a bottle. Oh, oh, I like that. That's a good idea. Nice. So you've got your two stencils there. Shall we move across to the paper pad? Now, you're getting 12, 12 by 12 double-sided sheets. 12, 12 by 12. There you go. So these are fun. They're quite quirky, aren't yeah. they? They've got a great sort of neutral colour scheme with these. So um, it's not your normal, like, red and green but there's not wrong with that it's no. just that if you choose to do something like a neutrals like your greys your beiges and stuff it's a really sort of elegant and quite contemporary feel and it's got one of the pages has got a great little cut out on it so that you can cut all the page back um little um, embellishments oh, out yes yeah and then create like sort of embellishments with them and great i mean on first look a lot of them don't look christmas no they don't at all uh, it's only when you look close but yeah, the colour schemes are really quite nice. See, that that could be presents for any occasion. Because exactly. I can't see any Christmas on there at all. Well, presents are generic, aren't they? Yeah. It's just when you sort of team them with the, 
something else that they start to take on a season. Yeah. But there yeah. you go. Having a look at that. Marvellous. Could be Valentine's. Could be anything. It could be. Lovely. I love juggling. the colours though. Yeah. They are nice. That's nice ah. as well. Oh, look, they're giving each other some little gifts. That's cute. That is. I like the top part because I could see that as, as like, top of a card or something or a, a beautiful scrapbook mm. page. Yes, I definitely. Just like that. Lovely. So that yep. is your paper pad. Marvellous. Then moving along, what have we got over here, she says? <laughs> <laughs> stamps. We've got some lo lovely little stamps of the trees. Yeah. And again, this could be not just Christmas, but it's building scenes, isn't it? Yeah, there's um, a build a scene one, and it's a, and it's a really nice um, detailed stamp as well. When it's stamped out, you can build all your own scenes. And then you've got scenes that are already built up, but you can use these to add to them. Yeah. So you can make your own, build your own, or, or do whatever you want, and they stamp beautifully. I mean, I stamp these in just um, a normal archival ink. Yeah. Um, no great shakes. I just do it as you do it at home, no extra bits. And I really thought they stamped beautifully, mm -hmm. like um, a, a beautiful drawing. Absolutely. Mm. And then you can see, here you go, here's them stamped out. But they are, they're very detailed, these beautiful stamps, aren't they? Yeah, and you so can nice. just keep, like that one there, you've got the stag on it. You can build on that. It doesn't, have, it doesn't have to stay that big. If you've got a bigger card, you yep. just add. So, yeah, I really like the, ad the ad addition with these. Nice. There's the stag. And he can trot over the little uh, um, bridge. And then, shall we come down to the other stamps? Excellent. Um, we've got ball balls and sentiments. Yeah. Oh, nice. I like the ball balls. They're yeah. fab. These can be used as jewellery as well. And they can also be used like in my moodling and doodling because you can have them the other way and, and, and sort of join them together to make almost like bunting, really. Absolutely. But I think they li I like there's a couple, just a couple of um, drawing lines on them. What, uh, sketching lines yeah. and it just adds it, it just makes it look a little bit different you can see the sketching lines on them but I really do like these yeah. little um, things on them as well garlands so nice. you can add to them yeah and then the sentiments here we go so we've got things like Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year peace and joy Merry Christmas um, and a Happy New Year but again uh, that's a slightly different so one is you sort of your vertical and then yeah. you've got what so different shapes yeah if you will yeah you mean you different sizes on your card that yeah. you've got left and this works well for them but yeah different fonts and they're quite they're quite um how to put it very popular fonts at the moment yeah, yeah. they are really good um merry everything and a happy always that's a lovely one isn't it i like that one yeah nice Oh, meet me under the mistletoe. Ooh, there you go. All right, so there's more stamps, I think. What should we come to next? Right, then we've got some die sets. Mm. Lovely. Oh, and you've done these for us. We'll, yeah. we'll, there you go. Just so the blanks made... to show you that how versatile they are. They're really lovely, but you get all the layers to go on the top, and you can build them again. But I just wanted, you know, because they don't always look as good on, on just a, a piece of metal. But you get all the embellishments with these. You get the dies, so you don't have to cut it out. You can do um, mistletoe in and out. So, yeah, I really like them. They're a nice size as well. Because if you're doing it for, um, say you're doing it for a charity, yes. you want it to look good, but you don't want it to be massive because it's going to be a, a lot of work. Absolutely. Perfect, perfect. Oh, they're good, aren't they? Okie dokie. And then moving along, what else do we have? There's so much in this set. Oh, I like these. Well, oh, we've got some nice edges, mm. borders, if you will, and then lots of different types of snowflakes. Oh, and they, have they got the cutting line around them as well? Yep, you can do both. You can cut in and into your um, paper. You can cut the edges out, or you can do like a flat border and then a topper. Yep. So you've got, I like the fact that they bring that to attention and they concentrate on giving you lots of value. Like that is a die cut an edge of a card, if you wish, mm -hmm. but you can just cut. And um, a shape in a card. Yeah, I like that. I so, really like those. Yeah, I do. Cool. And then we're still going. We are still going. This is crackers. We've got so much here available for you. These are lovely. Yes, we've got even more dies. Look at these. So we've got really some mistletoe. These. We've got the trees. Mm. We've got the stars. They've absolutely jam-packed it, haven't they? Yeah, and the trees, you've got different styles of trees with the layers on. But the, the mistletoe and the holly, I did them in some different colours. And it's just stunning for all year. Yes. All year. They look beautiful. I did them in an orange and a dark green, and it yeah. was just 
really, really beautiful. So I'll show them as we come to them. I'll show you. But the what difference that slight, diff, not red, orange. but an orange. It yeah. just completely changed them. I could see that lovely yeah. stuff. All right then, remember this is a why not deal for your complete collection and you have also got it on a freedom discount. There you go, £71.91 and pence, and it's on Flexi by 272118 is your item number. <laughs> ah ha ha, 10% of the stock has already gone. You've got six die sets, so goodness knows how many dies are in the sets. You've got four stamp sets, two stencils and one um, 12 by 12 paper pad. You've actually got 12 papers in that collection. You can spread the cost to payments of £35.96. Now, we've got a watercolour set. This is good, isn't it, Lou? Yeah, these are really popular. You yeah. can't, I tell you what, people always phone me, can you get me, can you, do you know where? And, and you can't get them. I yeah. don't know where else you can get them apart from here. Excellent. And I always say, go, 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 Quick go, click. get them, yeah. yeah. Because you've got two, they're not the same, they're, they are different. Um, so yeah, these are wonderful, wonderful. I'm using these today as well. Nice. So you've got 18 colours in here and you've got your two brushes and obviously as you can see you've got the mixing tray. Uh, with the brushes, one is um, you sort of uh, pointed, if you will, and one's flat. Yeah, I think, you'd, I don't know if you've got the both sets or if it's just one set because you've got studio light main essentials and you've also got the Janini one so I'll have a look see which ones you've got because it always gets confusing when we get them and what it says on a list they always look different don't they Indeed. so I'll just check because if okay. not it's my fault uh, with this one though just to be clear that this one is the essentials yeah lovely and that is 19.99 wow. you, you also get your color swatch this is cool so you can put your paints on and then you've got that to hand. I like that. Very cool. They're really good quality. Yeah. And they you can are. take the top palette out and have another palette underneath it. Oh, right. So if you mix colours and you want to keep the colours, let them dry and put yep. your palette back on under there and just take it off. Very good idea. Lovely. 1999. Item number is 713597. Now, we do have a stamp press on the show for you. Uh, here you go. And it does come with the magnets. Now, so many people have said that the stamp press absolutely changes their whole... Does. Yeah, thinking about does. stamping. Some people get put off by stamping because maybe if they can't press hard enough, yeah. if they're using an acrylic block, and then the image doesn't come out right, and then absolutely. they maybe try and go back in, and then they've got a double image, and then they go, oh, I can't stamp. So this is brilliant for your stamping. It really is. It Change your life. It is what you've just said. In, in normal, normally, people start blaming themselves, and it's not you. It's right purpose, right, right quit equipment, and product. Brilliant. It's if you've got it wrong, you keep blaming you. But in fact, you need the right paper. So don't worry. Don't worry. That if you get it right, every it can make everyone an artist. All this. Excellent. Uh, Sixteen ninety nine six seven zero eight five three is your item number. Okay, I'm going to hand over to you. Yeah, then. sure. Well, it's going to be really simple. Um, everybody knows I'm, I, when it comes to card making, I go way over the top base. So I'm, I'm going to take it right back down to basics because I want to do some just simple cards, like with what you've got, how you can sort of change what you've got within what's on the show. Because sometimes I bring all these other equipment in and you're like, oh, you haven't got that. So what I've done, the first thing is I've die cut just move this out of the way for you. I've die cut this wonderful tree and I'll just show you what you get so that it's a bit easier to look. So you get your first bit which um, is the die cut itself and you get the tree die cut and there's two little score lines and you just bend them back there. Now it doesn't matter which way you have this, it's entirely up to you, bend that back there and then that way it just sits. Now you can have it like this or you can have it that way, or you can have it that way. So whichever way you want to bend your tree is up to you. Yep. So you can have it you, you re remain like that, like I say, or have it with that pushed out and that in. It's entirely up to you, whichever you want. But you do get the bits and bobs that go with it. So th the first thing you get is a die that fits here. So I've done it in a, it's like a cream, a warm tone, which is nice, but I like this one. It's like a, a sagey green, it's beautiful. Yeah. You get the next one, which is um, a layer. Now, I didn't think about layering this too much. I just thought about the top colour, but perhaps giving this in another colour, maybe a black would be good. 
So you get that layer, that fits the next one in, mm -hmm. and then you get the top layer, which has got stitched line on it. Right. Now, just to explain, there's nowhere that says you can't just cut the tree out. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, cut three of them together, cut three out, just the trees on scrap paper, fold them back, you've got a three-dimensional tree. Or you could make tree bunting. Tree bunting, absolutely. Anything like that. And I love the fact that you've got these stitch lines because you really can stitch them and they look really classy. But they don't stop there. They have to give you all the bits. Mm -hmm. So you get this bit that goes on there. Then you get, that's, that's me. That is me, not machine. That bit is because... You I didn't run out of card. No, I didn't tape it down, did I? Oh. Like, like I do. I think, oh, it won't matter. And then I've put, this bit obviously goes there. And you have another little bit that goes there. Now, attention to detail or what? Every part is covered. But if you want it to go the other way, there's nothing to stop you sort of putting your bunting on that oh, way. Okay. Yeah. But it, it, that's better if you've got a single-sided colour because obviously it's working that way. So you can tell it's different for me because mine's double-sided, so mine would go that way. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to... It's really simple, this one. I don't want to do too, too fancy. So I've just got the white of the, the light pieces and I'm going to look for I think maybe I was thinking you could use some of the writing on it and, yeah. and you could have the writing going across or you could just use the background on this which I love I know it sounds a bit daft no it doesn't just at all the writing on here makes not the writing the um, yeah. snow I'm going to use this from I love this little dinky one from Phil <laughs> And I'm just going to do sort of a background, a yeah. really simple one. And I'm just going to put them all together mm -hmm. because it's a little round stamp. There's no, it, there's no up, down, round. It's all sort of, it doesn't matter which side you, you put it on. Now, you can do any colour you want. I think I'm just going to go for something quite, yeah, something like a brown or a black. I think a black, actually. You want to go black? Yeah, oh. I'm not too sure because I'm thinking... It'd stand it on this with the blue. I mean, mm -hmm. blue would be nice as well. Let's see. You've got choices. You've got oh, too much stuff, Lou. Stop, stop, stop. Right, I'm going to go for black so that you can see it. So this colour here, just do it on this to show it. This black, that's the little mark that oh, you I get. Oh, I like those. Aren't they so, adorable? Yeah, that's not something, you know, it, 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 there's no right or wrong with it. So yeah. all I'm going to do is just make it like a, a polka dot. So that's just one of the element, elements on, on the builder card scene thing because it's got um, like trees and everything else. So this one is a workhorse. This, yeah. this can go on everything that you do. You don't have to just use this on the trees. This can work on anything. So I've done it on there. Just, And I'm just putting blobs there. Yeah. And then if you've got, um, if you're using embossing powder... Uh, sorry, you want to emboss it later on. Just use some embossing powder on this, like um, a Versamark or a, a Wow, and you can sort of emboss it with gold or whatever colour you want. So I've got them done. It's going to be quick and simple. This. Most of them are tonight. Yeah. Because, like I said, go back to my roots. Go back to my roots. Go like back that. to my roots. Now, these papers I'm using here are all from the paper packs that we've had on before. We've had on um, the brights the pastels and then this one i'm using i think this one's the pastels as well um, and we get a it's a five pack of papers i think we've got them on today actually. It, you, well, you, you literally are psychic Lou. seriously really? can i have a little flick through oh please do yeah please oh the lovely yeah yes okay so you're choosing any two on a pick and mix and it's only 10.99 for the two 170 gsm and you've got 36 sheets per pad. Um, now, it's nice, actually, because you can see the tones on the front. The one that they're calling Christmas is quite a nice muted Christmas. Oh, it's stunning. I mean, that's, to me, I think that easily could be called vintage. Mm. It's not, you know, as you think, bright, colourful Christmas. It's toned down. It's almost autumnal as well, actually. Beautiful, yeah, absolutely. Totally is. Nice. So you get the idea of the colours in this one. It's uncoated as well, so that you can take it and change it, like I have, I've done. So I like that, the fact that you can add to it yourself without ruining the paper. Lovely. So that one's Christmas. 
And then we've got the naturals. Uh, there you go. You can see those lovely neutral shades. Quite light, some of them, actually. Yeah. Uh, this one's the most popular option. Everybody's feeling natural today. Um, and it's a very versatile set of colours. You've got some soft greys, warm greys, cool greys in there. Very nice. So this one is currently in the lead. The next one we've got then is the pastels. That's pretty. I like that. That always reminds me of summer. Yeah, it does. I love the fact that, you know, we always have um, things that we, what's the word, that we link, yes. you know, with colours. I love that. Reminisce with it. Yeah. Oh, look at those blues. Beautiful, lovely sort of hyacinth blues in there. And then last one, we have got the brights. Here we go. Oh, these are bright, aren't they? Again, you've got 36, pow, look at that, sheets in there. <laughs> And the oranges, reds, very nice. There you go. Now, they're just asking me in my ear if the shades are different on each side. Yes. So there. There should ah, be a slight yes. change of shade. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah, it's really helpful, that. Because if you don't know about colour toning, you flip the page over. Yeah. The second one, you've got it. Wonderful. All right, then, these are really busy. Only ten ninety nine for any two of these. That is a great price. Uh, item number is 225180. What are you up to, Lou? I'm just going to... All I did was I've missed out a couple of layers because you don't... When you get these, you know, one of the things we tend to do is think we've got to put every layer on. But we don't. I mean, I've missed that layer out. I'd have that on its own and maybe a couple of them together. Like you said, tree bunting or you could, you know, just build them up like colour on colour so yeah I just think there's options and options and loads of options for you so basically that then you can put die cut another one and put another one on this side if you wanted to that's uh, this is some watercolour paper I did but if you wanted to you die cut two of these you can have it front and back but that is the basic shape it's so simple um, it's a really lovely shape mm. um, and you can put two back to back actually and make it quite sturdy or put three together all together and make like a star card but i just think maybe we need to put something just here now you can use anything you want um piece of card wise i've got some different colors in in these buntings like a little bit of gold um oh I've, that's nice yeah i've just got a little bit of an off cut or you might have like the blue off cut of the blue and just think yeah i like that because mm -hmm. Sometimes, yeah, you just yeah. want a little bit of a difference, don't you? So this one says, Merry everything, happy always. That's different. I like I that. Because like yeah. <laughs> you might, well, everyone sort of knows I'm, mm. I'm not a Christmas person, but, you know, you might want to send something, but not have it so overtly Christmas. And I think this is a good one. So all I'm going to do is just, I'm doing it on this. It's a sort of pearly paper, gold pearly paper. There. Now, perfect. Lovely. And I would, I would emboss that if you want, because on the pearl paper, you tend to lose a little bit of the ink um, sort of intensity due to the fact that it sort of shines. Uh, the shine sort of takes it for some reason. I don't know why, but it does. It sort of makes it a little bit less vibrant. So bear that in mind. Okay. And then oh, I'm, I'm rubbish it cutting straight. I can cut with a guillotine but nothing else. Right, come on, I have unbung this. You see me unbung it. Right. It's always the way. Always. TV. I've got two here. I'm going to unbung a ball from bed. Two seconds later they're bunged up again. So hopefully bring this glue to you at some point. It's the new one. Oh yes. From uh, Pentart. It's, it's like very good. Very, very good. Now just be aware, I can see just here that the bright bit is still damp. So I'm not going to mess about with that. Okay. I would definitely, at home, leave that to dry a minute and then, then cut it. Because I always put my finger in it by mistake. <laughs> I do that all the time. Um, that's okay. So now you can place... You see how it's just slightly different than the background. So it's not sort of too bright or it's not exactly the same. It's just a little bit different. And it's got a bit of glitz on it. So I'm just adding three, 3D foam and then I'm just going to do a little bit of colour on here. Now I'm hoping that this is still a little bit wet. Now, 
you can put this wherever you want I quite like it at the top just there right okay so I'm happy with that what I'm mm -hmm. going to do now is you could have anything that you've got like your paints or whatever you've got I've got I've got some white pens and some gold pens and stuff and I'm just going to quickly just show you sort of a little bit of doodling that's all and all I'm going to do is just gold pen around the edge because I don't want to do anything too much I just want to give it little highlight yeah I like it looks like it's part of it and not sort of been added and then round the tree because I've left the second layer out um, I've got more chance to do though yeah and um, and anyone who knows me knows that I doodle permanently permanently but you've got some great little um, baubles in one of the sets I'll yes, get them out I and show those. you it's, it, and it's great because what you can do is you can string them together and make like a proper um, garland or yes. and, and put it over this so that's a nice idea garland yeah, yeah is um it's on the die cuts mm -hmm. and i'll get them out but that's a really simple it's really effective though very very simple little card that i think if you're doing charity you could sing it up with whatever else you want yeah you might have like for instance i've got some flowers under here they might look good on it well they got there but you know put a flower on it but for a nice little card that's perfect very effective it Thank is you, it's cute cool. I like that. i'll do a little uh yes please recap then Brilliant. okay then so first off the one day special the complete christmas collection is on screen for you it's a why not deal uh which means you might as well become a freedom member because even though you're going to pay your 7.97 for the month on your postage and your free delivery etc etc uh you'll still be saving that's amazing on the complete collection but look if your budget doesn't stretch we have got some things individually. Uh, by the way, everything's going to be dispatched from the, I think it's the 24th, lovely, of August. So, where should we start? Right, we'll start with these stencils, which I love. So, individually, well, for the two, if you will. Um, note that saving at uh, £3. That is going to carry over, and it all adds up into the complete collection. So, for your fabulous stencils, they are 9 99 I love that you've got all of those borders that you can use horizontally and vertically. And then the stars. I love the stars. And Lou, Lou was saying about paper piecing some bits in. I like that idea. Why not? Uh, so £3 saving carries over. Item number is 137933. Then the paper pad. Let's have a little look at this. So remember, this is um, 12 sheets of double-sided 12 by 12 papers. And there you can see, look at that. Aren't these fun characters? Yeah. Ho, 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 happy holidays. I like stay warm. That's my mantra. Um, <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh, they're all really lovely. They're cute, but they're not sickly cute. Do you know what I mean? They're tall, that's totally Yeah. Right. Good stuff. These lovely little animals. Ah, oh, there's the two. Oh, how bashful is she? Look, he's just asked her out on a date. <laughs> Very cute indeed. I like that. I love the monochrome. It's really striking. But wonderful for your scrapbooking, of course. But you can chop them down. You can mat and layer. I really like that one. Um, and then you've got your hedgehog and the owl. They're exchanging presents. It's good, isn't it? So that is your 12 by 12 set. There's another £3 saving that carries over. So that's £6 carrying over so far. Then we've got our beautiful stamps. These ones have been very popular individually, and 40% of the stock has gone on these. Ooh, I'll use them then. Yeah, okay, that sounds good. Uh, lovely, they are 9 99 if you want those. Uh, 764359, and you're getting nine stamps. Then we've got more stamps. Here are the baubles and the sentiments. Uh, so you've got Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in two different form, formats. formats. Uh, then you've got Peace and Joy. Meet me under the mistletoe. I like that. Um, may your days be merry and bright. Warm wishes. And then you've got another merry and bright. Merry everything and a happy always. That's definitely my favourite. Joy to the world and best wishes. Now that's 9 99 and that also has a £3 saving. So we're up to £9 carrying over. 3 199 Okay, then the next set of dies that we've got. Mistletoe. We've got stars. We've got the Christmas trees, 
I think we've got the little berries as well. Oh, yeah, they're really lovely. Mm. Nice. Give them a minute. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, now, you've got a £6 saving on these. So I think we're now up to £15, something like that, that's carrying over. Uh, so this is £15.98. Item number is 1642... No, it isn't. 164524. Then we've got our lovely snowflake and border dies. I'm liking these. Gorgeous. I know. These have got a £4.50 saving. So now I think we're up to, if my maths is right, £19.50 that carries over, I think. Uh, so these are £11.48. Item number is 365159. Then, look, we've got these dies that are going to create those cards for you, which are dead handy. I like those. Uh, that's a £7.50 saving. Uh, I'm losing track now. It's is a lot 20, of money. I think that's 26 we're up to, something like that. 20 something and yeah. you're saving lots of money. 27, sorry, 27 we're up to, yeah. so carrying over. Lovely. They are £18.48, 583078. But if you are going to go for everything as a Freedom member, so I think we said we've done about £27 carried over, then. A bit um, more than 27 now. Yeah, Yeah, but that, that's about right, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's my maths is terrible. <laughs> I'm just making it up now. I'm just laughing. She's <laughs> laughing at Sarah over there. She's looking at me going, oh, it's her. <laughs> <laughs> no. But then you've got a further £13.99 if you're a Freedom member. Now, you can split the cost. Uh, there you go. Two payments of £35.96. 272118 is your item number. Now, we've got a watercolour set that's been doing very, very well. This is the essentials that we're going to have a little look at. And it also comes with a nice little colour swatch that you can paint in, you can fill in. You've got 18 colours in total. Love the fact that the lid is also a palette. I think yeah. that's great. And you're getting not one but two water brushes. One's got the pointy end and one's got the flat end. Are you all right, my lovely Pointy Liz? and pointy end and flat end. Yeah. One's a end. wash and one's a filbert. But yeah, pointy and flat, that sounds better <laughs> to me. They make up filbert, wash. Where did they get these names off random? Does it's filbert... pointy and flat. <laughs> Does filbert mean anything, though? Yeah, it, means, it, it mean? means the shape of it. But it's in someone's head, it probably meant a lot more. But to me, it, it just sounds like a piece of meat. But... A <laughs> filbert of meat. Uh, yeah, it just sounds like more like a, a rasher or something. But yeah, it's called filbert. But yeah, it's probably someone's name. It's probably someone's name. You filbert. know, like they name it after somebody. Yeah. And we, like 500 years later, you think, why is it called that? Yeah. And it's probably that 500 year old man. If he's 500 years old, he's doing very, very well. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Right, 1999. Item number is 713597. Uh, five pounds off on that. And then we've got our fabulous paper pads. These are doing really well. I mean, they're such a good price for two. Right. Such a good price for two. Since he brought these to me and I've got them, I thought, I really are, and you know, I'll tell you the truth. I got them first. I thought, well, I use these. <laughs> it yeah. was the, well, I was like, Will I use these? Well, it'd be easy for me to say whenever I use them, and I'm not winding you up. I use them all the time because the colours are done. Mm -hmm. I've got the right amount of, I write the right size, everything. Yeah. So to me, I waste so much paper A4 size. Mm. Always. Yeah. There's always too much left. I know what you mean. And, and then... I save tons and tons and tons of it, but this is perfect because. It's good size. Yeah, because I don't throw it away then, I use it. Yeah. Lovely, these are your pastels. I love so the these. First ones were your brights. These are your pastels. Oh, these are sweet colours. But yeah, it's lovely that they're two tone on either side. Yeah. Really and good. Even um, the grey is beautiful. It is, isn't Stunning it? Stunning colours, aren't they? You get 36 sheets and uh, 18 colours in total. Then you've got your naturals. Is this one still in the lead? Yes, this one's still in the lead, the naturals. That is, I'm sure that, that the first card I made, the paper was out of that. Lovely. There you go, lovely, beautiful tones. And then last but not least, we've got Christmas, although I think this is also very autumnal as well. That sold out last time, I think. Did it? Yeah, ah, I think it did, yeah. Managed to get it back in stock then. Lovely. Let's get to some of those greens. Lovely um, ochre colours. Marvellous. 10.99 uh, and you're picking any two. Item number is 225180. Don't forget, we've also got the stamp press if you are in the market for one, because they're dead good. They're ever so good. Um, and they just help with your stamping, as I said earlier. 
Uh, but if you do want to go for the pick and mix, this is how it works. Go on, which ones are you going for, Katie? She's doing naturals and brights. Oh, she's going contrast. Uh, yeah, yeah. That, that, I just have to go natural brights and then pastels and, and Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> no, you, and then all four Yeah, I was going to say, go for all four. Because at that price, that's ever so good. I say, seriously, though, you're saving money because you're using... You, you, make, you make your dice. It's weird, but you make your dice fit the page. Yeah. Whereas before, I'd just be slinging them on, but now I sort of wiggle them around and, I, and you sort of make, and so you save money in the end. Yeah, I and like that's better, yeah. Good. Um, what would you like to show now? Well, blink and you'll miss it. Okay. No, what I want to do is, <laughs> whatever card you've got, you can make yourself look like a watercolourist when you're doing this, because it's so simple. I am using my stamp press because I am not the best stamper in the world. Um, because I'm sort of hit and miss, everyone knows that, how I work, you know, stamp press has helped me no end plus i don't have to take it um some you have to take apart and change over because you've got rubber or or um clay yeah. this this has got like spongy bits what you mean. and yeah. it's got these knobbly bits here that the first thing i did when i got it was start messing with that so <laughs> like a <dope> <laughs> like, yeah yeah oh when i was at school wanted to beat post office first thing everything i did like that anyway yeah Anyway, so I've you got, worked in a post office. No, when I was a kid, I wanted yeah. to do because I just went. You went in post office and she, she just hammering Stamp. everything, weren't they? Yeah. And I thought I wanted to do that. I wanted to do it. I don't know why. <laughs> don't know why, but they don't do that anymore, do they? They just put it all on a machine. Anyway, I've got one of them, and it doesn't really matter which one you're going for. Uh, the stamp press you're going to get has, has got two little magnets in, and the magnets fit to this, so the, it's a magnetised base. Um, if you haven't got that, then all, like me, I have got them somewhere safe. Very, oh. very, very safe. So if you're like me and like to keep things safe, <laughs> um, if not, just get a bit of masking tape. But you really, they're, they're really strong. Uh, the one thing I will say is be careful they don't clang together because magnets are very brittle. Yeah. I've never had one smash yet, but they do. Oh, I have, so. Have you? Yeah. Right, well, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. And that's not what you want. So I'm just put, going to put a little bit of a ticky, stick, ticky tape, sticky tape down, <laughs> whatever tape. Mine's masking tape. You wouldn't necessarily do that, but I just thought, some people have asked me about magnets and they don't feel safe. Mm -hmm. Not safe, but they don't feel like they've got enough. So I wanted to show them that you can use tape as well. Yeah. And all I'm doing is, because I'm, I'm going to double stamp this, the first thing he's going to do is I'm going to put on the archival this is a permanent ink go to our lovely paula she's she's the queen of inks um but she did great she does great shows on what to use when to use and how to use it and i'm using an archival so it's acid free and it's permanent and all i'm going to do is just now it doesn't matter if it's hit and miss this i just want it, a registration so what i want is the lines to be visible but not it, it doesn't matter if i miss bits at all so i've got that but I don't need to worry because it's it's like hand drawn. So the next thing I'm going to do is I think right. Well, I want a bit of colour with this. So you choose a colour. Now I'm going to go for something like I've got a brown. Mm, I think I'll go for the ground espresso. Now the ground espresso is a brown, and it's got um, like it reacts with water. So if I now over stamp, what we can do is get a different reaction. So I'm just going to do that, leave it in place. Now you can do this with anything. Now if you're using a light coloured ink uh, first, do that uh, light coloured ink, do that first because you don't want to contaminate. Lovely you. Yeah. Sorry to disturb you. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know this stamp set? Yeah. That's not on our pack shop, so we're just wondering. Oh, this is the one that they sent me. If we just have a look at ours, unless... Which one have we got? We've got the one with the deer, uh, with the bridge, and we've also got ah, the trees. Right. Apologies, Lou. No, it's all right. This is... <laughs> I'll have to have a word. The one with the trees and the one with the... With the deer. Yeah. I only got... I'll tell you what, we'll have to be honest, I only got these yesterday. Yeah, bless you. Don't worry. Right. So, take that off. I'll do it again the other way and then that way. So, this is watercolour paper, so I'm not wasting it. So, turn it over. So all I'm going to do, place it back down. Now, you get your stamp first. 
and you just place it on there where you want it. So we'll do it again. So this one's got the stag in it, and we've got right now, we're yeah, yeah, right. we're good. Okay, yay. So place it down. I wonder why that is. That's what. Oh, it don't matter anyway. Uh, right. So the first thing I'm going to do again is got the the, the permanent one, the non reactive with water so just going to put that down there now always remember that you know you need to make sure that the ink has time to sort of sink in yeah so don't sort of whip it up you know make sure you've got a little bit of time with it again i'm going to go in now with the ground espresso one's reactive with water the other one isn't so what i'm going to get is like a watercolor wash on the top but a permanent underneath yes yeah. So I've got that. You can see how it's gone a little bit darker now, which nice. is what I want. Now, all you do now is you can do a couple of things. You can just get water and a little brush and a little bit of your watercolour paints. Um, um, spray your, ink, your paints first to wake them up. You've okay. got some great colours in there, like mm. like greys. I'm not going to say alt names because I, I don't know alt names. That's all right. They change the names. You know, we, we say grey, red, blue, yellow. They go... Uh, something like passionate purple or something like frivolous orange no it's orange it's orange it's not frivolous it's orange so if i don't know names it's only because i can't remember them right so here i'm just going to pull that up we've got the little stag there and we've got these now all i'm going to do is get a tiny bit of water and i've got some inks to show you with inks as well spray on here and I'm just using a very, very small brush. Now, this is a masking brush, but I, I quite like it for this reason. Um, and the masking brush is a very, very slim one. As you can see, it's a not not. No. Yeah. Sorry. Go on, give it a sec. What is it? No, what it is is we've also had some issues with the paper pads. Yeah. Sorry, so we'll come back at any second now. So if you've had any issues checking no. out, we've got we've fixed it. Apologies. Sorry. Okay, back to you. Oh, right. I thought he was going to tell me I couldn't do it. I was like, no. really? <laughs> sorry, you no, really? definitely do that one. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that would have been funny, now, wouldn't it? No. <laughs> so I'm just going to pull out this colour. Now, the, the black ink won't have any problems with this because the black ink's permanent, won't react, but the brown ink will do all this wonderful shading for you. Yeah. So you look like you're the clever artist and you're actually, all you're doing is just adding water like the magic books you've got at school. So, you remember when you were a kid? Those. Yeah, oh, I love them. I would still do them now. Oh, I would. Because I am a big kid. Well, I, I just think it's the, oh, what colour is this? And yeah. what do you do with this? So, all I've done is I've changed the brown slightly. So, all I'm going to do is now, just here, I want to add something a little bit different to that brown so i'm going to add a little bit of green and the only reason i'm doing that is because i want it to look slightly different but not overly different i, I want it to look like it's got a slight touch of green but not bright green yeah so add a, add a bit of watercolor to it and it just changes it just enough for you to say yeah that's got a green sort of base to it that's got a brown base and i think when you're trying to do these stamps and make them look oldie worldy and mm. sort of hand make, hand watercolored or or as I'm trying to do here hand hand tinted, you do get a nice feel for it then. This would be really nice matted and layered with the naturals papers, wouldn't perfect. it? Perfect, yeah. absolutely perfect. Now, when you when you're looking at um, snow and stuff, it's it's on white paper. <laughs> It seems a bit hard to sort of try and represent snow on it. So you put a tiny bit of blue and the blue just gives it that that touch of um, cold or depth mm. to it. So it looks it, wintry now. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, if you was to put um, golds and, and reds on here, it'd look quite summery. Mm -hmm. So you bear that in mind. The blues, although it's, it is a blue, it still gives you that idea that it's winter. Yeah. Everything, that's, oh, it's all going past. What, why, what's that? What's me, that? Me, I've, even my water's bunged up. This is this. How can water bung up? I don't look. How, how can your water bung up? Oh, there you go. <laughs> quick, quick, quick. I must have had a little, a little doofer in it. So I put the blue on there to go round there, and I'll just show you the last bit, which is you want to sort of make sure that he, he's, he's come alive here. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit more of the brown 
And having the other brown in it, I'm using like, this is a, a burnt sienna. So I'd put a little bit of, say, dark red. I'll show you the colours on here so you can see. A little bit of dark red, a little bit of that brown. And I'm just, I don't want him to be too different. Again, I want him to be part of it. But I do want him to look different from, and if you've got, any of that expander stuff, I was going to bring it and I forgot to bring it. Any of this expander stuff, you could sort of make it fluffy, uh, fluffy ink. Snow, that was it. So oh, here. Fluffy stuff, you mean? Yeah, fluffy stuff. It's called expander stuff Is by it? pen art. Yeah, and, ah. and it makes fluffy stuff. <gasps> so here, I'm just going to put... Oh, that looks amazing. That to represent him standing, standing in the shadows. Now... Because it's watercolour paper, I've got more I can do with, and the brown that's already in it. But it gives you more light, yep, yeah, there's somebody there. Uh, you can see the shadow, and I'm just going to do that. But that blue there might need a tiny bit. Don't be worried to go back in, because you've built up your colours now, um, and you can go back in. So add in a little bit more blue down there, and I think it's got to be done. We have... Um, very ornamental bridges and they're normally red but I'm not saying it is but I mean we always like a nice like especially the oriental brush, uh, bridges are a bit red so that's I'm happy with that all you need to do now is look so what I did was um, take that away from that that's Ooh, well right. loved Careful. trap my finger there right. mm. so that's well loved that's beautiful and it does look like one of them little scene tinted scenes doesn't it, does. it I think that's beautiful now what you can do is what I did before just to show you is if you die cut two I did this twice on my machine the edges of your die cut what I did was I just placed these down on my machine and then the edge so what I thought I'd show you is to make that you could do it that way whatever you want but I put two and then you can fold it over and make two out of one mm. so I was thinking you could either have that, like that and then you know have it just cut it smaller and have oh, that nice. like that yeah. so it's entirely up to you I mean it's a little bit big I'm going to cut it down I would do this on the guillotine because it's far better far better and you don't have to have um, a Christmassy theme on this you no. could just say any happy birthday or could be somebody's birthdays in winter that's exactly cool. yeah well we forget that don't we there's a lot yeah. of people who, who are you know Paula's born on Christmas Day exactly I feel really sorry for her because she she you're going to get cheap people. You are, yeah, you? you double up on presents. Oh, I bought you a bigger one. No, you didn't, you cheap person. <laughs> you bought me one, and then it made it look like two in the sales. Right. That, it is, it's true. You can buy it in, if you buy it in sales, you get two. It's like two for in the set. Right, so I'm just chopping that bit off just to show you that you don't have to have it like I this like way, that, but it's a really pretty edge if you mm. want it like that. Um, and you can have it on the inside there. Yeah. Or That's you can nice. sort of put it on there and have it in a, a little pocket. But I quite like it as a different sort of card. So it's like a little pocket that stands up. And then you can hold it like that so you don't have to have it in, in a format like that. I also yeah. did it in paper just to show you that if you wanted it in, say, a gold paper, mm -hmm. you could just do an insert and you don't need to have that extra bit Absolutely. cut off. You can keep it. So if you wanted it on a card like that, I think that's really pretty. But, you know, any sort of card will do it in, um, say, this one is a, like an anthracite. I love this colour. It's beautiful. Um, and really... Oh, that works, doesn't it? You don't need a lot on that, do you? I mean, no. I might, what I might do is just a little bit of pen work, but I, I seriously, I don't think you need much more than that, and I would just put that there, even in a little frame. I was going to say that works as a frame, actually. I, I don't think you need much more than that, because if no. you start putting too much on, it, it start, you start overpowering it. But, mm. yeah, I really like that. So you can do anything you want. A last little bit is if you do want to. We've got some wonderful dies that they just give you a wonderful edge. And this is the anthracite. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it is really lovely. And I'll show you how I die cut it out of some of these. Here it is. So I die cut it out of this. And it's the sort of waste, not waste, but you can cut in or out or whatever you want. I've got a piece for this in a minute. 
and you can do it out of many colours and it's just this little bit here oh, so right. you don't need to put it into your die oh, like card that. yeah it just sits on the top well that's that's lovely i it like is. the contrast it's beautiful isn't it but i, I cut it out of blue mm -hmm. i cut it out of amphloside and i just thought if you wanted to that it's quite classic it is isn't it lovely little just a border. little classic yeah. and, and chop them up if you i'm not going to do it with this but chop it up and just have one there and one there one there and one there because it'll go oh well do will show it <laughs> you can do it on the corner like that so, so about seven minutes lee oh there we go so you can do that yeah right yeah so do you need to say anything or are you yeah, all right? Yeah, I can indeed. Oh, and then, brilliant. do you reckon a little quickie demo? Oh, yeah, of course I have. Yeah, got loads. Okie dokie. Now, 20% has gone of the one-day special, and it's a why not deal. So even if you decide to become a Freedom member and pay £7.97 for the month, when you buy this, you'll still be saving money. So that's the why not deal. Uh, it's £71.91, or you can spread that cost to payments of £35.96. Um, now you're getting, I'm just going to say, six die sets, four stamp sets, two stencils, and 12 12 by 12 papers that are double-sided as well. Uh, item number is 272118. You can get everything in pairs, so you could go for the stencils, you could go for the paper pad on its own. You could go for these stamps on its own, those stamps on its own. Well, or not on its own because they're a pair, aren't they? And um, the dies in the middle, the border die and the snowflakes, or these two dies in the end. And all of the savings on each of those bundles carries over. I think we got to £27. Uh, £27 carried over, plus if you're a Freedom member, it's a further £13.99, I believe. So that is a really, really good saving. Now, we have worked this out, Lou. You know the stamp you started with? Yeah. It's an end of call. Ah, that's why. That's why. Sorry, and guys. look at this, though. It's only 2 99 <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> right, OK. I hope that's right. Well, if it's not, I mean, just add it into your basket. There you go. So you've got, uh, what's that, winter abode. That's or... the house one. That's oh, gorgeous. Yes. Is it? Yes. Oh, it's oh, yeah, lovely. That. It's that one. Two ninety nine is crackers. That's two ninety nine, and then the one I was using, right? That'd yeah. be mad not to, wouldn't it? Be mad. Yeah, Baker's saying in my ear, but get it now before they realise. Yeah, they realize. <laughs> quick, quick, go, Lovely. go, 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 go. Okay, can we? Should we come back to oh, you? Yep. Cool. Happy. Right. What I did was I've got the other die now, which has got this wonderful um, sort of trifold card in. I love the fact that you can go in or out with this. Yeah. Um, on one of them. It is somewhere around. I cut into. Oh, it's the the sample you've got. I've cut into the little die. That's the one. Oh, thank you. Welcome. So on this one, I have die cut into it. Um, so you've got the little eye there that die cuts as well. So you don't have to have this in, but it's either or. So that die cuts out, or. You just leave that out of your die cutting and you get, end up with that card. So when you do that, you can paper piece because if I show you that normally we go with silver, but this gold is stunning on the blue mm. um, and you can paper piece in it. It's very classy. Very. That's what I was thinking. Really simple. Yeah. I don't want to do anything that that's majorly because it's not. These are Christmas cards that you're going to be doing lots of. So it's got to be simple. But it's got to look nice. Not mm -hmm. just because it's simple, don't mean to say it has to look rubbish. Right, you've got one, two, three. You've got six score lines there and two cut lines. Now, my advice is just ease them. I tend to just ease them like that because I go L for leather next minute. They're all, I've got creases everywhere.